on my shows, I hope that you can learn from my hints and tips and every one of my kits is like a workshop in a kit. Make sure you don't miss the So Totally Trisha shows. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team. and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Well then, good morning. Uh, now we are celebrating All and Create's fifth birthday uh, and we are launching with a monthly mega deal but actually do you know what most of you were going for? This much! This is what you've been going for. We've got the monthly mega deal, we have got um, lovely Tracy's designs, we've got Janet's designs and you are getting 11 stamp sets for free. We'll run through it all in just a second, but of course, let me introduce you to Abs. Good morning, Abs. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, good. It's been ages. It's been ages, yeah. I haven't been here for over three months or Bless four months, you. actually. But in, in terms of us working together as well, I feel like it's been a year I or know, something. I know. The last time... I don't remember the last time I worked no. with you, to be fair. Bless you. Well, I'm very pleased to be working with you this morning, bright and early. Bright and early. <laughs> good morning, everyone. <laughs> Lovely stuff. So um, let's run through these designs. Now, uh, the, the designs for the monthly mega deal are at the top here. Sorry, the weekend wow, I should say, um, are at the top here. Um, and so I like, uh, this is right up my street because we've got bats and we've got spiders yeah, webs. Yeah, I still and, love that yeah. too. And who's the designer of Bipasha. these? Ah, it's Pasha. Yeah. Beautiful. They are really, really good fun. So take a little look at that section. Uh, now, if you were to go for the weekend wow individually, uh, you'll get a lovely free gift, which is this one, uh, which again we'll show you in a little bit more detail. That's the um, numbers and your decimals. Uh, so you have got the uh, lovely sort of Halloween-y sets. That's your weekend wow. But as part of the monthly mega deal, it's everything else. It's literally everything that you're seeing here. We've got some really quirky designs from uh, Janet, which I love her designs. And they've not really even launched yet. We're only showing you these in the um, monthly mega deal. So you've got those, and then you've also got, I mean, just look at all this detail. You've also got Tracy's fabulous one-day special, which, again, you'll be seeing um, during the next live hour. So look at all of these stamps. They're just so brilliant, aren't they, Abs? They're amazing. Have they you had really lots of fun working with them? Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, and, um, yeah. It's like, and also the design team, what they created, you can tell they also enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, we'll have a look at some samples in a second. Now, if we now move to over here, all of these, these are your 11 bonus goodies. So you are not paying for all of these stamps and stencils. How cool is that? 
goodness knows what that's worth. But um, now what we've got for you, oh, do you know what? It's worth over £90. That's what you're not paying for. Those are free bonus gifts. Now, um, as part of the um, monthly mega deal, you've got it on three instalments, three payments of £65.92. But over half the stock has gone. Only launched yesterday at 10 in the, was it 10 in the morning? Yep. Excellent. Well, it wouldn't have been 10 at night. No, nobody's here at 10 at night. What am I talking about, Abs? <coughs> right, so let's look at some samples. <gasps> Isn't this brilliant? So Jo Rice has done this yeah, one. Yeah, Jo Rice did that one. It's brilliant. Oh, bless her. She's stamped them all out. She's cut them into cubes. And then she's just given them a little touch of sparkle on the lips. How adorable is that? Little red lips. And they've got um, hearts for the lips, which are really cute. We've got one dressed up in looks like a onesie with like a Rams outfit. Can you see there? How cute is that? Um, you've got ones with flowers in their hair and holding some little critters oh look she's got a lovely vase our oh, friendship that's cute isn't it um so lovely that i mean that's just one of the many many samples that we've got here uh here's another one how cute's this like almost like a little lion going on that's cute. Uh, let's bring some more of these in. I mean, there's, um, do you know what's nice, Abs, is everybody's different styles. 100%, yeah. Everyone has different style and different approach to um, these designs. And that what makes them even more versatile and more um, different and rich. Yeah, that's so nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. This is my cat at home that I'll get to see tomorrow <laughs> um, with the hat on. Isn't that fabulous? And I love the little little face that she's pulling yeah oh there's behind you also there okay just the cat there say that again you. the cat is behind you as oh, well oh as well oh yeah. this has been colored beautifully isn't that nice there you go look at that one um there's a clock here i didn't touch that but there's an actual working clock with janet's designs oh that's amazing um, yeah and what else have we got there's a lovely little doggy how cute is that and then next up, we've got this one by Joe Rice. Love that lovely watery background. There's so many different samples, so we'll show loads and loads as we go through the uh, show. 248608 is your item number. Gosh, there's so many stamps there. Amazing. 130 stamps and three stencils. Wow, um, and 11 extra free gifts worth £90.89 pence that you are not paying for. 248608. Now, if you do just want the weekend wow, we do have that. Okay, and that is £84.91 with a £6 saving. 113197 is the item number. It is also on Flexi Buy. Uh, and it will swizzle around in a second. There you go. Two payments of £42.46. pence. But as I said, the majority of you are going for the complete collection. Nice. Right, uh, let's hand over to you, Abs. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. So um, what I thought I would do this morning here, bright and early, yeah. let's get <laughs> kicking this one. So I have here, um, I cut a piece of paper, um, and then I just fold it and in four to create a small accordion. So this is my accordion, and then we're going to play with um, different backgrounds, stamps to create the backgrounds. And then, um, and as you can see here, I have all my distress oxides ready, all the colors, I put them in order to create. Um, every, I'm going to use three colors here, three colors, and then three colors, and then three colors for each page to have a nice continuity of cool. colors as I well. I like that. So I thought I would start with this one. We have this nice A6 stamp set. It's part of the Weekend World, which is um, with these labels. They really like it. Mm. So I already did um, fussy cut them to use them later um, as labels and focal points. But in the meantime, I want to use them also for the background um, to have that nice... Um, um, how to say background there. Yeah. So I'm going to start with three first colors. Let me just get them all ready first. And all what I'm doing is just applying a bit of those three colors next to each other. So you have the pink in there, a bit of red here in the middle, and then the third color for the other side. And you don't have to cover the whole stamp set. We just want some, um, we just want some, um, how to say, just a bit of color. And now I'm just yep. spraying water. Make sure I have enough water. You've got a lovely rainbow of colors there in front of you. Yeah, I like yeah. this. I like this. <laughs> it's um, nice. Yeah, assortment of colors. And then splice the first one in there. And then quickly. Yeah. 
just quickly clean that one so I can use the next colors. Mm -hmm. And now for the next colors, I'm going to go with those three now to go. I stopped with the orange, so now I'm going to carry on with the orange sure. here. Yeah. So if I'm stamping here, so the orange would go on this side. Yellow. Yeah. And so, um, is it three folds you've got there? Is it like a triptych? Four. Four, apparently. Yeah, okay. Oh, three folded lines. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, okay. So, yeah, four pages. Cool. And then the green at the end. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing. Yeah. So that just activates it, doesn't so it? Activates everything, yeah. And so everything is moving and they have my... Oops, let me get rid of that. And then we're just letting that sink into the paper. That stamp set, yeah, it's yeah. really, really cool stamp set. Cool, and look at that. Going there. So I'm just looking at the designs there. So what have we got? We've got some, um, like, like almost looks like poison bottles, doesn't it? I really like oh, that. This way. Oh, there's, yeah, plenty of design in there. Yes. And also, if you see the freebies with the Mega, yeah. there are two stamps that really work very well with this collection. There is those, um, as I said, small bottles, and there is all this um, kind of autumnal Halloween theme as well. So that is the orange. Nice. And then I'm finishing with that colour. Oh, that's lovely. It's very satisfying, this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But you can really see all of that detail that's on those beautiful stamps. And did you say it was the Pasha that's done this one? Yeah, that's one wonderful. Pasha. I'm just adding more water. I think this page would be more watery than the others, I think. Okay. Oh, it's still very nice. Oh, and now I like the little hint of blue and how the colours uh, merge. And then the last one, I think I'm just going to add another colour to make it even more darker. So, Okay, one. now if you're joining us on uh, Facebook, really great to have your company. Uh, hello to the usual suspects, I'm quite sure that we'll have uh, Dawn, Heather, Dave and Brig, Sylvia, uh, Sarah John, really nice to see you there this morning. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. It's a really nice community that we've got on Facebook, actually. Yeah, I do um, watch from time to time when I see oh, it on my Facebook. You, yeah. Okay. And I don't interact that much, um, but I always read their comments and their chats, and it's a really good community. Yeah, it is. Lovely. And it's nice to see the same faces in there. And, mm. um, and in fact, if you'd like to send in any pictures, if you've got any of uh, All and Create's previous releases, Janet Klein's releases, Tracy's releases. We'd love to see what you've been making. Uh, you can send your pictures to studio at thecraftstore.com. Oh, that looks really nice. So that's my um, fourth page. So yep. I have all those um, colours now here done. Just quickly try that one so I can use it again. So now that I have all my um, now that I have all my background like the first layer of the background is done, I have my colours. It mm -hmm. dries quickly. So yep. this one is doesn't dry because the last one I did. But by the time I stamp that one, all oh, this is already dry. That's good. So, I need to so I'm going to start working on this now and then carry on. And um, I always do. I know that I still had need to do more work on the background. Mm -hmm. but I always like stamping my focal point for each page. Yeah. So I know where it will be. Yeah. So I can carry on working my background around it. Lovely. So just to guide me. So I'm going to get my stamps. So I have the um, the cats. Mm -hmm. I have the dog and I have also I'm going to take stamps from the previous releases. So I'm going to start with the cats. The cat needs a name. Name it then. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a name. Oh, makes just said in my ear, Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just close this out of the way. Okay. You're very good at tidying. <laughs> uh, not sure about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> so have you gone to a black ink now? Yeah, black ink, and then now I'm using Versify because this one I don't want it to move. So I want it to be. Um, yeah, that's why I'm using the permanent ink red. So do I want my... 
if I'm not sure, I always take my acetate. Actually, now I wasn't sure where to put it, so I just take my acetate and mm -hmm. see if I want to put it here, there. Or what you can also do, because I have it already um, before and stamped and ready. Oh, perfect. So I can just see um, where to put it, to the left, to the right. Yeah. But also sometimes, if you have an accord and it's too big and you're a bit lost, you don't know mm -hmm. what you do, it's just you can close it to see, just to work on the small pages. Yeah. Because at the, at the end, when you open it, you will see just two pages at a time. Right. Also at home, also do the same thing in the back. So when you turn here, you can also um, have more pages. So um, maybe I'm just going to put that one here. Yeah. So my cut will go this side. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. So because I'm working on double pages, small double pages, I'm going to put one focal point for each double page. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And the same thing, now I'm going to stamp the dog. Where's my dog? Um, that's my dog here. See, if you've got cats, you've got to have dogs. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody gets upset. <laughs> that one, I'm going to do it. Um, just seeing if I should do it on the left. On the corner. Let me take one of the images to see. Or do it maybe this side. Yeah, I'm going to go for it this side this time. So, with Bipasha, have you actually physically met her yet? Or? To be fair, we've been working together for five years. Yeah. I know her for over eight years. Wow. With previous design teams, but we never met in real life. Isn't that crazy? We had many plans. Yes. And, and between. Um, Let's say cancel trip between COVID, between all what happened the last three, four years. Yeah. We always like um, <coughs> plan something, but we never met actually yet. So hopefully soon, hopefully really soon. When the world is up and running. Is she, have I got this right? Is she in you? Australia. Oh, Australia. Yeah, she lives oh, in confused. Australia. So I want my dog to be here in this side. So look at all that detail. The expression on their faces are absolutely gorgeous. Yay, yeah. very nice. And then at the end, as you can, because the background is busy, uh, just as I said, stamp it so I know where to work around it. But at the end, we will have it already fussy cut, so yeah. it even make it pop even more. You can see it better. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <coughs> so that's our my two. Um, so here are my two um, focal points. Now, what I'm going to do is, now we're going to start working on my background. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to stamp that card again, uh, sorry, that A6 stamp set again. Uh -huh. The one that we'd use for the background, but this one to use it as a focal point. So, I'm going to take my A6 stamp set, use a VersaFine ink pad, mm -hmm. black. And then on here have cardstock. This is a 250 GSM. It's multimedia cardstock. Mm -hmm. You can use any. Let me just move that one here. Is that your favourite sort of card to work on? Yeah, I like this one. I like this one if I'm working with a um, mm -hmm. mix of mediums and layering. Yeah. And if I want only watercolour, I sometimes use watercolour paper as well. So I have, have it here perfect, ready. Mm. So you've got tonics and you've got poisons. Yeah, and they're and already all, um, as you can see, they're already all ready and to cut. What you can do is um, use them as tags if you want to label it for your project. But also, because I have them here in the background, what I'm going to do, for example, that one, you can put it here exactly where it's, where it's um, going. That one, for instance, putting it here. And it also it helps with layering. We're gonna add some colours to make sure. it um, yeah, to make it pop more and then you can see the poison we go where the poison is. Yeah, that's nice, that pops now. Finish in here. But we're not gonna stick them now, we're gonna just do them later and, and then if you want more of that one, for example in this page you want that one or the other tag, mm -hmm. just fast cut more um more tags and then uh, more labels and then cut, stick them in there. So this is what we're gonna do later. Now I'm gonna just take them. So I can carry on on my um, projects. Mm -hmm.
Okay, now what I want to do is I'm just going to use some of the stencils that we have here in the show, just to add some texture paste and some um, details in there. So I'm going to bring my, um, one second, just going to bring my, oh, I can't, there it is. Um, just while you're doing that, I'll show, I'm just going to show a couple of them. The, I mean, you've got so many stamps, I'm not sure I can show you them all. Um, but I've taken a, a, a lovely selection here. So this one's one of Trace's. Um, so we're talking about the monthly mega deal now where you get absolutely everything. So you can see here you've got some birds, you've got the toucan, uh, you've got some sentiments in here. Fly free, uh, two birds never sing the same song. I guess that's very true actually. Um, you can see here we've got loads of detail going on. Um, here's another one of Trace's. And she's coming up in the next hour by the way, so make sure you're staying tuned. Oh now that's nice sort of text used as the butterfly wings that's really pretty you've got tags here fragile oh that's so nice so those are some of Tracy's then we've got some from the weekend wow um, and this is actually the one that abs is uh, using so you've got uh, phoenix ashes poison do not drink 1902 yeah I'd, to be honest I wouldn't drink anything from 1902 <laughs> Maybe a good wine, I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> then we've also got the back, back wing tonic. That's really cool. Black cat magic potion. Um, here's one with uh, spider's webs and um, bats on it. They're cool, aren't they? And then we go to Janet's. Look how cute these are. How sweet are those? Loads of lovely little characters because that's really what she's um, renowned for. Oh, we've got some here. This one says Taurus. It's good, isn't it? Um, so you've got Taurus, independent, loyal and patient. Love that. Right then, um, if you want to go for your weekend wow, remember, you've got 130 stamps and then 11 extra gifts uh, that are worth over £90 that you are not paying for. That's incredible. And of course, some free stencils as well. Uh, so we've got this on three FlexiBuy payments. It's not just the £35 that you're saving, but also the savings from each of those different collections from the different designers. That is also carrying over. Um, it's also on a freedom discount, so you can spread the cost three payments of £65.92. Uh, 248608 is your item number. And then samples wise, oh, I picked this up. I love this bottle. I wonder what used to be in it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's really cool with the um, Batwing Tonic Elixir, the Poison Do Not Drink. And I just love the Halloween y colours, don't you? love a bit of orange and then completely differently we go on to a sample like this which has been beautifully colored in uh, then we go to Janet's releases there you go that one's by Corrie isn't that so sweet so we're talking Leo here uh, this one's a Scorpio oh I love that it's going through oh here's me here's me this is Cancerian <laughs> <laughs> what star sign are you abs Leo you're a Leo yeah amazing so here let's go back to this one then that's the Leo it's cute, isn't it? They're a really nice release. Now, um, you've also got stencils. See, I think this looks a bit spooky. I like the way that that's been done. It's marvellous, isn't it? Then we've got our Christmassy dog. Here he is. You can make him Christmassy. Uh, you've also got this one. Lots of... I love this because it's monochrome. Um, but you've got there... I love that sort of um, shiny hat that we've got. All right, then 248608 is your item number. Now, you can um, shop by brand if you want to go and find All and Create, uh, and there's loads more on the website. Uh, back to you, Abs. How are you getting on? Doing well, actually. So Good. what I'm doing here, so as you can see, um, I had those four uh, main, um, I have to say, main blogs here that I had on each page. So I'm trying to connect them now. Everything is connected and not having just four separate um, backgrounds or separate images. Mm -hmm. So I'm using one of the stencils in the show. This is, um, we have this show. Um, it comes in A5 size, but also in a large A6, so yeah. in a large A4, sorry. So you have a different size of your circles and the bricks and everything. So while I'm using them, just with some ink pads and just going around my, um, <coughs> just going around my designs and using them to get that nice um, continuity going mm -hmm. on. So I'm going to get some of the light pink now and then do the same around here to connect it to the other side. Just a bit of that and then maybe a little bit here, this corner. Oh, 
Ah, that stencil, again, that really makes it pop, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really add that nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And um, one last, maybe adding a little bit of the what color should I add? I think it's just fine now. Just maybe yeah, just here a bit to connect those two pages together. And I love doing it between the two pages. So um, later on, when you see, have that nice continuity. Okay, so I'm gonna start for here now. And each time, I we're gonna work now on two pages to finish it off, and then do the other two pages, the other side. So I'm gonna start with those two. Okay. And put again all my distress oxide aside. Do you prefer distress oxides to distress inks? Um, um, I'm not sure if I would say I prefer it, but I'm used to work a lot with yeah. distress oxide now. They were my my go-to now straight away. I don't know why. Without thinking, I grab always the distress oxide first thing. Yeah. Okay, now I did that one. Let me go for some stamping now. So we have different stamps in the show. Bring my cat here just to guide me once again. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to carry on. So we have that nice stamp set here on the show. It's a texture um, that I used a lot yesterday because I really like it. It has all these nice numbers and scripts and stars and all of them. Yeah. And I'm just going to use them to create more um, elements on my background. And I'm going to go with the same color, uh, for example, where the orange is, I'm going to use orange and keep adding those details and textures around it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of those numbers in here. And then do like second and third generation, it's just to fill that gap mm -hmm. without having too much color. And if you have too much ink on your, you can always stamp on a piece of paper to remove a bit of ink and then just add that nice details to carry on. Mm -hmm. So that is for the orange. Maybe okay. that one just add a little bit on here. And what stamp set's this one from? This is a texture element. Ah, oh, right, okay. Which you'll find on the website. Lovely. Yeah, it's on the show today as well. Cool. Okay. Oh yeah, we're just changing the details. Yeah. They're well loved. I can see you've used them a lot. I use them a lot, as I said, yeah. And then and now I'm gonna use the wise crack. On the white crack here, there's so many stamp sets. So I'm going to use the cross first or the plus. Ah, now the wise cracks. This is always a firm favourite. This one. You've got some really, really funny um, sentiments. Honesty is the best policy, but insanity is the best defence. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Eat cake to say to stay safe. The more the way, the harder you are to kidnap. That one's, I think, one of my favourite stamps. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Uh, you've also got lots of little worker stamps as well. So you've got the stars and the crosses. Ah, oh, there you go. There's one of the crosses. So I'm stamping here one of them. And then Perfect. I'm going to do the same. I'm just cleaning my, st my stamp in. So to use another color. And what I'm going to use now, I want to do it um, here in this page, but to um, kind of connect those two together. So yeah. I'm going to use a bit of um, green here and okay. maybe add the yellow, but let me see. Just a bit of yellow because that's the color in between those two pages. I'm just thinking actually with the Wisecracks one, because you've got literally noughts and crosses in there. And they, that could be hugs and kisses, you know, that the symbol for hugs and kisses? Oh, yeah, and and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have it in there. So now they are connected back to my page. Now I'm going to use my stencil as I said before, and I'm going to use some texture paste with it. This is from the um, Weekend Wow. Yep. Yes, you do have some fabulous stencils, so it's not just stamps. They all work together perfectly. So I'm just going to add a little bit in here. And you know, with the Weekend Wow, it's not just for Halloween. I think you can use these all year round. Oh yeah, this yeah. stencils you can use all year round. And uh -huh. You have so many nice elements on it. And you can build scenes up. So I'm not doing all the stencils. I'm not doing one section only. I 
I always think it's like spreading butter on toast, this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, indeed. Look how nice it is. And then when you put the cut in here, it's kind of nice. And then um, just maybe a little bit of those. There. And that will just give it uh, a bit of dimension as well. And maybe I would do a little bit in here, this side. Ah, perfect. I don't want this line, so I'm just going to get rid of it with my palette knife. So before the texture paste dries, you can always... Um, Add or remove. Well, it takes a reasonable amount of time to dry anyway, so that's good. Okay, so that is fine. Now I'm just going to quickly, before I carry on, just clean my stencil here where I use the texture paste. So Cool, just while you're doing that then, let's have a little look at some more items that you might want to add to your basket. Now you can get individual elements, so if your budget doesn't quite stretch, we've got the potion labels, I would totally be going for these, and you've also got the spooky sky, there it is with the bats. I love bats, I find them absolutely fascinating creatures. Uh, £23.98, 885672 is your item number. Now then we've also got the hocus pocus, so yes, this is our lovely little cat, cat with a hat. And then you've got, um, uh, it's quite an interesting one, you've got the set with the tie um, and that old-fashioned hat, which you could put on the cat if you wanted to. That is £19.98. You've got seven stamps in total. 353878 is your item number. Uh, now, some other items. Ooh, this one is called Memento Mori. Oh, look at all that, and I love all the splats and things. They're really cool, gnarly. One of my favourite words. You've got a £6 saving. It is 11 576763 And then, last but not least, the Travel Journal. Always a popular one. Gosh, look at the detail in that. Um, now, that's a good saving. £8 saving. Uh, £16.99, 670932 is your item number. Now, coming back to our mega set, it's everything you see here. You have got Bipasha's Weekend Wow designs. You have got Janet's fabulous um, star sign designs. Uh, and then you've got Tracy's designs, which are down there. There you go. And then you are getting 11 extra free gifts worth £90.89. So the ones just coming onto screen, these here, you are not paying for and there's stencils there as well so there's an absolutely fantastic range i mean gosh you're not going to get bored are you <laughs> there is so much that you could do with this collection and um i think it suits everybody's mood you know sometimes we want to do something with that might be a little bit spooky sometimes we want to make something a bit Christmassy. sometimes we want to make something a bit abstract uh you have got the full works here now it does also have a freedom discount a why not deal so it's not just the discount you see on screen 56 pounds and 97 pence but you've got savings that carry over from all of these uh, collections so it's a cracking deal let's go back to some samples here we are so this one is by Janet and she's just um, beautifully embossed the hats you've got the stencil in the background and I love the drama of a hat <laughs> I really should wear more hats I like <laughs> hats um, and then we've got this one this is also by Janet and you've got that fabulous witch's hat. I think that's really cool. And then we've got, going on to Janet's, um, this is uh, by Corrie. Oh, Corrie's always so fantastic at colouring, isn't she? Ah, oh, she's our um, queen of colouring. Absolutely. Love that. And then we've got some of our lovely um, characters from the Star Sign collection. Nice. Uh, look at this box. This does, it looks like a spell box. That's cool, isn't it? Is there anything in it? Oh, hang on. Oh, that's cool. Oh, who's done this? Janet's done this. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, oh, I can't even show it. Look, look at all that. That's fantastic. Amazing. Wow. Um, and then next, we've got completely different. This one is by Jo Elliott. And she's, again, coloured fantastically. I think with pencils, I think. Um, and then just layered up. Isn't that pretty? 
Uh, we've got this one coloured by Corrie. Uh, this one's Sagittarius. We've got the we've got Taurus here. There you go. Oh, hang on. There's another one. And that one is our fantastic Leo. Now, the freedom price means that you're only paying one pound fifty-two per stamp set. That's amazing. That's not even in including your free gifts or the stencils that come in the weekend. Wow, that is a lot you are getting for free. It's part of our celebrations here. Uh, 248608 is your item number. Look at all of this. Look, I don't even know how photography managed to fit it all on the screen, to be honest. They haven't got a table <laughs> big enough. They must have put it on the floor. <laughs> That's what they must have done. Right then, so you can spread the cost, and if you're a Freedom member, your first instalment is £65.92. Uh, so do give us a call. Uh, or you can check out on thecraftstore.com and add anything else to your baskets as well. Now we're coming to the weekend well. Uh, so if you've got a smaller budget, this is uh, Bipasha's uh, launch, launched yesterday at 10 a.m. And you've got some fabulous designs. We've got our wonderful cat with the glasses on. Do you think that was a witch and she, her spell's gone wrong and now she's turned into a cat? I like that. Um, and then you've got the bats with the spider webs. You've got the poison chalices or poison bottles. Um, you've got ties and hats. That reminds me of maybe a wizarding school we're going to. And then down the bottom, uh, again, we've got our stencils down the bottom. They're fabulous, aren't they? Okay, so as a Freedom member, uh, again, we've got this on Flexi Buy. Mm. Two payments of £38.21. And, and you're still getting the gift with purchase which is your decimal set. Have I got the right one? I think it's over here. This one here. There we go. So you're not paying for that one if you go for the weekend well. Um, and that is worth 7 99 Lovely. 113197 is your item number. Uh, let's go. How are you getting on there, Nubs? Um, yeah, well, so what I did here is after the texture paste, I did more stamping with the wisecrack, but also I used the number from the wisecrack. I stamped here, here, well, on the on the right of the dog. We also have a 65 here, so I kind of, and also I used more stickers. I used a few bits of the stencil, of the background stencils. Now I have those labels that I did cut before, so I'm just adding a little bit of colors to them, and then just see, and just put them here. I don't stick anything yet till I'm sure that I'm going to put it in there. So I have that tag in there, mm -hmm. and then um, <coughs> let's see where to put this. You're so good at um, fussy cutting. You, whenever <laughs> I come in here, you're cutting something. You're stamped and cut something. I'm not sure I'm good at them, but oh, I'll are. try. <laughs> so I'm just inking. I'm just using that ink pad quickly. Because here we have two colors, so I'm trying to put both colors on my um, mm -hmm. on this um, small label. Yeah, and then that we go here. So you have the color from the background, but also we have a little bit of that black to stand out. And mm -hmm. um, the next one that I'm going to do is that one. So it has the yellow and the, um, uh, the sorry, bit of green, yellowy and. Um, so that side here, so the green is the side. Half a bit of green. And then add in the yellow this side. <coughs> there you go. Just brings so. it to life, doesn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the poison maybe, which is green and the blue. I particularly like the greens because then it does sort of look like poison. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, true. Mm. And do it a bit in the corner. So you've got a fabulous kaleidoscope kaleidoscope of colors and then just having the monochrome elements yet yeah, they really pop put that one in there and then the last one let's see what to put it should we put it here it doesn't make it too busy 
Yeah, and, uh, and I think this one I will leave it black and white because yeah. sometimes um, we don't have to color everything. Black and white. Just before sticking it in, before to know the next step, I just want to add a little bit of more stamps. Mm -hmm. uh, stamps. And I thought that archway, we have the stamps that is an A4 one, it's an archway. We have all these nice elements. And I used yesterday the tree and I was, mm -hmm. I was looking at it and I said, like, actually, I can use it also in this project. Yeah. And it will look really well. And I'm going to stamp it here where the fold is. So it's both sides of the page and it really um, adds a lot to the um, to the project. So. Well, actually, funny you should say that because I, I clocked this um, particular sample. Oh, um, I uh, didn't even see that. You showed yeah, that. Yeah, that's got the, the, the tree that you're about to use and um, uh, the lovely uh, witch's hat. There we are. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that work brilliantly? And then you've got the bats hanging off it as well. I think that's fabulous. Um, now, if you do want that stamp set where you get the tree from, it is £16.99 pence, and you have got an £8 saving. It's cool, isn't it? And I love that you've got the archway there too. Uh, something else that's also very busy is the textural elements uh, that Abs was using previously. £9.98, pence, half price. So you've got a £10 saving. 990653 is your item number. So you're going to... So, yeah, add in the tree here more towards um, the right where the dog is yeah, in there <coughs> just make sure I have um, good print before lifting my acrylic block yeah mm. that is really really perfect so put it in back oh so I just realized it's not a spider hanging from it it's like a it's like a spring with a splat on it. That's really cool. Yeah. So I have this one. Now let me bring my dog back and mm -hmm. put all this, um, <coughs> all this, um, what was that one? Yeah, was it here? And I like that now the tree is in there. Yeah. So it's really cool. Um, my orange tag in here. And then there's so many finishing touches you can add. Um, <coughs> so what I'm going to do now, I would take my time when after the shows add a little bit of, um, hi highlight a little bit, um, yep. the ground, the cat and the dog, the same thing for the tree. Yep. Um, you can also use some um, white flowers and add all, and at the end you have that page here so you can add your sentiments as well. Let's actually add the sentiments quickly and I'm going to grab the white flags because it's next to me. That would be um, quick. I officially resigned from adulthood, mm -hmm. for example, to that one. Yep. <coughs> well, I still have it here. And then, um, for this page and for the second page, I can use um, what sentiment should I go with? Yeah, keep the dream alive. Hit the snooze button. So that's two will work really well from the wise. Clock. I think this wise clock stamp set is perfect. Not only has a sentiment, but has also all this background elements and small um, design and small stamp set. Perfect for filling the gaps, for finishing touches, mm -hmm. for adding this right element. That sometimes you look at it, you at your project, and say like, oh, there's still something missing, still something missing. Mm. You don't know what is it, and you don't want to add a lot because you're scared if you're going to add a lot, and then you kind of lose that balance. But yeah. this stamp set is perfect because it has those small details and everything you have here you have it like kind of open and positive and negative like either you want less darker or more darker depends what you want with your project so i have that piece of paper i'm going to stamp those two here right what does this say so i officially resigned from adulthood <laughs> yes please <laughs> Come Where on. are those light bulbs from as well? Um, is the stem set, and um, we have it on the show actually, it's called um, Steampunk Alchemist. Oh, okay. It's also um, on the show, and um, I used it yesterday on my project, and I'm going to use it later at 11 as well, that stem set. Ooh, that's unusual. What's that, what, there's, what's that with the hat on? I'm just trying to see, because the monitor's far away from here. Oh, is it a scientist? Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's scientist. There are an amazing deals on the website. If you yeah. check the um, the Weekend World well show, they're amazing stamp set, like with saving. It's like um, <coughs> with her gender because mm. it's our birthday, yeah. uh, fifth birthday. We have amazing deals. So we do. If, yeah, it's really, really good if you want to um, grab some stamp set that you don't have already. So officially resigned from adulthood. I'm going to put that one here. Yeah. But I'm going to add more black later on and um, to make them pop more. And then the same thing, add the other sentiments, the other side of the page. And then I'll just call this one done. Fabulous. <laughs>
Yes, thank you, Abs. Lovely. I'll do a, another recap then. Good morning to you. Happy Saturday. Um, if you haven't yet seen the Weekend Wow, where have you been? Um, it's a fabulous collection that was launched yesterday at 10 a.m. Uh, I know loads of you have gone for it already. Um, and this Weekend Wow is designed by the Pasha. Uh, now, you've got loads of elements. You've got poison bottles um, and uh, loads of sentiments that are all sort of, you know, a bit weird and wacky. You've got stencils down there. I love the roses, but then we go into the spider web. We've got bats and things, bats and spider webs. We've got the cat whom I adore. Nice little cheeky cat. Uh, and then you've also got the hat that you could put on the ha cat. The hat with the cat. Um, so if you would like to go for this collection, don't forget you're going to get a freebie as well, worth $7.99 as part of the Weekend Well. So you're not paying for that. Uh, you can spread that cost. Two payments of £38.20 one pence if you're a freedom member and obviously your postage is covered one one three one nine seven is your item number now i just have to sort out so oh, let me show you this one this bottle is amazing i love this potion bottle this one is by debbie um, and she's painted it green uh, green this is definitely orange. <laughs> <laughs> she painted it orange, and then she's got um, the bat wing tonic elixir, and you've got the bat on there, and then you've got the poison do not drink 1902. It's fabulous, isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. Got one here as well. There you go. Look at that. Um, using the stencil. I like what they've gone through there. That's beautiful. And then I love all these little circles that you've got going on with the spider's webs in. Such amazing samples. Oh, I haven't seen this one. One moment. This is cool. There's a little spell bottle on it. Look, with some glitter in. Joe Rice has done that one. Oh, and all the splats coming down from the top. Uh, we've got this one by Joe Elliott. And she's done, look at that, with the bug on it. Caught in the spider's web. Here's our dog with the um, hat on. Lovely little Santa hat. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, hopefully... Ho Janice, yes, not hopefully <laughs> she's not. Okay, Janice, Janice, if you're watching, you have two seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look away, look away. Spoiler alert. Okay. Ooh, so creepy. Um, and then Janet, uh, Janice, sorry, still look away. Here we are. I'm bringing that one in. That's cool, isn't it? Really so like cool. That, yeah. I'm going to, yes, I shall hand these back otherwise. I don't want to see these later. Let's bring that in with our cat. Isn't that cool? Amazing. I just love that she's sticking her tongue out. And last but not least, looks really effective both ways, doesn't it? All right, as a Freedom member, you can spread the cost to payments of £38.21. 113197. Now, there is pages and pages and pages on the website if you want to shop uh, by brand All and Create. It's just amazing. And as I've said, the deals that we have got going on are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, all part of All and Create's fifth birthday celebrations. Marvellous. Oh, loads of five star reviews on the uh, website as well. How many pages have we got? Does it actually say? Oh, uh, right. Meg is on page four already. Wow, still going, still going. You've still got time to send in any pictures and Abs and I are back at... Um, Hmm, 11? Yeah, 11. That's right, yeah, 11, 11. Uh, this morning also. Okay, having said that, the majority of you are going for the monthly mega deal. This incorporates the weekend well that we've just seen. Uh, Janet Klein's uh, new release, which is all about the star signs. That's cool, isn't it? So you can really personalise for people. Uh, then you've also got Tracy's designs which are down there. You've got stencils, so many stamps. What did it, what to say? 130 stamp sets in total. Uh, and then you've also got 90 pounds worth and some change of free gifts. You're not paying for those. There's 11 extra free gifts. You've got stamps and you have got stencils. Just look at how many beautiful items you've got to craft with. You'll never get bored. I mean, gosh, this is all you need. Just get yourself some paper and some ink and you're away. And the possibilities, the amount of beautiful designs that you can create, whether they're cards mixed media projects, stamping onto canvases or ta um, tags. What about even onto fabric? Wouldn't some of these designs look brilliant on fabric? 
Now, if you're a Freedom member, you can spread the cost three ways instead of two. Well, and you can spread the cost three ways as well, even if you're not a Freedom member. But you've got a really good discount if you are a member. Three payments of £65.92. 248608 is your item number. So, Abs, we've got about ten minutes. Brilliant. Uh, so, what we're going to do now, we're going to work on a tag under my jelly plate. And now I'm going to use... Um, we have the, um, those two stamp sets from the weekend row that I work really well. So it has the A7 and the A6. And I like the fact that we have them in two different sizes. So it depends if you want a um, small design, if you want just a background, if you want a large one. So it's really good. But also I'm going to use with this time with the A4 one. I worked with the A5 before the small version. Now I'm going to yeah. work with the A4 one. So I have my jelly plate. I'm just going to apply quickly um, a layer of paint. So I'm using here yellow, a bit some yellow and green. And then add in a little bit of green. Is this acrylic paint? Yeah, acrylic mm -hmm. paint I'm using here. So I'm going for um, a very, um, how to say, a thin layer. And then you have that one to remove any excess if you have a lot. That would do. I'm just going to grab my cup of paper that is here. Sure. So I'm going to put my stencil here. Can we find this on the website, this one? Yeah, it is cool. on the website. I think it's on the show, too. Oh, right, OK. Wrong. Good stuff. You can see all the, all those, um, the circles and, the, and mm -hmm. the bricks to grab all this kind of... So we have all the, that nice um, print. Now what I'm going to do is whatever paint left. I don't think I have any left, so I'm just going to add a little bit here on my um, plate straight away. Mm -hmm. And then just cover all my circle. Mm -hmm. And then grab my stamp and stamp it and then create those nice textures mm. through the, um, those circles. Yeah, and at first you think you, you, you can't see it, but then when you pull the prints, it's there. Yeah, definitely. And then when you do um, a close-up, you will really see it. And then um, and also it makes your background more interesting instead of having only just open circles. Yeah. So you have more patterns. I just recommend when you do that quickly and um, straight away, um, clean your stamp. So you have, um, so yeah, clean your stamp straight away because it's acrylic paint. I'm just going to remove my stencil mm -hmm. and then um, either you leave it to dry and then do a white okay. paint to remove the paint or sometimes I just do it straight away because I know that my paint is still not dry yet so before it dries I just do it quickly taking the risk mm -hmm. in another language <laughs> taking the risk But also, if you notice, I use very light colours because I yes. don't want to have a busy background so I can later on layer more and stamp more and cool. add more details. And also, if, if my paint was a little bit drier on some parts and I miss part of it, it's even better. It gives me more open space and yeah. I can work more of it. So it depends what you want. Sometimes I use the white, pa the white paint to make sure I grab all the paint because I was a nice texture and um, busy background. Right. But sometimes I go straight away because I just want part of it. I think that will do. I think it's dry as you can tell nothing is coming out yeah it was just a little bit it was dry so now we need to do what I just oh, mentioned bless you. Yeah. so now what we're gonna do is just a quickly um, a bit of white okay not that much to be fair even that I like it it's a good starting for yeah. other projects you have a nice starting point you have some um, you have some texture already so yeah. just a thin layer just activating all this paint underneath. Mm -hmm. And now just put in my tag. Let me just use now the other side. Can you use a bit of water with the acrylic? A water? Um, I don't usually do water now. Oh, okay. I don't use water. But the minute you add that white paint, it activates all those layers, yeah. even though they are dry on jelly plate. And that's the magic of jelly plate. Just to make sure I have 
Yeah, this one will work. You can already see that. Yeah. That white activates everything. Can yeah, they, interesting. Like, so now I'm just going to take my tag. Yeah. Oh, that's got cool. An amazing uh, print. That is a funky print. Let me put my plate aside. And like you were saying, because it's light colours, then you'll still see what you're going to stamp over the top. Yeah, I really... and. And also, I it's keep dry. stroking it each time I do a yeah. print. I really like the um, the acrylic, and I really like the textures create. Uh -huh. So I have my tag here. Now we're gonna do we do some stamping. So I'm gonna play again with this um, two stamp set that I have here because that will uh, be nice to have the same patterns that I have on the circles. And then I'm gonna do use first of all some different colors. I'm gonna use um, a little bit of. This just outside, I'm going to use the same colour that I used here, but also bring in a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to go with darker green as well, and I'm going to go with um, with my brown. Yeah, there it is, the brown. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can... Um, so I'm putting that green and then straight away add in just a little bit of brown to have that nice mix mm -hmm. and then just go and stamp it on my um, project straight away hey and there we go the corner do the same thing the other sides but this time just with the wet Nice all co autumnal colours actually, and they work with your acrylic paints very nicely. Uh, just so you know, Abs, we've got about three minutes left. Okay, yeah. So just a quick one. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm having um, a nice, uh, more uh, more um, texture here. Okay, because you mentioned before about the scientist, so I thought I would use it now. Sure, then. that's cool. I wonder which scientist it is. Three minutes. I'm just going to do a quick. One here. Okay. Uh, now, it's so this one is from the Steampunk and Alchemist. He's very dapper, isn't he? Look at that top hat. Uh, now, if you want the stamp set, you've got 11 stamps. It's 16.99, and you've got a fabulous £8 saving. 411351 is your item number. So just allowing that to sink into the tag. Yeah, and for this one I will hold it a little bit longer because not only um, it has all these details, but I'm stamping on acrylic. Right. And when you stamp on acrylic paint, then just make sure like um, you leave it a little bit longer to have that nice print. But if it doesn't work, we can always st st uh, you can always stamp it on spare piece of paper and then fussy cut um, the detail that you miss. For example, you can only put the hat, for instance. You don't have to fussy cut everything. Mm -hmm. Just the hat and put in 3D or the rest of the body here or the yeah. face or any part you want. But I don't think we need Yay. that because it's already perfect here. Okay, let me put that right back. He's very serious looking. <laughs> it's very serious looking. And I think we should add a um, light bulb with it. Should we do a um, small light bulb here? Oh, that's cool. Maybe he invented them. Is that onto acetate? Uh, sorry? Is that? Oh, I thought, I, thought that, I thought that was actually the stamped image then. It is the stamp. No, no, that's the stamp <laughs> itself. I was just seeing um, if I should put it there or somewhere else. Uh, somewhere in here. Yay. He's having a light bulb moment. It's having a light bulb moment, yeah, and then what you can do quickly before adding to the background is just so I'm um, connected more to the, so just add in that kind of line, and then you do, so that is in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come back quickly to this um, stamp set here, mm -hmm. and then um, add just some of those elements to my background but because this is a black it's going to be a bit darker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to already stamp it here. Cool. This might have to be the last one Abs. Get rid of a lot of ink as you can see and yeah. then do another generation stamping ah. just to get those. Cool. Thank you very much Abs. You're welcome. Oh you're just going to carry on aren't you? <laughs> I'm just going to carry on. Sorry I'm, I'm enjoying it. Bless you. Well we'll be back together at 11am.
Uh, please make sure you're checking out your baskets. It's amazing this deal for the monthly mega deal. Remember, you've got 11 amazing free gifts with everything else that you're going to be getting. Do check out your baskets. 113197. More coming up after this. We are continuing the festivities with All and Create's fifth birthday because Tracy's here with Janice and later we're doing a spot of paint pouring. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Each groovy plate is precision etched, and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus, you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us? Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. A very good morning to you. I hope you're well. Uh, Saturday morning. It's an exciting heading into the weekend, feeling all crafty and inspired by our fantastic guests. Now, we are celebrating five years of All and Create. Uh, and what brilliant birthday celebrations. We've got fantastic guests. We've got inspiring demonstrations. We have got incredible value on stamp sets and gifts with purchase as well. You can see everything on the website. So you can go and fill your boots there if you want to. And we also have a lot of the items available on FlexiBuy. What's FlexiBuy? You might be new to the craft store. Well, FlexiBuy is a great way to purchase because you can divide the cost of whatever you buy, of anything over £60, into two equal monthly payments. So when you're looking around and you see the red banner and it says FlexiBuy, that's your basket. Anything else that you add to your basket, you can then divide into two monthly payments, which is really great, especially at this time of year when we're thinking about Christmas, when we're thrink, think, thrinking, thrinking. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> another Janicism. Uh, when you're thrinking about giving gifts and also just something a little bit different heading into those winter months when we stay predominantly indoors and we do all of our crafting. So it's nice to get something new. Now, something that's not new but might be new to you is the lovely 
Tracy Evans. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. You are the green goddess today. Yes, green. Even green nails. And flamed-haired beauty. <laughs> yes. Oh, I wish. <laughs> how are you, Tracy? I'm all right. First time we've worked together. I know. I'm excited about this. And I'm, how long have you been here at the craft store? Four and a half years. And this is our first time working yeah. together? That's ridiculous. Yeah not work together. I've told everybody that we've not worked together so that I can stop saying that now. You can, you can indeed. Uh, Tracy, I'm really excited about this collection. I love your artwork and we were having a great conversation before the show and we'll continue the conversation in the show about how Tracy designs her stamps. It's very, very interesting to see how all the concept comes together. But this is a marvellous collection, Tracy. You must be very proud. Yes, I am. I mean, you always... Every time you bring a release out, you always say, you know, I'm really chuffed, I'm, I'm pleased with how it's turned out. But you never quite understand the detail because obviously I work on scraps of paper yeah. and then my daughter will put it into the software. So obviously then that goes to the, you know, the company then to print them. But when I'm working on bits of paper, it's very difficult to then visualise what they'll look like in the stamp. So when they come to stamp form, it's, it's just your baby then that, that's Aww. come to fruition. So it's really exciting. We were talking about the design team as well. When they get the stamps home, they've not been inspired by anyone or any shows because they've not been to air yet. Um, unlike you guys, who will be inspired by the demos from Tracy, inspired from the samples that you're seeing here and that we're going to show you throughout the show. So it must be very interesting to see what the design team come up with when they get your stamps. For example, this one here with the circles on. Very, very interesting. Lots of detail in there. So it's interesting to see what they do with that. It's, I enjoy watching what they come up with. Really? I think the best bit really from the design team point of view is the fact that they've not been given any inspiration. Yeah. I don't give any guidance and say you need to do X, Y or Z. They literally get the stamps in a package and it's right, get on with it. Yeah. And I think for me that's the best bit because then you get pictures, obviously we have a group and they put the pictures up and you're like, wow. Isn't it exciting? They're actually using the designs. So then obviously we all rub off each other. Uh, when we when we create our projects, so that's the exciting bit. Wow, amazing! I love that. And you can see here the collection of stamps just on this one stamp set. You can use the elements on this stamp set together because they are a collection, Tracy. But if you wanted to, you could just mix them up with the other stamps, um, or even stamps that you've got in your collection um, at home. Well, when I'm designing them, the the main thing for me is that they have a good, strong focal image. Yeah. But then they have background elements that you can then embellish. But depending on your style, if you like clean and simple, you've got a focal image there that will work on its own. But if, like me, you like lots of layers, then you can add those layers into your design as well. So it works quite well. Yeah, I love that. Um, two great focal stamps here. You've got the toucan and your kingfisher. Yes. Wow. Kingfisher is a very special bird. You know they're protected by law. No, I didn't And know that you that. need a license to photograph them near their nest. Really? Yeah, you have to yeah, apply for a license. That in order to actually photograph them near their near their nest yeah oh, amazing yeah it wow. is it is amazing when you look at it oh so again the beautiful toucans there with the love hearts those great worker stamps in the background and again you've got that wonderful design elements you might have some backing paper to put that beautiful kingfisher on color it of course the kingfisher colors or you can use different colors and just do it a little bit different it doesn't have to be a kingfisher no no i mean i did one uh, in my was it six or eight pm show I'm totally confused which show but if you watch on <laughs> rewind i actually used the kingfisher and just did it in vintage tones oh, so wow. it doesn't have to be colored like a, a, a kingfisher but with that sample that you've just showed oh yeah Let those that chevrons that was my whole point of designing they've used the chevron as an embellishment to stand the uh, kingfisher on do you know so, what that is great yeah it, it just means you've got that but if you didn't want to yeah. and you like clean and simple and you like it paired back take the chevrons off just put your sentiment on ground your bird and then it's done you yeah. don't have to. You can simplify each time. I love that. Uh, we've also got uh, this beautiful stamp. Now, is this a flower? Is it a sy this is sycamore key? Sycamore or key, helicopters yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, do you remember that? Yeah, you chuck them up in the air. air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could put your kingfisher on that actually and bring it into nature. So, lots for you to play with. Lots of, for you to think about. We've got some great demonstrations coming up now. Details on your screen. Uh, nearly half the stock has gone though. I do need to tell you that. Now, the details on your screen. Top of the screen there. If you've not seen this before. That's your item number. You'll need that when you give us a call or head to the website. Really easy to buy. Uh, and when you do that, you will get your free gift with purchase. Now, 
Let me pick your free gift with purchase up. Fabulous stamp set this is. Great for your background. Uh, and this is worth $7.99. So not only do you have your discount as a Freedom member, at £18.49, pence, you're getting the value of your free gift with purchase. One per customer while stocks last teas and C's and cakes and coffee on the internet uh, and on our website. Uh, so we were talking about Flexi earlier on. Two payments of 38 22 You can divide the cost over over two months. Now, if you do want to go for everything, that mega monthly deal, then you're more than welcome to do so. This has proven to be very, very popular. And this collection from Tracy Evans is included. Now, this is your monthly mega deal. We launched this yesterday at 10 a.m. We were so busy. You've got designs in there from Abs. You've got designs in there from Tracy. And you also have Janet's designs in there as well. Signs of the Zodiac. They are fabulous characters. That's 248608. Three payments of £65.92. pence. A massive saving of £56.97. But it gets better. Because alongside that... We will send out to you your free gifts with purchase. You are getting 11 freebies. Now, when I say 11, one of those, two of those, three of those possibly, are collections of stamps as well. So it really is an incredible deal. And that is worth over £90. I know, just for 65 92 today. If you're not a Freedom member, you can join Freedom today. It's £7.67 per month. It means you don't pay no P and P. It's brilliant. So you can order whatever you like and never pay any postage and packaging. Right, lovely to have your company. Great to be with Janet. Shall we have a demonstration? No, not Janet, Tracy. <laughs> I'm thinking of Janet. It proves that we've not worked together. <laughs> <laughs> you, listen, you can call me anything you like. Call yeah, me I don't mind. <laughs> um, right, Tracy, Tracy, so you've what we're going to have a look at first. Just as you were saying then about the sycamore key yeah. and you could use it with the kingfisher, you've just given me another idea. Have I? Yeah, because the sycamore key, you could turn it on its side, so that was the grounding. So instead of having it standing upright, you could turn it on its side. Oh, yeah. And then stand the bird on the, on the tw twig of the... That would be really nice. Do you, know, do you know why I'm looking at this now? If I turn it that way, it looks like a lady or a gentleman with long blonde hair. Or you could make it mistletoe. Oh, you could. Oh, big kiss under the mistletoe. <laughs> we, have, we have missed that. <laughs> Will it return this year? I don't know. Maybe just put a mirror <laughs> under the mistletoe and kiss the mirror. And oh, then, of course, dear. sanitise it in between. I think that's worse, actually, isn't oh, it? what have we got? <laughs> anyway, that's going off on a tangent. Right. right. <laughs> Where do I start from that? <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this card. And I'm trying to change the demos up each time that we demonstrate just to use different colours and different techniques as much as possible. Now, I like layering. Now, if that's not your cup of tea, at any stage of the demonstration, you can always pare it down. And I will actually point those stages out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my gel press. Now, I didn't bring an A4 block. I should have brought an A4 block to put my gel press on, but I've used my A5 one. It just about fits. This is a six inch um, gel press, circular. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Distress Oxides. And the colours I've got are Tumble Glass, Cracked Pistachio and Shaded Lilac. Those what are the colours. fabulous names. I know, I know. But I can, when I come I can remember them off by art when I'm doing my own YouTube videos. You come on television and it's like, all my words go. <laughs> That's it. That camera goes in front of my face. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Well, mine do as well. And I do this for a living. <laughs> no, I'm terrible. It's a good job I don't do it for a living, put it that way. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brayer and I'm going to brayer the ink just on to my brayer. And I'm avoiding the edges of my brayer just to make it a little bit easier for me, just so I don't create any lines. And what I'm going to do, let's move that out of the way so you can see. I'm going to brayer that paint just on the gel press. Now, what does the gel press do? For anyone out, I'm always conscious that there's new people joining all the time. And, you know, we go through our demonstrations, but there might be somebody sitting at home thinking, what on earth are you doing? This allows you to take detailed prints. Okay. So it allows you to take a detailed print from, from anything that you place on there. Obviously, you can't place anything sharp on there. No. But like leaf prints, 
you know, dried flowers, yeah. your stamps, your stencils, whatever you place on there will give you a print. But it gives you a print in a different way because it depends how you layer everything right. on the gel press. Could you do fingerprints? Oh, like yeah, you can do anything. You know, wow. it'll give you a different... But obviously then it's reversed yes. when you, you print yeah. it. But you can use anything to add texture to there. As long as you use no sharp implements yeah. or anything like that, you can take a perfect Amazing. print. Amazing. So I've used the tumbled glass. And what I'm going to do is just bray it. You're thinking, well, there's no colour there, Tracy, but there is. There's actually some colour coming off, believe it or not. It's difficult to pick up on camera. But what you're doing is you're creating two backgrounds at the same time. So I'm taking my cracked pistachio and I'm just going to place that. I'm not going to cover all the blue up. I'm just placing the cracked pistachio randomly in areas. Oops, I've got that many threads on my card. I keep pulling it. And then I'm just going to add that colour. You can pull your thread, but don't lose the yeah, thread. Yeah, well, like the, earlier on, I picked that and slung the card across the <laughs> That's like, oh, such a professional. <laughs> oh, by the way, if anyone's got any designs that you've created at home from previous collections from Tracy, I'm sure Tracy would love to see them as we're celebrating All and Create all weekend. Email your pictures in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com, and our lovely Meg will gather those pictures for you and hand them to Hugh, and Hugh will get them on that telly box for you. How about that, yes, Tracy? Yes, because we, we had some sent in last night. Did I don't you? think all of them were shown, so thank you very much to everybody that posted those in. Okay. So we're just going to add some shady glass just add another touch of a different colour but again try not to cover all your colours up so I'm just braying this on here to create another another background now the thing is the important thing that you need oh those threads the, the other important thing you need to do is just remember you think that your brayer has got nothing on there yeah. just give your brayer a wipe because there's a load of ink on there so just give that a wipe, because however many times you bray it over your card, it doesn't all come off. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Papasha's stencil, this rose stencil that's in the show, and I'm going to place that down onto my gel press. Just place that down, just press that down so it makes good contact. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this card that I was creating the background on my excess, and I'm just going to press, just to remove some of that ink, from the gel press and this creates us another background at the same time while you're creating so can you see that how beautiful oh, is that, that is background lovely. I mean for me that's a stunning background for another card it really is now you can get this stencil individually I believe we're going to double check that you can head to the website but it is in the collection by Bapasha, and that is something that Abs was um, demonstrating. It's in the Hocus Pocus collection, if you want to go for that. So we'll, we'll, we'll I don't know what I was going to say that. It is in the Meg set, but you can buy it separately. Um, and it is in the Hocus Pocus set, if you want that separately. But lots of people going for the mega monthly deal, that that is included alongside 130 stamps and two other stencils, I know and 11 stamps as part of your free gifts with purchase as well worth over 90 pounds don't know why i'm standing with my arm like this <laughs> like a little teapot this morning aren't i do you ever find yourself just standing and my arm starts to get higher and higher yeah in but the you're, end. you're perfect to work with though janice because then i feel quite normal <laughs> okay then we're fine i just carry on standing like this um, i think i was just trying to balance myself out apologies at home um yes i think you can get this individually but do Ah, oh, you can't buy it individually on this hour, but you can go and have a look on the website for that, just to let you know what's being used there. Uh, right, sorry. It's OK. Crazy. So hopefully you can see on the gel press, do I need to lift that up? Can you see the... There you go, you can see the print. I don't need to lift it up. You can see that there's the print on there. What I'm going to do then, what I've done is I've added some brushos or some infusions or whatever you've got in your stash let's move this out of the way because we will splatter it everywhere because that's tracy all over so what i'm going to do is just grab a scrap of paper as i move away from camera told you i was a professional so just place some copy paper there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to dip my um fan brush just get rid of the excess and then i'm just going to add a few little splatters just over now this is interesting because i've seen gel plates being used before i've got one at home and i've not used it yet but i'm not seeing this technique so oh you need to you need to get it out i do 
because it's great fun, Janice. And if you don't like paints, then use your inks. Right. Use your inks because yeah. it's a little bit more forgiving. If yeah. you're worried because you're you're doing it and you're thinking, well, the paint's going to dry and I've got to do a white print. Yes. If you want to start off gently, then use your inks because Can you'll get yeah. a good print most of the time. Can I use texture paste? I wouldn't plate. use texture paste, no, no okay. because it'll dry yes. and it, it, it may scratch on the surface, so I wouldn't. Got you. Got you. You see, you learn every day. I love this. So what I'm going to do now is take my card and I've got it on my acrylic block. I can place this over so I can see exactly where I want to layer it. Just place that down. Now, it's up to you how hard you press, but I love looking at it this way because I can see exactly what I've got. So I'm just pressing on there nice and gently and then I can turn that over and then I can rub because I can see exactly where I've got the card I can then give that a rub and if you use the inks they're a lot more forgiving a lot more forgiving so let's just remove that and then you've got a beautiful print so can you just pick up can you see the rose here yes. now the idea is if you wanted to, the reason I'm showing these techniques in this format is if you want to stop there and just add a sentiment, you can just add a sentiment. It's entirely up to you. You can turn it around so you've got different angles or different ways that you want your project. The idea is this is just a background, so I won't see a lot of the rows anyway. But for you, I'm trying to give you lots of techniques at the same time at different stages. So if you wanted to just add your sentiment and just a butterfly here, then that would be your card done. But I we're think going that's to beautiful, do, Tracy. You, but we're going to do a little bit more than that. Oh, Just going to chuck that on the floor because I can't be bothered to find a space. At it, to me, it looks like leaves blowing across a moon. Yeah. Or birds or bats. It's absolutely But also, stunning. if you do it at home, if you add more of yeah. these infusions or whatever, you get more of a mottled, more richer colour. But I didn't want that for this because the background's quite subtle. Wow. So you, it, it's important to do that. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our stamp set. Um, have I got the stamp set? I can never remember the names off by heart, but this is the one with the tag on as well. It's got the tag and the other butterfly stamp as well. So we've got the background stamp. She says, frantically trying to look for it on the... Just while you're getting that together, Tracy, yep. I'd just like to give people at home a reminder or an introduction, where are you? <laughs> or an introduction to the monthly mega deal. We launched this yesterday at 10 a.m. and we were so busy. And you know what? It's continued to be busy. It was a huge, massive stock. Of course, we're celebrating five years of All and Creator Abs. Decided to bring the whole kit and caboodle here to the craft store. We are extremely busy for this this morning. Over 70% of the stock has gone. I think this is going to be a wonderful gift for yourself. This will kit out your whole craft room, will it not? And there is something for everyone in here. Now, there are 130 stamps three stencils and your extra free gifts worth over 90 pounds and that's what you're seeing just there with the stencils and the stamps you have got designs from janet from tracy from abs in here and be pasha it really is an incredible deal all together now what you can do with this this could be dare i say your christmas gifts all bought in one place and that cost being divided over three months. You might want to give a selection to a certain family member. You might want to split up another collection and give that to a couple of friends that you have. It might be, and here's a really good idea, you might have a workshop and you might be getting back into that workshop. So you need something for people to come along and be inspired by and start to work with this could be your workshop saving as a freedom member 56 pounds and 97 pence and that's not taken into account the single savings apply to each bundle so technically that's even more but it's that free gift of over over 90 pounds that you're getting included my goodness you're very very lucky i don't know how all and create have put this together at this price but it really is an incredible deal you can go on the website and have a closer look at all of the stamps and all of the uh, stencils available to you if you want to if that helps you finalize your decision 
But what's finalising a lot of people's decision is that first payment of £65.92. Then another payment in a month's time and another payment after that. Now, that doesn't come from a third-party credit card company or anything like that. You can just simply tick a box on the internet and you've opened up your FlexiBuy because this is available on FlexiBuy. It really is as simple and as easy as that. We're not selling you a credit card. It's interest-free as well. And you will be able to take this and get it delivered to your door and then pay another £65.92 um, in a month's time and then another £65.92 a month after that. But I'm sure by, by the time that your third payment comes out, you would have made, created, gifted, or even sell your makes. Be inspired by the design team. Be inspired by what you see here on the show and the demonstrations from uh, the likes of Tracy. And then, of course, you can watch these programs again on Rewind. They will be available to you. And then you'll be able to build and create. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Let me just open that this way. You've got all your little characters from your star signs. I love that. And that's from... Oh, it gets even bigger. There you go. Get even more. Will it come... Look at that. <laughs> there you go. All the star signs right there for you. Can you see yours? I know where mine is. Mine's Aries. So I'm there. And I'm sure you'll be there as well. So Aries is the... Where's... I'll, I'll show you with my nose. That one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> the, orange, the orange one, that would be a better way of describing it, rather than showing you with my nose. I will sanitise this sample, don't worry. <laughs> I sanitised myself before I came in. I walked through like, you know the sheep troughs that they did on the on the farms? We've got them. We walk through them. Like when you've got a veruca at the swimming bath and you go through that little pool. I'll shut up now. Um, anyway... That's your monthly mega deal. Let's head back to Tracy. I was like, how do I follow that again? <laughs> so this is the stamp set that we're using. And I absolutely love this element here. Now this here, this clock, that was actually a vintage clock that I had. And we actually photographed that. And that's actually in the stamp design. So I'm going to use this stamp at the moment. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stamp this to add my embellishment pieces. But what I want to do is just show you how you can just extend the design as well if you wanted to create another card what i'm trying to do at each process to give is to give you lots of ideas of how to use your stamps so what i'm doing is i'm using cracked pistachio and i'm using seedless preserves and my card stock is six and a half inches square that i did the first sample on this is just scrap card that i'm stamping on but these are just for my embellishment pieces, but what I want to do is to show you how you can also extend this design if you want to create this into a card as well. Do you get inspired by nature? Tracy. Always, yeah. always, because I spend a lot of time in the garden. Do you? So I get inspired by colours. You'd be oh. amazed how often you can go outside, you'll, you'll see two plant colours together and think, oh, that works well. And that's just yeah. what nature's done. And yeah. I often get colour schemes from that. Do you? Yeah. What well, a wonderful quite frequently. idea. Yeah, I always get colour schemes from the garden. Oh, I like that. So what we've got that, that it's, it's quite inspiring. But can you see the detail in that stamp? I just think that is gorgeous. Even the clock just shows all its detail. And then if you want to extend that, just because a stamp is a certain size doesn't mean that's the only way it can be used. You can extend the designs. So always have that in mind when you've got your stamps. So what you can do, I've designed this so you can just place the circle just over like so and then you can extend that design we can lift our acrylic blocks because they are flexible oh and the acrylic blocks are available on our website as well oh look at that but you now wouldn't think that's the same stamp no so you've gone from a stamp that's this size now if you want to do a really long card yes you could so it's extending your designs and you're creating your own collage you're creating your own stamp i love that do you know what tracy we've had a picture in Oh, brilliant. Uh, we have had a picture in from Texas, America. Oh, wow. From Belinda. I oh, what I know Belinda. Texas. Oh, what, do you? Are they five or eight hours? It's going to be early, trust it's me. It's going to be early. They're about eight hours behind, aren't they? Five or eight hours behind. Belinda's a nutcase. She, she stays up <laughs> early hours. Uh, uh, we say that in the most respectful way. Yes, we do. Way. We she do. knows me. She knows um, me. Belinda has sent this picture in. She says she's loving your demos, Tracy. Oh, thank and you. And the new release. And this is a card that she's made with one of your previous collections. That's the hibiscus. It is. And Belinda's flower. always got beautiful attention to detail. And they're always beautifully put together. So it works That's really beautiful. well. Yeah, it is. Love and look how that. she stamped 
round the outer edge so then that you've got the stamps that's actually a long stamp and she stamped it round the outer edge and then adds the, added the center bit do you know what Afterwards. that looks 3d it yeah. looks like we can actually go inside that hibiscus flower that is incredible thank you very much for uh, sending that in Belinda and a very good evening good morning good afternoon or whatever <laughs> that's what I do is. when I do my videos good morning good afternoon <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thank you very much and I, I hope you're well and I hope uh, Texas is nice and sunny for you today tonight this afternoon good morning <laughs> whatever it is uh, right Tracy back to you I don't know whether we should work together again <laughs> So when you've stamped your inks onto your stamp, when you've used oxides, I, I don't clean my stamps, but when you use oxides, please clean your stamps. Why is that? Because if you don't clean your stamps after you've used oxides, because that's got a chalky pigmented layer, when you add your VersaFine Claire over the top, it will dull down the VersaFine Claire. Right. So just wipe it over, then use your VersaFine okay. Claire. I never clean my stamps when I use VersaFine Claire. I'll let it dry on there yeah. okay. because that just adds a layer and actually the printing gets better. Yes. Okay. But when you use oxides, always clean. Okay. So just going to block that. So we've got, I'm just going to chuck these on the floor and pick them up later. <laughs> <laughs> so when we've got that, we're then going to cut out and just layer our designs. So we've now got these cut out. So again... Your card looks completely different now you've cut the pieces out. So you've cut all these out and it looks nothing like the stamp that you did in the first place. So it looks completely different. What I want to do then is I want to stamp this element here. And when this was first designed, it was designed with lines all the way around there. Okay. And I thought, no, I, I want something a little bit more naturalistic. And my daughter rubbed away the lines and it was actually an accident. Was it? That she didn't do it, on, it, it wasn't planned. Yeah. She, when, you, when she was in the software, it got rid of some of the lines. And I said, oh, hang on a minute. I actually preferred it like that. Wow. So that's how that design came about. That's why I left it. So, so I'm now going to stamp that. And then always use your acetate. Use your acetate to decipher where you want to place things. So you can have it here, you can have it here. Oh, Just use your acetate. Idea. It just makes it a little bit easier for you. So then I'm just going to ink this up again with the cracked pistachio. And don't always think that you've got to stamp in black. You don't always have to stamp in black. You can stamp with your colours just to make it a little bit more different. So then I can hover over my circle and decide exactly where I want that. So I'm going to place that here. And again, I'm never in a rush. I always allow that ink to rest on the card just to give it time, just to absorb. And then you've got that. We'll just now give that, that could stamp. be an artist trading card. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. But that's what I like about stamping because when you, I always say that when you get the stamps, stamp them out first yeah. because once you see them stamped, sometimes ideas start to flow. That's a good idea. And do you know what I like about that, how you've stamped that on there? It kind of looks like the image that you've got it from is even bigger. Like yeah. you've cut it out from a backing paper. Yeah. Makes it look really interesting. It's like when you get a toilet roll and look through it and everything just like focuses. Have yeah. you ever done that? I love doing things like this though, sort of shrinking like the image. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it looks... <laughs> you look so much bigger. I'm like so that. worried about you, Janice. I really am. <laughs> I'm worried about myself. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to build up these layers. Okay. Now, with my original one, I added some sizal and i've been asked how i'm going how do i add this because normally i've had them pre-done sizal sizal nest so it's just so normally I've, I've normally got all the 3d foam all added and i got asked a question last night how do i add it all so i thought well we'll even go down to the basics so i just take my sizal nest which gets absolutely everywhere and you then end up blowing it so what i do then is i just take my 3d foam just take a piece of the 3D foam. I know this doesn't make super interesting TV, but what you have to remember is there are new beginners and we can't forget mm. newbies. No. Because sometimes if we race ahead and we forget newbies, then they lose interest because they feel like they're asking a silly question when they're not asking a silly question because we've all been there. We've all been there, we've all had to learn. So then I add the sizal nest so that it's stuck to the background. That's on, so that's on the Back, back. that's the on the stamp. back, okay. yeah, and I've added the 3D foam, so now I just sandwich the sizal nest 
in between because if i just stuck that down now there wouldn't be enough stickiness because the sisal nest is all textured got you it wouldn't stick so then i add this then take these off so now i've got my 3d element but i've got my sisal nest sandwiched in between which means it'll stay secure yeah and i'm just adding the adhesive on the top because that gives me longevity you don't want somebody to put these on the shelf and then the pads dry out yeah so that's why i add the extra adhesive okay. so what i'm going to do is just place this here just think about your balance now if you wanted to as i said at every stage of this card i'm always going to say there's a stage where you can stop if you wish i love adding layers that's my style it might not be your style so it's important as a demonstrator that we, we show you at each stage how you can you know take it either the way you want to take it or wherever so if you wanted, you could leave it just like that and you could just add a little butterfly here and a sentiment. You could keep it as simple as that because you've got the echo of the colour here that's here in the I background. See. So you're, you're then creating a cohesive design. Love that. So what I'm going to do now is just add... Now, I didn't add the 3D, 3D foam to these pieces, which I should have added the 3D foam, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do now is just do a little bit more stamping before she says as she sticks that to a stamp. We'll just do a little bit more stamping just before we add that layer. What I want to do is take my little A7 stamp set and I'm going to use it as is. I'm not going to use it on an acrylic block because I don't need to because really I just need the butterfly. Okay. I've got it all cut out but I like to show each stage when I'm stamping. Now when you're stamping whether you're stamping with an a7 stamp set an a4 stamp set don't be rushing with your inking even when you're on live tv it feels like you're inking this for about 10 minutes when you're on live tv but it's just important that you take your time and apply it a good layer of ink and if you're unsure always look in the light if you've got a good layer of wet ink and then what i'm going to do is just press this now i only want the central area but I'll just stamp it all out because it's just needed for the project. So if you wanted, you can just use this area here as your focal image and not use the background. But if you want, you can use it in its entirety. But just look at the detail oh, in that wow, stamp. Look at that. I mean, the detail in that stamp is fantastic. Is that a V for the number five? Yes. Five yeah. years all in create. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that. represented also by the clock element in the background yes because the clock element in the background is then echoed in the foreground oh, like just that. so it looks like you've thought about the design so what we've got is we've got those all cut out and ready just so that you don't have to wait for me to cut those out now what did who did you design for what did you design before all and create i've never designed stamps no. i've always been on design teams uh, and I've always been creative for about 25 years, always been creative. But Abs approached me to do videos for, because we used to sell online yes. classes. Um, and he approached me to do that, do videos for them. Um, so we used to do that. And then Abs said, oh, do you fancy doing a stamp design? I said, oh, no, no, I'm not going to get into stamp designing. He said, oh, you know, just give it a go. Uh, and he kept pushing me. So I did one stamp. Yes. And then I was hooked. Wow, is that stamp still available, I wonder? Uh, I think that might not be. It's the only one, I think. Oh, my but yes, goodness. Number, I wonder if anyone... Number six. Yes, number people six. Have got... If you've got that and you've made anything with it, send us some pictures. We have had a picture, actually. I'm making the team work really hard. Apologies. <laughs> but it's good to share. We have had a picture sent in, oh, uh, Tracy. Um, this one. This has been used with other stamps. Yes from uh, other collections, but still nice to see as, as you were once to design yes, them. Exactly. Um, and this one here is from somebody out there that sent it in. It's from Anne. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, Anne. Um, but hasn't she got uh, Absy's crosses there from yeah. his uh, oh, like wisecracks? That. That's a bit um, different, isn't but it? But isn't it funky how she's done like a yin-yang yes. with the yeah. sort of red, black, interesting sort of, i like to see other people's designs because it does spark off other ideas when you see people's designs i always think oh that's a good idea do we yin yang sort yeah, of yeah that's very interesting it's good that you've seen that oh thank you Anne, for sending that in isn't it lovely to see what people have been up to with all the collections that have been over the past five years with all and create what a great story from tracy as well you know never designed stamps before was on a design team that could be you at home you never know <laughs> you never know absolutely Trust me, if I can do it, anybody can. 
so I'm just going to cut this butterfly in half now what you have to remember is some demos take a little bit longer to do but because they take longer to do it just means then that you get a quality sample so what I'm going to do is just place this here and what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about the balance I'm thinking about not covering everything up so I've still got my rose background that I can see here and I'm just going to add this wing just behind the circles now I'm adding that pop of black just to bring to bring a little bit of oomph to the design so we're just going to now did you know that. you were going to do that before the show or are you just winging it no I did that in my sample no I do like to wing it but I did do that in my sample because when I was doing it at home yes. and I was actually creating the sample what I tend to do is I work in stages I'm, I'm a bit like when I eat yes. it's bits and drabs yeah um, <laughs> so it's like I'll go upstairs and I'll create for an hour I'll, f I'll get to that stage so it didn't have the butterfly on yeah and I know when I come back after I've had a brew or whatever and I come back upstairs I think no something's missing yeah so then I start experimenting so that's where the black came from so you didn't wing it no you're just flying through oh. your demonstration sorry Tracy they, I knew I knew the penny you dropped <laughs> you see when you get to my age you, you have to work a bit harder for the penny to drop sorry I didn't get it at all and I can hear I can hear you laughing in the background now there's no need to take the mickey <laughs> I, I would never take the mickey no of course you wouldn't I would never no. ever <sighs> Please don't email in and say I'm doing that because I'm sat. <laughs> <laughs> I was so half asleep then. Listen, it's eight. Well, I don't know what time it is now, but it was eight. It was five o'clock in the morning when I woke up. Was, you yeah. don't expect me to bring brain cells as well, do you? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I mean, so what I'm going to do now is just add. Now, when I was creating this card, I'm always continually thinking about balance. I'm also thinking about numbers. I like things in odd numbers, but sometimes it's just the balance and not necessarily the numbers and in odd numbers it's about the balance of the project again you could leave this at this stage and you could add the butterfly just here at the top and then your card would be finished but i always like to go a little step further that's just me that's just what i enjoy you have to do what you enjoy. So you think odd numbers is good to work with, right? Three, yeah. Because gardening, is, gardening is three and five. Three and five. I mean, I'm like, yeah, who buys seven of one plant? I'm like, I want more <laughs> plants in my garden, not seven of one. <laughs> I'm terrible. It's like, I need a hundred plants, but all different. Yeah. And, but I, any excuse to spend on plants, you see, for yeah. me. So me I, too. I spend a fortune on plants. I should bring cuttings in for you and seeds. I know, and I should for you as well. Yeah, but then you, because you, then you can see them growing in other people's gardens, and it's great fun. It is lovely. So what I'm going to do then is just add this here. And what I'm going to do, just a little bit different from my first demo, we've got this stamp set here with the toucan and the kingfisher on. Yeah. And I'm just going to use this background stamp just to add a little bit more detail. Now, I've just noticed in the stamp set, and I didn't notice this before. Yeah. Um, there's a little kingfisher. Yes, I did. I didn't see that. I yeah. saw the, the large kingfisher. It might have been because the packaging was it up higher up. It, on the it might have been. Yeah. And you've got another little one there, which is which is lovely. It's nice to have a smaller version, yeah. isn't it, Tracy? Yeah, and also you can create a background with that, so yeah. that you end up with a cohesive design. Yeah, very good. Oh, I like that. I actually that. think about this. Do you, you know, when I'm designing, I actually <laughs> think. <laughs> I think it's fabulous. I really do. It's great. It's great to get into your mind, Tracy. It yeah. really is, and and it's great to know how you design them because I think it helps people at home. Yeah, and I think anyone that's new to stamping, it, it really just gives you new ideas yourself. And also, I think it's important for uh, the viewers to know that you're not just chucking stamps together. Yes, you know, yeah, it's absolutely. important that you, you you let the viewers know that you're trying to put a quality image together. Yeah. It's not something that you take for granted. You know, designing is important for me, and I want them to be stamps that don't gather dust. Yes. I want them to be used. Yeah. So that's well, important. Well, they certainly will, because they're absolutely fantastic, the whole collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little stamp that was designed so that you can use it in exactly this way. And it's got the word wings on there and different things so that you're not. But what I'm using here, you're not meant to read it. You're meant to just see little bits of the text Aww. just appearing in the background. So just if you. Oh, yes, you can see that beautifully on that camera. See, I could do with these cameras at home. It works beautifully. So just add a little bit of detail in the background. It's just important. I'm going to leave that stamp out just so that in case I want to add a little bit more touches. Each time 
even when you demonstrate, even when I demonstrate, sometimes the demos change each time to where I started. So it is nice to change it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just add this one here. So can you see that I've got this flow here? Yeah. I'm not just dotting it here, there and everywhere. I'm leaving some open space as well. But there will be a butterfly here. But it's important that you don't dot everything everywhere and you leave some of that background visible. Yeah. So then what we've got is we've got this butterfly here. I don't want to just put one part of the butterfly in black without echoing it in another area. So I'm just echoing that in another area. So just place that onto your background. And I always take my time because I actually enjoy the process. I don't rush the process. Now, which stamps does that butterfly that come? butterfly comes from this stamp set the a7 stamp set got you oh that one yeah so in other words i've cut it up the little a7 stamp yes. set. i've actually cut that up oh uh, so you don't have to use it as a whole yep. you can use it as is and you can cut out brilliant correct yeah it's important that you showcase that as well just so that people realize you can cut it up and then what i'm going to do is just add one of my index clips to the butterfly body just to make it a little bit more interesting and then take uh, the stamp the same stamp set and just add we need to add some sentiment from the same stamp set we've got markings and colors of the butterfly so we're going to use that sentiment now a collection of butterflies is a kaleidoscope and the study of butterflies is left uh, is it left 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 oh, something you know when you start something <laughs> lep my producer is spelling it out for me which is not a good combination oh rubbish. no if i was leper lepidopterology i didn't know Lepa, that yeah because it would be a p because there's no h so it won't be lepidopter you study butterflies <laughs> But yeah, a kaleidoscope of butterflies. I you like see, that. I could have used that word in the stamp set. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Yes. For your next one. Yeah, could have used that. Or you or, could use lepidopterology. Or you could use me alphabet. You could use me alphabet stamp set. And you could spell it out. Yeah. Yes. That should be available on the website, the alphabet uh, stamp set. That was smooth, wasn't it? Yeah, smooth. very good. You see, we're working together. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm just doing is just cutting out my sentiment. Just, I you always use a larger pair of scissors just to cut out the sentiment because it's just a little bit easier. And as I would do at home, I just chuck all the little bits all over the place. I don't worry about chucking them all in the bin. So just add that. It's nice and peaceful in here, isn't it, when, you, when you're demonstrating. Mm. All of a sudden, when you go quiet, you think, oh, it's really quiet in the studio. <laughs> My voice, my big voice echoes. It's, do you know what? It's the power of the pause. It's nice. Is it? Yes. It's, it's nice to yes. have that moment. Sometimes um, what I do is I get lost in the moment of yeah. creating. So you forget that when you're demoing, you need to speak. <laughs> you, know, you need to not. I know the pause is wonderful, but speak. Now, just while you're putting that together, I'd like to just recap for people at home. If you have just joined us, we are aware Saturday mornings, people get up at all different times. You might still be in bed watching us on your laptop, your computer, your smartphone. Um, Hello, if you are, and uh, go and have a nice cup of tea and a cup of coffee to start the day. I could do with a coffee myself, actually. Uh, this is a wonderful collection. It's really great to get into the mindset of Tracy and to talk about how these designs were put together and how they started off as one design, then they changed, they were rearranged, all to get you the very, very best quality and to get this wonderful stamp set together, your flutters and filigree, your complete collection, the seven stamp sets, so it's not just one stamp times seven, there are seven stamp sets. So let's show you one of the stamp sets that you can see just here. I'll just turn this for you. Uh, you can see this stamp set has the butterflies in, the circles, that lovely tag as well. What a great idea to have a stamp as a tag because you can quite easily cut that out. It's a fabulous idea, isn't it? You've got your wonderful birds in there as well. I'll just turn this around to show you the uh, toucan 
and the kingfisher and don't forget that little mini kingfisher at the top as well with all of the other sentiments the words uh, you can cut into the words as well you could just have the word follow if you want to you could just have own path or your own path you don't have to have the word follow because you can do what Tracy is doing at the moment and cutting into those particular stamps some great samples from the design team to give you inspiration for when you get your stamp set home and you can of course watch these shows again on rewind so that you can stamp along when you get your stamp sets home whether you're using them in your journals whether you're using them to build and create notelets for example or little tickets of inspiration that you can put in your wallet and get out every now and again you're saving 18 pounds and 49 pence as a freedom member because you always save more as freedom members and if you want to become a freedom member it's just triple eight triple eight in your basket your freedom membership will start today and your extra saving will go on today which means your first payment is 38 pounds and 22 pence and then another payment in a month's time beautiful samples you can have something quite simple quite elegant and then you can also take the stamps and start to build up your layers which is always a favorite design concept of the all and create team but i do need to tell you that over half the stock has already gone this was launched yesterday at 6 p.m this particular collection um, has a great discount for Freedom members and you also get your free gift with purchase. Let me pick that stamp up to show you. It is your heartfelt stamp. Now this is worth £7.99. Let me just get this the right way around for you. So you've got all of those wonderful hearts on there. It's lovely, isn't it? 38.22 today, 38.22 in a month's time, 631 6 uh, 364. Give us a call on our new telephone number, which is, I'll see if I can remember this, 0330175552. There you go. The more you say it, the more you remember, or you can head to the uh, website, and the website is the best way to buy, or you can actually download the apps as well. Uh, so that's how you buy. We've got Tracy here with us all day. Now, there's a live show at 12 o'clock today and 4 o'clock. That's right, isn't it, Tracy? You're it is. Back, at 12 yep, and 4. back here yes. at 12 and 4 o'clock as well. Uh, right, Tracy. Okay, so I'm still enjoying myself and carrying yeah. on. Uh, I will try and fit another quick demo in as well. Some cards take a little bit longer, but I think it's important that you see the whole process. Well, what's nice, you've got lots of different techniques in the one card. That's so what I try to yeah. do. And I also try to stop and pause and show you stages where you can, you know, just pare it down if you wish to. So what I've done, I've drawn around with my Inktense pencil. I also think it's important to do a quality demo that shows it from start to finish. Yes. Just so that, you sh that, you, that I prove that it's achievable. If I just did every stage and just said, here's what it looks like before, it doesn't look achievable if you don't see me actually doing it. So I'm just applying that Inktense pencil just around there and I'm just reactivating it with some water just to give that 3D element. I like that. I really it like It just that. makes it pop a little bit more. So what we're going to do then is just add my index clips. My in Everybody knows that follows me. I'm obsessed with index clips. Are you? Why? Because when I, when I always do cards, I always like my cards to look a little bit different than everybody else's. Yeah. So what I'm always looking for is I'm either looking for vintage pieces yeah. that I can add, rusty nails, yeah. things I've picked up. If I add something a little bit different to my designs, it means that mine look a bit different than maybe somebody else's. Aww. So I always like to add a little personal touch. Now so. I shall look out for all the samples. When yes, we do I've had rusty shows. nails. And, and if I find like a that. little rusty nail somewhere, I know it's yours. <laughs> exactly. I've got a couple of rusty hinges later. <laughs> and a big rusty chimney are coming up at three o'clock today. <laughs> right. right, so what I've got now is we've got the House of Butterflies stamp set. And we've got this little butterfly text and what I just want to show you is that this is a lovely sort of my own definition not a dictionary definition just my own definition and if you want to know what that says it says a nectar feeding insect with pairs of large wings one of the most colorful vibrant insects oh so you can either stamp that as a background or you can stamp it just as an embellishment as I'm doing here. So if we just stamp that out, you don't need to press too hard and you've got a beautiful font. Oh, no, beautiful. beautiful. Oh, isn't, it, isn't it a shame that some of them, most of them actually, only live for two, 48 hours to, to a week? 
It's so, it's so, it it's it's so, so sad. But what I've done now is I've cut those pieces out here because I only want the words butterfly and a nectar feeding insect. So just because I've given you a stamp that size doesn't mean that you can't cut little bits up. Don't be limited by the stamps. Let your imagination take you in different directions. Now, talking of different directions and the fact on butterflies, I think it was quite a few years ago now, we had an influx of butterflies and they flew, I'm sure, I might be wrong, do your own research, but I'm sure we had a huge kaleidoscope of butterflies head over the Atlantic Ocean. Wow. They flew here. I'm sure I read a story somewhere it's a pointless piece of information. I don't know why I started it, and halfway through, I just wish I hadn't. But it's it just going back to how, you know, they don't live very long, but that, that journey must have been incredible for and them. And they're so beautiful. Yeah, they are. And that's why it's nice to have them on the stamps, because they mean a lot. They really do. But you know why I like them, though? I know lots of people bring butterflies out, but for me, crafting is about enjoying. And if a stamp's too difficult to use, mm. you know, it takes you, it means you've got to tax your brain so yeah. much to create something, I don't see the point. It needs to be an image that brings joy, that you enjoy using rather yeah, than, you know, right. sort of making it too complicated. Yeah. You're absolutely right. So I've got my Blackbirds here that is from a previous stamp set that's called Blackbirds that's also on the show. And I'm just going to stamp the Blackbirds and just stamp those. And you could add these to the gel press as well if you wanted to, again, to give you another idea. So I'm just going to stamp the Blackbird on there. How long have I got, Janice? You've got about five, about five minutes oh, left good, on, on the I'll have to uh, cut the little black beard out. Only because I've decided to add this at the last minute. But imagine if you're doing... Because this is AT, ATC size. Yes. So imagine that as an ATC with just a oh, touch of lovely. colour. You don't, you don't need anything else, do you? I love those blackbirds. I just, but oh, I love it when you do the thing. kissing technique where you add a little different detailing yeah. with that and you, you get a different design. Do you know what that is? A kissing technique. Yeah, so if you've got... Going off on That's 25... That's not a mirror technique. Going no. off on 25 different tangents. That's all right. I want to know how to kiss a blackbird. Right, so you've got your background stamp. You've got your blackbirds. And what you need to do is really, this ink pad might be a little bit too wet, but let's just give it a try anyway. So you ink your blackbird. Yeah. Take your background stamp. Stamp it on there. Let's see if it's... Then stamp. Got you. Your stamp. And you get the numbers in the background. Tracy, that is brilliant. Isn't it cool? That's, that is well cool. That's cool, isn't that it? That well is cool. cool. But it also means you don't have to design another blackbird with nope. that kind of Correct. text in there. Oh, my days. You I create your own stamps. That is absolutely fantastic. Isn't it brilliant? The kiss technique. We like that. We like can that. Can you do a bit more waffling now, Janice, while I just cut of this blackbird Of course beard I out. can. I can encourage people to kiss all over the country <laughs> with your stamps. Don't kiss your stamp, but you can use a stamp on top of another stamp. What a great technique we've all learned. And if you already know that technique, absolutely fantastic. You might want to use that with this stamp set that we've got available for you. It's proven to be very, very busy. Butterflies are very popular in craft. And as Trace, Tracy said, it's great to have an image that's easy to work with, that's inspiring to work with, which could be vintage or modern all at the same time. Don't forget you can use your stamps to build and layer your backgrounds, to make cards, to make wall art, even to put on plain wallpaper as well. And fabric, don't forget fabric. Creating your own fabric designs with these stamps would be absolutely fantastic. You can stamp and cut out, you can stamp and paint, you can stamp and layer up, and it's going to look different each and every time. Take the separate elements from the stamp set and cut them out, and it won't look like the stamp set that you originally started to work with. And that's the beauty of this particular collection, alongside other collections from the All and Create team. 631364 is your item number. And it's just one payment today of 38.22. Freedom members, no PMP on top of that. And then another payment of the same in a month's time. If you're not a Freedom member, then, of course, you don't get that extra 10%, but you do get a great discount. But it is a why not deal. So become a Freedom member today and you will be saving 
uh, more than you're spending. So it is a good idea to become a Freedom member today because that will get swallowed up with your set. You won't even know that you paid for your Freedom membership because of that great saving that you are getting. If you want to pay for it in one sitting, you can do. It's £76.44. But of course, spreading the cost as a Freedom member is the best way to buy. 631 364 is your item number. We've only got one minute left of the show. Can we make and sell with these? Yes, you can, yes. As long as you're not reproducing the images, you can sell to your heart's content. Superb. I love that. Right, one minute left. Yeah, no problem. Finishing touch. So I've added some white splatters and I've added my little black beard perched on there. Just a final little touch, which we'll put after us. Let's just mat and layer it so it looks nice and professional. Just add that to the black card because then it just looks a little bit more professional. And then just add your dome to the top of the B Aww. card done with that white splatters. That is magnificent. That Tracy, down, Tracy, what a joy. Thank you. Can we do it all again at 12 o'clock? We can. Or would you like me to phone Catherine to get her in early? <laughs> No, you make okay. me feel quite normal. Oh, bless you, <laughs> bless you. Uh, right, we'll see you again at 12 o'clock. Uh, we'll see you guys just after the break because we've got more coming up, more techniques, more inspiration and more crafty goodiness. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you after the break. Thanks, Tracy. Thank you. Bye. Right, we're pouring with paint next. Can't wait to see that. That's with Alex making buttons with Gina B after that. And then we're back with All and Create's fifth birthday celebrations. Have you heard of freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, press cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Good morning. Now, I love this sort of show. We have got some pouring mediums and you can create the most amazing pieces of artwork. You will see the whole studio dotted with these beautiful pieces. Um, and the nice thing about your pouring mediums is that no two pieces of artwork will be the same. It's lovely because it's almost like you're out of control, but like in a really, really good way. Uh, now, without further ado, let me reintroduce you to Dina. Hi, good morning, Dina. Hello. 
great to be here with you today. Yay, good stuff. Yeah. Now, I, I know we've asked you this a few times, but I think this is only our second time working together. Yes. But I know you've been on, you said about 12 times now. Yeah, something a good like number that. of times now. Yeah, good Absolutely. stuff. But just in case anybody is new joining us this morning, can you tell us a bit about your company, why it's called as well 35 Design Space? Yeah, so my um, business is 35 Design Space. Simply, very original name. We are the house at 35 and we have a beautiful design space, which is our studio. Mm -hmm. Uh, we run different workshops and classes. Um, we've got dates available if it is something you ever wanted to come visit us for. Um, we do the paint pouring workshops and we do some paper marbling classes as well, which we also sell the kits um, yep. with the craft store. Um, so if you ever did want some hands-on tuition, we're sort of in Cheshire. Ah, Cheshire. Yeah. Um, yes. And we do some lovely workshops for all of the craft the kits that we sell. Um, and you can come and learn with us and get some really nice hands-on experience. Nice, sure. good stuff. Right, now, if you do know about pouring, uh, then hold fire. Well, don't. Check out your baskets first. If you're not sure what this is, um, then obviously Dean is going to take you through. But we're going to go through the kits first off if you do want to get ahead on the website. So we're going to start off with the all-important pouring medium. Um, you've got your silicon oil, you'll get a canvas and instructions and just just for, I mean, like you were saying earlier, Dina, that it's not harmful, but if you don't want to get into a mess, you've popped in some gloves for us. Yeah, every kit contains gloves. You'll see in very shortly, um, it's not at all harmful, it's not bad for you. If you do get it on your hands, it's not a problem, um, but it's just going to get very messy very quickly, as yeah. you're going to see, so the gloves are a great addition to have. Amazing. So, can you tell us about, so why... Why do we need the silicon? What does the silicon do reacting with the pouring medium? You'll see in a moment, particularly when I get to the demonstrations, but we do add a silicone to each of our paints and it helps the paints kind of interact with one another. They make friends and that's when you get all of those beautiful sort of cells and those little sort of round details that come through your canvases. That's all there from the silicone. Right, I love that. So what we've done for you is that this is almost a little bit of a starter kit and you might already have um, your acrylic paints. Uh, is it only acrylic paints you can use or can it be other paints? For best results we would always suggest a soft bodied acrylic. Right. Um, there's different things that we've had a go at and it's a very very experimental process so I'd always just say if you want to try something different do give it a go but a soft bodied acrylic is amazing. We would always recommend the PBO acrylics, they're our personal choice and yep. favourite. Um, what comes in the, with paint kits and the metallics and the iridescent shades really do give a really beautiful finish. Lovely, so this is the have a go kit. Uh, £12.49 and 49 pence. and how much of the pouring medium do we get in this one? 250 millilitres of that one, so Good that stuff. one bottle will cover that entire canvas but probably not much more after that. So that's your one, kind of give it a go, yeah. um, see what you, how you find it, hopefully you'll love it. Nice, well people are already shopping ahead, we are now 10% of the stock gone. And you've only just seen it. And it's a very reasonable price at just £12.49. 900032. Now, if you don't have any of your soft body uh, acrylics, we've got some sets that do for you. In this set, then, you will get um, your canvases. So you've got two the same, and one is A3. A3, and your two small ones are a... Uh, 25 by 20 canvas Brilliant. Um, and then your full paints and all your extras from there. Excellent. Now here you'll get a job lot of your pouring medium. That is one litre. You've got your silicon. Uh, the paints are here. So this is one option. Uh, I think you called it the lava. This is the lava. Very Ooh. much kind of inspired by the um, volcano that's going off at the moment in the Canaries. Um, very sort of warm and lovely tones. You can see the two on the right hand side there. You've got a gorgeous copper shade yeah. and your iridescent kind of bluey black shade. They give a really gorgeous shine once it does dry, mm, as you can see with those. Beautiful. Yeah, I love that sort of metallic finish. You've also got some cups in here. Again, Dean is going to show you because this cup has got holes in it, but it's for a certain technique. Can't wait to see that yeah, one. Absolutely. Um, so you don't, basically you get this and you just get pouring because you don't even, you've even supplied some plastic spoons for yeah. us, the gloves, everything. Yeah, you're absolutely ready to go out of the box from that one. Just Mix up your paints in the cups provided, pop your canvases on a table and you're yep. good to go. Excellent. So that one was your lava option. And then we've got everything's the same apart from the paint option. Uh, so again, you'll get your three canvases, uh, your litre of pouring medium, your silicon, the sp plastic spoons, gloves, your cups. But this time, this one is the aqua. Oh, I do. oh right. Lottie is in my ear this morning. Favourite colour, Lottie? Favourite colour? Yes, there we go. 
Love that beautiful aqua colour. The blues are always super, super popular and mm. in their same kind of thing, you've got the gorgeous metallic gold shade yep. and that iridescent shiny blue, um, which gives a really stunning effect once they dry. It does. I love that. Right, so either of those options are £54.99. Item number is 536835 uh, and it is on Flexi by two payments of £27.50. Then again, if you've already got your own acrylic paints, but you want to do some serious pouring, then you can go for the set that's got two litres, so a litre in each bottle. You've got two of the silicon oil, uh, you've got your gloves and your instructions. But they are honestly, some of the, can I show some samples as well? Oh, lovely, uh, Baker's on it, Baker's on it. Look <laughs> at these that you could be doing. They are just awesome. I mean, it kind of looks like, some of them look like they're in outer space. Some of them look like they're seascapes. They are beautiful. Um, so £28.99 for the two litre. Uh, 096849. And I think there is also a one litre option on the website. Okay, that's on the bottom of the screen. Right, let's go for it. Let's have some fun. I just think this is brilliant. So let's say somebody's tuning in, never done this before. Can we go right, 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 right yeah, back to the start? Absolutely. So we're going to go right back to getting our paints mixed up so get your gloves on before you get started um, it's going to get very messy very quickly so mm, good um, messy. yeah absolutely good messy um, so I'm going to mix up some of this gorgeous blue shade that is in the aqua palette um, it's a really gorgeous kind of rich blue but generally what I'll go for is I'll add about a sort of two second good squeeze of paint so it'll make a little bit of a heap can you see that? oh yeah there you are oh. That way. Yeah, there that's it. Go. I know it's tricky because it's backwards. <laughs> um, so it's like a little heap of paint, not loads, but a good amount in there. And then adding to that um, our pouring medium. And I add it to about a third of the way up the cup. So I'm kind of about here. Okay. You can see that. Yep. And then grab your spoon and you just want to mix this. Um, it should look very true to color once it's in the cup, right? There you go, just give it a good mix and it'll look really nice and that kind of deep blue shade. Mm. Generally you want this to be about a kind of yoghurt consistency, um, whipping sort of double cream-ish, um, melted chocolate, whatever kind of works best to you as your sort of consistency, yeah. but about that. And if you ever see any lumps in here coming kind of off of your spoon, mm -hmm. um, any lumps coming off of your spoon and into your cup um, will remain as lumps once they make it to your canvas. Right. So do mix really nice and well. Um, try not to kind of whisk it and incorporate too much air, but if you get the right sort of consistency, you shouldn't have a problem at all. Nice. Just avoid the lumps. Um, particularly, it can get really exciting once you've done a canvas or two. Do just take your time with it. Um, you can't rush the mixing stage. It is okay. the most important part to get the right kind of consistency um, and a nice smooth paint. So and we're doing about maybe about three minutes of a mix. Yeah, you say? probably. Um, and then once you lift up your spoon, if you can see, um, it'll make a little bit of a heap before it goes back nice and smooth. Okay. Um, and that's what we want. Right. We want that kind of not perfectly liquid we want it very flowy but not so liquid that it goes very smooth too runny you want it um yeah. a really nice thickness okay <laughs> um double cream melted chocolate is perfect so aim for that yeah. um and then once you have all of your paints mixed up you're almost good to go and then to this um, i'm going to add my silicone so this is the 10 milliliters of silicone which will come with in when sorry in each of the kits yeah um not including the one liter um, and all you want to do is pop in about three drops maybe four so that's all you need that's so little, all you need right. so it's going to go a really really long way particularly with the two liters you're probably going to have a bit left over but you've got that that sum to play with okay and then just stir that in can you overdo the amount of silicon you put in? Absolutely. So oh, right. it can affect your um, consistency to an extent in that sometimes if your paint is ever too thin or you've got too much silicone, because we've got these slim edge canvases, it can just run down the edge a bit too fast. Okay. And you might end up with some kind of paler parts just along the edge of the canvas, which we want to avoid. We want it to look really nice and seamless and glossy down the side. And what effect do we get if we forget to put the silicon in? You just won't see as many of those cells. Okay. You won't see um, some of those little bubbles. Some people call them those little um, circular details. You won't see so much of that without the silicone oil. Um, so I would always recommend popping it in. But similarly, if you don't want that effect, do give it a go. Yeah, exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect.
Um, so that is what your silicone gives you. It's a really gorgeous finish. Um, really does help your paints interact. Yep. Some paints will interact better than others naturally. Like there's a certain the white that comes in the aqua and the blue that comes in the aqua palette mm -hmm. react really nicely normally. Yeah. Um, which is great. That's always what we want. Um, now I noticed you've yep. got a good top tip there because you've put some nails in, Absolutely. The, in the canvases. Um, so these, we're going to pour the paints and you're going to see it's going to drip over the edge. Um, so if we have these nails in the base. Um, we're standing the canvas just a sort of two centimeters or so off of the table yeah. um, and it means that the paint can just drip down and you'll get a really nice seamless finish it won't get stuck to your table mm, oh yeah. it'll help it dry a little bit faster too so and always recommend that is that a plastic sheet underneath it yep yeah, just yeah. a carbon bag. okay um, just something to keep your table clean yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, absolutely and then once you've done that you've got your paint mixed you've added your silicone you're good to go from there okay um, so in each of the kits, um, the with paint kits, you've got your pouring cups. I'm going to go for the one first that doesn't have holes in the base. This is just your ordinary um, pouring cup. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with the lava palette and just pour your paints into your cup. Um, there's no kind of specific order to this, um, but you can Ooh. change the way that you tip your paint. You can use the spoon and that'll help them not interact so much in the cup. Um, do build up nice kind of thick layers. You don't want to make them too thin. If these layers in the cup are ever too thin, you might just encourage the paints just to mix a little bit more than you might want. So sorry, was that pouring medium the first thing you put in or was that white paint? The first one is actually an ivory shade. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. Um, so all of my paints have been mixed up with paint right. and pouring medium at oh, this Oh, they're stage. already done, are they? Okay. Already done. Um, so they're good to go from there. And then just keep adding some of your paints. Um, so the lava is this gorgeous ivory shade and you've got the, this is called the Alizarian Crimson, but it's a sort of lovely burgundy pink shade, I think. Can look quite red when it's a bit darker and a bit more concentrated. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one really doesn't look that much in the cup. It looks like a bit of a sort of um, murky grey, but when this dries, it's a really, really gorgeous blacky shade with a really blue mm. shine to it. It's right. got a really lovely finish. Um, and then we've got the copper, which again, might look like a bit of a sort of orangey rust shade at this point, but yeah. when it dries, that's when you're gonna see all of that gorgeous shine. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of So that's quite a large cup full for the canvas. Yeah, I've probably gone a little bit more than I need, um, but this canvas is a 20 by 20 centimeter canvas, yeah. and there's a little ridge on the cup, and I would normally aim to go for about that ridge, about a third to halfway. Okay. So this is a good amount of paint for the 20 to 25 centimeter canvas that Wonderful. comes in the with paint kit. And from here, it I'm going to like do... It does. <laughs> um, from here, I'm going to do um, what's called a flip cup or a dirty pour. Yeah. Um, this is kind of where paint pouring really did start, mm. going back to the basics with this. So I've got my cup and my canvas is just going to go right on top. And do pop your hand on the sort of against the back of the cup or the top of the cup on the back of the canvas and then get a nice good firm hold of the cup underneath and then up and over from there. Mm -hmm and then pop that down where you're working. You can give it a few seconds for that paint to kind of come down from the cup and then just lift up. Whey. And you're gonna get a really gorgeous, almost like galaxy um, effect. Yes. I like to let my cup drip loads at this point. It really helps encourage the cells. So just let that drip. And what I've also done for a little bit of a different effect or finish is in this little spray bottle that I have. Oh yeah. Um, I've actually put some of the silicone oil into this. Um, so if you do go for the two litre, you will have spare. Okay. You can decant some of that into a little spray bottle. Right. And what I can do is I'm going to spray this on top and it's going to come out as a really fine mist and it's going to encourage loads of cells to pop oh, through. Wonderful. So, so that's you, pure silicone oil in the spray bottle. Yes. Okay. So if you have a good eye on top of the paint, if I spray this, you should hopefully see all of a sudden, did you see those kind of cells yeah. come through? Oh, this popping! Yeah, absolutely. And that's what it's going to really encourage to happen at this wow. point. Wow, it's like popping candy. Absolutely. Um, and from all of the sort of paint pours that we've done, the Alizarian Crimson Shade and the Ivory react beautifully together. Mm -hmm. So you should end up getting loads of cells from this. Oh, I love it. And it's so, it's so fascinating to watch it develop. Absolutely. You so, just see those cells coming along. I know they look amazing, don't they? Yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying. It really is. And then, so it's a really nice technique to go for a spray bottle effect. Yeah. Um, and then once you've finished, just pop your cup to one side. 
and just gently, gently kind of take that paint around your canvas. Mm -hmm. Try not to let it all come off of one edge too quickly. Um, I try and work quite slowly with it. You oh. don't want to kind of pull all the way away from you. Yeah. And then you're left with less paint and it's going to be a bit more difficult to cover these corners and these edges if you do that. And then I just use my hand as a little bit of a guide just to help that paint come through and just guide it over that corner. Just like that. Look at that. And you can see all of this detail. That's from where we sprayed that silicone. Yeah. You really see like the pops of the sort of pinky crimson shade. Nice. Coming through that ivory. And that's all from where each little droplet of silicone landed on top of that, mm -hmm. that pile of paint that we started with. Cool. And then what about the, um, what about the plastic cup? Can we leave that to dry and we, do we get a skin out of it? Um, you could, yes. It should peel out reasonably well. Um, what's really lovely sometimes is that what's on the table um, you would get a sort of skin from. And right. if you do have it on something super smooth, um, you would be able to peel that off once it's dry, use it in collage, use it in resin projects. Yes. So absolutely, your waste doesn't have to be to waste or go to waste. Mm -hmm. um, and you can use that. Similarly, the cups, we actually just rinse them out after we've used them okay. and reuse again, um, just to try and be as economical as possible yeah. and make the most of each of the cups. They don't have to be single-use plastic, so you can reuse them. It gets addictive, doesn't it? Then? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So that is your kind of flip cup with the silicone spray mm -hmm. with your lava palette. Um, this looks very grey at the base. It's going to be a really gorgeous bluey, shiny black mm. once that dries. And you, you really see the gorgeous metallic iridescent shades once you have a dry Oh, canvas. look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Love it. Seriously, though, you will get addicted to this. Um, I have a question as well. Does it, what, what other surfaces can we pour onto? Um, so other surfaces that you can have a go at, we would always just suggest use something that has some texture to it. Right. Um, like I say, it can peel, or it will peel off. Of, of sort of plasticky surface, right. so you can use a, your waist. Um, but similarly, it means that you can't really pour effectively onto something that has a smooth, shiny surface, oh. like a smooth ceramic. So not tiles? Not tiles, necessarily. Um, I'd recommend something like wood, yeah. um, prime it with some gesso, some sort of MDF primer, something with a bit of texture, prime it, and then that should work really nicely. We've done a really gorgeous sort of stool at home, actually. Um, we've done a little stool top, and you can do tabletops, things like that. Yeah. Um, you can do little coasters on... Um, we've, I think we've done there on like little cork board or like wooden chipboards kind of things, but it covers, so just prime it, yeah. and you can paint pour onto there. Absolutely. Oh, amazing. Really gorgeous do you know what paint. I'm wondering, or I don't know if it would gunk up your die-cutting machine, but you know the extras, so you're only saying you can peel it off the plastic, is whether you'd be able to die-cut with that. Maybe a mixed media dye. Oh, let us know if you've tried that at home. I'd be really interested to know. Um, right then, so I shall leave you for a sec then. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for the next one. Okay, this Have A Go kit is the most popular. Uh, we're nearly half the stock gone. Uh, so this is where you're going to add your own acrylic paints. I know lots of us have got lots of paint. Now, you've got 250 mils of the pouring medium. You'll get your silicon oil, and then you'll get the canvas. So this, the 250 mil, is going to cover that full canvas there. Uh, and you get full instructions as well. It's ever so reasonable. It's only twelve pounds and forty nine pence. Nine zero 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 three two is your item number. Now, if you don't have any of your own paints, don't worry. We can supply these. Um, and this next couple of kits has the Pebio um, paints popped in, which uh, Dina thoroughly recommends. Right. So this is what we call the lava option. I'll show you the paints first. Aren't they lush? You have got the blue. There's that wonderful copper colour. Uh, very, very nice indeed. You've got your like oh, rich burgundy red. And you've also got the uh, ivory. Yeah, the ivory's in that. Now you'll also get, now you've got a lot of paint there. You'll also get a litre of your pouring medium. You've got your silicon oil. So don't be fooled by that because a little goes a long way. You only need a couple of drops, as Dina's just said. You've got mixing spoons. You've got cups. Uh, you have got gloves in there. And then you've got your three, um, your three canvases. Two are the same size and the larger one is A3. This one is currently the most popular colour option. We are 20% of the stock gone. Uh, then under the same item number, you've got the Aqua colour collection. And just look at this. 
it's hard to choose which is your favorite mm. so you've got your gold your lovely turquoisey aqua uh, you've got the white and the deep blue so you could get some fabulous seascapes or skyscapes out of this one uh, again you've got your three canvases a liter of the pouring medium your silicon oil all your spoons and your cups and then the fabulous paints and uh, now you can spread the cost two payments of 27 pounds and 50 pence uh, or you can go for it outright and it's uh, five three six five no it isn't five three six eight three five um, now we have got a one liter so literally if you just want one liter of your pouring medium with the instructions then that's there for you at just 14.99 item number is five three three nine two eight or we've got the two litre bundle and this will come with two silicones, silicon oils. So I don't know, you might want to add the extra one in. Why not if you wanted to? Uh, so that is 28.99. Item number is 096849. Can I show some samples? Because they, we've got loads here. That's what I was saying, I don't know where you're keeping them all, Dina. <laughs> but they're, yeah, it's so addictive. You really can just make so many of an afternoon. It's very enjoyable, very therapeutic. Um, but yes, I have found myself with a lot of them yeah. um, around the house. Now, I'm just looking at this and the way you've got the little cells. Did you literally take the silicon oil and drip in? It's too strong almost to kind of drip it in. Oh. Um, I'd always say put them in your paints or use them in a spray where it'll kind of come out like a really, really fine vapour. Oh. Um, but in that, that was just that technique. It's way, the way that the paints all kind of mm. met and incorporated and they made those really gorgeous lines of cells. Mm. Um, it's a really lovely technique. It is because you'd think they'd been positioned. But yeah, no, absolutely. Just, just what actually. happens. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Check that out. Isn't that fabulous? You can see you've got a bit of the metallic in there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That does look like a beautiful swirling ocean. Then we've got other colours. I love these. They're just amazing. Let's do that way. And you, the, it's like you can see what you want to see in them. Do you know what I mean? You can absolutely. use your imagination. Yeah, absolutely. I think that they're a great kind of artwork for anywhere in the house, but especially sort of a guest room, somewhere where you want something soft and not maybe too too much of a sort of opinion, something that everyone will love. I love um, yeah. They really do kind of fit that. I think that they're gorgeous for a home. I could see these in hotel rooms, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that would be great. How have you done this one? So that one that you have there um, yeah. is created with the colander style cup that does come in the with paint kits. And you can kind of see, once I show you the technique, you'll see Good. how that's formed because yeah. we've got those almost sort of floral petals coming through there. Yeah. So the way that that paint has flown out of that cup um, that you wouldn't be able to get with any other sort of style of cup. You need the holes in the base. Fabulous. Um, I'll show you more samples later because I've got loads. Now, we are a third of the stock of the two litre bundle gone. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Uh, and that will have your two um, silicon, little silicon uh, bottles in there as well. 28.99.096.849. Next one, next one. So for the next one, I'm going to go in with the Aqua Palette. And we are going to go for the colander cup, actually, this time. Um, so this was the one that you've just shown. Yeah. And this has the cup with the holes in the base. Sure. You've got all of those little holes and I'm just going to pop that one right in the center of my canvas this canvas is the 20 by 25 centimeter that does come in the with paint kit and I have my paints just here and all we're going to do is pop those through exactly the same way as we built up the cup before with the lava palette say um, that again sorry exactly the same way that yep. we built up the colors for the lava palette and um, we're just going to layer the colors up one by one and pop those through your cup. Um, so Ooh. this one is the gorgeous gold. Um, so it, it doesn't look gold at first, It does doesn't it? look it. That's why I say you have to wait until you see them dry. Yeah. Because that's when you see all of the gorgeous finishes and those effects really, really do come through. Uh, how are you transporting all of these home? Um, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I we do get not. to put dibs on them? Absolutely. Um, they're normally left um, for anyone here that might want oh, them. Oh, that's nice. Um, if you do have a, a, a home that would take them yeah. I would please do take them Bless away you. because rather than let them go to waste they'll take about three to five days to dry so right. just want you just want to pop them up on a shelf kind of out of the way when you're doing them at home um, leave some plastic at the base because like I say it's going to keep dripping underneath the canvas yeah um, but just give them some time to dry they're not the fastest of dryers but no I absolutely do not take these home with me <laughs> I don't fancy the car being covered in yeah paint. it'd be covered wouldn't it 
Oh, that's an amazing pattern happening. And you can see how the cup is forming these really gorgeous sort of finishes and effects. You've got all these sort of petals coming through. It often gives you a really lovely floral finish. We've got loads of cells forming already. You can really see the interaction between um, the sort of tealy blue, which is going to be gorgeous and shiny once it dries. Yep. Um, you can see those effects forming at this point. And you've got all those lovely cells coming through. The white and that sort of deep blue often react really nicely as well. It's a really lovely combination. Just keep putting your paints through. Oh, this is through. fascinating. Just love it. See, um, I'm impatient though. I'd really have to put it out of my way because I'm terrible at sticking my fingers in stuff going, oh, is this yeah. dry? No. <laughs> Absolutely do not try and put your finger in it when it's still wet. If it still looks slightly glossy, um, it'll have a wet look to it. Right. Don't touch it too soon. Once you've got a fingerprint in the middle, it's not going anywhere. So do just try and refrain. They generally have quite a sort of matte finish to them. Right. It's a really lovely um, matte with a shine to it. Um, and, but it means that when you see the metallics, you really get the sort of shine of those come through. It's really contrasts against the opaque shades. Yeah. Um, so keep putting your paints through. Mm, it's lush. What about adding some glitters and cabochons and things like that? Absolutely. We have had um, individuals come to the workshops especially um, and say, I want to put glitter in this corner. I've brought some things with me. Um, you absolutely can do that. We are using acrylic paint. So yep. it is a sort of form of plastic. So it's, it will hold to an extent. Right. Um, if you do add some glitter, there might be some that doesn't completely hold, but it's going to be the same with any sort of glue base. It's not always going to stick yeah. um, to everywhere. Um, Generally, you could do, I'd add it at the end, though. Once we've right. tipped it all over all of the corners, uh -huh. that's your sort of time to add it. But similarly, you could always go in with gold foil, silver foil, mm. whatever, after as well. Building so, shapes. Exactly. Yeah. So if you wanted to kind of follow the lines of the design that you've got, um, you could absolutely do that um, after it dries as well. Um, so your possibilities really are endless. We had a really lovely lady come once to a paint pouring workshop who was a textile artist yeah. and she said, she came, she was like, I love what I've done, but it shan't be going off my wall. I'm going to take the, the actual canvas fabric off of the bars oh. and use the fabric. So you really can have sort of endless possibilities and have a go at all sorts of different things. Absolutely. I wonder if you can sew with it then. I think that was her intention. I'd yeah. love to see what she made, but absolutely. It doesn't have to be a canvas if you really want to have a go at something different. Yeah. It's a very experimental technique. You'll see in a moment some other sort of pouring vessels that I'm going to use. Cool. Um, and like I say, very experimental. There's a lot of things that you probably have lying around your house that you yeah. can have a go at pouring from. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have to be limited to just cups yeah. um, or anything like that. You really can get very experimental with it. Um, at this point, when my paint is sort of just starting to reach the shorter edge of the canvas for the 20 by 25, mm -hmm. um, I've got enough paint on here to be pouring. So all I do from here is take the cup. I'll generally tip from one side just to release that kind of suction that forms and then lift up and off to cool. one side. I try not to drip too much in the middle of this one because I like quite a clean center. Yeah, it's nice. It gives it a really nice sort of floral finish. And same yeah. as before. See, that's where, yeah, pop a little cabochon or something yeah. in the center. That would be really cool. Just pop it on at the end so that it doesn't affect the flow. But you absolutely could give something like that a go. <laughs> I'd leave it that shape and do oranges <laughs> and then it looks like a pumpkin. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely see that. And then... Oh, look. Again, I just use my hand just to help guide it, but you can see all these beautiful cells yeah. really coming through. They come through the more you stretch your paint. Interesting. Um, I work quite quickly, but you absolutely don't need to pour this fast. Yeah. Um, you can keep tipping for kind of five, ten minutes or so. You'll know when the paint is is kind of done and it's sort of drying or it's too thin. Yeah. It'll just start to move very, very slowly, and you'll reach a point where you'll be like, okay, I've definitely got as much movement as I'm going to out of this. Oh, um, look so at the centerpiece now. Exactly. The so really it really through. sort of stretches out and gives you a really gorgeous finish. And you can really see it's a very sort of um, typical finish of your colander cup you've got these really gorgeous lines coming into the center sort mm. of floral petals coming through and you can tip this around and you can play with it a little bit more you'll get more cells come through but if you want that center towards the base at all or yep. to one side now is your time to do that once you've got all of those corners and those edges covered if you do ever find that you're struggling to sort of cover a corner or an edge you will have loads of paint on your table at this point so right. I sometimes just scoop it up in my finger and just sort of touch the side or kind of like peel up and peel down and then that'll help you cover any white edges if it is something you're ever struggling with. Um, but that's your colander cup. Really gorgeous finish. We've got Isn't loads it? of 
lovely cells coming through. And this tealy, paler blue is going to be a really gorgeous shiny shade. Yeah. Similarly with the gold, which might look a bit mustardy or sort of ivory at the moment, mm -hmm. um, you'll get a really gorgeous shine in the centre. So I'm thinking of things. Yep. So I'm wondering whether... Would you still get, so, so you know the, the, the drippage that's yes. on the plastic, yep. could you then take like a little um, canvas coaster, dip it in that way, would you still get cells onto your, onto your piece? Do we you have tried in that you can kind of see the shade of my gloves, um, yeah. if you pop something down and up you're just going to end up getting it a bit mixed on that surface, okay. um, if you do ever want to put something down beneath where you're working, um, Put it down, and I would say consciously drip on top of it. Right. So where I tip this way, yeah. Um, drip onto whatever surface you want to have a go at underneath, mm. um, rather than print with face down, if that yeah. makes sense. And then tip with what you've spilled on top, um, uh -huh. rather than face down printing, because that doesn't tend to work so well. Right. Good stuff. And the other thing is, going back to the lady who maybe sewed with it. Yes. I wonder if it's once it's dry, it's quite waterproof. Like, if you imagine you're sewing your artwork onto a tote bag, bag or something, yeah. what do you reckon? Um, I would say give it a go. You just give it a, maybe a always <laughs> piece of, uh, just a scrap piece of material. Yeah, I'd always just say give something a go, give it yeah. a try. It's, like I say, very, very experimental. Um, it might, it's probably not going to be sort of completely colour fast to the extent it's, you maybe wouldn't want uh -huh. it out in a heavy, heavy rain shower, but at the same time, right. give it a go, see what you can do. Um, you can make, probably actually make a really cool... Um, little patchwork PVC style bag, have it on the inside Ooh. and a layer of PVC outer. Yeah. Um, so there's always a way that you can do something. So absolutely, if you wanted to make a bag out of it, for sure. Nice. Do you know, I was looking at your top. Your top even looks like yeah. it's been poured. I like that. <laughs> I did get this top specifically mm -hmm. for it because I thought I can't give it up. It yeah. does look like a paint poured top. Absolutely. It's brilliant. I like that. That is branding for yeah. you. All right, I shall be back with you in yeah. a second then. Now, um, proving really busy is um, this is the have a go kit. Two thirds of the stock has gone. I so want to have a go myself. Uh, it's so, it's, I went off on a workshop myself a couple of years ago and did this and I love it right so in here you have got your pouring medium 250 mils you've got the um, silicon silicon oil you'll get your canvas and then you'll also get your full instructions there but it's I mean it's dead easy isn't it seeing how easy it is uh, 12 pounds and 49 pence that's such a good price to have a go uh, and then you just add your own uh, paints to it 900032 is your item number then we've also got ones with paint, so maybe you don't have any of your Pebio paints. Okay, you have got in here, this one is the Lava Palette, and we're nearly a third of the stock gone, so this is what the paints look like. Uh, so you've got your blue, you've got your copper, there's the ivory, and then that one is like a really deep, rich burgundy or even mellow. Isn't that just stunning? Now, the other thing that you'll get, as well as your paints, is you've got your three canvases, two are the same size and one is A3. You'll get a litre of your pouring medium. You'll also get your silicon oil, uh, the spoons and your cups and some gloves. Now, I think this one, yes, yes, should be using some of the colours. That's fab, isn't it? That looks like the most rich flower. Oh, it's divine. Look at those colours. The beautiful coppers and the uh, burgundies. Stunning. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to find an exact one. I'll tell you what, I'll, do, I'll, do the, I'll show you the next set of paints and then we'll just do more samples because they're really cool. Um, under the same item number then, you've got the aqua set. So you get your same items. Uh, it, the only thing that differs are the fabulous paints. Oh, I just have to go for both. Oh, what about, don't Pebio do, um, might have made this up, glow in the dark or neon paints? There's definitely neon. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the glow in the dark, but there's definitely oh. neons. Um, so absolutely, give, I'd say give it all a go. There's oh. Pebio soft bodied acrylics. We absolutely love for pouring. They're a really gorgeous consistency. Generally, pretty foolproof we found very reliable um but we love them just for the metallics and the iridescent shades nice. because you can see on the cards when yeah. they dry just what a gorgeous shine they have yeah um and that does come through on your canvases as well um lottie's just had a little look online mm -hmm. for us and um the, what did you say lottie they do a phosphorescent gel try that if you've got it 
I've, yeah, oh, this is so good to experience, isn't it? But you need your, your basics first, so you need your, your kits first. So either of those options with the paints, uh, you can spread the cost to payments of £27.50, 536835. Let's show some more, shall I? I will in a second. Then we've got, so we've got a little trolley full of samples. I feel like I'm an air hostess. <laughs> anyway, um, so you've got your two litres here a litre in each bottle of your pouring medium. Uh, you're also getting the two silicon oils and you've got instructions. We are nearly 40% of the stock gone on this collection. Uh, 28 pounds and 99 pence, 096849. More samples. Oh, there's some lovely cells in this. That's so cool, isn't it? Nice. You could sort of see a sky, green hills going on. Oh, this one is jam-packed with cells. Wow. So is that a question of um, you added more silicon? That's exactly the technique that I started with. So oh. it's the flip cup that's been flip sprayed. Um, and you almost get these really gorgeous um, details and almost yeah. like an eye coming through. Yeah, There's is. so many layers of cells coming through. It's a really, really gorgeous finish. So um, I could Oh, sorry. You know, it's fine. Yeah. The one that I started with will have a similar effect, just mm. in a very different colour palette to that once it dries, and yeah. that's when you'll see it come through. Amazing. Oh, yeah, there's the one that we started with. So it's still it's still developing, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Um, and the shine really does change things. Once you see the shine when it dries, you see so much more detail. Mm. Now, this one that I'm holding, actually, go back to this one, it, it's almost like you've got an extreme close-up of a peacock feather or something. It's really cool. Uh, we've got this one here. Oh man, that's so cool. Look, yeah, can you see like the eyes coming through? A bit Halloween-y, nice. Um, have a look at these colours. Beautiful, warm colours, the oranges and the golds. Um, so if you wanted to, obviously, you could match it with your home decor, the paints that you use. Absolutely, it's a really great technique. It's really lovely because it gives you so much freedom. Yeah. You really can, if you're working to a specific colour palette for a room or a kitchen, whatever, um, you can work with those paints to get exactly mm. the colour palette and the finish that you're after. Yeah. It's a really nice way of making artwork for your home because you know that it's yours, it's one of a kind, but it's also not too expensive. E it's not exa exactly expensive either um, compared to what you might pay for an original artwork as Definitely. well. Definitely. Lovely stuff. All right, then, so on screen, what we've got is the two-litre kit. Uh, with the two little bottles of silicon oil. So you just need to add a canvas. I'm sure you've all got canvases at home and they're really reasonable to pick up as well. Uh, and your paints. Now, half the stock is gone. It's 28.99, 096849. The Have A Go kit, ooh, has gone limited, Dina. Amazing. I know. It's um, always popular. It is, isn't yeah. it? And we can't restock this today, so that's it. Once it's gone, it's gone. Are you back again today, or is it just the one you've got? Just the one today, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's just the one chance that you've got. Um, yeah. And the have a go, it's a great price point, but you it can is. always top it up with the other supplies too. Mm. Um, it's great, just give it a go. Great You'll fun. Nice. Uh, all right then, let's, what, what, what techniques next? So yeah. next up, this is what I mean by it's very experimental. Ooh. You're gonna have cool different vessels that you can have a go at from home. Yeah. This that I have here is actually a sort of plastic egg cup tray. Okay. Cool. Um, that ha I've cut it in half or so, um, so that I've got sort of eight little cells where the eggs were. Um, and this is going to give a really, really cool finish. Um, very distinctive, but definitely one to have a go at. I really do love this. I'm going to go in with um, some colours from the aqua palette, and I'm going to top it up with the copper from the lava palette as well. So I'm going to go in with five colours. And I'm just putting white down the back space of, these, of this tray. Mm-hmm. And we'll see what we're going to pop together. So I'm going to put gold here. Ooh. It actually does look like the egg white <laughs> and the yolk. Um, <laughs> oh, absolutely. And we're yeah. going to go for some blue. I love this technique. It gives it a really, really cool finish. <gasps> Speaking of eggs, what about eggshells? As in, you know how you can pop a hole in an egg, get rid of the egg inside. Yeah. I wonder if a paw would stick to that, or is it too Could well do. I was actually just about to say, an egg might, um, not an egg, sorry, a shell, could make a really cool pouring vessel. Yeah. Um, oh, in yeah. That, because it's got all of the little scallops on the end, it uh -huh. could be quite interesting. Um, that's what I mean, it's so experimental. Cool. Do just give things a go. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to pop the copper in this one. It does not matter that some of the blue has gone in. What colour is that one? This is the copper. So oh, this nice. is in the lava palette. Yep. And what I'm going to do from there, I've got a little mm. bit of paint on my canvas already. Do not worry about that. We're going to paint over it in just a moment. Okay. So don't ever worry if you do drip on your canvas as you're getting going. Ooh. And then you can yeah. see Ooh. these paints are kind of going to meet in this front cell. And then we're going to pour 
Oh, that is cool. And then I'm just slowly kind of working my way backwards, but you can really see the almost feathery effect that yeah. these are making as it comes down. Awesome. And just tip forward, get all of that paint out. And then this should be just about enough paint to be covering this canvas. Okay. This is the 20 by 25 that uh, is in the with paint kit. Yep. And we're just going to spread this out, same as before. Way. Hey. And this, I love this effect. Um, you will lose a bit of the paint at the edges in yep. terms of that's kind of what is going to roll over itself to stretch out. So if you can get an egg cup even that's like six colours, that would be really cool. It would give you mm. the opportunity to do something different again. Um, even the way that I kind of poured colour into white paint here, you can do it the opposite. You can pour um, white paint into colour. You yep. don't have to use all white. Um, you can do this with just the one co colour palette and use one colour twice. Um, your possibilities really are quite endless. I love this technique. It gives such an amazing finish. Mm. It's so detailed. And then... It's fascinating watching it. Will we get cells in this one as well? Yeah, so you'll be able to see some of the cells coming through. Yeah. Um, it won't be as reactive just because we've not allowed the paints to mix as much. Okay. Um, they've not gone through layers of each other. But you will start to see, you can actually see already, in, particularly in this dark blue and the white, we've got little sort of spots coming through. Just small at the moment. They'll probably stretch out as we stretch out the paint and cover this canvas. But you can already see the cells coming through. They're cool. just smaller on this one. Yeah. And then just get that over that edge. And then now, once all of your corners are covered, you really have the freedom to play with what movement you have um, and create a finish that you like. So I might take this a bit this way and play with it. And we've got a really gorgeous curve coming through. And you can definitely see, you can see particularly this sort of blue, there's a little spot just in the middle there, that's oh, yeah. your cells coming through. Yeah. And they will keep developing. For as long as this paint is still moving, um, your cells will keep developing and growing, but they will develop more. The more you stretch out this paint, the more you're gonna see them coming through. Um, so that is your egg cup. Do give different things a go. It's a really gorgeous finish. Um, you can almost sort of pour through bottle ends now, the way that they're kind of floral you can tip them upside down on the top yep. of your canvas for a different finish again um absolutely but that is your 20 by 25 with the um aqua palette with also the copper added from the lava i definitely try it the other way as well so that you're adding the white into yes, it rather absolutely. than the uh, yeah look now that again this this bit here that looks like an eye <laughs> we're just about to come to it look at that that an eye with all of yes, this. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they really do layer up in the cells, um, mm -hmm. and it depends how you pour it as well. You might see more of the colour and less of the white. Yeah, really it depends how they mix. Like I say, every single one is going to be completely different, um, which is part of the joy of them. Yeah, look at that. That is fabulous. Now we have news: the Have a Go kit that has sold out, uh, and we can't get any more back today. Here it is. Um, so if any do bounce back, then of course we will let you know. Uh, but thank you and enjoy. You just need to add your own paint. Now we've also got the uh, two litre kit. That is 60% of the stock gone. A uh, litre in each of your pouring medium bottles and then you've got your two silicon oils and instructions. That is £28.99. 096849 is your item number. Okay, next then. We do have the complete kit everything that you need including the paints this one is the lava palette that is cool you've got your deep rich blue um, there is the copper the ivory and that fabulous rusty burgundy shade it's really deep and rich so you'll get those you'll get the um, two slightly smaller canvases and the a3 canvas you've got a liter of the pouring medium the silicon oil um, Dean has popped in some spoons and some cups, so literally, and you get instructions, so literally you just start playing. Now, under the same item number, we have got the Aqua collection. You'll get some great sea and uh, skyscapes here. Ah, look, again, another really gorgeous, deep, rich blue. Then you've got the white, you've got the aqua colour, and that beautiful gold. And again, you get everything else that you need. Canvases, a litre of the pouring medium, the silicon oil, 
loads of spoons and the cups. Nice, £54.99, pence, 563835. And then I've got some more. Oh, did we want to do the two litres? Oh, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I stopped. OK, here is another one. Um, and you, I think there was some air bubbles in this one, but I quite like it. Where they've sort of popped. That's really cool. And there is more. There's so much more brilliant ones. That I feel like we're in outer space with that one. Like a really wonderful galaxy. Next. You've got some brilliant cells in this. Look at all those colours. Got like rainbow cells, really cool. Big cells. So, Dina, yes. how do you make, um, how do you adjust the, the different sizes of the cells? There's different types of silicones that you can use um, to create some different effects. Um, so, the silicone that comes with the kits will give you a sort of large to medium size. Okay. But there's so many different sort of finishes that you can create um, different silicones from different stores can give you different finishes um, so if it is something you ever wanted to have a go at do you see what else is um, available ours like I say is medium to large ish yeah um, but like it's very experimental some of the things that we have tried are definitely not craft materials but right. can give you sort of different finishes um, like I say anything kind of goes when you're paint pouring yeah you really can't go too far wrong with it That's so cool. Once you've got the consistency right, you've got a really good pouring medium, mm -hmm. um, which we would say ours is amazing, and you really can't go too far wrong. So if it is something that you wanted to play with with yep. your silicone, uh -huh. you can do that once you've got all of your base right. Absolutely. Amazing. Lot is just asked in my ear, which is another really good question. Could you mask a bit of the canvas off somehow and pour around it, but then you'd be able to take what, whatever the item is out so that you've got... Do you see, like a little aperture? Yeah, so you might, I'd say, like I say, anything goes, give yeah. it a go. Um, you might struggle just a little bit because of the paint being sort of so flowy. Um, if you peel it off, you'd have to take it off when it was still wet. Right. Some of that paint might kind of spread. Yeah, that But you could sense. also master the point at which your paint is still liquid enough to take off that tape, yeah. but then not spread. So yeah. maybe once it's dried for a day or so. So give it a go. But you can also experiment in that um, all of the techniques that I've done have just been color straight onto the uh -huh. canvas. Yeah. But what you can do is you could start with, um, say, white down 50% of that canvas right. and then paint through the other half. Cool. And then you'll end up with a sort of white side to that canvas. Mm -hmm. um, it will um, integrate to an extent, but you'll have a defined part that's just white and a defined um, sort of coloured area mm. so that you can give that a go you can use multiple cups it doesn't always have to be one yeah particularly when I'm using a larger canvas that's when I'll be using multiple cups I'll do multiple flip cups multiple colanders yeah um, so there really isn't a sort of um, limit to what you can create at all yeah amazing absolutely Lovely. Shall we, shall we do another one? Absolutely. So um, I'm going to go in with a different colour palette for this one. This is actually a colour pop, which we do have some stock of online with the craft store. And I'm going to go for what's called a ring pour. And I'm going to fill up my cup. This one doesn't have any holes in the base. Same kind of cup that we started with for the flip cup. And I'm going to pop these colours in. Did you say, apologies, I missed it. Did yes. you say this was the colour pop? Colour pop palette. Right. So we've got a really gorgeous iridescent pinky red, a black, um, mm. A deep dark violet purple. Oh, my favourite. And an iridescent orangey shade. Um, very kind of galaxy esque almost. Um, really, really gorgeous contrast with the deeper shades and the iridescence. Yeah. Um, I do love the finish of this. I personally love a really dark, kind of moody esque canvas, yeah. the ones that have quite a lot of black in them. Um, and this really does cater to that if you are into that kind of effect. But the, honestly, the iridescence when they dry. It's just a gorgeous contrast and finish. Mm. Same as before, just fill that cup up. Uh, just while you're filling that up yes. then, we will just show you the options. Um, it's a different item number to these ones, I believe. So this one is the colour pop. Look at those colours. So you've got the orange, the red, the um, purple and the black. And again, you get everything you need in there. Ah, uh, there you go, you can see all those wonderful colours. Okay. The marina one is now limited. Right, you've been shopping ahead. Um, <laughs> two payments again of twenty-seven pounds or fifty pence. One nine three zero eight four. So slightly similar to the Aqua collection. 
the blues are always very, very popular, yeah. so we always want to cater to those because they're always a people pleaser. Everyone loves a blue mm. colour palette, a seascape, a skyscape, yeah. like you say. Um, I love them. I do tend to sort of go for either the dark moody or the bluey tonals. Right. Um, so with this, go. um, I'm going to go for what's kind of called a ring pour. Um, I've shown the agate pour before on different craft store shows. Yeah. That's a similar sort of style, slightly different as, um, finish sort of aesthetic when we go for the ring pour. So I'm going to start from the middle and stay in the middle with this one. And I'm just going to take sort of circles. It's going to come out a little bit uneven just to get started. And then we're going to take nice sort of circles around. Ooh. And we're going to get loads of detail come through this way. Yeah. It's so addictive to watch. I think this is one of the best techniques to watch, just because it's it's very therapeutic. It's sort of, you just see it growing from yeah. the middle. Yeah, amazing. You've got that technique down. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some practice. Yeah. Um, it's definitely one to have a go at once you've got a bit of a steady hand, once you know what you're doing. Um, give the agate technique a go first. Um, have a look at some of our previous shows to see that one. Um, but like I said, you don't have to start from the centre. You can absolutely freestyle and Freestyling. go wherever you like to tip your cup. Um, so, same kind of thing as before. I've lost a bit down this edge, which is not what you'd aim for, but not a problem. It's all right, live TV. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got loads of cells coming yeah, through the middle. Absolutely loads of them. So this is one of the techniques that sometimes I might choose not to put so much silicone in to not have all of the cells in the center, but it's kind of personal preference to yeah. what you might like to make. Um, and then again, just use my hand to help guide it down. And then just help spread that paint out. And you can see we've got loads of gorgeous detail coming through where all yeah. of those lines were kind of poured and met. Whee. And then same kind of thing down this edge. So you can really choose what sort of sections you like uh -huh. in that I quite like all of the lines and the sort of linear detail. Yeah. So I might take it this way. I definitely had a bit more paint than I needed. So I've kind of got the freedom to just say, I don't want all of that. I'll take it this way a little bit and then just play and extend. Because you've got time. Like I say, you've got five, ten minutes or so yeah. and a lot of time to tip and pour your canvas to make this effect and you can see the really gorgeous kind of linear sort of style at the top wow. that you'll get from a really detailed ring pour and you get loads and loads of little details and we've got loads of cells coming yeah they the are section. amazing so you've always got a little bit of a 50 50 on this one yeah. super detailed lines and huge cells um you'll get different finishes with different silicones different yeah. ways that you pour everything like that um again it might look kind of very purpley pink at the moment, but when the cells dry, sorry, not the cells, your paint, yeah. um, you're really going to see where that pinky red shade is going to come out really, really vibrant and shiny. Similarly for the gold, which you can only kind of see as a sort of, I'd say a sort of mustardy ivory shade at the moment. Uh -huh. And you'll see that as the gold once it dries. A really lovely technique to have a go at. Yeah, I like that a lot. Again, I'm seeing, sort of seeing galaxies in yeah, those colours. absolutely. They are just beautiful. Really gorgeous sort of colour palette, something a bit different if that's what you're into. I personally love the darker shades, so cool. big fan. Um, so those colours there that Dean has used, um, that was the colour pop. Again, we'll show you those beautiful shades. You've got, um, now you've got the purple, well it's like violet, isn't it? The red, the orange and the black. That's your colour pop palette and you get everything that you need. There is a marina palette under this item number, but that's, uh, as you can see, it's got green on the screen because that one has gone limited. You've been shopping ahead, there it is. So what have we got in there? We've got the white, the green blue, uh, the iridescent one, iridescent gold, and then a Payne's Grey, lovely. Two payments of 27 pounds and 50 pence if you wanna spread that cost. 193084. Now we've got um, some more colour options but under a different item number. This one is the Lava Colour Palette and it is proving very busy indeed. Two thirds of the stock has gone. In this one you've got that wonderful deep rich rusty burgundy, the ivory, the copper and then that fabulous iridescent blue. It's beautiful isn't it? Uh, now you've got a lot of paint there. They're big tubes that you've got. Plus you've got the canvases, two of the same size and one A3, full instructions, a litre of the pouring medium, you've got the silicon oil, uh, spoons, cups, everything that you need. Then under the other colour option, 
same item number we've got the aqua collection that deep rich blue the white the turquoisey color and then the gold lush uh, 27 two payments of 27 pounds and 50 pence item number is 536835 then we've also got if you've got your own uh, acrylic paints we've got the two liters of the pouring medium with the silicon oil and uh, you've got full instructions 28.99 um, let's have a look then so you've done four this hour yeah we've done four and you can really see how the cells have developed particularly in this colander cup it's just gone wild got a really gorgeous finish to it and then we've got the details coming through um, in all of the others. You've got the cells coming through in the egg cup um, yeah. one as well. Um, but, I mean, you can really see the white coming through on the colander one that we've done today. Um, all from your silicone. That's yeah. where you'd get that from. That's beautiful. And if I may, if I may ask my director, because this is a particular favourite. It's absolutely beautiful. What, and how did you get this technique of all the flowy bits? Um, that one was actually a flip cup. So... It's the biggest kind of, I would say, wow. lottery unexpected finish of a technique, yeah. your um, flip cup. You never know quite what's going to happen. I would always say give it a go. I've shown you, shown you what I've done, yeah. but there's always going to look completely different. Um, you never know what colours are going to win, yeah. what colours are going to be the dominant um, tops and sides and everything, and where that sort of river is going to form. But that was what that one was, um, was your um, flip cup. And you'll also help generate some of those effects in the little rivers and the... Um, certain areas going through it yeah. um, by using multiple cups as well Ooh. so it's definitely something to play with once you're on a bigger um canvas scale yeah. um than that one yeah absolutely oh i've really enjoyed that dina do you know when you're next in not at all oh yes we're in in december the first i'm oh, gonna say the date as well yes <laughs> and uh if you want to if you're in the cheshire area workshops absolutely we've got paint pouring and marbling workshops coming up so do head on to our website and have a look excellent wonderful stuff please do check out your baskets this is so addictive absolutely love doing our pours and then you have got the most amazing pieces of artwork to display next then we are making buttons with gina b uh, later we're back with abs for the all and create fifth birthday spectacular and then i think we're with tracy after that Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Did you know you can watch the Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Craft Store app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Craft Store app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect it to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do this, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select the apps from the menu that appears. Scroll to the Craft Store app and then press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have 
designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows. A very good morning to you. I hope you are well and I hope you're enjoying your morning. I don't know what the weather's doing outside, but stay indoors with us and stay inspired because we have got a fabulous show lined up. And we're celebrating 10 years of craft television with our lovely, fantastically talented Gina B. Hello. How are you, Gina? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Oh, I am top of the morning. You are top right of the morning. This morning. Um, how has the past ten years been for you on craft television? Lovely. What an achievement. Lovely. Yeah, I'm really pleased actually. Oh. But, yeah, because um, it is a different thing that we bring, so it's really nice that we can still be bringing it. The world of television. How has it changed you and your business? Um, we have a much farther reach. I mean, originally I was producing things like this for costumers, hmm. um, for reenactors, which is a very small market. And then I started teaching and sort of got onto the TV with a little slot and sold the teaching things. And it was like, oh, wow. So now we've got like all these products, everything else, as opposed to just teaching how to do the Aww. things so it's really nice it's really nice and so thank you to everybody Aww. who's sort of been with us for the journey and to my wonderful design team Anne and Chris and Gillian in the beginning as well to really well, who have congratulations. Thank you. congratulations and what a way to celebrate then with a brand new book a gift with purchase and the book's going to be signed as well by Gina, I know. Very exciting, <laughs> very exciting. Um, let's take you through what you're getting with the book and the inspiration. Um, now, a third of the stock has already gone. We're very busy, Gina. Now, this is your second book. I believe there's 72 designs in here. Is there that are right? there's 72 mm -hmm. in there, and you've also got. Um, as before, you've got a bookmark with a bonus button on it as well, so another design. Oh, so. now inside the book, we all learn differently, don't we? Yes, yes. I like pictures. Are there pictures there in here, Gina? There are definitely pictures. There's step-by-step -step pictures, yeah. and then there's my um, shorthand, which is fully explained as well. So you've got sort of written explanation, You've got the step-by-step -step pictures, which I know that even people, you know, with a language barrier yes. can go through and figure out most of these as well. I think you'll agree at home, those pictures there, very, very clear as to how you start to thread your buttons. And it is an art form, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's, I mean, thread-wrapped buttons have a really, really long history. Um, there were button makers in Macclesfield documented in the 1570s. Wow. And um, I know of a very early sort of wrapped button um, that uses sort of these techniques going back to the 15th century. So, 15th century? Yeah, the, it's a really, it's almost an obvious technique, but it isn't. And it, when, you, when you see it and you realize that actually there's very little needle weaving going on. Yes. I mean, in this book particularly, I've, I've kept the, the weaving to a minimum. Yes. Um, so we can save that for another book. <laughs> um, but as you can see, the patterns look as though they're woven. Yes, they do. And that is the threat, the wrapping method. Wow. That can anyone it. pick up I this think particular so. craft? Yeah, well, I think so. I mean, different people like different types of buttons and and techniques better than one or the other. But I mean, I think that thread wrapping is actually very easy because it's non-permanent until you make it permanent. I'll explain that when I, yes. I demo. But basically, you almost, you're not even wasting anything because you can just unwrap it. Yes. Yeah. So, Start you know, again. you can get yourself used to it and practice it and it's, I enjoy it. Very uh, therapeutic. Well, I tell you something, people are enjoying it out there already. Over half the stock has gone. This is your free gift with purchase. I love this. I remember we did a show with the stamps. Yeah, and um, and, and they proved to be very, very popular. Yeah, and so these are these are like um, 
a special edition. Um, we had people asking from one of our from our blue and white embroidery kit, for instance, for the bird on its own. Yeah. And so now we have the bird stamp, but you have a, a matching pair. So that with is the fabulous. birds. Yeah, you can and see. And then the so you can make up some tags, you know, so handmade button and do extra That's little so embroidery. pretty, isn't it? That's your free gift we purchase with anything on the show. Uh, so that's good news. But extremely busy for the book. So big congratulations. Thank you. Very busy. The bundle, you can get the book on its own, but the bundle itself, that's where you're going to get the signed edition of the book. And you've got the buttons to start working with. And you've also got that saving as well. Saving £6.50 is just £29.97. It's an incredible price. It really is. The book on its own is £16.99. Don't forget, you've got that bookmark in there as well with that extra project. 72 projects in the book. Does the 72 include the one on the... No, no, that's the seventy. That's seventy-three. Wow! But then you've also got ideas for for variations. Yes. So there's there's a list of suggestions to sort of say, well, try this and try that. And I think once you get started um, with anything with button making, you by the end of it, you'll be designing your own anyway. Yeah. Um, I've also included in this book. Gina, I'm ever so sorry. I've got to interrupt you. Eighty percent of the stock has gone already. Five Thank minutes you. into the show, I don't think it's going to last. So if you have just joined us, maybe you've just had a cup of tea. You thought, oh, I'll come in six minutes into the show. Um, don't miss out on the book. 80% has gone. It's a signed edition. It's that complete collection. Details on your screen for that bundle. It is an, a, it's a brilliant gift for yourself to start a brand new craft. But I just thought I'd let you know that 80% of the stock has gone. Sorry for interrupting, uh, Regina. Back right. to you. Thank you. Um, I've also included in the book um, a, a technique that I don't know of historically that I refer to as backward wrapping that I came up with um, during one of my one button a day challenges. Okay. And it's sort of a little, it's a little bit odd, but it does help to create some very interesting patterns in mm. it as well. So I've included that at the end of this book as wow. well. So more, a little bit more of an advanced technique. Well, I've got a lovely sample here of buttons, and you can see just how brightly coloured they are. You can use any coloured thread you like. You do get uh, two coloured threads with your complete kit to start you off, but of course you can use other threads to start to build and create your designs. And then you can use these as decorative elements on a card, decorative elements on clothing, for example. I've clocked that you've got a nice little bracelet on, Gina, yes, with your buttons yes. on there. That's, I always have to have a button bracelet. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> you that can't, is you so can't live life without a bracelet full of buttons. You certainly <laughs> can't. <laughs> uh, limited stock now on the bundle. Please check out your baskets. Make sure you get that for your 73 designs, actually, because you get the extra design on the bookmark. Now, the item number for the book on its own, let's give you the details for that. Will the book on its own be signed, or is it just in the bundle? Uh, no, just the one in the bundle. <laughs> Excuse me, we'll right, just in the yeah. bundle will be signed. If you want to get hold of that, that's limited stock. The book on its own, what a great gift. So the book on its own, let's just pick that up and show you there. £16.99. pence. You also get the bookmark included in that. So that's your 73 projects. Now, the bundle has sold out. Congratulations, ah, thank you. Gina. Um, but I do have some good news for you. We do have some more on a seven-day extended yeah. delivery. Can I ask the question, will those be signed as well? Yes, those ones will be signed as well. The seven mm. days will give us a chance to get everything <laughs> and get it all packed. Oh, I was going to say there'd be a lot of wrist action doing signing all of that. So do make sure that you take care of that wrist. Right, let's move on because we're extremely busy for that. Now, we've got some wooden tools for you on the show. When I came into the studio, I thought to myself, right, I was trying to imagine what these were used for. Uh, but it is really easy is really and simple, simple, isn't it? Actually, yes. Okay, so anybody who's done any thread wrapping knows that one of the techniques is to actually hold the button on a stick or a spike, which is why in the bundle you do have a stick in, in with that. Okay. Okay. And so what this is for is so that you can do not just thread wrapped buttons, but you can do um, other decorative elements on buttons and hold them. So there's two different sizes. Um, the tapered point allows you to go through different size holes, for instance. Um, but you may, if you consistently use the same size hole, you may wish to just trim down the very pointy part. Um, the skinnier one does fit in the tool tin as okay. well. So it's something that you can take away with you, whereas the larger one keep with your um, I need your to box. tell everybody at home, Gina, 
half the stock of the tools has gone. We've only just come to them. Goodness. Half the oh, stock you. has gone. Goodness. Wow. Wow. Uh, they are really nice. I was really pleased that they uh, didn't think that. We had a bit of a disaster and the box only arrived last night. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank goodness it did. This is your only show today, um, Gina. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, so it just is. to let everybody at home know, grab it whilst you can. Only twelve ninety nine. Again, a great gift. We're talking about gris because Chris grifts gifts because Christmas is only a couple of months away. Four two seven four four nine is your item number. I've just been told you've got two paydays left to sort your Christmas gifts out. Oh well done. I'm just glad that everybody gets paid. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> just volunteer. I'm on day release. I turn up, I get a stamp, and then I go home. They're trying to reform me, apparently. It's going to send me, send me back into the community as a working, functioning human being. It's not working. It's taken them three years. It's not going to work. Right, next up, next up, we've got another book for you. Uh, you might want to add this to your basket if you're going for the one on seven-day delay. This one is Instant uh, Dispatch. This is 16 99 for the book, 711282. Um, what have we got in this book, Gina? So this is Dorset ring buttons okay. so basically instead of the wooden mold that you see on the thread wrapped buttons you use a ring for these okay um, so again we've got very very traditional old designs um, the the romantic tradition has it that the Dorset industry started in 1622 um, which is means there's an anniversary next year so started in Dorset named after Dorset? Uh, yes it's yeah. a, cot a cottage industry basically oh. Um, and it's a particular technique for for covering the rings. Um, and so this is the first book in the series. The the aim will be that I will have a whole series of books with different button types, yes. uh, different designs, different themes, and so on as we go through. So that is book one. Now I've got something here. These are the vintage. They're the antique doors. and vintage ones. And look yes. at this. This is where it all began. Now these are, these are quite They're small, tiny, so lots of they? intricate work yeah, in there. Because originally that that was their function was for uh, undergarments, shirts, um, things like that. They wow. they were the the Dorset ones were meant to be. You know, as you can see, there's there's virtually no color except for some of just a couple of them. Wow. Sort of I guess if they were going because on they like, were washed. Yeah, and going on petticoats and things like That's that. That's right, yeah. So a, a shirt button, um, mm. collar, cuff, yeah. washed, washed, washed. Wow. And on the ring, you see, the ring could be washed and go through a mango, whereas the wood can't. Got you. So, so one would say, if back in the day, if you got to see a Dorset button, you were very lucky if you know what I mean. Shut up, Janice. Sorry. <laughs> Right, uh, 1699-711-282 is your item number. I know, sorry. I'm just excited because we're celebrating 10 years yes. of crafty TV with our Gina B. Uh, right, now you do get your free gift if you are going for this, well, anything on the show. It's one per customer. T's and C's um, apply. Do your own research. It's there on the web for you. Uh, but that is your free gift with purchase. It's lovely. So if you are going for this book, you get the stamps as well. And you don't necessarily have to use these for making buttons. You could just use them in your card making. 711282 is your item number. Right. Now, we have got a tool tin for you now to keep your tools in. And interestingly, if you are going for your hand-turned wood tools, the, that, the smaller one, oh, these are limited stock, by the way, the smaller one will fit in this tool tin. But let's have a look at what we've got here, because you might want to add this to your basket. What do you get in the tool tin? Right, so the tool tin, the most important part is the third hand, which is that magnetic clip on the top of the tin. Oh, it is and magnetic. that basically will help to hold your buttons while you're working, which is particularly with the thread wrap buttons, this can be quite important because, as I said to you, they will, um, until you fix them, they will unravel. So it's really nice to be able to just clip it in and hold it there. Um, it works, it's great when you're working uh, ring buttons and you want to do extra embroidery. You yeah. can also clip it in there and use two hands to do French knots and things like oh, that. So what a great idea. Really nice. And so then some other sundries. So you've got some button pins, you've got a variety of needles, you've got some bobbins so that you can wind some thread on and take um, some thread with you and 
button on the go. You've got a button lines card, which is a measurement. So you've got uh, millimeters, inches, and lines, which is how buttons are traditionally okay. um, measured in. So yeah. if you know when you see the old-fashioned button cards, it was like say 36 lines. Yeah. That actually, it's not like 36 ranges or anything. Yeah. It's the size. Wow. So that's there, so you can refer to that. Um, and some beeswax. Because we all need beeswax. We all need to mind our beeswax, yes. don't we? Yes, yes. We all um, need beeswax. Now, I tell you what, buying this for somebody as a gift, you can actually say to them, button it. Yes, you can. You yeah. can. <laughs> 12 pounds and 99 pence, one, two, one, three, six, zero is your item number. We're moving on. We've got another um, accessory for you. This is your circle gauge. You've got two organza bags in there. What do we use these for, Gina? Okay, the circle gauges um, got little notches so that you can mark out your button in even divisions. Okay. Okay, so when we're working with the thread wrapped buttons in particular, we we need them to be even, either four or eight or six, and you can carry on going up further and further and further. Um, when you want to put your spokes with your uh, dorset buttons, that's what it's there for. So you've got odds and evens, um, which is why you've got so many different um, parts, and you have the two organza bags, so you can keep them separate if you wish. Um, and you can also use them for placement of other things. You know, if you want to put Kansashi flower petals around, you can mark off the dots so that you know that you've got them evenly spaced. Yeah. Anything that you want evenly spaced in a circle, there you are. Wow. You know, if you want five petals, you'll have the notch for five yeah. and so on. Very, very useful. So, very handy. Two tools and 12 uh, gorges? Gauges. Gauges, gauges. 17 pounds and 99 pence. 564463. Remember, you get your free gift with purchase if you're going for this and this only, one per customer. You know the routine with that. But that's that particular stamp set for doing your embroidery or just using them as stamps on your crafting items. 564463 is your item number. Right, now, news for you. The tools, the hand-turned tools, are very, very limited stock. Here's what they look like if you have just joined us. Your hand-turned tools, limited stock. I'm being told very limited stock. Uh, 427 449 is your item number. The bundle is back in stock and it is on extended delivery dispatching in seven days time but you will get that signed book so that is fabulous. Uh, saving £6.50 pence, a great price for 29.97. Look at everything that you're getting there. But half the stock of the extended delivery has gone. 528591 is your item number. You'll also get to your free gift with purchase and if you want to go for the book on its own you're more than welcome to do so. Maybe you want the deal with the buttons and everything to get your signed copy, and then you might want to give another copy to a friend. 528591 is your item number, and then you can make buttons together. Um, I love that. Right, Gina, right. what we're going to have a look at? Shall we start? All right, I'm going to work a little bit larger than in the book, but in the book, I have gone through and used one type of thread and then told you the different button mold sizes. Okay. That, it can be adjusted for any type of thread, but it's easier if you've got a starting point, I've found. Okay. You know, in, instead of just saying wrap it until, you can actually wrap it four times or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with the boring death's head, and only because I know many of you don't know how to do it, um, but it's also because it's the foundation for everything else. So it's really important to practice this button, get it right. So I'm using the circle gauge. With practice, you won't necessarily need to, um, to mark off four divisions. Now, you can use either, as I have done, with a smaller one and draw onto the gauge, or you can fit it into one that will fit. That's what the larger piece is for on the circle gauge. Okay. Now I'm going to swap to a pen so that you can actually see what I've done. So I've marked off. And if I go straight across this, this divides the button into four. All right? And then the way that I've done the patterns is if you say A, B, and in fact, I'll turn it this way, C and D. 
That gives us a starting point so that you know which side you're putting the thread on when it comes to the patterns. Got right? you. Now, th this is all explained in the book. You just, that's a bit wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll end up with black marks all over my hands. And I'm using a thicker thread here. Okay. Okay. Now, and again, this is just for TV to show you guys yeah, at home just show very, you, very clearly. Yeah. Uh, it will still be a nice button. Yeah, it's and that comes button. with 10 years of experience in TV, yeah. does it, Gina? Yes, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Make me feel really old. <laughs> no, you only started when you were three. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you see, your memory is not so good when you're young. <laughs> so the first thing that you need to do, many, many people like to wax the back of the button and the sides. This is important if you're using a slippery or a finer thread or if you choose a button mold that has a slight curve, okay, which you can do. Um, in the book I've just recommended the flat buttons only because I know they're easier to get. Um, so the first thing you need to do is your foundation wraps and this will be down where you have marked. So I'm doing five on this one, um, five ends. So that is five wraps on each of these, okay? So that is a foundation cross of four because okay. it's got four points. Got you. Okay. But there's five, you've got but around five times. five ends. Can so I ask in a the question? Book it says five E. So five E. Isn't even. So you've got the, the one in the middle and the then you've got the one in the middle and then one, then one I've yeah. got you. It, yeah. It's it's often easier to even it out. Right. It's not a rule. Your thread may mean that you can only fit four on. Okay. Or you may need to fit ten on, depending yeah. if you're you're using a really fine thread. But you'll become more used to it as you work. Then the next thing to do is we wrap from bottom to top on the square. Okay. Rotate anti-clockwise, so that was from A, so that B is upright, bottom to top, and it's just anchoring on that cross. Rotate, bottom to top at C, rotate, bottom to top on D. And every time you rotate, I can see your finger there is anchoring the... Yeah, thread. I'm holding yeah. at the edge. Yes. Okay. Now, this is where, um, in a bit, the button tools can come in. Ultimately, as you're working, you will find that the threads begin to slip. And so you need something to hold them at the back or you need to weave through with a needle. What would you suggest holding it at the back? So holding it at the back is either a little stick, yep. a pin, or your button tool, oh, which okay. is what the stick is for. Okay. So as we proceed, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. So I'm holding, I'm wrapping from bottom to top, and I'm working in, so I'm working from the edge in towards the center. I'm wrapping fairly taut, so it's creating a straight line across the back of the button. I'll hold it up in just a moment. And now, we're not going to see those letters underneath. They will be you're not totally going to see covered. Them, no, so yeah. you could put them on for every button if you wanted to. Yeah. And you see, at the back, it, it's going in straight lines. Yeah. Which is quite interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we just keep rotating, and now I can start to feel that those straight lines at the back are just perhaps a little close to the edge with this particular size thread. And this is where I then move to a tool. Now, I like to have, when I have my tool, find the hole, I like to have it so that it doesn't push all of the way through. Okay. okay. So what I've done is I know that I usually use, with this particular tool, the one I carry, one that is flatter. So I actually trimmed off the very pointy I was going tip. to say, the tools that you get... The tool that you get has a very pointy tool initially. Yes. Okay? So it sticks right up like that, and that is fine. Yeah. Okay? Just at the very end, you just have to move it gently. Okay. But I know that my own personal preference is, is that with every stick and every pin I ever use, I cut off the tip yeah so we've done it so that Short you've got stumpy. the option yeah, yes exactly and so now it's I'll just try to show you I'll do it sort of upside down as I'm turning what happens is that your thread is twisting around that stick 
Okay. I've got Can you. Can you see? Yeah. Now this is twofold. One, it helps to hold it yep. as you're working around. Um, but two, it also helps, it, it actually creates a little shank. Got you. Um, which is quite interesting and you do see that on historical examples. Yeah. So we keep working, try to keep your threads as straight as possible. And I would say don't keep flipping, flipping it upside down because then you um, do get a little bit out of line. But is you it, just keep wrapping. Isn't it interesting how that tool is helping you so much? Now, I do need to tell you that we sold out of the tools, sold oh, okay. out of the hand-turned tools, but they are back on extended delivery. There's not long to wait. Dispatching uh, in seven days' time, so yeah. next week. So not long to wait and well worth the wait as well because they're quality and they're hand-turned. Thank you very much. So that is now filled, okay? That is the button filled. But at this stage, we don't want to let go okay? because it will undo, okay? And this is where you can either hold it or you can use your third ah, hand to clip that there. Got you, and that keeps the it loose thread while you thread up a needle. Now, obviously, I'm using a big needle because I'm using big thread, okay? And then what you need to do is these, I'm not sure how much you can see, there's four arms because this is a foundation of four um, that are quite proud yes okay those need to be secured it's like a toadstool <laughs> yeah those at, need to be secured by doing some back stitching okay so you go under all of them and stitch quite tightly you can do this a couple of times um, and as I say you can if you haven't got the stick, you can, um, the the button tool. You can use a stick. You can use you could use a needle, um, a long straight pin. There's different options. Different people like to use different things. So that's tight. So now I can release that. And you see what I mean about there being a little shank. Oh wow. Okay. Now, I know that this won't actually go up through the center, but one of the best ways to secure now is to come up through the center. So let me see if I can get this thick thread onto a needle that I know will go in the center of this button. And so you come up at the center and you just work a little stitch over those last two wraps because you see they can move. So if you just secure them back through the same central hole and pull in but you've got wow. a little dimple and now your button is complete. Look at that. Do you know what? It's surprising how quickly that comes together. It is. You it know, is. yeah, when you look at the buttons and you look at the designs that we've got here that Jean has bought in, you think to yourself, how am I going how to do in the that? World. Exactly. Yeah? exactly. But the right tools for the trade, the right guidance as well, um, and the right platform to start with. And that's exactly what you've got here. But we're extremely busy for the bundle. It's nearly two thirds of the stock gone. It's on extended delivery dispatching in seven days' time. And after this has gone, remember, two thirds of the stock gone already. After it's gone, there'll be no more signed books for you. So here's your chance to grab it whilst you can. 528591. You also get your gift with purchase. Stay there. I'll grab that for you. Your gift with purchase. And uh, everybody gets one of those. It's one gift per purchase per customer, uh, which is brilliant. Now, the tools, we've still got some of those left. Um, because they are now on extended delivery. So you saw Gina using the tool just there. I think it's a fabulous tool to have. These have been hand-turned, so quality. If you're gifting these, they're going to be absolutely fantastic for somebody. So you've got your two tools there. You saw them in demonstration. £12.99, 427449 is your item number. There's not many left. Half the stock has gone. There's not many left uh, of the extended delivery. So you can order on thecraftstore.com or you can give us a call on 0330175552. There you go. 0330175552. That's not my mobile number. 
My mobile number is 07861243456211. Give us a call after the show and who knows, we might be able to hook up. Uh, right. <laughs> By the way, that's not my number. <laughs> If you dial that number and somebody answers, amazing, ask them out on a date. It's fate. Right. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, matchmaking. Uh, right, so we've got another book available for you. These are for your Dorset ring buttons. And you've got all of the instruction and tuition in there, including those great photographs as well. It's a fabulous book to get. And lots of history, lots of history. A quarter of the stock gone already. Uh, there's Dorset just there. £16.99, pence. Seven double one two eight two is your item number for that one. Now, we also have the uh, tool tin that you saw in action with our Gina. We've got that available. What a handy tool that is with the tin. The tin comes with the tools, and you get the tin, of course, but that handy tool to keep that button together, that's going to make all the difference. It really will. So the button doesn't come unthread, threaded as threaded. I guess that's a word to use. Um, so it doesn't come undone, um, so you've got that secure button to work with. Great little toolkit, only 12 121360 uh, You also get your free gift with purchase if you're just going for that on the show. Now, the tin, half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone. We're only halfway through the show. We're having a busy one. Uh, if you have just joined us, great to have your company here at the Craft Store. We are celebrating 10 years of crafty television with our Gina B Silkworks. Right, we have got... Another fantastic tool for you. These are your circle gauges, and nearly half the stock has gone of this. £17.99, 564463. And you also get that free gift with purchase if you want to get it. 564463 is your item number. Great little free gift with purchase, this, because you can use these stamps for making and creating patterns and cards. You could also use them for what they're intended to build and create your buttons by stamping on them and then doing a little bit of embroidery work, which is lovely. Um, you can make some earrings from these. You can make a little brooch or a little button uh, just to give you the ah. Uh, there you go. So you've got your two little birds in there and you've got those lovely patterns as well. £17.99 for your tools and you get the 12 uh, gauges on there. You also get uh, a fabulous little leaflet as well and this will take you through all of the elements to start making uh, your buttons and using the tools, which is brilliant. 564463 is your item number. Absolutely fantastic. Right, that's what's on offer for you. Let's head back to our lovely Gina B, who are just a little bit. <laughs> what we're going to have a look at now. Right, I'm going to show you another design in the book. This one um, uses a square wrapping technique, okay? And I am going to revert down to the small button mold. Um, and I wanted to show you a couple of things. One is, with any of these flat molds, you can always take an emery board or a piece of sandpaper and just round off the edge. And that will give a nice finish, um, particularly with smaller buttons. It yeah. looks really nice when you do that. So don't sand it too much. No. Just no, gently. Just gently. Okay. Um, although, if you end up um, getting a thicker mold, um, because these are just slices, effectively. Yeah. You can sand them right down to shape them if you, you know, if it's something that you you want to do. Um, it's basically the the method will work with flat up to slightly domed. So it's it's nice to um, play around with it mm -hmm. and with your button molds to see what effects it has. So this time I am going to use a little bit of beeswax. So I'm wrapping it, I'm just rubbing a little bit of beeswax. Now the thing about the beeswax is it makes it a little bit tacky. And so that helps your thread to just stay there initially. Because you'll notice I was holding it on to there. Yes. And, and so when you're working with a finer thread, it, it's helpful. Now the beeswax is included in that full kit alongside your button template, little MDF button template, um, and the book and the thread. But we're very busy. Two and thirds there's also of the stock a, gone. Um, a beeswax button in the tool tin. Excellent. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, also one in the tool tin. Lovely. So I'm starting off with a foundation wrap in a single colour. And I've put three ends on this one. So it's okay. a foundation wrap of four yep. and then three ends. And again, I'm just going to click that there so that I can thread my needle. 
and then I'm going to secure this at the back of the button because I'm going to change colour now. This would be a lovely afternoon, wouldn't it, with your friends? Just sitting there at a table, having a chat, making buttons. It is, lovely. It is actually a really nice. It's very, very mindful. Um, you can also do this when you're um, sort of watching a drama or whatever yeah. on TV. Um, you know, it's, it's a sociable thing because it's small. But I think the other thing that a lot of people really like about button making generally is that it is, it's a little piece of art. You've worked on something and you get it finished as opposed to some of these bigger projects that you do. You start them out, you know they're gonna take you a while and that's great, but this gives you something for those in between times, you know, if your mojo's gone or yeah. whatever, you can just make some buttons and, and make things with them. I mean, in, on our Facebook group, the things that people make with buttons is just What's incredible. your Facebook book? Gina B. Group. Silkworks group. Fabulous. But everybody's sharing, uh, sharing different things, ornaments and boxes and clocks and all sorts of wonderful oh. things that they're decorating with buttons. It's really quite well, awesome. Well, as we're celebrating 10 years, if you'd like to show us a picture of your button, uh, email it in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. Uh, preferably one you've made, of course. Uh, very busy for the bundle with the book. Um, how much of the stock has gone? 75% has gone. Remember, this is extended delivery. We sold out once. Uh, when it's gone, it's gone now, I'm afraid. You will get a signed copy if you're going for the bundle. 528591, pounds and 97 pence with that saving of £6.50. Um, it is an incredible deal, it really is. And we are celebrating those 10 years of Gina B. Just on Craft TV, but not 10 years in the crafting industry, surely? No, no, no. I was, I was doing, as I say, I was working to commission before that and teaching and demonstrating in medieval clothing and <laughs> commission yeah because before we get to the medieval clothing by the way <laughs> so, so, a button. so basically 400 buttons for a film or weaving films yeah what weaving buttons braids, what films yeah. Gina can you say um oh, yeah because ages ago uh, I did um buttons for Sweeney Todd which obviously ended up quite Yes, Cut. colourful. <laughs> Quite colourful. Yeah, um, a lot of those. Um, I do, I've do. i done for um, recent films that aren't yet released. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say anything about Ooh, them or not. They, I'm excited about that. It was supposed that. to be released during COVID and then it didn't and I don't know what's happening. Um, I've done thing, pieces for museums, for instance, when they do reconstructions. Yes. Um, so I work with a costumier. Um, there's a, a TV series coming up about um i think it's about Anne Boleyn and really? it's i've done a t big big tassel for her gown Ooh. her girdle didn't you make a stuff. button that was used in we can say it can't we oh yeah the crown the crown yeah, yeah. i did i did big old buttons for the uh, garter thing wow. so yeah I'm the, that's that's sort of where you are Everything big in the started. button world, aren't you? <laughs> that, that's where it I all can't started. wait to find out what that new movie is, and I'm <laughs> going to go to the cinema. I'm going to stand there, and then when I see Gina's button, it, I'm going to shout, well, I, I, I the know the lady that like, made that button. I don't know if it if they ever wrapped it up in the end because oh, really? of COVID. Yeah. Oh, I wonder. Oh, you'll have so, to tell me if you can it's afterwards. Such a shame. Such a shame. Um, but right. that's why we're all listening and on the edge of our sofas and watching the program today because we have got an expert here in the studio. 80% of the bundle now gone. 80% Gina sold out once, now 80%. Oh, goodness, goodness. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the square wrap, okay? Now, the square wrap is different. We start the square wrap at the center, okay? Okay. And we're starting, so it's still going from what would be A, and then rotating, and up, but we're working from the center out to the edge of the button. Now this is quite difficult to do because this is the place where your thread would normally, you would use the button stick, Yeah. okay? But I would advise that if you're doing a square wrap and you do feel that it's, it's um, moving a lot, you may find that it's better to cut a long length of, yeah. of your thread and 
do some stitching at the back to hold it in. With limited stock now on the extended delivery of the bundle with that signed copy of the book. Limited stock. When it's gone, it's gone. That's it. No more. No extended, extended. That's it, I'm afraid. £29.97. 528-591. If you have just joined us, we've sold out once. We're now back on extended delivery, dispatching on the 30th of October. So many people going for it. Uh, we're incredibly busy. If you're waiting on the phones, don't worry. We know you're there. The quickest way to order, of course, the easiest way to order would be the website, thecraftstore.com. And you will get your signed copy as long as you get it in your basket now and check out. When this limited stock has gone, it has gone. 528591 is your item number. And that is for the whole bundle there for you. Proven to be very, very busy. Back to Gina. Right, so I've just been wrapping. So I've been wrapping from the center out. So exactly the same as I did before. And you see we've got a nice That's square lovely. at the center, isn't it pretty? That's, so That's really pretty. nice, isn't it? So I'm just gonna do a few more wraps. And in the book, basically what I've I've done is a series of arrows. So if the arrow is going in one direction, it's sort of from the out in or from the center out to the edge okay so that's how you'll be able to to sort of see which direction to go into and this this is the same even if you have a foundation wrap of say six yeah or eight as you moving up so again just hold that so that I can secure this thread at the back and I'm going to show you with the square wrap where you need to secure it best now are you using the colors that are in the bundle the bundle is, the colors may vary. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so yeah. it, it, you'll basically get two contrasting colors oh, so really? that you can get started at least. All you need is some scissors to get okay. started. You do also get a tapestry needle, yes. which has gone for a walk. Okay. So I'm just going to secure these four points at the back, okay? And that's just to try to stop this from slipping. I've just got to tell everyone at home, Gina, I do apologise for interrupting. Apologies again at home, this is really interesting. Uh, not what I'm about to say, but what Gina's doing. And this is interesting, I guess. We have sold out of the bundle. That's now gone. Uh, so I was serious when I said get it into your basket. Now we've just got the book on its own. So the book on its own, uh, 725760. It's not going to be signed, but you still get the book. You still get your 72 projects. In fact, it's 73 because you get the extra projects on your uh, bookmark, which is what a fabulous addition. 1699, get that in your basket. So many people have gone for it already. 525760 is your item number. What a lovely little gift for yourself. And of course, a brand new craft to some people as well. Uh, brilliant. So, congratulations, Gina. Thank Two sellouts. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you, everyone. Right, so I've fastened off the second color that we used and I've added on the first color again and this time I've threaded a needle so I've cut a long enough length that I can thread the needle and now I'm going to work in exactly the same way as the death said so again I'm going to work from the out in towards the center okay. basically meeting up to that square at the center so it's anchoring and rotating now if you're left-handed you can, of course, choose to rotate in the same direction as I am doing, um, but you can work it in the opposite direction. So hold the button with your right hand and rotate clockwise as opposed mm. to anti-clockwise. There is a section in the book explaining this, and I also have the basic death's head um, design on YouTube, both in right and left-handed so that you can see what I mean about the adaptations. I know that, that left-handed people are really brilliant at making adaptations, um, but I have tried to sort of talk you through the steps on that. Can I ask you, Gina, if mm -hmm. I wanted to sell any garments with the buttons on or oh, make yeah, any braces, absolutely. is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you could pick up a plain white shirt, you could go to a charity shop, for example. Mm -hmm. You could take all the buttons off that are on there, use them in another craft, never throw them away. But you could make some quite detailed, extraordinary buttons, place you them can. on there and sell it as if, a designer. If you want the buttons to be able to be washed, yes. you should use an acrylic thread. Um, 
an acrylic button mold, not the wood. Ah, okay. Good so point. these should be removed prior to washing or used on things like coats. Because yep. let's face it, when was the last time you actually washed your outer coat? Mm, Probably good, never. <laughs> good point. Good point. <laughs> they were actually originally the wrapped buttons were originally all on outer garments. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So not on things that that were subject to a Got lot of wear. You. But if you want to, you can use an acrylic button mold. You can use, if you have a plain four-hold, two-hold plastic button and the back of it is flat, you can swap it round and you can do the wrapping. Preferably, you'll find it easier if you drill a central hole. Okay. Okay, but there are still ways around it not having a central hole. I've done it and then as so long as your stitching is tight enough, and you're, you're securing everything at the back, you can throw it in the washing machine. I've done it myself. I guess some people might have a 3D printer, so they could print off the buttons. Yeah, I mean, mm. button molds. I mean, the thing is, is that they're flat disks, so yeah. you can use all sorts of things for it. Right, now with this particular, now I have given it a nice little border. Now, here's where I said about wanting a central hole. So I'm coming up through the center and I'm going to tuck my needle underneath the same color and I'm going to pull in so that it just changes oh, the yeah. aspect of it and then I'm going to go across to the opposite side and pull in again. Now you could leave it like that if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to go down and then I'm going to come back up and whilst you would think oh that means I'm just going to there's only one hole it's going to pull straight out the chances are you will catch another thread and it won't pull straight yeah. out and if you think it is just catch a thread at the back now this might be a daft question but there isn't any daft no questions. there are no daft questions so this is a button yep that you can wear on an outer garment yep now I'm looking at that thinking, well, where are the holes right. to apply that to, to apply my clothing? It. That's the point. You don't apply them the way that you may have thought previously. So there's our button finish. Okay. All right. And now normally I would say always, always fasten this off and don't use the same thread. Some people do. Don't use the same thread that you have created your button with to sew your button on. Because if somebody decides they want to keep your button, the garment is, you know, they want to get rid of that, they want to snip it off. If it's the same button, the button's unraveling. And then they can't keep the button. And, yeah. you know, Got your you. future button collectors won't be able to enjoy it. So you can either put a backing on this and yep. put a little loop. Yep. You know, so if you're doing button sets, or you can do it the same way that they did it in the... 18th century and they basically just stitched through the back of the button so they've anchored onto the back of the button and let's say that's a piece of cloth oh I see and then you yeah, stitch through you you need to hold it yeah um, a little bit away so that you create a shank when it's a flat back when it's not when it's something like that you just anchor it onto there yeah of course as if yeah. it was a button with a shank on it because sometimes so it depends on the making method which yeah. back you will have because sometimes on older garments when you see buttons like this they look like they're falling off because maybe the back has come loose yes exactly slightly. because they're just they're just stitched on yeah. it's just a case of stitching on at that place but you can put a loop shank on um, again I have a YouTube video showing you how to make a loop shank you can um, put you can put pins on them if you want to. You can put, if you have, um, for instance, a closed jump ring, um, a sealed jump ring, you can even stitch that on and then you have a little button loop on yeah. the back. So there's a lot of different ways to, to do it for a more modern audience yeah. as opposed to just your 18th century frock coats. What's <laughs> the best button you've ever made? The one that you're most proud of for any reason? Ah... I have a favorite that I called Carnival in my one button a day, just because it was weird. And <laughs> I do really, really like that one. Yeah. Um, 
But you know, I don't know. Mm. I don't it's know. difficult, isn't it? It's very difficult because I've already done two one button a day challenges. Yes. There's a lot of buttons there, so it depends on the day, you know, and then I'll look at it and I'll think, oh, yeah, actually, I like that one. Yeah. Um, you know, when I'm picking out buttons to put into the books, because I'm, I've, I've divided them all out yes. as well, so it's like, hmm, maybe I don't want to tell anyone how to make this one. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, you've got, there are a few. Gina <laughs> B's got a secret that, button. That, that there are some as like, no, nobody else knows how to make this. I'm oh, wow. This one I love while. that. It's like some artists so. write songs, don't they? Yeah. They don't they don't give them out there. Or some Ooh, people yeah. take photographs and don't share them because it's that, just that one thing that you think, that's just for me. That's yeah, personal. yeah. I don't want everybody lovely. to know how to do it yet. Oh. <laughs> do you know what's lovely about buttons as well? Yes, they're practical, but if you know someone that's getting married, for example, you could do those special buttons for their marriage. Uh, it could be something borrowed, something blue, something old, mm. something new. I think that's the way it goes anyway. Um, and you could make that lovely button maybe for a christening or a christening gown. And it's something that you can pass down and will be, you know, passed down between members of the family and heirloom. In fact, it could be um, an heirloom, which would be lovely. And, and the fact that you've handmade it um, is just wonderful. I really, really do. So we've got two choices for you now. We have got the book on its own. We have got the Dorset button, uh, the Dorset ring buttons on its own. And we also have the wooden tools that have proven to be very, very popular. Now, they sold out and they're back on extended and half the extended stock has gone. These are your button tools. They are um, hand turned, so made by a craftsperson for a craftsperson. £12.99. It's difficult to get things like this now, isn't it? Um, which is just simply beautiful. And they look great on your shelf in your craft room and you know exactly what they are. And it'll be a talking point for everyone else. Uh, 427 449, £12.99. And you get both of those included. Now, let's talk about the Dorset ring buttons these are beautiful this is a bracelet um that um gina's made then they look brilliant they're like the mini dream catchers aren't they the way that they've been put together that is a lovely a idea. lot of people really really enjoyed making the dorset buttons yeah they're great i was just looking actually gina at these um vintage ones these antique ones here look how tiny how tiny, 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 tiny they are. Amazing. Uh, they're called the Dorset Ring Button because, of course, it originated in Dorset. Yeah, originated in Dorset. Now, let me just pop that down and we'll have a look through the book. I'm going to pick the one up that's here. Um, you also get your bookmark as well. There's an, extra, there's an extra little project on there for you, so that's a great idea. So you've got your bookmark and you've got your extra project on your bookmark, which is brilliant. Um, in the book, I'm just going to lift it back to me. If I can, there you go. Um, in the book, you've got a little um, writing on the back. Is there a picture of you in here, Gina? No. Oh, Gina. I like, <laughs> I like little, I like little wallet-sized pictures. <laughs> I put them in my wallet and pretend that you're my family. <laughs> I'll be your family. Oh, thank you. I'm uh, sure right. our dogs would get along just fine. <laughs> uh, we've got the map of Dorset there, of course, where they originated from, and the history of the Dorset ring button, which is always nice to know what you're making. You've got your different designs in there as well, collectively bring them together, make that bracelet, uh, which looks lovely. Lovely. Lots of these. Oh, now look at these. Aren't these wonderful? I think we've got a couple of these here in the studio. Yeah, I'm just going to pick it up and bring it to you so you can see that there. Um, so not, well, they're, they're mini pieces of artwork. Look at those trees. Amazing. Would that be for an advanced person to make? No. Wow. No, they're deceiving. It, the thing is, is that with all of the buttons, a lot of it has to do with technique. Yep. You master the technique, then you will, can go crazy. Yeah. And, and that's, sometimes it's difficult in trying to, to show because, like, I want to show how to do something, and I have to keep it basic so that you can get the technique. And then, yeah. you know, you fill that tree up with... 101 French knots and it's you know a complete apple blossom tree and the, wow. everything it, it's amazing what you can do with it yourself yeah. but you need it, the technique is really quite simple wow just amazing love the rainbow one as well um, what a wonderful idea if you've never thought of button making before 
then what a show we've had for you and what wonderful, wonderful projects are in there for your Dorset ring buttons. 711-282 is your item number. It's only £16.99. Pence. And you get your gift with purchase, of course, celebrating 10 years of Craft TV with our Gina. Uh, right, let's go to the tin, the tool tin. Been busy for this, oh, Gina. Lovely. And it's, it's really handy, handy to have, it isn't is it? It is very handy to have. It, it is. Um, and as I say, well, the reason we put it into the tin is because that clip is magnetic. Yes. So you automatically can use it, you know, but it also keeps all your needles and everything nice and tight. Yeah, it certainly does. <laughs> you know. Um, it's, it's a great little kit for $12.99. It really is. Just, I mean, just that on its own, the tool there with your magnet on there, um, that is worth its weight in gold when you see what you can do with that. And you pop your button in there and it stops it from all unthreading. You get your other tools and your measurements. Uh, one, two, one, three, six, zero is your item number. If you're just going for that, you do get your free gift with purchase, which are those stamps. I'm just going to lean over and grab them because you may have just joined us while stocks last of course um, let's hope we've got enough to go around I believe we have that's your free gift with purchase and then um, and that's with anything on the show one per customer T's and C's apply look on the website blah 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 uh, all of that all of the above uh, right our final tool set for you is your circle gorgeous 17 pounds and 99 pence Five at six four four six three is your item number. Gauges. Did I say gorgeous? Sorry. Gauges. 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 God. Gauges. Gorge. You don't want to use these for gorging. That would be wrong. Please don't. Please don't. Uh, uh, right. We've got about less than uh, two minutes left on the show. Um, you can still buy after the hour. This is your only hour today, though, it live. It is, yes, yes. Um, you can still buy if we have the stock after the hour. But lots of people are now starting to come in with everything and checking out their basket. Now, what advice would you give to anyone who's sitting at home thinking, do you know what, this looks fabulous, and right up my street, right up my alley, uh, what advice would you give them? Go for it. It's amazing how many people actually really really enjoy it and you don't have to just be somebody who likes soft crafts mm. i know that you know people automatically think but paper crafters often have bits of thread bits of circles yeah they have lots of mtf circles you yeah. know you can make something i've got one there made oh, with yarn over a you. cd what a fabulous idea. So you can make nice Just above Gina's head. I don't things. know if you can see that at home, but if you have spotted it, um, what a great idea. Yeah, there you go with the old CDs that you've got. And and actually, it's actually two of them then put together and then pins in, uh, all wow. around it. So to God, hold long that's pins. That's amazing. So the thing is, you can use it for so many different... It, it's a technique that you can use for so many yeah. different things. Uh, Gina, you know after being in television for 10 years that we're getting <laughs> the sign now to say we've got 30 seconds left. Uh, now 20. Thank you so much, Gina. Thank you so Absolute much. Absolute pleasure. You, what a great education. Get the new book. Get it into your basket. Also, the lovely Dorset button book as well and all of the other items we've got left. We've had lots of sellouts. Congratulations, Thank Gina. Thank you. See you again very, very soon. And we'll see you guys soon as well. Right, coming up next, Alex is with All and Create celebrating their fifth birthday. Lots of birthdays celebrating today. Oh, we're also celebrates in later. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags and home decor. My kits use quality fabrics and are normally cut to size so that it makes everything easy for the beginner sewer and the more advanced stitcher to be able to make beautiful designs. All the fabric I use is 100% cotton and top, top quality. On my shows, I hope that you can learn from my hints and tips, and every one of my kits is like a workshop in a kit. Make sure you don't miss the So Totally Trisha shows. Exciting news! 
For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Indeed, happy fifth birthday to All and Create, and we are celebrating with some fantastic savings and of obviously beautifully drawn images. Now, we've got something for everybody. We do have a weekend wow, but what most of you have been going for is the monthly mega deal, which incorporates the weekend wow, Tracy's one day special, a release from Janet Klein that hasn't yet officially been released, so you can get it now if does that make sense? But you know what I mean, because it's part of the monthly mega deal. And in the monthly mega deal, you are getting 11 fantastic free gifts worth over £90. So look at this. We can't even fit it on screen, the amount of goodies that you are getting. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to Abs. Good morning, Abs. Hi, hi. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh, you were up bright and early this morning. I was indeed. Seven o'clock show. Seven o'clock, five o'clock here. God oh, bless <laughs> you. And also, um, are you in tomorrow as well? I am in tomorrow indeed at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Ah, oh, lovely. With the amazing, amazing staff and stencils that we have on the show for you so let's run through and then obviously I'll show you some samples and then we'll head over to abs so the weekend wow itself is this lovely top row uh, this has been uh, drawn by Bipasha and she's going down now it doesn't specifically have to be Hall Halloween but seeing as Halloween is coming up it's quite cool because you have got lovely spiders webs with um, bats kind of hanging from them you've got this fabulous dog I love that he's got the uh, glasses on it's cool isn't it see a little bit of Christmas too because you could have these as um, poinsettia then you've got your stamps here I love the poison bottles you've got stencils that have got the spiders webs on as well there's a cat with a hat a lovely witch's hat which is really cool and then here as well you're seeing uh, more of those um, bats and we've also got there's actually some really it's like a school outfit a school you know it's quite posh I really like that one uh, now so that is part of your weekend well then if we come down to are we going Tracy's collection so down here uh, she's on in the next hour also yes it is because it'll be 12 o'clock right it with uh, Janice and so you can see we've got some fantastic images there we've got the butterflies we've got loads of text we've got different birds toucans um, I wonder if that's a hummingbird possibly or maybe it's a woodpecker I really like that but you can color them any which way you want um, so many beautiful images as I said I will show you lots of samples in a sec then we go on to Janet's collection. Now, this is cool because we're going through the star signs. So we were all having a look at what our star signs were saying for us. We're starting with Scorpio here. Oh, look. So Scorpios, you are intelligent, intuitive and imaginative. I love that she's carrying that lovely little Scorpio. Now, that is a nice scorpion, isn't it? That's adorable. OK, we're looking for Cancer, which is mine. And is that Baker's as well? Oh, boy bands is cancer. Okay, sorry, he's called boy band. Uh, right, we've got passionate, imaginative and loyal. I'll go with that. I'll take that. Uh, Matt in the studio. 
Capricorn, let's look for Capricorn. I like these. Okay, we're going to have a look for Capricorn. I think Tracy's a Capricorn as well. So we've got sensible, uh, determined and responsible. Abs, you're a Leo, aren't you? Leo, yeah, Leo. Nice. Uh, so we've got to find Leo. It's good. They're good fun, aren't they? They're just really nice and cute. Again, really lend themselves for telling stories. Yeah, it's cool. There you go. So, Abs, you are warm-hearted, confident, and ambitious. Oh, I'd nice. go with that. I think that. I'd totally go with that. So that is just a little, um, a, a little sample, a little teaser of um, Janet. And then don't forget, you're getting eleven amazing free gifts. Yeah, they're. I mean, look, they're over here. They're amazing. So we've got stencils. Uh, we've got some sort of DL size cards. Whoa! Oh, one of them's fallen down. That's because there's so many of them, but there's mm -hmm. loads. But you are not paying for that lovely bundle that's sat on the pod there. Now that is worth over ninety pounds. No, and we've got this on a freedom discount. Three flexi buys. It's amazing. Look at this. I love working clocks. It's so cool. Um, this has been done by Philippa. I believe nice and easy to get hold of the um, the mechanics actually off certain you know auction sites but doesn't that look brilliant with all of the star signs oh that's fab there's another one that's been done this one's been done by Joe Rice and if you look obviously all in monochrome but that she's just colored in the lips with a little bit of a sparkly red pen just that nice little hint, that nice little feature. Uh, now, I must show some of uh, some from Tracy's One Day Special. Bear with me. Here we go. I don't want to... I'll tell you what it is. I don't want to squish that uh, clock mechanism because it's really cool. Okay, so have a little look at these. The beautiful birds. Ooh, look. And they've been covered in a little bit of um, something like a glossy accent, so it really pops. Uh, Janet's done that one. Uh, this one is by Philippa so much detail and then she's layered up those little circles with the butterflies here's another version that's nice isn't it for your journal covers that's really pretty here's our toucan there you go that's cool and here we are we've got the uh, janet's new release got those that's really lovely with the hearts isn't it so that's sagittarius um, who's this one? That one's Virgo. Oh, these are by Debbie, by the way. That's by Debbie. Uh, let's try and find some Weekend Wow ones. I think over here. Oh, this is cool. Uh, Janice, if you're in the other room, look away. <laughs> here we go. She said, actually, she just walked into our presenter's lounge when I said, if Janice, you're watching, look away. So she walked back out again. I thought it was really funny. Um, so this one is by Jo. Isn't that great? So she's got the little bottle there. She's got the, um, the tonic, the poison, and then look, gnarly. It's all dripping from the top there. This one is by Philippa, and that's cool. That's using the stencil. Love that. This one is by Janet. Um, this tree is from a different collection, but it works hand in hand with Bipasha's Weekend Wow release. Here we have got the cat. The cat is so funny because he's sticking his tongue out. That is literally what my cat does to me. She's like, nah. <laughs> let's move these over. When she knows she's, no, she's going to be a bit naughty. Uh, let's bring these in. Have I got this the right way up? Have I, have I, have I? Uh, this way. Uh, and that one is by Philippa. Right then, so we have been very, very busy for this. We are over 70% of the stock gone. Is that for the mega deal? Amazing. Right, and it only launched yesterday at 10 a.m. Uh, it is on a freedom discount as well. Excuse me, and you can spread the cost three ways instead of two at uh, three payments of sixty-five pounds and ninety-two pence. Two four eight six zero eight. And don't forget you've got eleven freebie goodies that are worth over ninety pounds that you're not paying for. Now, if you do just want the weekend wow, uh, then it, you know, if your budget doesn't quite stretch, we've got this. Uh, it's eighty-four pounds and ninety-one pence, or two payments of forty-two forty-six. Item number is one one three. 197. Now there is also a freedom price on this too. There you go. Uh, so you're saving £14.49 instead. Uh, item number is 116197 and it is on Flexi Buy. Two payments of £38.21 and you are also getting a gift with purchase on this one and that will be the decimal stamp set worth £7.99. Okay, right then, without further ado, abs, uh, so which stamps are you playing with to start? 
So I'm playing with the weekend while I'm trying to mix it with some yeah, oldies. Okay. So, cool, um, that looks fun. Yeah, I have here some um, two cardstock here that I cut, the rectangular one. I use some um, distress oxide, just literally just um, blending some colours and then uh, having some water on the top just to um, cool. make it react and you have that nice texture. But just before moving to that, I just want to show you the one that I was working with this morning. Do you remember the tag yes. last minute? So I just added some work. It's not still finished 100%. So I did all the tags, uh, the labels that we stamped on the background, uh -huh. and then I stamped them on a piece of paper, and then I just cut them in small pieces, and then I stacked them here, as yes. you can see on the side. Nice. I have my light bulb also colored and ready to go, and I have here, I just need to color him. And all what we need is a sentiment and maybe some splatters of finishing touches. So I just want to show that one quickly. So you can see, all, and on the background, all the web here, yep. and all the stamps from the weekend. Well, they yep. really work really well with the previous collection from um they do from our previous um catalogue so yeah we have them here so let me put that one aside for now and then we can um carry on working on the new one so yeah as i said i have here this um two pages and the reason i cut them in the middle because they fit perfectly in my journal later right okay so um i just want to show you where i'm going to put them because my journal is a black so it will really work like i did um in the past i used to work on them can you see uh-huh I, this is exactly the same size that I did in the past, so they work really well on it. So now we're going to have a new page. Excellent. Just to give a quick uh, uh, mention of the details for the previous one, here we go. So that is um, $16.99, and you've got an £8 saving. Item number is 411351. Lovely. I love all that. I love the, I've got a thing about light bulbs. I don't know why. They're just really cool. <laughs> they are yeah. really cool. Yeah. I love light bulbs. As you can see, I use them everywhere. I met Tracy Evans now, first they cut some for me. Oh, yeah, I yeah, know. You've got to work <laughs> yeah. them, didn't you? Yeah, look, look, I have some ready to use for this hour as well. Excellent. <laughs> so she helped me, bless her. Thank you, Tracy. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to use for this hour, uh, we have here the one because I, in prep, this hour I wanted something a little bit Halloween because I know yeah. I've been using all the stamps in different styles, not necessarily for Halloween, but also I want for yeah. people who like um, some Halloween inspiration. So mm -hmm. I want something Halloween in my way, let's call it, in my way. So I have the mm -hmm. web here first. That's one of the stamps that I'm going to use for the background. But I thought I would use it with the Celestial Navigation. This is a stamp set on the, it's on the show as well today. It's, yep. um, and I think it's with another one for half price, I guess. Oh, lovely. Yeah, is, and I thought it worked really, really well with um, this theme because yep. it looks like, like um, space and I galaxy agree. and everything. And so I have here my um, Versamark and my embossing powder. I want to do a bit of embossing powder Ooh, this lovely. hour. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going to stamp all the steps, I'm just going to do a part of it just to create some um, on the background. So I'm going to just do it here. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I love all the detail in that. Are you a yeah. Halloween fan, Abs? I am, Are indeed. You? Yeah, I love Halloween. I love par Halloween parties. Yeah. And, yeah Are you going costumes. to any? Huh? Are you going to any this year? I am, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you have to fill me in later. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I just got paper for the powder. Cool. Okay, so. Lining it up. Okay. So do that section here. As you can see, I'm lifting that part of yes. the acrylic block because I don't want to stamp the other part. That one here. Oh, it's already nice in there. Yeah, nice. And you can see, but I'm going to add more. Um, you will see it better when I add the powder. And um, the rest, maybe, I will do it here. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Cool. So will you get a lighter effect because you didn't re-ink that? Sorry? Or did you re-ink that? I'm no, that is the first mark. So I'm going to put the uh, powder now. Cool, yeah, okay. So it's clear so far. You don't see that much. And now when I add the powder, you will see um, that stamp set, honestly, for me, it's not Halloween at all because I can see myself using it um, in other projects. Yeah, but this is before, I would. just before. Look how beautiful it is. That's cool. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Let me see if I can just use that one. Okay. Without putting more. That's also really cool. Yeah, it is. Put my powder back. Mm, you've got lots there. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to use that other stamp set that I just mentioned. Okay. 
So. So um, where are the cogs from, Abs? Can you remember what it's called? This one. Yeah. Um, Celestial navigation is ah, called. Ah, lovely. I'm just removing that excess that I had here from the pots. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. My verse mark. I'm going to stamp all of it and then I ah, ink, sorry, all of it and then stamp part here and part there to have that nice mix. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good layer already. Um, this Choices. Way, so you can have that cool. nice. Um, so this one, so this one, because you like to stamp sometimes without um, uh, an acrylic block as well. Yeah, so the, f yeah. For example, I use acrylic block for the first stamp, but just because it was in front of me. But um, actually, it's easier with that because I just want part of it. I don't yes. want all the stamp, so it's easy this way to do it without the acrylic block. Let's see if I have anything left here. I would try, and then if not, um, it's fine. We just add later more. Okay. Put that one cool. back. Yep. Um, now grab my. And will this, when you emboss it, because I um, I might have missed it, but is this a clear embossing powder or a white one? No, white. This one right. white. Okay. So it will really pop against that background. Yeah, as you can see. Mhm. Mm it's already um really cool. Yeah, it is. And now do the same thing with the other page. It does look like a galaxy, that actually, because if you've done the purples and the yeah, oranges, it's yeah, really exactly. nice. Yeah, that's why I thought this template would work really well. Yeah. I was just planning to work just with the first one, and on the last minute, I looked and they said, oh, it's on the show actually, and it were, it worked really well with it. Right. And that's another great set that um, proved that this collection worked with all the previous ones that we have, especially for those who already um, bought all the steps in the past. Yes. So it would be great to use the old one and the, and the new one. Okay, now I'm going to put my um, powder aside. Cool. Just before I start embossing, I always take a brush or anything and just get rid of that excess in some places where I don't want it. For example, if I see that it's a bit busy or there's a bit too much, I yep. just go with my brush. Quickly, just remove some. And then I think that's it. All the rest I'm yep. happy with and all the rest looks good. Maybe just a bit here so it doesn't look more of that. Yeah, that's it. Ah, uh, the magic that never the fails magic, to yeah. amaze. I, I've been crafted for years and years and I still don't, I'm still impressed each yeah. time I do the embossing. I'm exactly <laughs> the, the same. The heat embossing is the magic. I, because I didn't know about heat embossing until literally um, somebody showed me on air. I hadn't, I hadn't even seen it before um, when and the you channel like, first. Wow. Yeah, I literally was blown away. And since then, my bank balance has been shocking because that's what that's what got me really. Oh, into as a minute style, you can't yeah. stop. You have to have all the colours. You have to have all the, um, yeah, all the colours and all the different ones. Nice. In fact, I think I'm on with Marion either later today or tomorrow uh, with Wow embossing powders. So very, very happy there. Get to see. You're those. happy. To see yeah. More spending coming. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, you've still got time if you want to send in any pictures. Send in pictures of um, if you've got any of the previous stamps from All and Create uh, or stencils, of course. Uh, you can send your pictures to studio at the craftstore.com. So I'm just going to do this one quickly. Uh, just while you're doing that, I shall show a few more samples. We've got loads here, which That'd are great, fabulous. Yeah. Oh, we'll show them in a second. I'm not quite sure what's happening at the moment. <laughs> so I'm just nearly done. Yep. I did more than a half already. So just that part here because it's a bit intricate. There's so many details. So but yeah. I like, uh, yeah, the details. Like you can see them even better. Can you see in that page that I just did? Mm, nice. That white really pop. Magical. Uh, now we've had a nice email from Sarah. Uh, good morning, Sarah. Um, she's saying what watching you create is really, really magical. Oh, thank you. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much. 
Oh, she's saying, well, this is a nice compliment. She's saying it's like watching a crafting alchemist at work. Ah, uh, thank nice, you. Uh, Claire, thank you so much. I much appreciate it. That's the last bit here. Sorry for that. Okay, so. If you need it, I would just do it later. But for now, that would do. So yeah, I have here my background ready. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some stamping. So, um, so I have here the, um, where is it? I have the cat stamp set, but now I'm going to use that hat part of it because I really uh -huh. like it. And Tracy Evans helped me also did the cat it. So it's already cut and ready to be used. Uh -huh. um, so we have that one. And also I want to use uh, one more time this stamp that we used in the previous show. That I could really also add a lot of nice um, details to the background. And I thought those two um, work really well with um, stamps that we have in the past. Mm -hmm. We have those two stamp sets. We have the yeah. Memento Mori which is an A5 stem set. Yeah, love it. And the other one that I'm going to use is the Take Flight stem set. It's Ooh, Take yes. Flight that has all those beautiful... That, and we have here the um, we have here the person here, we have the wings, we have all those elements that are really like kind of industrial mm. um, Halloween theme, let's yeah. say, orientated. So I really like those. So I'm going to use... These are my four stem sets that I'm going to use now. Okay, so let me start with them. I have here my pad to do some stamping. My ink pad is ready as well. And now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start first with the hat. It's a beautiful stamp set. I so want you to see it stamped. I love this hat. It's so cool. Loads of detail to it. And it's got that traditional buckle on. I love the fact that it's sort of slanting to the side. It's just really cool. I love it too. Yeah. When I saw it, I said, oh, that is a cool hat. That is. And the, so I'm going to do the same thing in my background stamp it. So later when you put that on the top, yeah. you have all those nice elements around it. So it's not just like a um, hat of its own. Okay, that one here, so more stamping for me. And then we said we're gonna do the um, size in here. So we have our beautiful. Ah, uh, yes, so she's from the Take Flight. Yeah, she's from Take Flight. And we're gonna stamp the wings in a second as well. She's a beautiful image, isn't she? She's really cute. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, beautiful. Right, so if you want to see the stamp set where you get this beautiful image from and you've got those butterfly wings, the one set of wings almost looks like mechanical. Um, 16 99 and you've got an £8 saving, 018338. Another one that uh, Abs has mentioned is the Memento More. Cool, you've got that skull with the splat in the eye, love it. 11 99 item number is 576763. So I'm Back just you putting, up. Yeah, I'm just putting that one aside, so no worries there, and I don't lose it. Now, before stamping the wings, before I have some space, the wing, and I have to do it on another page, so well, I'm not going to waste that um, space, because I'm going to use this um, A6 one that okay. we have also on the weekend as well. So I'm just going to use some of the tags, that I would, labels that we're going to cut and then use later. So, um, my ink pads. Just add two or three will be enough for this page because I have small size. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Ah, yeah. oh, yes. Yeah, all perfect here. Great so I'll just image. do that upside down because the space. That's all right. We're going to have fussy cut them later. So okay, it and matter. that's the one that's got uh, you know your poison bottles and potions and. Yeah. Okay, so we have that. those two here. Yep. And then I want to show you the wings now, and um, those beautiful wings. So we have two wings here. I will stamp the, um, this one first. And the good thing, I have my Orange Create acrylic blocks that give me that flexibility and yes. also to um, have a nice print, even though it's a large stamp. 
Yeah, there's a lovely selection of the acrylic blocks on the website for all the different sizes of uh, stamps that we've got available. I think you even do an A4 one, don't you, Abs? Yeah, we do from the large A4 down to the small A7. Yes. And um, we do the border one, we do the A6, we do the A5, we do all the sizes. So whatever stamp set you have, we have acrylic block for it. Okay, now let me stamp this one. That's my first wing. It's nice. Glad that it's on my paper so I can cut it later. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> and all good. one more last yep. one, which is the other wing from this set as well. I'm trying to do quickly because I have another demo that's completely oh, cool. different. This is more Halloween y yeah. and the other one would be more Christmassy. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I thought for this hour what I would do. And yes, I said it, I'm going to do a Christmas project. Yay. Usually that, I don't. Do you not? No. I'd never, yeah. I'm not into um, Christmas cards and usually I don't do Christmas <laughs> cards. I create all sorts of card projects, but not Christmas. I don't know why. Okay, so my other wing now, mm -hmm. and this one is very, very detailed, as you can see. It's a lot of, lot of details. You can see sort of all the veins and everything. And that's a lovely one for colouring in. Oh, yeah, that would be really, mm. really handy. Or just doing a nice inky wash in the background and stamping over the top, yeah. that would look great. It's perfect. With this acrylic block, I always um, have a great print. Cool. Now, this Take Flight uh, set of stamps, half the stock's gone. Oh, wow. Yeah, now it's time to uh, check out your baskets if you missed out on it because we've got an £8 saving. 16 Cool. Okay, so done all of this. Mm -hmm. Glad all they all the fussy cuts before and ready. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be bored watching me a whole hour doing the fussy cutting, That's especially that I'm not that quick at fussy cutting. Um, let, me bring my, um, let me bring my background again. And now before I start doing my uh, focal point, so I thought, um, where is she? She's here, so I don't know where I'm going to put her yet, if to this side and have the wing this side, or have her and the other wing and they want to layer them. Right. So that would be my focal point. And then also what we said, we have the, um, the tags I'm going to use, and then we have the hats. Where is the hat? Somewhere. So it would be next to her somewhere. But before that, I'm going to come back to my uh, Momentum Mori, that's mm -hmm. temp set. Yep. I love those background elements on it. I love. And this one looks, as you can see, it really, really works. I don't know if you can see it there. You have those kind of galaxy elements. Mm -hmm. And it really works really well with the stamp that I have Brilliant. in my background. Yep. Maybe on white you can see it better. Yeah, you can see all those textures, elements. So I have this one and I have the other one. I'm going to use both of them. Yeah, lovely. So let me start with that one. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take my Distress Oxide, try to use the same colors that I have here on my background. I love how organised you are with your inks. Trying, trying. Yeah, you do, you're good. <laughs> I'm not that organised, but I'm trying. <laughs> you know, when you're on air, yeah. you pretend then. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have here my first one. Let me just do um, a bit of texture here, because that's a little bit empty there. Mm -hmm. Especially that we're going to have the focal point and other element. So it's nice to have them on very um, mm. details and textures elements. So, you get so because I'm orange and orange, you don't yeah. see that much, but if you look closer, I don't know if they can put some clothes up, if you look closer, you see, yeah, you can see here what I'm doing. Yeah. And that will create, instead of having just a plain colour uh -huh. sitting there, now it's more like details and have some textures and details on it. Cool. Bit of orange in there, so I'm going to do the same thing. Um, stepping on the edge, so I can still use the other part of the, the sesame type to ink it again, because I'm okay. on there. Yeah, you have it beautifully in there. And the last one, I probably would just add it here because I have that gap Okay. on the orange and all those small splatters and we really add a lot to your um, project. Cool. Okay, now I do a little bit with the green. Oh, that will stand out even more then. Yeah. Um, and then when you've stamped with the green, you're right to show it to the other camera, then we can have yeah, a yeah, can yeah. Do, yeah. 
Yeah, you can see the green more can mm -hmm. you see it, than the orange one. Do the same thing here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do in the middle, same thing. Just a few of those. Because I have my acrylic blocks, I can just press some parts of it and just have that nice image text. Now the other stamp that I want, which is here, so just add a little bit of that texture and details to fill all my gaps. Lovely, and that's still from Memento More, which still is from on the, the screen. More. Um, you've and brought, the oh sorry, go on, sorry. No, I was going to say you've brought some fantastic savings. There's another six pound saving off that. Yeah, it's set. our birthday, so we thought yeah. let's treat them. <laughs> Um, now I'm not going to use acrylic block because I just want um, part of it here and there to feel, oh yeah, those digits and stickers are perfect. There. That Memento Mori that I'm using has also that beautiful butterfly and the score on oh, them. Yeah. You can actually on this page, you can use them if you don't want to use the lady from the steampunk, uh, from the take flight, sorry, or the steampunk alchemist, you can use those. I actually have them here, I can just show you what you can get. Um, the butterfly will go really, really well here, for example, or you have the scully on the corner and with all those drips mm. and everything. For instance, yeah, you can that one in there. It looks really, really well. Or you have the butterfly there. You can also do another. You don't have to do a double page like you can be separate. That's one project that the other one. And then you can just carry on working and um, work on your project. This stamp that I think it's one of my favorite um, from um, the, that release that we released it. I use it a lot. Even those small details of the background that you saw me using them a lot. But for this project, I'm not using those two. I'm just using the background stamps. But I thought it's worth showing you. And for anyone who bought it for those background, you, you have an idea how to use the rest of the elements and the stamp sets. Okay. Um, do you want me to show more clothes than you said before? Or yeah, that would be great. If you if you were showing so it to I, um, camera one. Camera one. Yep. There right, we let go. Let me turn it this yeah, way. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Because then we can just see a little bit more detail yeah, there. Yeah, you can see all the yeah. bag out now with all those details and the um, going on. Excellent. It's cool, that. It's really cool. Yeah, I love layering. I love mm. textures, yeah. If I have only colour without details, that's a lot of stamps. I feel like something is missing, yeah. so I always like had it more and more. Okay, now I'm going to stamp her and I'm stamping um, the hat. And the reason why I'm stamping them and sticking them on the top, because I love, I want all those bits around that I couldn't fussy cut. Mm -hmm. So when I put that one on the top, it will really um, stand well and be um, nice to have them. Okay, yep. so let me bring that um, stamp set again. And the hat is from the cat stamp sets. So you can have her the left of the hat, or you can have her the right. So whatever you think, and um, will work. So either this, and she's sitting on that edge, mm -hmm. yeah, or it can be here. Or now, it's too big for her. <laughs> or it's too big for her. <laughs> um, the Take Flight collection, where that lovely female figure has come from, uh, we are sixty percent of the stock gone. You've got those fabulous. Uh, really large butterfly wings. 1699. Item number is 018338. Lovely. People will get in it. They would love it. Yeah. Honestly, it is um, an amazing stamp set. And there is on the website the same show as well. I think the next one, on okay. just after it, it's called. Um, Text, uh, floral wings, sorry, yeah. it's called floral wings. So basically when Olga designed that um, uh -huh. take flight, the wings, she, to work very well with that stamp set, because yeah. also it's a big butterfly, and have the big butterfly with the flowers, or you have the separate wings mm -hmm. with a scene on it, with um, digital industrial elements, cool. so you can mix and match. And then she did that stamp set with more wings that to create different um, butterflies, oh. or you have used them wings for, the, for example, here, for this person here, or mm -hmm. whatever you want. So those two stamp sets, if you can um, get that, um, if you don't have that um, floral wings, it's also an amazing stamp set. I don't know if you have, that's the one I'm talking yeah, about. Can perfect. you see those wings? Yeah. And then when we designed them, we made sure that they fit the same size. Oh, so good. they fit. Yeah. It's a slightly larger because this one is industrial. It has to be larger. But the body here, I'm showing you here, the body is fit on all the wings perfectly. And that's the reason why we designed them. So if you put the body here or you put it there or you put it on the set that, show, that just showed cool. on the, um, the screens, they all work um, perfectly together. So we are now um, back to our... Weekend Wow slash yeah. monthly mega deal because that's where you'll get this hat from.
Yeah, so I'm putting that first hat here. And commit, there you go. Can you see here some yeah. parts looks like they're missing, but that's not, not missing because nope. it's the embossing powder. That's ah. why you can, because yeah, you can't get the stamp in there because it's like kind of 3D there. Yes. But that's the reason why we have that one fussy cut end ready. Cool. And they have the hats ready here at the top to fill those gaps, but also we have all the textures around it. Mm -hmm. So that is the one. And then um, what did we say? Where did we put her? Where's she gone? Where she's gone? She was just here a few minutes oh, she ago. At the si oh, she's at the side, at the top there, on uh, your page. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> there she is. So I just want to see where is the best fit for her before um, stamping. Or you can use your acetate, sometimes it's also good. So I think, yeah, here would be good. Mm -hmm. So she's ready to be stamped. It's a fun composition, this. It's very fun composition, yeah. Very fun, very contemporary. I love abstract a lot. Yeah. A lot. I love mixing my stamp set and um, different style, different themes yeah. as well. I love doing collage. Mm. So yeah, for me, I'm I'm literally I'm a proper stamper. I love <laughs> stamping. I love mixing. Yes. I'm not a traditional stamper. I like something like always look different and yeah. something um, mix and um, yeah, very different. Maybe if you ask me like 10 years ago or mm -hmm. 12 years ago when I started stamping, I would say like, oh no, because I was really like, no, this one has to go this way. I and understand. That. And then with the, with the time, I've been like, actually just the first two years, I was really, really like very neat yeah. and um, like not mixing, but two years later, it's been the last eight, nine years now. Yeah, I have go to do for something. It. Yeah, I have to do something different. If everyone is doing this way, I need to do it the other way. Don't blame me. So yeah, I have her here ready. Now I'm just gonna go. How are we do with time? Just we have 20 minutes left. 20 minutes. Okay. So just tell me at what point you want to do your um, recap and sure. do some figures, oh. so I know and I can do my um, my other um, few bits and then get ready for the other demos. So I have those labels that we stamped. Do you remember those the ones that we stamped before here? Yep. So I have them some ready, I have them some here in brown and in a black. Okay. So this will be really good. Plus Tracy, she even cut the number two for me. That number two from the stamp set. Did she fussy cut that? Even that number two, she did fussy wow. cut it. Yeah, I know. Crazy. <laughs> so Tracy, if you're watching from the green room, thank you. <laughs> okay, so for this one, you can create your curve position. So you have different ones, different colors. Black and brown. Even that brown here, uh, even that black one, I wanted to add a little bit of brown. So I have my, um, oh, brilliant, it's already the right one, it's ready. So just a bit of a brown, not all of it, but just a little bit of the edges. I think that brown will work really, really well with these um, colors that I have in mm -hmm. my background. Yeah, and then maybe a little bit on yeah. the middle. Yeah, we have those two. Poisonous tonics. So we have that one. We have the the one here. And then all I'm doing is I'm just creating my... Let me just move that one back because that would help me mm -hmm. to get the right balance and to see why I need to add more. Definitely need to put those here. Tracy, once she cut the two, she's like, you, you have to use it. I did not cut it. <laughs> she said, you have to use that one. It took her ages <laughs> to cut this. I told her, I yes, promise. She's gotta use I told her, I promise I will use it. So I'm going to add that number two here, and I think it will be the perfect fit for it. Doesn't have to mean anything, that number two. Yep. But it works really well in there. It does. We have, it? and then those two here, either you can create that, for example, I will stick them here in the middle. Okay. It would be nice for the page, but and then we have to cut them because the page later on to fold yeah. it, so it's going to be easy to fold and everything. But also in my journal, I will have that black frame. And so far, is um, it's already looking good. I'm liking it. But mm. the minute you put it against like um, the black paper, yeah. you will see it's even better because that black will really um, frame the work. Oh, it does, doesn't it? And adds a lot. And you also it helps you to see what is missing. Yeah. What do you need to add and where as well? So it's the always have a black piece of paper okay let me just do that because that black there is a bit of that's better uh-huh so 
So, uh, where is it? <laughs> you balance an ink it. pad. Yeah, an ink yeah. pad to give me a nice uh, balance. I hope it's not too high for the camera. Is it good for the camera? It's, it's okay? good. It is good. That's good. perfect. So, Lovely. Yeah, I have my numbers in there. And now what I'm going to do those, I'm going to cut them there with a scissor. Okay. So, we will have one here. The other one here, and that actually would be really cool. And then we have the other, and I like kind of the connecting the two pages yeah, and a nice do. continuity. That one, there's no need to cut it because we go all of it here. And maybe just a little bit. <laughs> there. Perfection. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you just put it in there. What you can do after that, you can um, go for your different stamp set. I love adding that stamp set. This is one of the gifts that we have oh, with the Mega. Wonderful. One of the gifts. It's called Splodge. So you need to add. Um, so I like adding a, constra a contrast sorry, um, color. So for that one, you can go with any color you think will work very well together. Either a dark, because that one was a lighter one. So this one is a bit darker. Uh -huh. Or I can use a bit of red. I think the red will work even better with it. So I have two reds here, so I'm just seeing and um, quickly grabbing. I think I will go with the candied apple. My ink pad is a bit dry, but I still do the job because I don't want some. I just want it for contrast. I don't want it to be dominant. And I'm not using my acrylic block, so I'm just using it straight away. Okay. And then adding those um, small, you will see, let me just move that one. You will see the minute I add them. They really add a lot to your background, and that and that contrast color also bring everything together. You see nice. those red spots there? That's yeah. really very really nice. And then when you put that one, works really well. I'm going to do the lovely. same thing here. Yeah. So it's a bit of Halloween, as I said, but yeah. that's on my way. You can add, a, you can throw a, even more and more stamps here from the weekend well or you can from our previous collection as i said check the website we have amazing deals like yeah, and for this fi fifth birthday there are some stamp sets probably you didn't even see before because they're old stamp set yeah but they work and they can name for example the wicked one the wicked stamp set Ooh. it's called wicked and it's one of our first releases if i'm not wrong the second or the third release mm -hmm. back in 2016-17 wow, it? and it works really well that's why i put it in the show i cool. thought for people who didn't see it and for people who want something to um work with this collection and so they can use their product in different ways so they can mix them with others that stamp set also work really well so check the website on the show um, it's called we can Wick show you actually the wicked one. Oh, brilliant you have it yeah that's the one wicked yeah and there's also another one oh, remember the name is just after it or before it also they are one of the you see this number hashtag 49 yeah and now we are 600 something <laughs> so you can see like like yeah and they still work very well with our new releases yes. and that's very important for me i'm really pleased that we kept that it's just not giving new product but something that you can work mm -hmm. very well what we have what you have before nice do you know um i was on a show with leone who was asking people to and she'd got like stamp something something like number nine. Oh wow and that's she was, one of the yeah. first releases and definitely the first release yeah and she was set asking people to let them let us know you know how far back they've got and i think i can't remember the lady's name but somebody has got you know number one, one. yeah amazing. oh wow that's amazing cool. yeah a lot of people keep messaging us um emailing us actually they said we're collecting your stamps yeah. we're missing this 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 number but ah. because they are old where can we find them or what they look like yeah. and they, they many many times we've got this kind of emails mm. yeah so yeah so thank you for the support i'm so pleased they like the product and they over the years they still like it there so this is my cool. page put it down as i said um i'm just going to spend more time later sure. after the show to so add the finishing touches splatters i don't want to do them live because they take quite some time right. a bit slow but as yesterday I put the picture i'm going to put also pictures of this oh good stuff all right i should leave Can you, you for give a me just a few minutes to, prep, of to course. get ready for the next camera and then you'll have about 15 or so minutes Brilliant. wonderful right then the monthly mega deal launched yesterday at 10 a.m we are now three quarters of the stock gone your monthly mega deal as it says on the description is meant to last the month we shall see you have got um, a whole wonderful range of uh, you've got different artists here different styles but you've got loads to play with at the top we've got our weekend wow which is has been drawn by the pasha you've got the dog you've got the spider's web with the bats the sort of the poison bottles it's really really cool you've got stencils in there too
Uh, and then mm, coming down to the bottom, we've got Tracy's One Day Special, but not One Day Special, if you know what I mean. That's down there. That's also in this complete collection. And Tracy will be demoing this literally in about 15 or so minutes after the break of this show. And then we've got a sneak peek of Janet Klein's uh, fabulous, quirky, cutesy designs. Love these. She's got such a fabulous style. Um, and we're talking star signs on this collection. And if that wasn't good enough, because you've got loads of discounts, you've got 11 fantastic items that are free. They're worth uh, £90 and some change that you're not paying for. Uh, three payments of £65.92 if you are a Freedom member. Item number is 248608. Now, that's the complete collection. But if you just want to go for the wow, then we've got this. This is the Hocus Pocus. Love it. And um, so in more detail, you can see you've got the cat with the hat. Um, you've got, oh, you've also got um, uh, a nice little tie and a bow and a hat, something a little bit different there. You have got stencils that I love the roses. Well, I'm going to say that they're roses and the spider's web. It's a really fabulous, comprehensive collection. You've got a cat and a dog. Uh, so nobody's missing out if you're a lover. Um, what else have I got back here? I don't know if I showed this one. Uh, here's our cat. And she's just got just that yellow for the eye. I think that's brilliant. It just pops, doesn't it? Cool. Philip has done that one. Oh, I haven't seen this. Let's bring this in uh, with the hat. Uh, that one is by Janet. And here's one by Debbie. She's Look at it. She likes her colours there. That's cute. She's coloured in the cap fantastically. This one is by Jo Elliott. And that's using the stencil. It's lovely. It looks like it's got a haunting glow. Jo Elliott here has done this one. Nice. And then this one is also by Janet. So you can see that's using the stencil and the hats. If you want to just go for the weekend well, uh, you can spread the cost to payments of £38.21. Item number is 113197. And you do still get a gift with purchase on this one. Um, it's the decimal stamp set. Um, it's worth 7 99 Have I got it here? Yes, I have. There we go. So that's worth $7.99 and you're not paying for it. And it's a really fabulous background stamp. You can really create texture with it. It's really cool, isn't it? Yep, that is your freebie with the Weekend Wow. Lovely. Let's come over to you then, Abs. Okay. Just forgot one thing before I move sure. to the next demo. Quickly mention, I was stamping the wings and talking about the wings, oh, yeah. the whole demo. And I completely forgot. Last minute, I changed what I wanted okay. to do. So my plan was just to stamp the hat this way. Yeah. And the lady, the other side, okay. or it can be unisex, it can be a man holding like so. So it's the person, the other side, the other side, and have the wing this ah, side. You see I what see. I mean? Yep. And all what I want to do, or either stamp them both this side yep. and have that wing the other side. That would be cool. And then have that a nice continuity. But and then I carried on with the labels. I completely forgot about my original idea. To be fair, though, I really like that composition that you've got there. I, I like it too. That's yep. why I went for it. But you have also this possibility of using the wings. So just position the person in whatever wing. If you want to use that wing, yeah. just put to the left. If you want the other wing, to put to the right. And Absolutely. that's it. So Perfect. I just want to mention that quickly before um, I forget. <laughs> <All> <laughs> just in case they're wondering, why did he stem the wings if he didn't use them? Oh, you will, though, in something else. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so I have here two um, cards again to fit in my journal. Um, rectangular. I did not measure, to be fair, just cut them so they can sure. fit in my journal. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to do a little bit Christmassy. So why for that? I got stencil. I have mm -hmm. this flower stencil from the Weekend Well. Cool. From the Weekend Well bundle. I have the hat, uh, not the hat, sorry, the, the dog. Sorry, with all these beautiful stems also from the Weekend mm. Well. And I thought I will use it. Yes, I gave up. It's, <laughs> it's Robin. It's Christmas for Robin. I know cool. I've been always saying, no, it's not a Christmas stem set. And I know Jan Pring is watching this say like, yeah, <laughs> I would. <laughs> so I thought this called Flourish is also on the show. It's yeah. also discounted. And it goes very well with those. So that's why mm. I thought, let me create a collage. Back to Lovely. my roots. Back to what I love to do, which is collage. Yeah. Okay, so I have both stem sets here ready. Let me start with the um, the flourish one. That robin is one of my favourite birds. People who follow me or people who watch me demo in the past and who chant that or on social media, yeah. I use that one God knows how many oh, times. Oh, really? And still, um, as I still never get out of fashion, fashion, sorry, and I still use it all the time. Okay, so put that one back here. 
and let me grab my birdie. Um, so, inking that one. You can see that it's well loved. Yeah. I used it many, many times. <laughs> it's all have. dirty, and it's because I don't clean my stems. Oh, you're like Leone. Yeah, if I use permanent. And to be fair, I, we always said, as Tracy said in her shares, mm. the more you use them, the more you ink them, the better they stand. Yeah, so that's, don't clean that is them. True. Leave yeah. that layer there. Leave that layer of ink to make them even better. So, I have my. Um, Oops, my double page here. Yeah. So the bird robin, I'm going to put it this side. So leave a few seconds before you lift. In cool. the meantime, um, use, that flick, use that flexible side of your acrylic block to uh -huh. have that nice print, and you have it perfect from the first. Yeah, so that's one in there. Yeah. Oh it's, oh, it's such a beautiful image. I love robins. They follow you around the garden. They're they, so sweet. Yeah, and you have also all those nice leaves and elements mm. and amazing stamp set. So we're going to make the most of it. We're going to use most of them to create our um, left page here. So we have those nice leaves as well. They go really well with the with this um, bird and with this theme. Yeah. So you can put there, for example, here. Let me just, I hope I'm seeing the camera. I like stamping on the edge if I want to be out of the, out of the page. So I can mm -hmm. still use the other side um, later. So I'm going to do that one here. You see how perfect is that one? And yeah. then what I, what I didn't wipe to waste. So I can use it somewhere else, for example, in here. I'm going to have that, the rest of it. It's just for me, because I'm on air. It saves me time to go and ink it again. Have that leaf there, you see, it's cool. nice now. Nice, yeah. So that is a beautiful stamp. We have also in the same stamp set. Um, uh, what should we use now? Uh, let's wait for now. Let me add the other side to make sure it's balanced up. I don't want to put a lot, and yeah. then the other side will be empty, and then we lose a little bit of the balance. So the first thing I want to start with the focal point, which is my dog here. Ink it within an inch of its life. <laughs> <laughs> and my focal point, I want it a little bit here down, so we have the birds on the top sitting on that, um, th between the flowers and the leaves, and the dog a little bit toward the right. Mm -hmm. If you notice, I'm not a fan of the centre. I, I ha rarely use my focal point in the centre. I either put it to the left or to the right, it depends. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. So I'm doing a Christmas project, but like an art journal Christmas project. Like I still don't do cards 100%, but Bless at you. least I gave up on the theme. I'm doing well, Christmas funny, theme. Well, funny you should <laughs> say that because Janet's emailed in. Oh no, yeah, Janet's I know, I'm is. a loser, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a loser, I know. <laughs> no, she says, at last her work is done because you finally admitted it's a Robin. Hi, Janet. <laughs> 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 Love that. And can I also just say, Thank you, we've had so many emails coming in, but what you don't know is we've had, because we, we keep going here, we've had a few technical issues, so we just want to thank you, and maybe hopefully we can read them out when, are you back, you're back tomorrow, are Yeah, you? I'm back in tomorrow yeah. at 10am um, and 2pm. Yes, perfect, so thank you once again, we're not ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> and Jana also is here tomorrow, by the way. Oh, is she? Yeah, she's uh, doing the Jana Klein design, ah, she's doing the ODS. Oh, she's launching those, right, yeah, okay. she's doing the ODS. So now we have that. The same stamp set, we have that um, beautiful, um, other large stamp, yep. and that one I want it to be here for both pages. Okay. So that continuity, as I always I want it. For people who don't do our journal, or they like the demo, but they want to create their Christmas card, you can still do that one on its own, or yep. that one on its own, or just cut square and do the same thing. You don't have right. like to do it the same way as me. Yep. And just give you inspiration ideas, and then you do it the way you want. Cool. Oh, and also we can find you on Facebook, can't we? All yeah, I'm on Facebook and All and Create Fanatics. That's yeah, it. join the group All and Create Fanatics, where all the design team um, share their project, but also Tracy Evers has her own group. Mm -hmm. She's ten times active than me on there. Oh. <laughs> so join Tracy Ad Tracy Evans Addict. It's a bit longer than name. She can tell you later on her yeah. show. <laughs> but if you type Tracy Evans Addict, 
you find straight with the group one of the first suggestions in there. Nice. So yeah, those two groups full of inspiration, all on to create fanatics and trade service addicts. So I'm going to stamp, as you can see, I'm going to go a little bit on the top of my dog. You would think like, oh, we cannot see it later properly, okay. but don't worry, I have it ready. Brilliant. I don't do masking and it's too much fussy cutting for me. Bless you. <laughs> Maybe Tracy would do that for me later, but She's we'll putting see. You, he's putting you to task again, <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> So yeah, stamping here, two pages. Yep. Leave it a few seconds, leave them one, and oh, perfect. Yeah. I got really great. It's a little bit messy there, but don't worry, the dog is cut and is ready here mm -hmm. to go. So my page is um, coming well together. Put that stamp back. Where did I put the stamp set here? And now also in that stamp set, we do have more all the small stamp set to fill the gaps and to have that nice element. Then that's exactly what I'm going to do now and what I'm going to use. I can't believe Janet Pring emailed in and uh, <laughs> I knew she will make a comment, but I was not expecting to be that quick. Yeah, she's on it. <laughs> she's, she's been saying that for the last two, three years since we released it. Yeah. Um, and I've been denying it. No, it's not Christmas. It's a normal bird. It's <laughs> And to be fair, when I grabbed the stamp set and I knew I'm going to use it, I said like, okay, I know what will happen. I know exactly what yeah. I'm to say. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Um, I can do exactly the same, but the other side maybe. Just part of it. I love when I do have um, just part of it and not the full image. Maybe just next to it, actually. Yeah, and whatever yeah. ink left here, cool. see if I manage to get those details was left on the other side oh yeah nice to have nice to have that continuity the other side so my collage is coming and so far i'm just stamping in black so everything is black and white and you will see the magic at the end the minute you start introducing color the minute you start um adding those textures yeah. and small details everything will pop and everything comes wet together so i'm doing my collage first um cool. we've only got two minutes to say no two minutes okay so what i'm doing the easy the good thing about i have that flower with a hat can you see it oh yeah yeah i'm gonna like stamp that. it straight away instead of removing the ink i'm gonna stamp it straight away as it is because i have the dog later to sit on the top yes. so we only see the hat straight away that's cute yeah okay so Oh, probably I will have to remove a little bit of ink because there's a text. Otherwise, those numbers would be a bit oh, I see. Uh, not straight. But not that bothered me. But I just um, it's to at the end that it will look good because um, I want the collage to really go. Okay, why I'm doing that? So let me get rid of that then. I think I'm. Yeah. I yep. hope I'm not okay. out of the. I keep forgetting I go out of the. Um, yeah, don't worry. My rectangle for the camera. And I'm going to do my hat in here. Also, what you can do in this kind of collage or this kind of uh -huh. black and white, I would, let me, oh, I missed a little bit here, but glad I have my ink, uh, my black pen ready. Yeah, so, always good. Yeah, just a little bit and fill that gap. And yeah. No one will notice that That's I missed it. that part. <laughs> no one will notice that. But also what I was saying about this, when I do in black and white, another idea you can do is if you don't want to color, if you're not into coloring, mm -hmm. if you don't want to spend yeah. a lot of time, you can keep it black and white and just color one of the elements. For example, the hat in red here, it yeah. will really pop and just like ink your and the edges. Good point. Keep it black and white with only one element. Now I'm going to do the stencil now. We have that beautiful stencil here already. Bless you. I'm going to have to leave you, Abs, to carry on playing. <laughs> oh, already? Oh, no, it always already. goes so quick. I'm oh, so sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Abs. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And we'll much. see you tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, 10 and 2. Excellent. Lovely stuff. And once again, thank you so much for all your emails. We'll try and uh, read them out maybe a bit later or tomorrow, etc. Please do check out your baskets. It's a fantastic, complete collection. And you've got over £90 worth of free goodies. How good is that? We are carrying on with All and Create's fifth birthday. I'm handing over to Janice and Tracy now. Uh, after that, we've got Celebrate and later Pink Frog Crafts Happy Hour. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts, 
We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute to classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Palace, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. I always wait for a few seconds and then I say good afternoon everyone. We've gone from the morning into the afternoon and you know what? We go into the evening and the early hours as well because we're 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're live all the way through until 10 o'clock tonight. So plenty of live inspiration for you. And then we go on to repeat overnight to so 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if that isn't enough, you can of course watch the shows again on Rewind at your pleasure when you get your items home or maybe later on tonight, something you've missed. Maybe the dog needs letting out halfway through a demonstration. Don't worry, you can watch it all again. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Here at the craft store as well, there are a few ways for you to buy. You can either head to the website or you can download the app. Or, of course, you can give us a call on our new telephone number. All of that will appear on the screen. If you've got a pen, I'll give you the number now. If you don't know it, it's 0330 Two. Um, so that's the telephone number and you can head on to the phone lines and buy. Now, we are at the hour of a one-day special. Now, it is a one-day special, sort of. What we're doing is celebrating five years of All and Create. And five years of All and Create means plenty of inspiration for you and lots of designers as well underneath that umbrella of All and Create. You've got Papasha, you've got uh, Janet Klein, you've got Tracy Evans that we are, of course, looking at in a moment's time. Um, yep, yeah, I said Papasha. Uh, and you've got, of course, Autour de Moi, which is Abs himself and plenty of other designers as well throwing their hat into the ring. Now, Tracy's collection has been incredibly busy. You can also get this in the mega deal we have for you as well. You might want to check that out on the website. Now, we've been very, very busy for this. When we introduce you to Tracy in a few moments' time and we talk to her about her designs, you'll have a really good understanding how these come together and are produced for you guys at home. So it's really, really interesting to have an understanding of the design work. 
Now, with the deal that we've got for you, you are saving £10. It's £84.93. That gets you the seven stamp sets. Now, if you're a Freedom member, you get an extra 10% off. That's £18.49. And the great thing is, we're going to give you the opportunity to buy over two monthly payments. Interest-free, no credit cards needed or anything like that. If you're on the website, you just tick a box. We'll take half today, which is 38.22. Freedom members, no P&P to pay, and then another payment in a month's time. Now, let's introduce you to the designer herself, the marvellous, the wonderful, it's our Tracy. <laughs> Good afternoon. How are you, Tracy? Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very well. Yes. More, but, I've woke up a little bit now. Have you? Oh, you were awake this <laughs> I morning. I might not be as dangerous this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had a great show this morning and a fabulous demonstration. This is something I really like about you, Tracy. You take us through every element. You explain why you're doing something, why you're putting it in a certain position. And that really helps, doesn't it? Especially when you're going for a stamp collection like this. I think it's important to educate. If someone is going to invest in your designs, then I think one of the things we can do as designers is educate. And it's great for me, sort of watching Abs uh, demonstrate or Janet demonstrate, because or it's Pasha. Yeah, I exactly. mean, we've never had her here in the studio. No, have but we? she does do samples yeah. online. But it's just great to the fact that we're all here together means that you can look over those uh, samples and those designs and those demonstrations over the next, you know, sort of three days and next sixty days. But it just means that we don't leave you with a set of stamp sets and say, get on with them. You know, we give you lots of inspiration. And I think that's important that, you know, we do follow through with that. Yeah, do you know what? It is important. We were talking earlier on about the design team that when they get their stamps, they don't have any inspirational television shows to watch. And that's the wonderful thing about the design team. When they get their stamps home like this, they'll have a look at them. They'll have a think. They'll maybe stamp them out like an index. And then just sit and think and think, right, what can I do with these? And then come up with some fantastic designs like this. That Kingfisher is in the collection. So it's a small one just there. But what a wonderful design to place that in the background. Yeah, and it Tracy shows with the birds on the perfectly. front. Yeah, it shows everything off perfectly. But for me, the design team members, it shows that they've enjoyed the designs because yes. they haven't had... Because if anybody's going to have difficulty with a stamp set, it'll be the design team because they get them with no inspiration. And they don't. They always come up trumps every time. They certainly do. Here's another lovely set. And we're, we're talking about sets here. I don't know how many stamps there are in total, but you've got seven sets. And also, you're getting your free gift with purchase as well. I'll show you that in a moment's time. Just to show you this particular stamp set. Um, and you've got the Sycamore Tree Key. key. That's it. <laughs> used to call them helicopters. Used to call them helicopters. There are 37 stamps in total, actually. And there are some nice sentiments in there as well. Going for this today, you will get your free gift with purchase. Let's show you that because this is, has a value of $7.99. And you've got all your little love hearts in there as well. This is going to be a superb stamp for building and creating your background to layer your other stamps on. So you get that included. It's a fabulous price. We've got plenty of demonstrations to come. And as we are celebrating five years of All and Create, if you've got any pictures of previous collections from Tracy, please send in your pictures. We had some this morning, didn't yeah, we, Tracy? it's fabulous to see everybody Aww. else. To see customers use your designs yes. is the biggest compliment ever. Oh, you know, it is. It's fab to see the designs. Do you know what, guys? Get your cameras out. Send in your pictures. It's studio at thecraftstore.com uh, if you can. Right. Remember, there is the monthly mega deal available to you. We've been really busy. We launched this at 10 a.m. on Friday morning. My goodness, we had a busy day. Now, the value in this is second to none because alongside your 130 stamps, You've got three stencils and you get 11 extra free gifts worth over £90. It is an incredible deal. And you have got Tracy's designs in there. You've also got Bipasha's design in there. Uh, you've got Janet's designs in there. It's a wonderful collection. It really, really is. And uh, I love the uh, star sign collection yeah, that's in the there, Everybody's yeah. been coming in and saying, what star sign are you? Oh, what star sign are you? What star sign are you? I'm Capricorn. You're Capricorn. I'm in Aries. Yeah. Abs is a Leo. Yes. Uh, Doug, what star sign are you, floor manager? Leo. Leo. Oh, I've got Leo rising, actually. Interesting. Uh, Meg, what star sign are you? She's our producer. Uh, she's the cat's mother. I mean, Meg. Um, <laughs> Libra. Oh, the scales. Okay. All makes sense now. I'm only kidding. I'm only <laughs> kidding, Meg. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Um, and Chris, who's our director, what star sign are you? 
another a fellow Aries. Well, there you go. Um, it's interesting though, isn't it? So that's in the collection and it's just 65.92 today, another payment a month after that, another payment a month after that. So we've divided that cost into three payments interest-free. Isn't that fabulous? That could be a whole crafting stash for the next year and then year after that to come. Brilliant. Right, okay, let's have a demonstration and see what we're up to in the show today. Thanks, Janice. So with our first demonstration, which was at 8 a.m., I actually did a demonstration with the gel press. You can catch that on Rewind. Now, I'm a great believer in following up on certain demos. So I want to follow up on that demo, but do a different technique with different uh, mediums. And I think it's important to follow up just so that we don't give you one trip wonders. So what I'm going to do this time, this time I've got my five by seven gel press. It doesn't matter what gel press you use, you can use one that's a little tiny one, a big one, makes no difference. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place Bapasha's stencil on to the gel press. And as you can see, my gel press is beautifully clean, not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good thing not to have them clean, isn't yeah. it? Oh yes, because yeah. you get fantastic prints. Now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use alcohol inks. Now you need to make sure it's very important when you're using alcohol inks that you work in a ventilated room. I've got a huge room here and it's very well ventilated, but when you're using them at home, please make sure that you work in a ventilated room and open your window. Okay. Good advice. Just as a demonstrator, we have to give out those warnings yeah, just to be to do it professionally. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, just to now my eyesight's not its best, but I'll try and give you the colours. Valencia, because I'll only get asked on social media. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab my alcohol inks over my gel press. Now, if you want, you can just go like this. The only problem with that is you do get some seepage under the stencil because it's natural because you're pouring it over. So if I want a more defined look, then I use my ink blending tool, the, the felt for the alcohol inks. And what I'm going to do then is use a second colour, which is raspberry. So we're going to some, for some bright colours. Let's cheer ourselves up for a Saturday afternoon. I and love use, raspberry. Yes. Oh, love it neat, as a raspberries colour. till they come out my ears as well, talking about raspberries. I could just <laughs> eat some raspberries now, actually. Oh, so could I. <laughs> so I'm just, my dogs like raspberries as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they can't, they don't eat much else, just dry biscuits, but they love a raspberry. Oh, I'll have to try our little Millie on a raspberry. So I'm just adding... She blows it, <laughs> let's, let's put it that way, but she might like to eat some. So I'm just adding the raspberry over the top. And I'm just layering that colour nice and gently. And what I'm going to do next is just bring another colour in that's a little bit darker. Now what you have to be aware with the alcohol inks is that they're translucent. So you can make mud if you're not careful. So you know just, what, Tracy, I do that quite a bit. So this is interesting to learn. Yes, you need to remember. So, you know, if you're going to mix purple and orange, yeah. you're going to get brown. Yeah, you so you're are. going to go with a mucky colour. Yeah. If you want to use them colours, keep them separate. Right. Would you suggest another colour in between or just white space? White space. OK. Uh, you know, if you want to use them colours because, like for Halloween, orange and purple sit well. And if you yeah. watched Abs use orange and purple, yes. they were separated. Right. So don't use them together because you're going to make brown. OK. So what I've got here is I've got some blue. And I just want to add a touch of that colour. And even though I'm adding it over the top, I'm not adding too much. I'm not blending the colour to create any mud. So I'm just adding some touches of that colour. And then what I'm going to do is I've got some pearl. And you need to give that a good shake because it's a pearl colour, which is enchanted. Enchanted? Doesn't that sound posh? It does. Enchanted, just like me, posh. <laughs> you are posh. Oh, I've never been posh in You've got life. posh air today, I tell you. <laughs> this is what it's like normally. It's Clearly lovely. Bonds. It's lovely. So I'm just going to add some of that pearl and just add it over the top. And what I want you to be is I want you to be patient with your backgrounds because your backgrounds are going to make your stamps sing. And doing these backgrounds makes me happy. Does it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. I never tire. Oh, no. do, you, do you sing when you craft? No, if I sing, seriously, I'm tone deaf. Ian okay. always tells me to please shut up. <laughs> so I could never go on TV and sing. If I was on one of the certain programmes where you sing, <laughs> I'd be sent off. Oh. So as you can see on the photo, on the camera here, you can see the detail on the gel press. Can you see that? Yes, we can. And can you see that I've got inks on my acetate? Oh, yes. This is not acetate, Tracy. This is a stencil. Yeah. I've got the colours on my stencil. So we'll use those as well in a short moment. So what I'm going to do is place my card 
just onto those alcohol links. And hopefully this will create us a beautiful background that we can use, which it's a little bit dry. Yeah. So what I need to do is I need to get a paint layer. So what we'll do is we'll add that paint layer when you go to a break. Okay. Because the difference is when I'm at home, I could do that straight away. Yes. There's no air conditioning. Yeah. So the air conditioner has dried that out. Right. Do you so want me to do that now, uh, Tracy? I can just nip to get some white paint. Yeah, that would be brilliant. I'll tell you what then, let's give you a reminder um, of your monthly mega deal. We've been really, it's so big, it's hiding me. Hello. Um, this really is amazing. If you've watched shows in the past of all and created the different designers that we've had and you've thought to yourself I'd really love to dip my toes into the world of all and create well this is an ocean for you it's fabulous 197 pounds and 75 pence gets you my goodness 130 stamps three stencils and 11 extra free gifts worth over 90 pounds and they are not just any old stamps thrown in they are some fabulous designs for you from the designers under the umbrella of all and create and those stencils are brilliant to work with those are your freebies and they are worth over 90 pounds that could be your christmas present and the rest that you're buying could be gifts or they could be gifts for everybody and this is your Christmas present that you're getting. Start to create some wonderful designs. We were talking about Tracy's uh, designs, the little characters that make up the Zodiac, but you can also use these uh, unrelated to the Zodiac if you wanted to. Um, but they are fun and funky characters. Let's just lift that a little bit for you. Um, I'm there. That's me. That's Aries. Uh, we've got Gemini there. We've got the twins. That's your Cancerian with the crab on her head. You've got your Capricorn just there. Let's move around. Is that Virgo, Tracy? That, that's your Capricorn just there. Oh. Uh, Pisces with the fish, as you can see there. Aquarius with the water carrier. This one, maybe that one's Virgo with the cat. Could be. Yes, um, it is. Oh, that's Leo the oh, lion. Leo, oh. Leo, Leo the, the lion. lion. Of course it is. Wow, these really are amazing. And if you want to get hold of these, they are included in your monthly mega deal. They really are. And it gives you a chance, of course, let me show you some of these characters. I've got them right here, actually. Uh, it was Virgo, not Leo. It was Virgo, the lady with the, with the putty tuddy just there. Virgos can be very particular about selections of things, okay. let's say. Yes, yeah. Uh, like sort of certain colours and certain elements. Who have we got here? Oh, we have got Sagittarius. Oh, very interesting. Like Sagittarius. Apparently Sagittarius and Libra are my perfect match. Mm. Meg, what are you doing later? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> it is an incredible deal. Oh, I've just been turned down live on air. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm already taken. Uh, <laughs> right. Your deal here. It's so big. Like I say, it's covering me. Uh, 248608 is your item number. A fabulous deal. You could even make a clock. Look at that. Tick tock, tick tock. And that clock is live, actually. I set it when we launched. Shall I grab that and bring it forward? Because it really is brilliant. Look at that. Here we go. Shall I bring it up? Oh, you're following. Where are we going? Oh, it's like the golden shot. Left a bit, right a bit. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is brilliant. That is really good. You could be a different mood for a different time of the day. Love that. Uh, right, three pence and 65 pounds and 92 pence if you're a Freedom member. And if you want to become a Freedom member to take advantage of that extra freedom of not paying any PMP and take advantage of being a member, your membership starts today. So triple eight, triple eight, that's just seven pounds and 97 pence. Then you're a Freedom member and then you can get that extra discount. You're saving 56 pounds and 97 pence. Amazing, isn't it? Of course, you can buy it without being a Freedom member, but why would you? Become a Freedom member, try it out for a month and get that great discount. Right, let's head back to Tracy. Have you put your paint on I've it, I've got my paint here. Good. Now, what I want you to do is, I don't want you to panic when something like that happens. What it means is it depends on your atmosphere around yes. you. I, when I was at home, I could just take a print and yes. that all peeled off. Yeah. Now, what you can see is it's still on my gel press, okay. print, so it's not a problem. But don't bin that. That's still a print. Yep. There's nothing wrong with that Keep print. Keep it for a background. It, perfectly. So don't bin that. And don't panic when something doesn't quite go to plan. Okay. So what you do then is you take, don't add your paint to this because it'll start to lift it. Bray your paint out 
on your non-stick craft sheet and brayer it lightly over. Is that any paints, water, water-based you, paints? Uh, it's acrylic just paints? acrylic paints. Right. Just, you just want a light layer. The thing with the shows is it's very difficult to judge with the air conditioning what, how much layer of paint. Normally yeah. you just put a thin layer of paint. So it's, it does depend on your atmosphere. But don't ever panic because it's a background. Yeah. It's not, it's not life-threatening, you know, it's, it's, it's a background. I can still use that and I'll use it for another project. And I'll prove that because I'll put it on social media. And then what you do is do your white paint and there's your print. Wow. You know, if you've never seen any demonstrations with uh, a gel plate before, it is amazing. It really, really is. And if you want to invest in one, I'm sure we've got one somewhere on the website or something similar. Um, but it really is a fascinating way to craft and gets you excellent results to build your layers to start putting your fabulous stamps on. Details, remember, on the side of the screen at the moment for the one day special, which is part of the weekend deal uh, that we've got for you. But it was launched yesterday at six o'clock. Three pence is 65 pounds and 92 pence. Freedom members, you've got that extra discount, taking it up to 56 pounds and 97 pence so that is your mega set those are the details on the screen for the mega set details at the bottom of the screen are for your flutters and filigree which is what you see before you and if you want to go for just that there's the details at the side of the screen for you you're saving 10 pounds brand new today freedom members you see you're saving that extra eight pounds and 49 pence freedom membership is seven pounds and 97 pence it makes sense. Why would you buy this not being a Freedom member when to make that extra saving, which will just be your Freedom membership, and then you're a Freedom member for a month, it makes total sense. It really is. So that's triple eight, triple eight in your basket. You'll pay for your Freedom membership, seven pounds and 97 pence, and then you get that extra eight pounds and 89 pence off. So you quids in really, or thereabouts, about 95 pence. So that is the way to buy and you can divide the cost into two payments right back to Tracy so we've actually got a nice shimmer on that background you might not see it in real life but it's actually got a beautiful shimmer but that's a stunning background but as Leone always says two for one please so I've got some alcohol here that I'm just applying to the stencil again work in a ventilated room place your card over the top and it will just soak into your card and you get a two for one. Oh, that's, do you know what? I really like that. Yep, so it's a little bit more subtle, but yeah. you get a two for one. I like that. You okay. can colour it in later once it's dry. Exactly. So we'll just move out that way. Talking of drying, would you dry, now as I was talking yesterday about not using a heat gun to dry, yep. especially if it's watercolours, to let yep. it dry naturally. Do you go on the same rule of thumb? Yes, for me, it, I, I don't dry um, unless I'm on live TV yeah. and you've got to go to the next step. Yes. Uh, Abs has got a couple of journal pages that actually show the difference between natural drying and leaving it to dry wow. naturally on its own. And the depth of colour is, is, is a big difference. Yes. Yeah. So let it dry naturally, okay. especially when you're using inks. So let's use our token. So we're going to use our token image. And what I want to do is just, I've got a little background here that I've just created with Distress Oxide inks. And all I've done is smoosh them on the craft sheet because I want to get to some stamping. And I've used ripe persimmon and picked raspberry because just perfect colours for that token. Brilliant. So I'm going to give that a really good inking. And the token is included in your filigree and uh, your flutters and filigree. So just if going you to... can, too can. <laughs> Where do you get all these things from? <laughs> I, I, I wonder myself. I wonder myself. So just allow that ink to sit, even though that card is perfectly dry because yeah. it's been dry overnight, I still allow that ink to sit. I don't rush when I'm stamping. And there you've got your beautiful image. And what I like I that to, background. I know the background's fab, isn't it? Yeah. And we'll, do, we'll show the little top tip that I said to you we showed okay. earlier in the yeah. previous session oh, please. with the cutout. So I'm using the floor. So what I'm going to do now it's a great background, but what you need to remember is you need to remember to give your token a little bit more depth of colour. So I'm using my ripe persimmon and picked raspberry. Now, just add a little bit more colour to him. Don't give up on adding another layer of colour. 
just in certain areas, especially his beak, because his beak's usually very bright. So just add a little bit more vibrancy. And if you just watercolour this way, you can do wet on wet if you want, that makes it blend very easily. So just take your time. And what I would do is I'd let this dry and then I add a third layer. Obviously on live TV, there isn't time for that because you want to see more demos. So then I'm just going to add a little bit of the blue, blue. A little bit of the pink, obviously I'm going to colour blind. I didn't like to say there. Yeah, you Tracy. said, you know. I, th I did say that I brought my brains with me for the afternoon. <laughs> I'm not. I was just thinking about toucans. They eat fish. They, no, they live in the, in the jungle, don't they? The tropical jungle. rainforest, yeah. so yeah. probably not fish. No. no. Probably not. Mind you, I'll say that and somebody will say, no, no, you're, you're wrong, Tracy. <laughs> well, if you know what they eat, email in and let us know. We had some facts about kingfishers earlier on, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. You were very uh, knowledgeable yeah. about that. Oh, you really you. know your birds. If anything, I know my birds. So just spend a little bit of time just adding your colour to your toucan. Now, you wouldn't wipe that up like I'm doing. What you'd do is you'd get another piece of card and you'd mop that up. So it, it is sacrilege to waste your ink. But at the end of the day, I want to try and get through a couple of demos if I can. And what I want to show you then is we've got the toucan here cut out. So what I want to do then is just layer my design and just add some more layered elements. So I've got my toucan and it's just going to get lost in the background. Okay. So I want to add a little bit more detail. So I'm going to take my border stamp and I'm just going to take one element from it. Just because it's a border stamp doesn't mean that I can't separate that border stamp and use just small elements from it. So I'm going to use the Charming Pink um, Versifying Claire ink and just ink one of the circles. Just give that a good inking. Now, could we use our alcohol markers on stamps? You, you need to be careful because obviously, like I wouldn't recommend using stays on with this, right. with these inks. Why not? It, because the stays on, if you use it, not on a day, if you're going to use just what, every now and then yeah. and wipe it clean, yeah. that's perfect. Not as a daily ink pad, not really? on clear stamps. It will erode them over time. Ah, so stays on don't is, clear is the properly. permanent. Yes, right. which obviously it's got its place yes. because you, you're stamping on acetate or whatever. And yeah. I know uh, John Lockwood has got another ink pad because I need to message him. Yeah. There's another ink pad that John Lockwood brings um, oh. that I actually prefer. That it's you use that onto the acetate and it doesn't affect. Oh, if you're watching stamps. John, by any chance. Email in and let us know what that ink pad is. You and I just need to be. say thank you to uh, Sam as well, who oh. messaged me, sent me a lovely message. So oh, thank you. Thank you, Sam. And Sam, if you're watching, go and tell John yeah. and email back <laughs> in. <laughs> I can, the name is just er erased. It's gone. And I can't think what the name is. It's not the eyes ink one. No, no. no. And it's, 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 it's some, and the name actually describes the ink pad. But I, oh, I, can't, okay. I can't think. Okay. So I'm just going to, no, I've got that cut out. What are you doing, Tracy? That's because we were talking. So what I've got now is I'm trying to lift the toucan from the background. And what you can do, because you've got the orange and the pinks in the background, I've stamped one in orange and one in pink. And what you can do is play around with your, deci your design and decide which you want to do. I'm going to bring a bit of that orange in. Because the pink, there's quite the bit, the pink is more overpowering in the background and the orange isn't. The orange is around the outside edges. So I'm going to bring that orange in. Now, were you a, were you a teacher once upon a time? No. no. You're fantastic to watch and listen oh. to. You explain things so well that makes sense to even people that don't craft, that are being gently persuaded into the world of crafting. It's a wonderful world. Step inside for a while. Um, you really are easy, oh, really kind. easy to watch. No, I just, I just enjoy it. And I think, if I'm, if I'm very honest, it's learning from mistakes. Mm. It's learning from things that I wasn't told when I bought craft items. You know, and we all do it. We yeah, buy we some do. craft items and use them in the wrong way. So therefore, we fall out of love with them. Yeah. Because we use them in the wrong way. And your confidence goes, yeah, doesn't it? Absolutely. And because we're not shown or taught the right way mm. or explained the right way. Mm. And I always said that if I did anything, designed anything, then I need to teach properly. So, ah. yeah. Um, now, we've had a question from Chris. Is it Chris or Christopher? Christopher. Christopher in Peterborough. In Peterborough. Hello, Christopher. Now, apparently, he wants to know, I hope I've got this right, oh, no. producer May. <laughs> Tracy's bin diving? Oh, 
Does that mean you've been diving or you've I been diving know, in I, bins? I bin dive. Do you? And skip dive. Now, do be careful in which skips you dive into because, of course, you know, don't do that. <laughs> No, no, this was like at a garden centre. Oh. I was all dressed up. Yeah. And the garden centres leave a skip. That it's like a little nursery that we go to. And they leave a skip outside. And I can't resist to, but to get in the skip. And do you know, I'm, I'm, I am pretty much similar. And I, I do the same with the bin. Like if Ian chucks uh, sardine tins away or yep. anything like that. I'll, no, no, I can make a decoration with that. Oh. So yeah, I am a, I am a bit weird. Well, n n you know, cause we, we did the same. We managed to get a lovely wrought iron um, antique table out of a skip. You just, see, it that would just, have to come out. Yeah, we walked a, half a mile with it, Jane and I. So didn't, we didn't have anyone to come pick it up. And we didn't want the uh, the metal man coming to pick it up. So we actually walked with Millie the dog. Done that. And this big table, half a mile. I don't Nobody know. stopped to help us. <laughs> And then, we went back, you, and then we went back for the chairs. <laughs> Probably thought, like me, you were absolutely mad. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yes, I do actually do. I've been diving and skipping. Recycling, diving. upcycle. Talking exactly. about that, we've got a great show at three o'clock today. All Ooh. about upcycling, recycling. I wonder who's doing that. Oh, I don't know. Anybody don't you know? know? I know Catherine's presenting. I don't know whether she's got a difficult guest to, to deal with. At I three think she might have, actually. I think she might have. She's going to have a hands full, put it She'll that way. She'll have a work cut out for her, I yeah. can tell you. Yeah, especially when she steps this side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want you to do is when I place this down, I want, I'm going to add some stamping in the background and I want to lift it a bit more, but with a touch of black that's delicate. So I'm going to use some cotton thread. So all my followers know that I'm cotton thread mad, mainly because I don't just have to, I don't have to just add texture and layers with stamping. I can add it with things that I've got around the house. Yeah. So I'm going to use that cotton just to lift my design a little bit more. And if you want to add life to your design, bend your beard a little bit just to give it a little bit more character and leave little bits sticking up like the branch just so it looks more realistic. And then what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit more detail in the background. Now, if you wanted, you could just add your sentiment here and leave it like that. You don't have to over clutter. But I want to add a little bit more stamping. So I'm going to take this stamp set, that's actually, this stamp, background stamp, that's actually from the Toucan and the Kingfisher stamp set. Should have called it that, but much easier to remember. <laughs> so what I'm going to do then is use my Versafine Claire, which is charming pink. And this is a permanent ink. And I'm just going to add some touches of that pink. But what I don't want to do is overpower that design. I want to make sure that I've still got some open space. I've taken a lot of the card with paint and inks. But what I'm trying to get you to do is use your products that you're leaving on the shelf. Think about using your products that you've got with your stamps. Realise how versatile your stamps really are when you're creating a project. It's nice because you've got the text there, and like you say, you don't have to read the text. It oh, could no, just no. be in the background, just text. For me, it's just these kind of little details draw my eye in. Yes. So when somebody sends me a card, it's, you know, I've had cards from Belinda, I've had cards from lots of people, and when they put the little details in, it gets me investigating. Oh, yeah. what, what's that? And it's like there's a bit of shimmer on that, so that would get me bending yes. the card. And yeah. It just it, it makes it more interesting yeah. when you receive something. Like a treasure hunt. Yeah, it just make, it makes it more interesting to receive. And I always think if somebody's gone to the effort to make you anything handmade, well, then it's extra special because it's made with love. Yes, so it it's extra is. special. So now my toucan is in black. It's got a black outline. So I don't want to ignore that. I want to add a little bit of black detail. So I'm just going to add some tiny touches of the black text. But again, I don't want to overpower that design. So I just want to make sure it's not too much. So I'm just going to add a little bit down here as well, just to give me a little bit more balance. And if you're unsure when you're creating something, walk away, take a photograph, come back to it, and it'll look completely different. Yeah, I agree with that. Sometimes it's just, you know, go off and have a piece of cake. It's a good excuse. Absolutely. Have a cup of tea. And when you come back, you're quite right. One, it's dried a little bit more. And two, it, you just look at it differently. You do look at it differently. I look at it differently so much. And the amount of times I've gone back to a card, five, six, seven times, and changed 
yeah. the project just because it isn't quite right. Or if you're making a background, what I've done before, so I don't like it, instead of painting over it, just cut it into three or four pieces and rearrange it. And if you cut a heart out of it, it looks completely different. Exactly. Make an anniversary card. And yeah, it's totally perfect. Different. It's like that background I've got here. I could cut a heart out of it and I've already got it. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So it's just, don't think about mistakes as a mess or a mistake. Just think of it as a learning curve. It's not, it's not a mistake at all. So just, I love this sentiment, follow your own path. Because even in artwork, you should follow your own path. Yeah, you know, you yes, you can be inspired by, by somebody, but you know, you can take it in your own direction and enjoy your own directions as well. So I'm just going to cut that out. And this follow your own path would also make a perfect prompt for a journal page. If you were doing a journal page, you could use the chevrons in the same stamp set that I've got. Do the journal page just with your inky backgrounds, put the chevrons on, and put follow your own path and you've already got a journal page oh, already that is completed. wonderful and the chevrons of course are in this collection that we've got available for you today i was just trying to find them actually i know they're in a stamp set somewhere they'll be on the front <laughs> that's a bit like me <laughs> uh, i was organizing myself so so um so properly that's such bad english Janice. you really do need to just <laughs> oh i love being effort. with you because i just sound like you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, i've got them here i found them those are your uh, chevrons just there so you can use those yeah as part of your journal follow your own path but of course you could turn them that way or if you turn them that way they kind of look like a stack of books kind of almost not quite but maybe. Um, so there they are, and that's part of the toucan. And you've got your kingfisher on there, which is lovely, and then you've got all of your sentiments. That's just one of the stamp sets. That's why you've got seven stamp sets. Let me show you another one. Um, how many stamps in total did we say? It was 37. I think it was 37. Then you've got your free gift with purchase, okay? And that makes it 38, would it not? Yeah, it would. So again, lots and lots of stamps to be working with. Two payments, if you want to divide this, uh, you can do that, or you can pay one payment of 76.44. Um, that's if you're a Freedom member, you get extra discount. If you're not a Freedom member, well, why would you not be a Freedom member today? To get that extra £8.49 off, you're kind of getting your Freedom membership back, aren't you? You'll buy your Freedom membership, £7.97, and then you'll get that £18.89 off. Kind of just getting your membership but I think really when you think about it like that. So it's a great way to buy from us here at the craft store. Uh, 631364 is your item number. Pop it into your basket. Don't let it linger there for 10 minutes or more because someone else will come along and go, oh, what you got? In oh, well, thank you. I'll have that. And we don't want that to happen. You know what it's like at the supermarkets? If you're standing there, you've got chocolate in your basket and somebody came and took that out. You wouldn't like that, would you? So if it's in your basket now and has been whilst you've been watching the fantastic demo, and yes, we will be going back, um, then do check out your baskets to make sure you get that collection. It's also in the monthly mega deal, and that's also available to you details at the bottom of the screen. With that, back to Tracy. So we're just putting the finishing touches on Janice, and then we'll get onto another demo. Okay. So the finishing touches are important. So I've just added some ink tense pencil. I've just drawn around my circle and around my sentiment just to make this pop a little bit more, just so that it doesn't get lost in that background. So I've just added a little bit of shading just around the circle. It's just important that you add these little touches. I'm then going to add just a little white dot to his eye, just a couple of little white highlights just on his beak. Aww. Just to give it, you know, it's important that you finish it off properly. I won't glue it because then we can get onto another demo. But what, what you can do then is if you add it to a black mat, it then makes wow. it sing a little bit more. Yeah. Then add it to your white card blank and it looks a lot more professional. Oh, look at that. Add a yeah. few white splatters and it looks like a professional card. That is amazing. And don't Follow forget your inserts account. as well. Yeah, of course. Love that. How cool is that? So I'll just what, get prepped for another. Yeah, what a brilliant demonstration. We've got more to come. Remember, if you've got pictures of projects that you've created using Tracy's stamps previously, we'd love to see them. We're celebrating five years of All and Create, the coming together of all of those designers in Europe. And who knows what the next five years will bring and what other designers will come to the fore. It could be you. You never know. You never know. This could be your first collection that you're buying. You'll enjoy it. You'll start creating. And then who knows? Who knows? Just like Tracy, you may become 
a designer for the team. 631364 is your item number. What a fabulous set to start layering up. You get the tag stamp included. Uh, so that looks really good on the front of your journals. You can work your way up to this kind of artwork. If you, if you really want to do the, the matting and the layering of all your stamps, or you could do something quite simplistically like this, which is really nice. And that's the beauty of this stamp set. You can be as intricate as you like, and you can also be as, dare I say, simplistic as you like. Yeah, sim simple and effective. Um, that is so sweet, isn't it? It's lovely. And you've got all of those elements to really enjoy colouring in. Uh, a toucan doesn't have to be black and orange. It could be any colour you like. There you go. And that was the chevrons just underneath and the toucan just sitting on top, which is lovely. Everybody loves butterflies as well. And you've got a kaleidoscope of butterflies in this particular collection. Isn't that great? Now, the study of butterflies, let me see if I can remember from this morning. Um... Lopper, dopper, whopper, apophathy, lopper, dopper, apophathy, lepidopperology, leper, uh, studying butterflies, that's all we're good at, leperopidopidopology, I think, lepidopterology, I hope I've said that right, it's not something completely different, otherwise we'll be in trouble, because uh, it's not past the woodshed, lepidopperopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidopidop
that's lovely. What a great idea, the kiss technique. Um, if you've got a couple of stamps at home, give it a go, give it a try, see what you can come up with. And then when you get your collections home, you can really uh, get to town and start playing with them. It's a lovely idea, it really is, back to Tracy. It's just trying to get as much as possible, make your stamps work hard. So I'm now going to just ink that stamp again. I just cleaned off the black just because I definitely want grey rather than black. Now, our producer said those three hearts, you could turn them into chickens, give them legs and beaks. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You could also turn them into flowers, just add a stalk. Oh, you could. Or turn them the other way and there'll be three people's hair. Yeah. yeah. You just, you just <laughs> have to think outside the box. You know, it's having, it's having fun with your stamps. Yeah, it is. It's not being constricted to certain rules and regulations. You know, I know people say there are rules, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. Oh, there you are know, no rules. There are no rules no. when it comes to being creative. It's all about having fun. Exactly. And if you're not having fun, as far as I'm concerned, then don't bother. You know, you need to be having fun when you're creating. You need to enjoy your hobby. So there we've got our three hearts at the moment. Okay. And then what I want to do, let's find the stamp set that they go back on, is I want to diffuse that a little bit, just so that it's not in my face as much. Oh, what do you mean by that? So I'm because going people to use, use that term with me. Skeleton. Let's diffuse you, Janice, because you're too in my face. <laughs> 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 I haven't had that said about me yet. <laughs> well, yet. you wouldn't because you're lovely. <laughs> it's a daily occurrence here at the craft store. So I'm using the skeleton leaf because then tones it all down yeah it diffuses everything it just calms everything down so what i'm going to do so we just need to calm janice down <laughs> <laughs> poor Bucket janice cold water normally helps <laughs> as i arrive in the morning so if you've got those skeleton leaves stuck in your drawer Aww. get them out and then what i want to do is add some more layers just check on time no we're fine so what i want to do then is just take my flower stamp so this is on the sycamore key stamp set which is in the collection a, that's yes it's all in the collection let's get another acrylic block that i can't pick up or the helicopter as we call it uh, and here is that stamp set that's included in this collection there you go there's your what we call helicopters uh, you've also got what's the flower in here is that a uh, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Chris, I always have difficulty with that. <laughs> chrysanthemum. Um, mine came out late this year. Oh, did it? Uh, yeah, yeah. And the very dense. It looks ever so weird when I look out in the garden. I've just got this dense yellow bush, but they are my chrysanthemums. Of water, please. The throw problem it is, it goes me. quiet in here and it makes me worse. <laughs> <laughs> Say nothing. Oh dear, sorry. Do you want me to carry on down with me? Absolutely, <laughs> please, please, please. So, what I've done is I've got an inky background. This is a leftover background and it was done with cracked pistachio and shaded lilac. And what I want to do is take my chrysanthemum because I want it to blend with my background. Don't worry, you're not going to have to watch me cut this out. So, it just means that I'm creating a cohesive design because I'm using the same colours that are in the background in the foreground. So I'm just stamping my chrysanthemum. Now, remember that alcohol ink background that we did? Yes. Uh, the one that we've just done the previous card. If you didn't want that as a background, you could stamp this chrysanthemum onto that background and then you'd have those colours in the flower. Yeah, you would. That's yeah. a great idea. So always think how you can use your scraps up or a background that you're not happy with. So there's our flower and it will have the colours in the background and if you want to add a little bit more intensity, take your flower, make sure your pen isn't running too much, add water to your flower. Now are you squeezing that no. brush, are you letting the water just come into letting it naturally? Letting the water just come into it right. Personally, what I like to do, but I haven't got, oh I have, personally I would prefer to use a fine brush. Would you? Yes. I sometimes use a water brush for convenience for the craft store just because, yeah. you know, I'm here and it's a little yeah. bit quicker. Yeah. But normally I prefer a fine brush because it's a little bit more controlled. And you dip that in water, would yes. you? Yes. Yeah, a very you. small touch of water. Got you. See, so you learn. It's brilliant. You've got, if you, if you flood something with water, you've got no control. You've got nowhere to go. Yeah. Especially if you're colouring. Yeah. So you need to be a little bit more careful, got a bit you. more delicate with it. So 
I mean, I'm no professional colourist, but what I do is I just do techniques that work for me yeah. that are easy and understandable and achievable. And again, that builds your confidence. Correct. And you can start moving on in whatever direction you want to go. And in. there's no point me standing here mm. and selling stamps and doing something that's not achievable. Yeah, of course. Because what's the point of buying stamps if you're not going to use them and leave them gathering dust? Exactly. There's just no point. No. So what I'm going to do is if you want to add a little bit more colour and you're not a colourist, you've added a bit of water in there. And what you do is you just add this bit of colour here and you think, well, I'm not really doing much. Trust me. If you let that dry naturally, yep. it looks fantastic. It you looks like you've shaded everything. I know it's very difficult on the camera to see, but in real life, there is quite a bit of colour there because I don't want it to be too overpowering from the background. Yeah. And when you continue to add, so then take your cracked pistachio and just drop the colour in. Just drop it in and leave it. Don't do anything else with it. Okay. And let that dry. Go and have a cup of tea and let it dry. Yeah. And when you come back, it looks beautiful. When it come back and you've got all the layers, oh, wow. it looks Look a bit that. darker, like so. You know, you're right. I was doing some watercolouring um, last night. I'm very impatient and I just kind of wanted it to dry. I thought, no, leave it overnight. Now, when I looked at it this morning, it looked more vibrant mm. and different. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I often... I mean, sometimes a card can take me eight hours, just one card. Because, really? Oh, yeah, because I, I stamp and then I think, oh, I don't know whether I'm going to go in that direction. And, and rather than rush it, I'll go away. Oh. Or I'll just stamp images for yeah. the sake of stamping them yeah. so I can see them and the ideas flow a little bit oh, more then. So I always do it that way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my chrysanthemum to this. And it just means that everything works together. Now, what I would do if I wasn't on live TV... And just so that it doesn't get monotonous, I would add a foam pad or your gel medium just yeah. to give it a little bit more dimension, me personally. And if you've got something that isn't sticking, just go underneath the leaf area so that then it won't be visible because we've got a skeleton leaf. So the adhesive will be visible. So just put your adhesive under the leaf. And sometimes we explain basic things because not all of us have been created have been creating for years you need to remember there are beginners out there so i'm just bending that slightly just so that it's got a little bit more life and even if you've been crafting for quite some time there's always something that you're not doing that you perhaps want to start doing or maybe you've done it differently and now you're seeing another way of doing it so it's always good to talk about it we yeah. don't mean to be condescending to oh, anyone that's all. been doing it for years and years and years um, but it's just good to share the knowledge Share and the different it sends ways. you off on a different tangent yeah, sometimes yeah, as well. Do. So it's no different than when I'm watching a gardening program. I yes. watch someone and think, "Oh, I like that colour scheme." I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's no different than than Absolutely. any other any other hobby that you're interested in. So I'm now stamping with the grey ink. We've got grey here. We can still see the hearts through. You've not yeah. got rid of those hearts. You've diffused them. Could you use a bit of lace or organza? Perfect. Yeah. You, you know, think what's in your stash. Yeah. And use it, you know, if you've got loads of it, use something you've got loads of. Yeah. There's nothing feels nicer than when you've used something that you've just been storing for 10 years. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like me with my chalk pastel pencils. Yes. I didn't use them until I came here. Oh, really? I didn't dare open them. And I thought, wow. they're all new and pristine. Aww. I thought, oh, for goodness sake, get them out. Aww. And I use them here. And now I'll never stop using them. Oh, I bet some people feel normal like about their husbands sometimes. <laughs> well, I've tried wives. that. I don't get anywhere. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just adding some balance stamping and i just put a time check balance please, stamp, stamp balance just so oh. it's balanced just so you know there are occasions where you want to go like this yeah on a card like this you don't want stamping here there 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 because your eyes all over the place yeah. you want it balanced I love that. so i've just got well to balance you out we've got five minutes thank thank you very much so what i'm going to do now is just add the butterfly so the butterfly comes from our a7 stamp set and what I'm going to do is I've got one already cut out but what I want to show is have a look at the butterfly in some different colours I know I've got one already cut out but just to show what the stamp looks like in different colours okay. you don't always have to stamp in black obviously black is a very prominent colour you know and if you want to stamp a little bit different sometimes just test your ink pads and this is what I do at home I stamp all my stamps out in black and then I'll pick any colour, I don't even think about it, 
and then I'll stamp it out and look how different that looks. Oh, wow. Not being yes. in black. Well, I've, yeah, I've, I've got the stamp here in my hand. I was just looking at that and then I looked up at the one you've just stamped out. This is the stamp itself. So you've got the acetate over there so you can see the black image. That's it on a card that looks amazing with that clock face underneath. Very, very cleverly done. I think stamped behind it's a and then stamped card, again. It? It's yeah. a shaker. Oh, is it a shaker? Yeah. Oh, it is. Look at that. Isn't it clever? Um, yeah, that is, that is really clever. Very, very clever. But then looking back at what you've done, you've stamped it's it out in the, the orange or the pumpkin or yeah, the... Yeah, the, the pink and the orange. The pink and the orange. It looks totally different. Totally different. Wow. But it, I think it's good to stamp in a different colour because it shows you how yeah. versatile the stamps are. Sometimes we stamp in black and grey all the time. Yeah. And it, sometimes customers don't see it in colour and then they suddenly think, oh, looks totally different in colour. What do they say? The world is not black and white, it's Correct. shades of grey. Absolutely, absolutely. So what I'm going to do now is just add a little few pieces of Papasha's washi tape. So just tear. I like what, I'm a bit of a faffer with washi tape. You know, I'm the kind of person that drives you nuts when it comes to washi tape because I have to faff. Now, I think we've got some washi tape on the website from All and Create. So have a look at that. Um, and it's brilliant, just as Tracy's using here, just to tear into, to put onto your cards. You can use it in a practical way to um, keep things stuck down if you, if you want to, or put it in your happy planners and things like that, or any planner or journal. It's definitely worth going to look at. Um, and that's something that's relatively new to, or, to ABS and the All and Create brand. I think, well, it must be couple of months now that we've yeah. had the washi tape out. Yeah. So I'm just... Changed it completely, Tracy. It's it? just a pop of black yeah. just to give it some life. And then what I'm going to do is just because I like my clips, wrong way, Tracy, just because I like these clips and it just adds a quirky touch, just remove that glue off there, just add this here. Three minutes, Tracy, Thank you. giving you your... Just add that there. Call of time. And then I've got the chrysanthemum text. So we go, I love stating the obvious. So if yeah. I've got a lily, a yeah. lily. If I've got a chrysanthemum, a chrysan it's just something I like. It's yeah. one of my little traits that I love to add. So what I'm going to do is just take that chrysanthemum, just add that to my card. I'm now stamping with black ink. And you don't need to press very hard with the sentiments because they're a fine stamp. So don't feel that you have to press quite as hard as you do with the larger stamps. Okay. Just press a little bit lighter or else you'll get a double impression. So just take that. I'm making such a mess. I can tell it's getting to four o'clock. It's that oh, I'm not bothered <laughs> now. I'm just in a mess. You're actually really organised, Tracy. I have to be organised for the demos because that's just how I am. But by the time it gets to four, four o'clock, it does look like a hand grenade's gone off in here. So it's like, oh. I do try to tidy up between each session, but sometimes I look and I think, good grief, what a mess. So I'm just going to add that chrysanthemum there. Now, what you have to remember is you need to hold that down yep. just because you've got that skeleton leaf. So when I was at home, I stood there for five minutes just singing to myself. Did you? What, yeah. what, can you remember what song? I mean, don't sing it, but you No, you song? wouldn't want me to sing it because everybody would switch off. What song was it? Do you remember? No, I can't remember. What's your no. favourite music? Oh, it's like a little test, is it? No, it's a, I'm, a, I'm a person that likes it. I'm an eclectic mix. I was just about to say I'm the same. Yeah, I'm a bit of an eclectic One minute mix. I'm rocking my way to work with a bit of Pearl Jam. The Ex next I've got Barbara exactly. Streisand on. Well, that, that's like craft, isn't it? Yeah. I'm a bit, I love everything. So do you there play you music when you craft? No, I have to do in silence. Me too. Yeah, silence. I like to concentrate on what yeah. I'm doing. Is that funny? If I've got music on, I get distracted and look up. I'm the same. No, I can't same. do that silence. That, what you've, do, what you've done there looks brilliant. Absolutely but look at amazing. the difference when you mat it on black. Yeah, yeah, it does make a huge difference. Oh, Tracy, thank you so much. You're very welcome. You're back at four o'clock today. Back at four o'clock. That's back free for all. No. <laughs> <laughs> back at four o'clock today. You can, of course, buy in between the shows and start to make some fabulous, fabulous samples like the ones that you've been seeing throughout the show and the demonstrations. Details on your screen at the moment for Tracy's collection, but you can, of course, go for the monthly mega deal. Details at the bottom of the screen and will be available to you on the website. So you can go and have a look. 
and make your own choice. And if you want to become a Freedom member, we definitely recommend you do so. It's been great to have your company. I'll see you again at three o'clock today. We've got a DIY show coming up with that rust converting paint with our Catherine. Uh, but don't go anywhere because we've got more shows to come in between that here on the craft store. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks, Janice. Thanks, everybody. See you in a few moments' time after the break. Right, we've got Celebrate coming up next, like what we did there. Uh, Pick Frog Crafts Happy Hour after that, and then it's DIY, uh, DIY Essentials. You'd think I'd get that right, wouldn't you? Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art Stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. We are talking celebrate. That is what we do. We've got lots of celebrations going on at the moment, haven't we, on the craft store? Um, right, we've got a beautiful range, bundles of um, paper packs and accessories and all sorts. So go to the website, thecraftstore.com, and shop ahead for us. Uh, Zoe is here in the studio. Hello, Zoe. Hello. Hi. Pleased to see you again. Uh, I was saying how much I liked your hair. You had it all. <laughs> I know. Nice little spruce up. It's pretty extreme, isn't it? <laughs> no, but it suits you. Thank Lovely. you. Thank Good you stuff. very much indeed. Uh, now, are you able to tell us a little bit about Celebrate? Yes, yeah, so we um, Celebrate is coming to the craft store every month now oh. with a release and we're building up the collections. Um, they are a South African company right. based in the idyllic Jeffreys Bay where all the oh. surfers are and everything. And you've got Dennis who does the designing. Okay. And then you've got Erin that will go out and do the teaching with the classes and that sort of thing and deal with um, supplies and that sort of thing. Right. And then over here we've got a lovely lady called Jill who sends everything out to everybody mm -hmm. um, and there's me Yay. That's basically it. so yeah and they've been going for a number of years now I'm going strength to strength yeah and what is really good about them and particularly Dennis is that they listen to what people would like now I mentioned something that I would like to mm -hmm. see 
or a colour, shall we say, that I'd like to see. Yeah. And lo and behold, it's coming. Oh, that's so, yeah, good. Really, really nice, that. Yeah. <laughs> and you, with every pack you get, it's very much the same format. Mm -hmm. So you're getting the same quality and you're getting the same amount of things, each one, and you're just building up that collection time after time. Yes, lovely stuff. Right, let's get cracking then. This is a new today. It's called the Thankful Heart Collection. And you really, I mean, it's almost like a paper kit, wouldn't you say? Because you've got yes. so many elements to it. Yes, you have. You've got an abundance of items um there for di very different uses you know we've got scrapbooking we've got card mm. making we've got card construction as well because the, the card is that good it, you can construct with it as well so yeah and then we've got our ephemera and we've got our um ribbons and we've got our accessories and then we've got the the album as well yes. so there's so much in there nice so we're just having a little look there so we've got some chipboardy elements as you can see you've got some lovely embellishments uh, so we've got some ribbons we've got so oh i like all those little bits and bobs so we've got some um i love the little pegs i know aren't they cute they're cute little pegs you've got i think brad's in there yes you have nice and there's some charms yeah and we've got some of those are they now i always forget what they're called like epoch epoch stickers something like that i always forget what they're called the domed anyway. ones them yeah yes. that's it those yes. things they are those ones i have no idea what they're called i've forgotten myself um and then over this side we've got a stencil we've got some printed acetate now you were saying about it's quite nice to use your alcohol inks on these yes lovely so typically if you've got either your tim holt yep. alcohol inks or if you've got your couture creations mm -hmm. pop them on either side it doesn't really matter because you, you've still got the the brightness from the um, black print they'll yeah. show through it's really good as that or even as your shaker cards as well <gasps> we like shaker cards now um you're getting a mini album it's down there it's not been popped together but i've got an example that's worth 4.49 that you're not paying for which is jolly marvelous because we all like our albums at the moment and then last but not least we have got the paper pack so 12 by 12 yes yeah. um let's see if i can find the gsm is it on here it's a good weight anyway i think it's oh i wouldn't I think it's about 240, I think. Yeah, it feels, it feels really mm. nice. Uh, they Look, don't waste the front cover because then you've got strips and borders. Exactly. There isn't any wastage at all. That's cool. Even down at the bottom at the 12 by 12 papers, if you'll turn them, if you'll see on the reverse, yep. you've got sentiments down there. Yeah. So nothing is wasted here. What's that say? The real gift of gratitude is that the more grateful you are, the more present you become. Nice enough uplifting. Yeah, so you definitely. can see we've got some nice and um, gentle muted colors in this collection yes. lovely florals all the way around yes definitely and we're coming to it's, it's an autumnal feel you know and we're, we're right in the heart of we autumn are. at the moment and it's lovely we're all seeing the browns and the greens you know and the thick yellows we're seeing those all over again and this is really very very inspired by autumn and very I'm just very suitable for autumn as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. look, and you've got some bits that you can fussy cut out. And they've yes. put the board around, which is good. Yeah. Uh, so you've got a couple of sheets of that. Uh, we've got sentiments here, so like little toppers. I am happy, I am hopeful, I am blessed. Uh, hey, I wanted to tell you, that smile of yours drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit racy i like it there we go <laughs> nice oh and here's a sample right we're moving on to samples i picked that up by accident right so here's a beautiful sample that you've done nice scrapbooking page and then if i just pop this down look at that isn't that beautiful as a wreath isn't it it's really yeah. nice and, and wreaths we've seen quite a few wreaths coming onto the craft store and, and different ways of making them as well so it's quite fitting really that yeah and look at this one wait 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 here we go this is quite a full card that's nice yeah so if you just turn it Oh, have I got it the wrong way? That's Apologies. It. Perfect. There we go. Oh, isn't that good? Beautiful. Oh, nice shaker card coming along here. You know, I love those. That's cute with the snail. Yes, very cute. And you've used the acetate that's printed. I've used the acetate, but then I've also used, you can see around the edges, that's the borders oh. at the bottom of some of the papers. So we good. showed the sentiments, where you can get the sentiments from, yep. but also down there, there are borders as well that you can cut out, so nothing's wasted. And even down to, you get these embellishments that are in the shaker card. Okay, right, uh, so this is brand new. Remember, you are getting your journal cover worth uh, 4.49. You're not paying for that. For the collection then, 39.99 is the price. For, no, sorry, 540825 is your item number. 
Now, so we've got some back by popular demands here. Uh, we have got the Serenity. Now, the rest that you're going to see are on a happy hour deal. Really good deal, Zoe. <laughs> very good, very good. Worth snapping up now. Yeah. You know, if you want to stock up on your papers, this is the perfect time when they're, they're, you're saving between 15 and 19 pounds. It's really good. So let's come to our feature piece, which are the 12 by 12 papers, your Serenity. Uh, every breath we take, oh, that's from, uh, what's this? Every breath we take, every step we make can be filled with peace, joy and serenity. I thought we were doing a bit of sting then. I was going to say it's very close, isn't <laughs> it? It is. I really did there. Oh, you've got a calendar on here. So these are for this year's calendar, but these work great for when you're doing your scrapbooking. Yeah. So you want to put a date on things. They're really, mm. what I've seen a couple of people do is cut them out. Yeah. And on that scrapbook page, they've circled which day it is. Oh, that's that's a nice, nice. Me memory of what day it was that a certain event happened. Yes, that's a lovely idea. Oh, look at these patterns. These are nice. Um, it's all, some of the patterns have got a little bit of a Moroccan feel, I think. Mm. I, like the, I like the shades of greens. There's loads of greens in this. There is, yeah. There's, I mean, you can see Dennis really does draw his inspiration from, you know, nature. Yeah. But then what happens on the bottom of these pages as well? Can you see there's like a colour chart at the bottom? Oh, there. And that tells you what colours will instantly go with Brilliant. The, these papers. So you can just look, you can just marry it against your papers that you've already got. I like that. That's very helpful. Oh, there you go. You can cut that centrepiece out. Again, you can fussy cut round these that have been done for you. And oh, we've got more sentiments. Look at that. I like the colour. So we've got pinks and greens and sort of ivories in here. Uh, go where you feel alive. When you love what you have, you have everything you need. So very nice and heartfelt, yeah, those really, lovely really nice. papers. Oh, there's another one here. So you've got some block colours too. Marvellous. Not just the papers that you're getting, of course. Um, in here, we're going back to that nice chipboard little set there. And what I like about the chipboard is that it's light enough so you could put it on a card and post it. Yes, you can do. Yeah, it's very, mm. very light. It's very manageable. And it takes inks really mm. well, a whole manner of different inks really, really well. Excellent. So we're looking at the chipboard here. I'm liking that, liking that style. And then if we come down, we've got some uh, words that we can cut out. Perfect. And they'll go brilliantly with the paper pad. The embellishments, so those beautiful ribbons. Uh, what else? We've got a bit of glitter and some beads in that one. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then coming across to the other side, we've got the stencils and the uh, acetate. Got lots of stencils in this one, actually. Oh, that's just fallen over. I'll pick it up in a second. Right. Remember, this is a happy hour deal. And here we go. Look at this whopper of a... Uh, this is a mantelpiece pleaser, this one. <laughs> wow. I do like my large cards and I like, yeah. to, I like my, um, wow. my, my interesting folds. But yeah, it's, this is really nice. And it's worked really well with craft wow. paper and with your cream card as well. Nice. Wow, this is flying out the door. So you mean, you, these are your consumables, obviously. You might have got, already got these, but you're running low and you really like it. Um, this is a happy hour deal and we are already half the stock gone. Please do be quick on this. I'm not sure if we can get any more. Uh, you've got a £20 saving. It's half price for all of those embellishments. Um, oh, you also get a damask mask um, that's worth £5.99 as well that you're not paying for. Now somebody's made a mistake because normally we don't do flexi buy unless it's over 40 pounds really we have got it on flexi buy at just 10 pounds today that's brilliant e. see now i would stock yes. up there a hundred percent just stock up be cheeky Oops. it's all right take advantage of us because that will then open up your flexi buy basket so you can get everything oh it's limited stock that's it <laughs> yeah you're doing the right thing at home you're doing the right thing nine zero one nine five seven is your item number okay Next, we've got the You Are Amazing collection. Oh, I love this collection. It's ever so sweet and happy. Mm. Ah, lovely soft pinks, duck egg blues in this. So we'll start off again with the paper pad. Let's have a little look at this one. Yeah, the colours are beautiful, aren't they? They are, and they don't go out of fashion, these colours. These, these are your all year, all event, all occasion papers and, you know, and cardstock for numerous uses and it's not going to go out of fashion these colors are very very yeah you know very timeless really all of these colors and you can see how each collection works seamlessly with one another yeah absolutely now again this is half price on your happy hour deal beautiful papers do i like this one the best i don't know we've got one more to have a little look at but yeah the colors really float my mm, boat on this one so lovely nice okay so that's your paper pad 
And then again, where should we start? You've got some acetate, printed acetate, that you could once more use your alcohol markers on. And then you've got your chipboard. Is that a robin? Well, you could, I suppose you could make it whatever bird you want, really. You can, and you can have whatever bird. It, and like, again, using this, so your spray ink. So if you want to use your oxide sprays mm. or if you want to use your pretty gets gritty. Oh, yeah. That'll work really well as well with them. Yeah, good stuff. And then you can see you've got the, um, like, textures um, stencil. Couldn't think of the word. Very marvellous. Uh, obviously, we've had a look at the paper pad. And then moving over to the other side, you've got some more chipboard. Uh, and the nice thing as well about chipboard is that it's got snippability, so you don't have to use the whole piece. Yes, exactly. Just pick, pick out which, ones you, which bits you want and then leave the rest for another day. Excellent. Um, oh, and Lottie's saying in my ear about um, they look lovely embossed. And then you've got lots more extras. What have we got in here? There's some butterfly charms, wings, feathers, lovely beads. The beads match perfectly. They've got that peachy tone. And a few quick samples, got some here. There you go. And you can see how the chipboard really colours well. That's nice. It's got a lovely ombre effect, that, hasn't it? That's really, really pretty. Nice. Just using the papers, so if you want to make a nice quick card. Oh, you've done for us. Hang on. Here's a scrapbook page. Oh, a couple, actually. There you go. We've got this one here. Oh, that's nice. You could put a photo in that one. Yes, yeah. really lovely. Really, nice. really nice. That almost looks like a chalkboard. So you could mm. write a message on there, couldn't you? Absolutely. Right, this is also on a happy hour deal. It is £18.99. pence. Year £19 saving. Right, this is flying out the door as well. Uh, we're nearly 40% gone. Item number is 150367. And then, last but not least, we've got one more pack, which is the one. Wonderlust. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's all about travelling. So it's yeah. about journeys and travelling and keeping you keeping and making memories for when you've been out and about yeah going out there so there's loads of stuff here you know we, this is one that's really good between male and female young and old because cool. obviously we've got our youngsters that go out traveling indeed and then you know we've also got like my auntie she really loves to go um to spain but she also likes to go on cruises as well oh so. I'm, with <laughs> I'm with her i would be if she'd let me <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Oh, yeah, there's the map there. Uh, yeah, this is perfect for your travels and scrapbooking, and hopefully we'll be doing more travels soon. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Now, oh, that's a nice colour. I like that colour. The colours are always bang on. You know, they so always beautiful. work so well. And not necessarily colours I wouldn't put together. Yeah. You know, I'm not, yep. I'm not adventurous like that, but they work so well and seamlessly. Nice. Um, Lottie's just asked me where I'd like to go travelling. Well, I would certainly go back to Barbados again because that was the best holiday I've ever had. But I'd like to go to Mauritius. I'd like to try there. That's where I'd like to go. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Uh, so you've got your paper pad. Lovely. You've got your... I was just checking. That's that one, isn't it? You've got your embellishments. Oh, they've fallen off, but we'll fix that. So you've got some charms, etc. Uh, you've got some stickers and ribbons. Very nice. You've got chipboard down this side and a stencil. And then last but not... Oh, no, there's still more. We've got the acetate, printed acetate. It actually looks good in front of craft card. It really does, doesn't yeah. it? It stands out really, really well. That's nice. And it's something you don't see too often, printed acetate. Yeah. And then we've got this one, more chipboard. Perfect. And you're also getting another mini album that is worth four forty-nine that you're not paying for. I did have one down here. This kind of gives you a rough idea because you've got, basically you've got the front and back cover, haven't you, for the... Yeah, and you've yeah, got the some... inserts in between as well. Good. So. so this is just a, an example of what you could be doing. See, with your papers, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, they move out like that. Loads of tags. So this is another happy hour deal. The price is going to go back up at the end of the hour, but uh, we're already 40% of the stock gone. Uh, £18.99, pence, pretty much half price. Item number is 838849. Oh. Okay, the Serenity Collection, gone. Really? That was quick. Well, I mean, Goodness. take advantage of that um, 
flexi by payment. I think mm. that's brilliant. That that's yeah. a, it's a real deal breaker. Uh, it is, isn't it? Now uh, we do have a smaller bundle. This is Serenity, but in this one you'll be getting just the papers, the chipboard, and the stencil. This is also on a happy hour deal at uh, half price at fourteen ninety nine. You might want to, if you've even if you've already got the um, Serenity that's just sold out. You might still want to get, add this into your basket as well. Yeah. yeah, because then you've got, yeah, now I think they're 15 by 20 papers. Right. But they're scaled down to size, so it's not just a reprint of the 12 by 12 designs. It's cool. a scaled down size, and you've got exactly the same thing. So you've got the sentiments down at the bottom, you've got the borders down at the bottom, uh -huh. and you've got your colorways. Lovely. 755-380. And then we've got the Thankful Heart. Uh, this is the, a smaller bundle from the bigger bundle that we've just seen. Uh, here you're getting your 12 by 12 papers, your thankful words and your chipboard. £17.99, 287049 is your item number. Another bundle with thankful heart and this is like a mini mini pack. And in this one you've got your 15 by 20 centimetres. Uh, that's your papers. And then you've got the chipboard and the stencils as well. Nice. 2699 uh 066918 is your item number you can call us as of it if you've got the previous collections maybe you've got serenity maybe you've got wunderlust or however i'm supposed to pronounce it <laughs> um, then i'd love to see your pictures send your pictures to studio at thecraftstore.com with whatever you've been making Okay, Zoe, which, yep. which are you going to start with the new one? Yes, and we're going to start with a scrapbook page. Cool. Is that okay? Of course it is. Brilliant. So, this is one of the papers that I've got from. I really love the outside of this paper. I think it's really beautiful, and I think it's something that I wanted to, I wanted to use in conjunction with another paper. Okay. So, there is a bit of fast-forwarding. Don't worry, I'm not going to sit here and cut it all out, but what you want to do... I'm sure I've got some bigger scissors. There we go. So, with the um, ephemera sheets, there's like a halo around the, all the images, and that's basically where you cut to ensure that you don't snip part of the design off. But then when it comes to you doing this, all you want to do is just start going round and just cut in, if you just cut the outside out, and then you can literally, oh, the inside, sorry, if we could just get rid of that. There we go. And then you want to go in and just cut round the outsides of them, but don't touch them. And this, it doesn't matter if you snip some of the bits off, because to be honest, it's going to be that full afterwards that you're not going to notice. Yeah. But you can see how I'm just causing, the, making a shape with the robin and then going out that way. So we've, we've made a bit of a shape that way. So we're making a feature of this now. Sure. And I'll just keep cutting this. You'll think, oh, this takes ages, but I literally did it in half of a, um, a soap, shall we say, an episode of one of the soaps. I can't say which <laughs> one, obviously. Well, you, that's the thing about because sometimes I do like to just sit and cut out when maybe sometimes actually when I, I, I'm not quite sure what I want to make. Yep. But I know that if I start cutting things out, you know, of an evening and you can just have the telly on in the background, like you're saying, that's, I like yeah. doing things like that. That's what I did with this collection. I had an, I had, um, an evening cutting out, watching yep. the TV, where I didn't have, actually have to think. Yeah. And I, I could just uh, veg out in front of the TV. So basically that's what I'd carry on doing. Mm -hmm. And then, miraculously, <laughs> hey, here's one I that's made a lovely early. frame. And it was yeah. a really pretty frame. And I've chosen to put it with... The wood, the yeah, wood brain panels, effect. That's nice. Doesn't that look lovely? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, if you want, I like mine um, to be quite tall, so I'm going to put a double layer of foam tape on. And all you want to do is just go around. You don't bother about putting the foam tape all over the place because what you'll want to do is when you cut out your ephemera, yeah. you want to slide things in and slot things in. Oh, yeah, good point. Okay. <clears throat> to create layers. Because layers always give such a dramatic effect, especially when you're doing scrapbooking, I think. And I'm not, I have to say, I'm not a scrapbooker. So this is me, this is coming from a non-scrapbooker. So if you, if you think, oh, no, I'm not into scrapbooking, I wouldn't know where to start. Well, this is a really great place. Yeah, because I was saying to you before we um, 
um, before the show that I, I don't scrapbook either, but no. it just, you don't, with these kits, because they're so full and comprehensive, you've got everything you need, so just... Yeah. Just have a play. Yeah, exactly. You have, and obviously you've got the repeat designs as well. So, make the only thing you do need to do is make sure because the first one I did, I didn't make sure the robins were on. The, oh, was he upside down? <laughs> yeah, the, the robin was um, from Australia. <laughs> okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just going to line it up. And there we go. So you can see that we've created that height nicely. Mm -hmm. We create a frame so, as if you're looking into it. Then I'm going to get some of the chippy, chipboard. The chippy? Called. That's how... Let's all um, go to the chippy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Erin calls it. She calls it, in, in a South African accent, yeah. she calls it the chippy. I like it. <laughs> um, so I'll just pop that out. So all I'm doing is I'm just snipping it close to the words uh -huh. and just taking it out of the frame. But, as you said, you can take as much or as little out as you want. And these do look great if you want to paint them or you mm -hmm. want to ink them. I liked your ombre effect on your samples. That That's was nice. beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. I have to admit, that wasn't mine. Oh, okay. That was Jill's, I think. So right. well done, Jill. That was beautiful. Thank you, Jill. Uh, so how, is it just you and Jill who does the samples or is there other, are there other people? There are other people in South Africa, but nice. their stuff doesn't come over. That's fair enough. If you want to send us pictures of it, though. Yeah, definitely. We'd like to see them. So... If you've got spray glue, that works really well, but I know that spray glue can sometimes be, um, it can leave everything a bit sticky. So I'm just using a little bit of all-purpose glue. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to stick this down. Just have to be a little bit gentle with it. But again, you can move it around and, and put it into different places, wherever you want to. Yeah. See, I'm just tucking it under there. Okay, so we've got that. It would look really nice if it was um, coloured, but I, I quite like it against the wood grain non-coloured if you know what i mean <laughs> I, I do yes so now i'll just start to add some sentiments so I've, what i've done is there we go i'll use these ones so i'm going to start adding a few um sentiments but also using some areas to put photographs on and all i've done is i cut my paper on the card down to size and then yeah. i just want to um scruffy it up. i don't I can say scruffy it up i know that's the wrong word but i don't know what i'll scruff it up yeah you do that that's cool. <laughs> Distress the edges. That's it. Yeah, yeah. not scruffy it up. <laughs> I quite like scruff it up. <laughs> so yeah, you can either do this with scissors or you can get those tools actually, can't you? Yeah, they're really good if you can get hold of those tools. They're just not they're not always readily available. You're so. right actually. I'm not even sure we've had them on this channel. If we have, I haven't been in. I haven't no. been in. They're not that easy to get hold of. Ah. But thankfully, scissors work. And you don't have to use your nice scissors. I mean, I'm using my decoupage scissors here, but I wouldn't use my nice scissors. I'd just use your kitchen knife on it. Right. Because if it tears and it gets more scruffy, then it kind of adds to the look. Yeah. Right, so I've already got some that I've done. Again, I've done it with all of the pieces mm -hmm. that I'm adding onto this. Yep. So it really gives it a, a distressed vintage kind of look. Mm. Um, okay, so I will put this one. So this is going to this is for my main six four by six or six by four photograph. And then I've got these little ones. So just tuck it in like that. And then when you come to pit, put your photo on, you can just tuck it in, mm. and it'll, I think it'll create a really nice scenic look. I was going to bring some photos, but. I used to have my family on them, but now it's just my dog. Oh. And if I bring photos in, it's always the dog. Oh, what's the dog's name? <laughs> Brian. Brian the dog. What type of dog? He's an old English sheep dog. Oh, oh lovely. He's, do you know what? He's absolutely he's fantastic. He's nearly 13. Right. Um, and unfortunately, we lost his sister. Uh, well, I lost his sister not too long ago. Right. Um, it was about maybe about a year and I thought I was going to lose him as a result of that. Oh, you mean like because he was mourning? Yes, um, he did have a difficult time. He actually did have quite a, a difficult time. So I'm going to stick that down, but I'm going to leave that unstuck sure. so I can put a photo on there. Yeah. He had a really difficult time after she'd gone and I thought he was going to go. He was going to follow. Cause he's Doggy got, heaven. Yeah, but he's not. He's turned into, he's like become this rebel. He's, he's, oh. I live in a little village and everybody knows him. Does he terrorise everybody? Oh, well, he just, he literally, um, we have a, 
a youth club which I um, go to. I don't attend it. I'm <laughs> a little bit too old for that now, but I help as a volunteer. Right, and um, he came to the he came to the youth club, and then as we were walking home, yeah. he knows the route where we're walking, and oh. he literally dragged us all the way to the pub. He and, knows the pub. Oh That's yeah, he does. Is. Well, we and. I let him, because it's ever so quiet, and um, I let him off the lead, because yeah. it is that quiet where I live. Yeah. And he literally ran straight into the pub and went straight to the bar. Did he order a beer? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted his, um, he has his pork scratchings, and he oh. wanted his pork scratchings. Oh, he gets him. spoiled. Yeah, yeah, oh, he does, yeah. <laughs> he has breakfast every morning in bed. Wow, he's got the life of Riley. He has cornflakes, and then he has his tea as well. And then he, when he goes to bed, he has bedtime biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he, he is. He's fun. He's doing brilliant. Oh, that's so cool. So I've put these the little dome thingies on that I don't quite know what they're called. I've forgotten that there is a name. There is a name for them. And then I'm using some of these, some of the um, ephemera. Mm -hmm. Just using some of the ephemera just to decorate the edges, just to create a bit more interest. This is such a lovely scrapbook piece. It's very happy. It's very spring-like. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So there we go. I should really probably, seeing as I've put soulmate, I should probably put a picture of my other half on there. Maybe not Brian. <laughs> <laughs> is he watching in the green room? Yes, he is! Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, actually, because I don't mean to do it, but whenever I'm talking about, I'm like, I always go, so I'm, I'm going back home to see Lady. Oh, and the other half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's Lady? A cat. Oh, lovely. How old yes. is she? <gasps> 19. Oh, wow, mm. she's doing well. We don't oh. mention it. Oh, it's, it's one of those <laughs> fingers subjects. crossed. Anyway, look at it. Look at it. That's the thing, though, with scrapbooking, isn't it? It's all about the memories. Yeah. Um, so whether it's your pets, your kids, your grandkids, parents, it's just so nice. My mum's got um, at her house a load of really vintage photos, you know, from like yeah. the twenties and stuff. It's just wonderful in scrapbooking. Oh isn't it? gosh, yeah, they've been absolute delights. Mm. I think with celebrate. They just, I think they just offer, it's lovely because you can see each collection has kind of got the same feel about it, yeah. but you just build up your library of them. Yeah. And they will work interchangeably as well with each other. So I'm not going to put any more on, but there no, we go. That's fabulous. Look at that. That's a beautiful scrapbook page. There we go. And another one that I did, oh, similar. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Great stuff. There we go. Thank you, Zoe. All right, then. I Thank shall you. do my numbers and whatnot. Brilliant. And I'll um, get ready for the next one. Okay, so we have got this one's the new today, Thankful Heart Collection. So, yes, the collections are growing. You've got your 12 by 12 papers, which I'll have another little flick through. Uh, and they're double-sided. There's absolutely no waste here. I mean, even down to the front page, the front cover. But look out on the other side. We've got lots of strips and borders. And then this one nice we've got the wood grain there's a couple of sheets of each so don't worry if you're thinking oh no i can't choose between the two you have got a couple of sheets of each which is good mm, i think there may actually be i'm just counting i think there is four sheets of each design double-sided i'm pretty sure i've just counted four so anyway gives you the general gist then we've got some nice little sheets to cut out for you there we are. And are we still going? Yes, we've got the toppers, which are great, aren't they? Oh, that's good. And it's telling you to cut with um, what size circle yep, if you're so wanting to use your dies. Yeah. yeah, which works really well. Um, I've used a couple of different brands of circle dies that yep. I've got, and they all work really, really well with them. Good stuff, because you could give it a little scalloped edge if you wanted to. Now, as well as your paper pack, because it is a nice big kit, you've got, should we go over here? We've got chipboard here move that or oh, we must have a look at these samples we've got some chipboard pieces with sentiments in those two there you've got embellishments uh, we have little I love the little pegs they're so cute aren't they They really really are and they look lovely say if you do a card and you've got happy birthday but yeah. you've got the individual letters you could hang them up on a like bunting yes yeah like that a lot of people use them in baby cards as well oh you know yes. like this like having the washing line of because I know I've got I've got some dyes that have got, um, you know, a little baby grow and things like that. And it's just as nice. So I think they're good for that. And there's Brilliant. sequins and things and beads in there as well. Yes, there is. And then coming over to the side, we've got the stencil and also the printed sheet of acetate, 
with sentiments on and you're getting a journal uh, with the, the sort of the what am I trying to say? The, the, the mini album, that's the word, with the front and the back cover and some inserts, and that's worth £4.49. pence. May we have a look at some of these samples? Because it's a lovely little display that you've done here for thank us. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I've had a really good time. I don't yeah. know if you noticed this card. Okay. Do you know whose dyes those are? It's got what, sorry? Whose dyes they are as a construction. Oh, we're just coming to it. Whose are they? John's. Oh, are they? They're wonderful, the amazing John. Yes. I'm like his number one fan. <laughs> yeah. I am. And every now and again, I've spoken to him. Yeah. And honestly, I just get so giddy. Oh, bless like, you. Oh, John's on the phone. Oh, no. Well, we're, I think we're, lots of people are starting going to, you know, all the craft fairs and things. Yeah. So you'll have, to, you'll have to see which ones he's going to. Yeah. So he's <laughs> at one this weekend. Oh, is he? Yeah. He's one, I think he's in, in Peterborough this weekend, I think. Right. Cool. Coolio. Um, so we've got more samples here. That's lovely. I love in the yellows. I love the back. No, I thought you'd like that. Of course I would. <laughs> this is really fab. I love gift bags. Beautiful. All righty then, if you want to go for this collection, brand new today, £39.99, 540825 is your item number. Now, this next one, I really like the colours in this next one. This is the You Are Amazing. You'll see that there's a gap now at the end of the counter because we have sold out of one of the happy hours. This is also a happy hour deal, half price. I'll whiz through the paper pad again. Oh, it's duck eggs and pinks. These are very soft and colours. sweet. Definitely. Mm. Love that. Again, you've got double-sided sheets. It's very nice and summery. Oh, look at that. That's quite romantic, actually. Don't forget, you've got borders at the bottom that have got uh, some sentiments on. Oh, I like this. Lottie's just said about maybe scrapbooking your wedding album. Lovely colours for that, I concur. Um, and then we've got some little um, toppers, again, that you can cut out. And more sheets. Oh, he's very nice. I love that they follow you around the garden, those birds. A really lovely collection. So not just your paper pad. Um, over this side, we've got some acetate, some chipboard, and that follows through because you've got the birds on the chipboard. And also the stencil, where you can do lots of texture with that. I like you've got different elements to the stencil. And over this side, we've got some lovely peachy embellishments with beads, and there are some stickers. And here we've got some extra chipboard. Also, half price then, um, £19 saving, 18 99 is the price, 150367. And then scooching along one more time, this one is the Wonderlust. Where did I put that paper pad? Here it is. I'll have another look through this one. We've got, yeah, we're travelling here. We've got tickets. Where are we going? Delhi, Denver. Las Vegas, it says mad. Oh, Madrid. <laughs> I was like, hang on a minute. What is, what is mad? Um, I think we've got Mexico and London as well. Oh, it's cool. Where would you go, Zoe? Where do you want to go? Where do I want to go? Um, I would really like, to, I'd like to go, I definitely, definitely want to go to Chicago. Oh. Um, because my, well, one of the reasons is my brother's not far from there at all. He oh, lives great there. Stuff. But if I was to have a European holiday, I'd love to go to Italy because oh. of the food. Oh, cause, just because of the food, yeah. not the scenery. No, 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 no. <laughs> not scenery in a restaurant. Amazing. Yeah, true. I'm going to ask Lottie in my ear, where would you go? Amsterdam, she wants to go to. Nice. Where uh, would you go Venice. to? Yeah, I'd, Mauritius, I'd say. You, you would say Mauritius? Yeah, I want to go there. And I have to ask Hugh because I don't want to leave Hugh out. Grand Canyon for Hugh. And yeah, I was, I was coming to you, Lewis. I was coming to you. <laughs> Lewis, where would you go? Dubai. There we are. So we'd all go different places. Nice. But let's just all go together. Crafting holiday. <laughs> okay. Now, um, you've also got your chipboard. You've got your acetate. You're also getting another um, journal here or mini album that's worth four forty nine that you're not paying for. And then over this side, we've got a stencil, some more chipboard. We, oh, yeah, there's planes and things on there and cameras and some uh, embellishments as well. £18.99, pence, half price, only up until the end of the hour, so you've only got 25 minutes remaining. We are 40% of the stock gone. 838-849 is your item number. Back to you then, Zoe. Brilliant. OK, so I'm going to do a card with some of the papers. So I'm going to actually do some tea bag folding. Now, I've got some prepared earlier. OK. 
because you don't want to sit and watch me fold card for a week. So I'm using the spotted side. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in this way. So it's just folding it in half. And I'll give you the dimensions of the... Obviously, I'll give you the dimensions of them. I think it's three and three quarters squared. It's, these are three and a quarter, not three quarters. These are three and a quarter squared, but you can do this design with any size. So don't think oh, I'm limited to just three and a quarter. As yeah. long as it's square, that's fine. Cool. So I've done. I've fold, folded it that way and that way, and then I'm going to take it over and I'm going to fold it into a triangle. Why is it called tea bag folding, not origami? No. I wish I knew the answer to you to that. I should have looked it up, really. No, it's all right. I mean, I'm are they curious. in the size of what tea bags were before oh, they went know. pyramids and went round? Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> if you know, answers on a postcard, please, if you know at home why it's called this. So then, once I've done that, I'm going to fold it in like that. And then I'm going to put this, uh, this up here, and I'm going to fold this on itself and butt it up so you know it's getting right into the centre. You do want to fold and um, score and burnish these uh -huh. as well. It will it does make a big difference. It's quite therapeutic, this, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's brilliant. So there's one of them. Yep, that's done. I'll just do one more because I've already got some ready. So again, I'm going to um, with the design fa faced up. I'm yep. going to fold it in half. Open it and turn it 90 degrees and fold again in half. So you've got a cross or a plus sign. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold corner to corner to create a triangle. Right. And then I'm going to do the same again in the opposing corners. So we'll go to corner to corner that way. And then what you, what'll happen is this will want to fold in. Yeah. So you just you just let it fold in and then let it where are we on? If you're, if, if I do it that way, so the camera above can see, so you fold it in and then you, you flatten it down like that. So you've got two of these on each side. Okay? And then what you want to do is lift one up and butt the other one up to it. There we go. That's a bit off, but yeah. it'll be okay. That's all right. And then put that one up to it. And that's it done. So then, here's one. Here's a number I made earlier. Yeah, yeah, you've been busy. <laughs> yeah. I'll take these off. I just put these on just to flatten them down a little bit while they were on the while I was driving yep. down this morning. Cool. And then I'll take some glue, and all I'm going to do is just put some glue in here, and then I can slot this in, so it'll go like that. There we go. And while I'm holding on to that, I'll do the same again. So this is just the all-purpose glue, which is great on your um, non-coated surfaces. So really great for this particular cardstock. Yeah, nice. So there we've got those. And then we'll do the same again. This is a lovely design. I found it really nice to do, and then when I yeah. made one, I made a couple because I really enjoyed doing it. It was so effective, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes onto the card. So then we've got another one, and because this is because this is quick dry glue. I mean, you can use tacky glue as well; that'll be fine. Just give it. If you use tacky glue, just give it maybe 10, 20 seconds just to go tacky, and then put your your elements in. So you can see how we're going. Nice. Really um, right who's emailed in? Was that our oh, Lottie? Hazel. And um, I th hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Saraya or Saria. Um, you've said about the tea bag folding. So apparently tea bags used to come in pretty envelopes. Actually, some oh. still do. And someone in the Netherlands developed it um, by folding the tea bag envelopes mm. and. And then they were saying um, that origami is different because it uses more silky papers. Right. We learn nice. something every day. Thank, Thank you. you. No, seriously, we love it when you email in. It's really nice. Cool. Learn some every day's a school day. Yes, definitely. And that was in the Netherlands it started. Yeah. Brilliant. 
we started because I live in a, this tiny little village. And yeah. We go to the pub quiz. We've only oh, I love pub quizzes. I'm rubbish though. I'm absolutely terrible. There was sixty questions, yeah. all different. Yeah. Um. And I knew one, and that was Gino De Campo. <laughs> that was it. That was it. And then the question that should have been that I should have got, which yeah. was about Robbie Williams and oh his name i can't even remember his name gary barlow i didn't get that one oh. i was devastated that oh. was it. it it put me into a, in a mood all night oh what because you're a big take that fan oh <laughs> yes i should have known i should have known my mum came as well and she just literally got one after another after another after another oh that's annoying isn't it and it became quite uh, <laughs> it was quite um funny in the end because the people that are next to us were hearing, oh, Mother's got another one, right, Mother? <laughs> and so they turned around to me and went, is that Mother? Yes, that's Hilarious. Mother. So now I've just got a frame. So I've, I've already matted and laid up, again with craft card, because I think it works really well with mm. craft card. And then I've just used a bit of um, pearlescent card on top to create mm. a bit of difference. Yeah. Then I've cut out, now it can be any one you've got, um, any frame that you've got. You don't have to put a frame on, you can do it. I'll just, I'll show no, you what I like it looks like without. Yeah. There we go. Um, so if you were to do it without the frame, mm -hmm. you'd have that on there, and then you'd have your rosette. Oh, that looks beautiful. There. There we go. So that's what it'd look like without the frame. Yep. But I want to put this frame on. The, that lovely sort of wreath that you've done with the tea bag folding, put a bit of string on it, would make a really nice Christmas decoration. It would, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it's a dead simple fold. It's a really simple, because I'm not very clever with origami, I'm not very good at it. Um, but the, the tea bag folding, I think that's a really nice design and it looks really effective. Cool. So I'll just put these on. I'm just using a bit of glue just, just for time and ease. So I'll put that on. There we go. It's all fitting nicely. And then a bit of glue on the back. And it doesn't matter. So you can see in the middle that I've not quite, they're not quite met together. Yeah. Because that one, one of my folds I didn't do particularly well. But it doesn't matter because I'm going no. to hide it. I see you're running low on glue, you know. We've got a happy hour coming up after this. Really? With loads of consumables. Oof. Our Adam's doing it. We've got some Collel glues and some foam pads and whatnot. So you need, I need those. to stick around for that then, I think. <laughs> stick around. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realise. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> ah, fantastic. So, so then I've used one of the um, circle die sentiments. If you've got, you know, your circle dies, or if you've got a punch, they work really well with your punch. And then that's it. Yay! That's really so, pretty. It's that one, and then this is the one in the alter alternative colours. Yep, they're both really, really pretty. Lovely um, eye-catching cards, those. Thank you. Very nice. Right, I shall do another recap because I know you've got um, another demo we can fit in, which yes. would be good. This one is your new today. We do have some happy hour deals. One of them sold out already. It sold out quite quick, actually. Um, but this is your lovely uh, Thankful Heart collection. New today. You've got your paper pad. On the front here, you can see all of those different designs. They are double-sided, and you get several sheets of each. So don't worry if it's like, oh, no, I don't know which side to use. You've got florals, um, frames, um, there's wood backgrounds, lots of sunflowers. It's a really pretty, pretty collection. Then over this side, we've got the chipboard with lots of snippability to them. Um, I'm trying to read from this side. So very thankful, forever grateful and unbelievably blessed. Good stuff. And then there's the other one down there. You've got some uh, embellishments. I really like those colours of the embellishments because they'll go really well with the sunflowers. Then we have our printed acetate. There it is. We've got the stencil. And then down there, you've got your mini album, which has got your front and back cover and the spine. And it's also got some inserts there for you. 39.99. You're not paying for that mini album. It's worth £4.49. pence. Item number is 540825. Some more things. Oh, right. Now, some of... Why? Why? Some have bounced back on the Serenity collection. It is super limited, but look, we've made... Is this the one we've made a mistake on, in my humble opinion? Yeah, because, uh, as I said, we don't normally have it on Flexi Buy if it's 
under £40. But as we've got it at half price at £20, for some reason we have it on Flexi Buy, so just £10 today. And that will open up your Flexi Buy basket so that you can add something else and get it half price today on your first instalment. 901957. Next then, this is the You Are Amazing collection. We're nearly half the stock gone on this, so you can see you've got your chipboard, you've got printed acetate, your paper pack embellishments, and also that mini album again worth 449. Uh, 150367 is your item number. Then, last but not least, we've got the Wonderlust, and that is again half price at 18.99. This one's also got a mini album in worth 449, and all those embellishments and papers. 838849. Right, let's come back to you. So we'll probably have just over 10 minutes. Brilliant. Yes. So uh, this is what I wanted to show. I wanted to show the um, album that you're getting with some of the bundles. Now, I'm, I want to take it right out of the pack so you can see I've not done anything with it. You get fantastic instructions. I think it's just understanding the instructions. They're really clear. I think it's just a matter of understanding them. So you get this thick cardboard. And what you want to do, as it says, you want to use masking tape on both sides and you want to have about a three mil gap. Right. So, if I do that, sure. then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in and I'm just going to just create that gap. You do need the gap because of when you're opening and closing it. So that's why, if you're wondering why there's a gap, it's for the opening and closing of it. Right. Okay. Now, everything is, um, on the album assemblies, everything is labelled. And oh, the good. sizes of everything are there as well. So you don't need to, you don't need to go anywhere. You can, of course, go for some go for some in fantastic I have to say really really good inspiration if you go on to the oh, yes. um, celebrate website uh -huh. if you just type in celeb and then with, with the eight yep and there's some amazing inspiration there uh -huh. and there's some downloadable projects as well Oh, lovely yeah there's loads and they're all for the different collections as well it's not just for one collection they're for different collections so you can have a look through previous collections and you either might want to pick them up they'll be i know there's definitely something for serenity wanderlust and you are amazing excellent if you want to have a look on facebook as well there is things on facebook as well yeah. they're busy on facebook um but the website is absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to snip this off i'm only going to cut this one rough but you, you tidy it up at home sure and you'll see, because we've created that small three mil gap, it opens and closes. Yeah, nicely. So that's what we want from that one. Yeah. Okay, and then here, you've got your four different types, four, four different sizes. If I just... Oh, oh they there, are, aren't they? Can you see? There's four different sizes there. Yeah. And that is on purpose, and that is to create the pages inside. Now, you want your scoreboard, and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter which one. You, want, you score it exactly the same on both of them. You score at ten and a half. Yeah. What you do is... You score at ten and a half on the left side there. Rotate it round and score at ten and a half there. Oh, uh, so then you've got your spine. Is yeah, that right. And what it's got is you'll have ever increasing spines. Okay. So if I do ten and a half on this one, ten and a half on this one, you'll see that this spine. I mean, you would take more time over That's it. All right. But you can see that spine, that's thicker. So you can see when they oh, go in. Good, yeah. Can you see that you're creating your pages? That's good, yeah. So you'll do that with all four sheets and then stick them down with either red tape, red tape line it for the actual, for the thinnest one is perfect for that because that is, obviously it'd be better, it will be better done at home, but that is your thinnest one. So red liner tape would be perfect on there for them. And then, as if by magic, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Yay, popped it together. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. You're so good. You're so well prepped. Right, so here we go. So I've, what I've done is I've actually cut them to size, each one. Yeah. And you can see here what I've done, I've used, where well, you've got in the papers, you've got two colours on the paper, two colourways. Nice. So I've just used it and cut it down in the middle. So it's more, it flows better. Yeah. And then we've got, so you can see here, we've got, I've just put things in here so now it comes to 
filling these gaps in or fill, well, filling the album in. So one of the ones I'm going to do is, I'll do that one in a minute. So I'm going to just put, um, I would put normally put some red liner tape, but just to be quick, I'll put this on. Okay, so this is the one of the phrases. Hey, I wanted to tell you that smile drives me crazy. And what I've done is I've just put some glue there and there. Yep. So I can put that in the corner. Oh, and then it's a pocket. And then we've got this, and it will slip in cool. like that. Yeah. All I want to do is just pop, and um, yeah, I'll pop this one. So I'll just pop that on there. And there we go. So we've got our first, oops, there we go. Oh, I'll just do it again. There we go. Just pop that in. Mm -hmm. So that just needs trimming down a little bit to size, but you get the idea with yeah, that one. Sure. And then what I've done is, so I've got the paper. This is a really lovely printed paper mm. that is in the Thankful Heart collection. And it's got black to cream and also the cream on black as well. So you get the contrast. And what I've done is I've measured this to size for here. And then I've added on another centimetre. And I've added on a centimetre at the top and a centimetre at the bottom. So if I turn that over, you'll see what I mean. Mm. So these are to create the, um, the things that will attach to your paper. Yep. Yeah. Just it's hard to get that off, isn't it? It is, but I've, I'm not normally one for nails, but I've, I've, my, nail, I've, my nails have got quite long and it's finding it really easy. <laughs> and then um, I remember that, you know, when, when I was a child, my mum used to whinge and moan about breaking one of her nails and I never understood. I was like, so what? It doesn't matter, it'll grow back. I now understand now because um, I broke one of my nails on Tuesday with Brian. He was going out for a walk. What was he doing? <laughs> he was deciding he wanted to come play with the kids in the streets. Okay. And he didn't want to wait for me. Oh. And he sort of tugged me. And I'd, I'd got my keys in my hand and I bent my nail Ooh, back. Oh, that's painful. And I was gutted. Yeah. Absolutely gutted. So there you can see I've created a pocket there for you to put cool. a lovely, um, if you want to put a sentiment in there, if you want to put a photo, that sort of thing. Yep. And, and put a little then, tab on it so you can pull it out then. Yeah, yeah. that would work really well. Um, and then let's have a look. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to put this here, but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some at the top and some at the bottom. So you can slide your photo in that way. So there we go. That's one of them. Yeah. And um, then, oh. Oh, see, I don't know now what to do for the middle. You've got too much stuff. Oh. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use this. This is the Amazing Bloom one. In fact, I'll just use Amazing. And you can see all I've done is just, I've just um, torn it off. And this is going to go on the front. So we'll pop that on the front. And then this lovely... This isn't, it's a, is it a milk can? Is that what they call them? Milk cans? Uh, it, it's not a churn. I've forgotten what they're called. M milk, ch milk, uh, no, it's gone. Yeah, it is a milk churn. Yeah, milk Lewis churn. is saying, yeah. Because I nearly said urn and I'm like, no, it's not that. I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Um, oh, I see, I'm struggling now. There's so much. There's so many lovely ones in this collection. There really is. Um, so these you've cut out of the 12 by 12 sheets, have yes. you? Yeah. yeah, these have come from the 12 by 12 sheets. Pop that one there. And then we can start to look through. So we've done that one, and we've done that one with the pocket. Yeah. Then we've got the one where you can slide something through it. Mm -hmm. I think I've got another one here. So this is one of the ones that we can fold out. Let's have a look. Yeah. So this one is one where we can fold it out. So I'm just going to put on. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'll do this better at home. Oh, no, all good. It's just lovely to create, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So here now, now I've created that. I'm mm -hmm. going to get some of these words. So these sentiments that we talked about at the bottom. Ah, the strips, yeah. Yes. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out just so to fit on there. So if I look at that, so the real gift. Um, of we cut there gratitude is the so we cut there there and just snip the end off there 
And then all I'm going to do is just... Oh, I need to get them back in order now. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah. I can't remember which words. I think, right, okay. There we go. So, just put a bit of glue. So we've got that one. Uh-huh. And then we'll pop it there. And the real gift of gratitude is... Then put this one... We'll pop it there. Um, is that the more green? It's like trying to trying to um, work out all the jumbled letters of the Apparently, word. that's how David Berry used to write some of his songs. Really? I'm sure I saw a documentary on it. He used to li he used to cut up lots and lots of different words yeah. and then just place them about. Tell me if I'm wrong, but you'll have to let me know tomorrow Ooh. because, or right or wrong, because because um, I'm finishing now. But anyway, I didn't <laughs> know that. I think so. See, that's the sort of thing that would be on a pub quiz. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm really doubting myself. Anyway, that sounds. It's no. It sounds brilliant. <laughs> the legend that is David Bowie. Are the singers available? Um, how do <laughs> we go? We are. Oh, we've only got 30 seconds. Ooh. Okay. Right. So, well, we've got everything on there. So, on here now. You can put all your different um, photos, if you yeah. want some photos on there, or if you've got some memories to put on, you can put them on there. And that looks really nice. nice. And then if we'll just go through. So I've done some more here already that we can see. Oh, so bless you. We're going to have to stop. I'm so sorry, Zoe. I, I've <laughs> used your... I've just used that. A little though. bag. Yeah, bless you. Bag, Lovely so. stuff. So uh, we'll see you probably in a month or so. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do make sure you're checking out your baskets. More coming up after this break. We have got another happy hour, Pink Frog Crafts with Adam. Uh, later we've got DIY Essentials. Is that you, Janice? It is. You can join Janice after that. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Craft Store channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows.
Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. I hope you're well. It's a happy hour. Uh, it's a happy hour at this hour, and it's a Pink Frog happy hour. So treat this as a stock up session. I know, it's a new term. I'm trying to make it crash. Uh, crash, catch. Uh, it's a stock up session, so stock up. First hour of the day. Uh, I've had coffee though. Uh, so, uh, stock up on, on your mats and layers. I've got I've got non shaded glitter card, which we'll talk on shortly. I've got your super smooth in A4, different sizes. Um, what else have I got? I've got pick and mixes. I've got glue. I've got black mat and Oh, I've got loads. Jump to the website. It's all there, look. Have a little look. Have a perusal. Shop ahead of me. Don't wait for me. I've got a lot. I've got a lot. I've got two cat. I'm across two sets. That's how much stuff. I've got to give you. I'm across two sets today. All the prices will go back up at three o'clock this afternoon. So this is how long you have my little clock in the corner uh, that you've got there. So you've got 58 minutes to get the deals, which sounds like a long time. Trust me. <laughs> it goes quick. Well, <laughs> let's see how quick it goes this hour, shall we? Uh, it might for you. I don't think it will for me. But uh, as I'm on my own this hour, and it is just me, I, I normally would throw to a guest at this point. Here is our Hazel. No, she ain't here. It's just a wall. <laughs> Someone got paid for that. Look at it. Look at it. Anyway, I digress. Uh, email me in. Let me know you're there. Let me know you're there, mother. Are you there? Mother, can you hear me? Uh, let me know you're there. Studio at thecraftstore.com. I am literally on my own. There's, 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 there's just me. There's no, there's nobody. I, I wear this for fun. There's nobody in it. I just pretend I'm on the telly. Uh, so email me. Let me just know you're there at least, please. Are you only got to send your name, where you're from. That will do, mate. At the moment, should we open the bus? Now, actually, let's go on a plane. We'll go on a foreign holiday. I've got a Boeing 747 to fill. We're off to Prestatin via plane, private, I know, big, big places. Uh, so if you want to get on, do you want to get on? Uh, all your exits are there as well. Uh, strip lighting along the floor. Oh, I used to love that. I used to love when I used to be cabin crew. Uh, so, long story, I used to work for cabin crew. The, the, Teas, coffees, hot towel, madam. Uh, so uh, let's kick off though, in case we're kicking off, uh, because I know Pink Frog, Mr. Pink Frog will be watching. He's like, can you start selling now? Can you start selling? Uh, right, 375162 is your item number. What, what for? Oh, look at that. That was a shot and a half. 13 pounds and nine. Oh, do you know what that screams? Da, 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 da. Uh, 13 pounds and 99 pence for 40 sheets in total of 170 GSM non shed silver and gold glitter. Uh, well, it's sort of card slash paper is what you're looking at with this one. It is non shed uh, that you've got there. Uh, look at that though. Oh, if I knew I had this on the show, I would have bought me jacket. Would have bought me a little sequin jacket. I, peru I fl thumbed past it this morning in the wardrobe. I was like, oh, yeah, and I went for this instead. But uh, you've got the gold, you've got the silver. Uh, does that mean we get, I'm guessing it's 20 of each sheet that we're getting there. So you get 20 of gold, 20 of silver, and this single-sided as well, which is nice. It's a single side. It's, I would say, paper-esque. I wouldn't go, it's 170 GSM is what you're getting there. Lightweight paper uh, that you've got. Um, love it all. I, I like this sort of, for your little cards, maybe, because you could. I uh, know, so it's all bulldog clips, the glamour of TV. Uh, but things like that for your mats, for your mats and layers that you've got going on there, uh, with a bit of white cardstock on the front, that would make a beautiful little card. I've got some white uh, cardstock on the show. Uh, little gift bags, maybe you want to make for it. Is it non shed? Should we have a look? Oh, it is. You don't get that much of them to the pound, do you? Let's be fair. Um, I have done it before. That is my party piece, but that's another story. It's normally involving tassels. Now, £13.99 pence with a £10 saving is what you're looking at on this one. 375162 is your item number. Shall we press on? Let's press on. Uh, mirror card is what we're looking at now. Look at these two kilos of mirror card oh my word nine pounds and 99 pence a third of the stock has already gone oh do you know what it reminds me of kylie minogue 
You know, when she had that mask on, na 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 na. Reminds me a bit like ah. That's what it reminds me of. Can you see what we do in our house, me and Mole, when we're when we're on our own? That's what we do. Uh, but uh, that's what you've got there. How beautiful are those uh, with your little mats and layers, maybe? So you could go. Uh, for your little mats and layers of your silver, if you want it, or you could go the other way around because it's not going to be that much. Put them through your die cutting machine uh, if you want to put them through your diamond cutting that you've got there. Would work really, really well. Love this. Two kilos. Two kilos of. Now, ignore the word off cuts because I don't like the word off cuts, to be honest. An off cut box. It makes it just sound like, oh, got them lying around. What can I do with them? They're not. They're, they're, they're worth their They are worth their weight in gold because you're getting so much that you're getting there. They are like little gold bars. Just like a little campfire. Ging gang gooly 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 gooly. Watch your ging gang goo. Just like a little campfire, don't you, that we've got going on in the studio. Um, half price, £9.99 till 3 o'clock. Can you tell I've had proper coffee? It's well strong. Uh, 272446 is your item number. Now, I've got the same in silver. Not the strips, though. At this time, we're talking card form uh, that you've got here. Once again, Amazing for your mats and layers that you've got. So if you want your mats and layers uh, that you've got there, uh, it really does. It's it's nice having these. Nearly 40% of the stock here now has already gone. Sometimes you don't want to cut into an A4 piece of mirror card, do you? You don't want to cut into a full sheet. So maybe using these, you just use the strips and you put those behind your card to give it to look like you've got that mats and layers that you've got. So cut smaller strips from them. Worth having a little look out for this one. £9.99, 661929 is your item number. 270 GSM is what you're looking at for this one with a £10 saving uh, is what you got. Uh, 661929 is your item number. Now I like this next one. I like these a lot. If you've got leaf dies, if you've got, uh, well, you want to just go autumnal, this is the pack to go because it really does all the hard work for you. So you get your brown card that you've got there. Uh, so you've got your beautiful brown card. Then you've got, I don't know, it's like, they've called it sand. Uh, I suppose, yeah, I'll give it you. Uh, I'll give you sand. Uh, then from there, We've got your, what we call this one, terracotta. And then, last but no means least, you've got your rust. But look at that for a palette. Oh, that is a stunning little palette that you've got there. Little sentiments, happy, happy fall. <laughs> Not a happy fall, as in, you know, you know what I mean. Um, just, I hope you had a nice fall. Uh, so, uh, but you've got things to use nice little strips. These would look nice. You know when you do the technique and you weave, basket weave, and you basket weave them through, the international symbol, basket weave, <laughs> uh, that you've got there. Um, I used to work at the races. Does anyone? <laughs> 10 to 1. Uh, but uh, 30, 11 pounds and 99 pounds. What does it mean when, you, when your right hand itches? Is I'm coming into money? Am I going to win the Euro? I think, I think the right's winning money. If I'm not here tomorrow, you know why. Uh, so, uh, the Euros were last night. I won't be winning anything then. Could be winning the pools, spot the ball. Do we still play that? Do we still have a pools man? You know the man that used to knock your door and get your money? My, my grandparents used to do it as well. They used to be a secure homes. Secure homes man. Is there a secure homes man? Email me at studio at thecraftstore.com. Because everyone, apart from by the sounds of my uh, director, no one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Matt, do you know where a secure homes man is? No? He used to be like a walking bank. He did, didn't he? He just used to take money off here. Just take money and for your gas and electric and stuff. Uh, right then. Oh, left hand's money coming in, right hand's money going out. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Right then, uh, 702098 is your item number. £11.99 for all of this car stock uh, that we're looking at here. So, uh, up next, uh, we've got your little bit of gingham that we've got. Now, you've got a variety of colours uh, with this one. Uh, so, you've got sort of lavender gingham on there. You've got blue gingham on there. You've got a peach gingham uh, that's there. Uh, orange. You've got red, traditional, traditional Dorothy gingham that you've got. Uh, then, you've got your baby pink, uh, sort of brown. You've got grey. You've got blue. And you've also got your green gingham as well. 
Uh, you're getting all of this. You're getting 112 sheets. 112 sheets, eight A4 sheets of each colour for £9.99 and pence with a £12.40 and pence saving. 886440 is your item number. 150 GSM is what you're looking at. Remember, it's Pink Frog, first of all. They know what they're doing when it comes to paper. Now, they are renowned for their cardstock and papers. Most of the demonstrators, unless they have their own paper or cardstock, use Pink Frog. Most of them, the majority of them all will use the pink frog, okay? So, uh, so nine times out of ten, this is what they'll be using, this sort of cardstock. They know what they do, pink frog, now. They're renowned for their cardstock. So it's worth having a look and look. Uh, and it is absolutely beautiful. You've got that beautiful smooth uh, smoothness to it, and it's single-sided, so if you are making boxes, uh, you've got that white inside if you wanted the gingham on the outside. £9.99, 886440 is your item number that we're looking at on this one with a £12.40. Right then, at 12 40 saving, 9 99 Super smooth up next. Oh, super smooth. So we're looking at a 300 GSM. What's that about printers? Uh, you can print onto it. If it will go through your printers, an inkjet and a laser printer, which is good to know uh, that you've got in there. You are getting 160 sheets of Super Smooth. Now, with Super Smooth, um, you've got these. You've got. Shall I bring it forward? I feel like I feel like a weatherman. Right then, let me let me put this down that we've got there. Oh, you still can't see. Can you see? Let's move, let's move all these. Here we go. Uh, right then, what can you do with your super smooth children? Well, let me tell you. So, uh, if, you, if you look at the boards, I do feel like a bit like a teacher when we got an easel out here. Uh, the bell's for me, not for you. I used to love that one. Love it. It's your own time. Ooh, nearly took me up. Nearly took me eye out. Uh, so, uh, it's your own time you wasted. I like that one as well. I like that one. Uh, then they used to have the PE teacher that used to come in like his shorts and his chacky bottoms. Never wore proper clothes. Like him. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so, uh, super smooth. Uh, you can, so this works for the next three. I've got all super smooth, but this is what you can do with it. So you can use it for your gesso. You can use it for your texture pastes. I think these boards are new. Uh, you can use it for your gilding waxes. You can use it with your stencils. Okay, then you can do it with your watercolour pencils. You can do it with your watercolour pens. You can do it with your alcohol markers. You can also stamp on it. That's, not, that's a lot, isn't it? There's more. You can use Distress Ink with water. You can use Distress Oxide blended, but look at the super blend that you've got, that you've got going on there. You've got your Distress Oxides with water. You've got your Distress Oxide Galaxy Technique. I like the Galaxy Technique that you've got. Uh, you've got paint, just paint, just, just paint. You can just paint it. You can spray onto it. So maybe with your Pearly Winks, I know, Pink Frog, collaboration with Pearly Winks. Oh, it's like E17 and Mr. Blobby. Merging together to make a Christmas number one. Love it. They're together. I don't know, it was a really wrong analogy that I thought of, but I just, it was just the sounds of them working together is what I was trying to go over in my head. Uh, then you've got, let's press on, uh, then you've got uh, brush shows with water that's on there. Then you've got Distrex Oxide uh, faux bleaching technique. I like, I like, there's more. Uh, then you've got heat embossing. So you can do a bit of heat embossing, so it'll take your heat. Uh, then you've got your die cuts uh, that you've got on there, so it will die cut out. So if you wanted to, looks like we've been burgled. Uh, so uh, it will take your die cuts that you've got there. Look at that. If that was in Midsummer Murder now, oh, that's a, that's a series just there. Uh, then you've got your embossing folders. We've got your letter press. Uh, then you can do construction. Oh, yeah, look at the depth on this. Look, oh, hello. Look at the depth. So you've got the depth on there so you can make your frames from there. You can doodle. Uh, you can, uh, what's this? Distress paper uh, techniques to make it look like leather. Uh, you can emboss with a plastic stencil and ink. Should we go through them again? So, you can't, I'm joking. Uh, but it's a lot, in it? That's a lot what you can do uh, with one. Um, 
they've taken a lot of ink, they've taken a lot of water, they've taken a lot of heat uh, that you've got in there. Is this, a, is this a crucial part to the easel itself? So, uh, 16 pounds and 98 pence, that is for your A4. So we've got A4 on the show, but I've also got A5 and A6 on the show as well. So, if you find A5 a little bit daunting, which some people do, you can go for your slightly smaller, this is A5, oh yeah, both of them, don't you? You get your A5 and A6 together, okay? So you've got A5 and A6. Let me bring one of these in so you can see the size difference. You're gonna get both of these. That's 160 of your A5s and 320 of your A6s. There's a lot for your money in here. 16 pounds and 98 pence. Or you can go for the A4. Okay, so you can got a, you've got A5, A6, or you can go for A4. Sixteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Six nine eight zero zero five is your item number. We've had an email. <laughs> Helen. She said, "I'm glad to see you back. Where have I been, Helen? I was here all day yesterday. I didn't finish late." She said, "Oh, I'm a great enter. I'm a great entertainer, not presenter, just an entertainer." We won't show that one to management, Helen. I'm not going to lie. I'm here to present. I just try and make it fun. That's what crafting is about, isn't it? There's a lot of boring, there's a lot of boring telly out there. So if you can't come and have a giggle for 57 minutes, you're watching the wrong channel. Let's be fair. Uh, what did she say? Oh, she's in Bristol. I'm not doing, I'm not doing Bristol. Look, they won't let me do panto because I have to work here. I would love to. Oh, Scott and Fee. Scott and Fee are allowed to do um, uh, pantos because they have other other bits outside of this place. I, unfortunately, I've signed a contract, so I'm here for a while, uh, and I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to do panto. Uh, I'd love to though. Oh, can you imagine seeing me, Widow Twanky? Oh, it's the talk of the town. When my Twanky comes out, oh, it's the talk of the nation. And you wait till you see me chocolate buttons. Lovely. Thank you, Helen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, I, I like your emails. I love your emails. I love hearing. I love hearing from you. Keep them coming in. Studio at thecraftstore.com. It's just nice to hear from you. Just nice to know you're there. Just to nice to know that you're there sometimes because these hours can get long, <laughs> long. But it's just nice, nice for you. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's how long you got. Forty-two minutes though to get. On a serious note, let's be serious for a minute. Super smooth is the way to go. I tried um, techniques the other day. What was I doing? Oh, I was doing, we, oh, we've moved on, sorry. Um, I was doing a technique the other day. I was, oh, Joe Rice, Joe Rice. God bless Joe Rice, I love her to bits. She sent me some um, stuff in the post uh, to do a craft along with her. Well, and I watched, on the, I watched on the Book of Face and I crafted along with her and I did who did it, but I didn't have any super smooth. I used watercolor cards and I sent the picture to Joe Rice and she was like, it's good, but it's not the same as mine. I was like, well, what have I done wrong? And she said, oh, you've used the wrong cardstock, which I had, and I didn't realise until I'd finished. She would, you, you'd get a better result with the right cardstock, and it is true. So your blending techniques have really go uh, for your super smooth, because it is worth its weight in gold. And as you can see, it holds a lot, and it takes a lot if you're just starting out. Right then, shall we press on? Let's move on. Right then, this next one is a lucky dip. This is speciality Christmas that you are looking at here. Now, I think when it's a lucky dip, You'll either get something like these designs. If, if anyone is watching, if we think the colours may vary. We think you'll get the snowflakes designs, but we think the colours may vary. So, Andrew, Gwen, if you're watching, which I, mean, I think you are, could you just let me know? what we mean by lucky assorted of colours. So I think the colours may change, but the design in the background would stay the same. Right, let me show you then. So these are the ones that are going to change. Look at that. I'd love a jacket made out of that. Oh, that would be absolutely beautiful. It really, really would. So that's your black option. So you may get that one. Uh, then you're getting your red. So this is your pink frog, speciality Christmas, A4 cardstock, Lucky Dip 2, Snowflake Edition uh, that you're looking at here. Oh, I can see a rainbow. See a rainbow. I love that. That's nice. Uh, then you've got this. That's jazzy, isn't it? You make a little box in that couple of bonbons on the inside, a little bath bomb. Lovely. Uh, then you've got your purple. Oh, that's quality, you know, quality that is. Uh, from there, you've then got, what's that? Oh, it's, like a, it's like a matte black that we're looking at. 
a matte black that you've got. Uh, from your matte black, we've got your silver. I love your silver. Uh, then, oh, oh, like pearlescent that you're getting in there. That's, that's nice. Uh, then you've got your silver. Uh, then you've got your red. And then, by the looks of it, you get five of these. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six of these, sorry. Uh, it's got your holly on. Roll out the holly. Look at that. That's cute. I like this. £9.99. £9 lucky, lucky dip or not, it's worth having a little go at this one. Uh, £9.99. 383308 is your item number for that one. From there, though, I got another lucky dip. This is your reindeer. Uh, that we're looking at now. So, assorted colours once again. You are going to get six of the holly underneath, I think. Uh, but then, uh, you've got your reindeer. So you can just see. It's like a subtle emboss. So you get ten of these and five of the holly. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's where the six ones come from over there, then. That makes sense. Uh, so you get five of the holly in each of them, uh, and then you're going to get six of these. So that, let me show you this one. So that would be a sorted... Oh, that would be a nice box. That would be a lovely little box. I like that as well. I do like these colourways uh, that we've got uh, going on. So there's your red. There's your matte black. But you've got that just little... Look at that. So just as it comes through, as the light catches, as the sun beams in on Christmas morning. There you are. Look, oh, look, oh. It's like a disco. Oh. For to be alive. Uh, then you've got your little white reindeers, classy. Uh, you've got your purple, your matte black, but with that sparkle. So it looks matte. It's not. It's matte black. Uh, then you've got your red, your disco red. Sort of like a petrol slick. You know when you get them colours in petrol? Looks like that. Look. Oh, like this. Uh, oh, there we go. Bing, bling, 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 from minging to blinging. For nine pounds and ninety-nine pence is what you're looking at for that one as well. Worth having a little go. If I, for nine ninety-nine, you really can't go wrong, uh, can you? Uh, so uh, nine ninety-nine uh, nine six five two six six is your item number. Thirty-seven pounds and twenty-nine pounds. We're going to do a live walk. Come with. Come with. Oh, okay. You're not coming with. Uh, so okay. I thought you were walking with me. Uh, black cardstock is what we're looking at now. This has been busy. You're shopping ahead. A third of the stock now has already gone for this one. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence is what you're looking at. Two nine nine seven five zero is your item number. This is your true matte black card. Is what we're looking at. Good thickness as well. Two eighty GSM. This would look nice uh, with your glitter card. You know that first one I showed you, the gold and silver non-shed glitter. It would work really. Uh, yeah, Ali only always mats on black. I know our Tracy always mats on black as well because it's going to make uh, it's going to make everything pop uh, that you've got on there already. Uh, that you've got on there. So you've got that pure black uh, that you've got, which really does uh, work. It, it just makes anything pop. Uh, let me go and grab some white just to prove that, just to prove a point. Let me get, grab some of that. Uh, so you've just got. It just frames your work really, really well. So whether you do a lot of your mats and layers, so ignore all that, but it just frames. We put it in the corner of your screen. See, it just frames it just beautifully well uh, that you're getting all in there. And you're getting a lot, of your, you're getting a lot as well uh, for your money in this one. Uh, nearly 40% of the overall stock now has already gone. Worth having a little look. The prices will go back up to £27.49 uh, <coughs> oh, at the end of... I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. I nearly went then. Uh, so £11.99, 299750 is your item number. Right then. Fancy a roll. Cheeky on a Sunday. Uh, you are looking at on a Saturday. Oh, I thought I thought we were nearly done, but I'm off for a week. Uh, right then, uh, you are looking at one thousand five hundred pads per roll. Uh, can be cut into half to make it three thousand pads. Can be cut into four to make it six thousand pads. Six. Thousand pounds. If you cut those down into four, 
OK, that was longer than I thought. Uh, so, uh, you've got your two... They're two mil thick, that what you're looking at. So they are two mil thick. So you've got that little raise uh, that's on them. Super sticky as well. So they're a good size is what you're looking at. But if you cut that down again, so you cut that in half, OK? Cut that in half, you're going to get 3,000 of them. Cut them into four, you're going to get 6,000 of them. They're easy lifts. They cost just over 1p per pad. 1p per pad. Now, we all know our Phil Martin. He loves, loves his foam pads. John Lockwood loves their foam pads. It's, it gives you that depth that you get there. Stacks them up, gives you more depth. It gives you more dimension uh, for your work as well. And if you imagine how many you are getting on a roll, this is going to last you a while. It really, really will last you an awful long time. Well, it depends on how many cards you make, but it's still going to last you, isn't it? And, you've not, and it's not too high. It's not too high, but it's not too low. It's still going to get you the depth uh, that you require. So if you are doing your decoupage, if you are wanting to cut out, maybe you're going for the one-day special, maybe you're going for the mega bundle, maybe you're going for the weekend wow, and you just want to start layering things up, this may be the way to go. Uh, if I was you. As I said, it's worth having a little look. £15.99 pence should be 19.50. So you've got a £3.50 saving on this one. Uh, 103564 is your item number. This is a new board as well. Uh, we've got Calal Glue up next. Love a bit of Calal Glue. Now, you're getting a litre of Calal Glue is what you're going to get with this, okay? A litre of your glue. But... If you're thinking a litre is a little bit too big, you can decant if you wanted to, OK? So it works out to be ten little bottles of your Calal Glue. And it really does stick anything and everything. So you've got your uh, wet adhesive uh, from there. It's solvent-based. You've got extra glue, uh, rubs off really easily uh, with this. Dries with a solid finish. You can use it on paper, chipboard, leather, wood, ceramics, felt, glass, plastic, and more. Shall we have a look at the more? Let's have a look at the more that you've got there. So, you've got paper. You've got your corrugated card. You've got material. Felt, leather, foam, glass, sequins, lace, it looks like a pair of pants, uh, a peg, which is wood, so it fits wood. You've got metal, glitter, plastic, polystyrene, sponge. There's more. Oh, that's a quickie glue pen. I ain't got them on the show. Uh, so, uh, this is your Cadal Glow. Now, one of the little bottles is normally about £2.50, I'm hearing. So with this one, for £15.99, you're getting a litre's worth of your glue uh, that you get here. 227990 is your item number. 227990 is your item number. £15.99. Remember, these prices will go back up in 31 minutes. You can jump the app. Jump to the app, jump to the website, or give me a phone call. 0330-175-5552 is your item number. Not your item number, that's your phone number. It's a brand new phone number, remember, as well. Right then, watercolour card. I love watercolour card. You're getting 40 sheets of A4. That's 80 sheets of A4, A6, A5, uh, A6. So you're getting a lot. If you cut this down, you're getting a lot for your money. £9.99 for 40 A4 sheets. Now, it's got that tooth to it. I don't know if you can see uh, the tooth, though, on it. Can you see? Yeah, there you go. You've got that little tooth uh, that you've got going on there. So it's absolutely... So is that watercolour card. It takes a lot of water as well. I must say, I'm no watercolour artist, uh, but it does take a lot of water. So if you want to do your Matthew Palmer's uh, that's in there, uh, if you want to do your Matthew Palmer's, your Sharon Hurst, things like that, it's good to have a little look at. And so if you want to do all those, wet the paper and then make it bleed, it will work. It will work. £9.99. 515439 is your item number for your watercolour cardstock that we're looking at at the moment. Remember, keep your emails coming in. Just me and Helen so far, by the looks of it. Thank you, Helen, for your email. Means a lot. Um, she said I was a good entertainer, not presenter. I haven't forgotten. Uh, 515439. Uh, five, uh, five, uh, ice gold paper is up. You're next. 
Matt, because it is, it's got a pearl lesson finish, but you can still print onto it with a laser and an inkjet printer. So you can print onto this, uh, be nice insert for weddings, for posh events that you want to go there. Um, I can't hear my director. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Uh, 783-209 is your item number. 120 GSM, 150 sheets in total. 783-209 is your item number for nine pounds and 99 pence. But you have got, it's got that sort of ice gold, so it has got a little gold shimmer. I don't know if you can see. Uh, that, but it has got that little gold shimmer to it uh, that runs all the way through. Right then, you have got 29 minutes to start checking out your baskets before the prices go back up. But remember, anything will only sit in your basket for 10 minutes before the price, well, before we take it out, basically. And remember, if you want to keep going back and buying more, you can do if you're a Freedom member, because it's the price that you see on screen is a delivered price to your door. Oh, yeah. Don't believe me? Here's Alione to tell you more. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. So I won't go and see Dr Lobitoff again. We oh, hurt. Now, sorry, I was just... One of the boys got a problem. Now, um, let's go back to our non-shed glitter card. It's been busy that we're talking about here. I love Dr. Lobbitoff. He's a lovely guy. Um, he's a doctor. He's a dentist. He does many, many, many things. He's a man of all trades. Like our Catherine, to be honest. She's a, she's a lady of many trades, isn't she, our Catherine? There's nothing she can't turn her hand to. She's on in the next hour. She's presenting. Uh, she'll be, she's presenting. Yes, not entertaining. Presenting. She's doing the proper job. Uh, the proper gig. And Janice is guesting. It's going to be, oh, it's going to, they're doing a bit of DIY with our Janice. Janice is the guest. Catherine is the presenter. Oh, it's going to be a ruckus. Oh, they'll be dancing on the tables. Be like a Lionel Richie VT. Um, you've got going on there. VT, I was meant to say, I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, anyway, let, we digress. Non shared glitter card is what we're talking about uh, at the moment. And then it is non shared as well. Uh, that we're looking at. You're getting silver, you're getting gold. You're getting 40 sheets of each of these as well. And it is non-shared. I, I did the shirt test. Okay, I rubbed it on my shirt. Some people would love that. Should we do it again? <laughs> my director was like, do it again. All right. Well, uh, however you get your kicks, sunshine, if this is one of them, I don't mind. Right, Ed, I've got to watch my mic. Move that up there. Oh, it moves itself, yeah. But non, non shed, and I wouldn't normally do that. I would normally be scared to do that. I'll risk it for a biscuit on this occasion. I don't mind uh, because I know it's non shed. It's non shed. It's 170 uh, GSM. You're getting 40 sheets of um, in total. So that's 20 sheets gold, 20 sheets in the silver as well. It would make a beautiful envelope for a Christmas card. Absolutely envelope that you've got there. Also make a, clutch, uh, a, a lovely little, cl little clutch bag. <laughs> if you're going to an award ceremony, you haven't got a clutch bag. Oh, hi. What? Yeah, I'll get these. Bear with me. <laughs> you imagine a little folded bit of car. I'm going to do it. I don't care. Uh, so, here we are. My little clutch. What, this old thing? Oh, it's Pink Frog. It's all the trend. Sauntered out. 
We have a nominations. So the nominations for best presenter is Janice, Catherine, Alex. So, uh, thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence is what you're looking at uh, for this one. Three seven five one six two is your item number. It's worth having a little look, especially for this time of year. Uh, now we're getting into the Christmas season. We're nearly there. Just got to get Halloween out of the way. Get Halloween out of the way. I'm not a fan of Halloween. Oh, and we've got Bonfire Night. I like Bonfire Night because you wear a hat and a scarf. I like them standing in the cold. You have a little hot dog. Then we get to the Christmas fairs. That's when the more wine starts. Just drink responsibly, though. Don't spill it. Uh, do not spill it because it's hot. And I don't want you to burn your little fingers because they're your crafting fingers, isn't they? They're your magic. Magic. Jenny's emailed in. Thank God. Um, <laughs> She's not feeling well. Oh, Jen, come on. I hope you feel better. Get a lem sip inside, yeah? Other brands are available, Wilkinson's own and Sainsbury's own. Um, but get a little, get a little lem sip inside. You may be a fisherman's friend. It's up to you. If you've got a sore throat, she said, I'm doing a great job. Oh, ble oh I'm blushing like a beetroot. I've got it all out. Uh, and the litre of Kalal is worth having, she says. It does stick everything. Well done, Jen. You swerved that curveball in. I like that. Like that, them emails will get to you air. Do all the good stuff, and then if you can relate it to the show, it's going to get read out. I can tell you now, it will get read out because you bring us all back, is what you do. Top tip, email it in, do all the niceties or whatever you need to say, then bring it back to the show. Just any old product that I've got on the counter, just bring it back in. Love the rainbow card. We're there. It's, it'll be read out. It will. If you want to have a go, you've got 23 minutes to get your emails in. Say what you want. Stick anything at the bottom, relating paper, cards, stuck on pink, pink frog are amazing. It, well, I'll read it. That's how we work, that's how we roll. Little trade secret. Oh, I'm like undercover diners, you know. I'm like undercover diners, telling you the tricks of the trade. How do you get your emails read out on air? Um, yes, there you go. Thank you for your email. Uh, who was that, Tracy? Jenny. Don't know where I got Tracy from. Tracy Barlow. Um, thank you, Jenny, love. Thank you, Jen. Uh, I hope you're feeling better soon. I really do. I hope, I hope you're not too bad. I hope it's just a grog. I hope you just, you know. Uh, anyway. Blanket. I'm on for the rest of the night. I'm on, I'm on at four, six and seven. That'll cheer you up. Or make you fall asleep, one or the other. I don't know. It's up, the choice is yours. Anyway. Oh, I've given myself paper burn. Uh, now, uh, what we're talking about is my campfire. Oh, look at that. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nibbling at me. Now, um, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two seven two four four six is your item number for this one. Ten pound saving on this. You get a lot. You do get a lot for your money. Should we stack it up and see how much you get uh, that you're getting in there? Um, are we coming back to this? Okay. Let me show. I just want to show you how much you're actually getting in monetary value. Oh, there, no. Found uh, some money there, didn't we? Uh, so, that's where the money's gone, that on tea bags. We've got new tea bags as well. Uh, become a Freedom member, that's delivered to your door. That'll be delivered. That's some weight. That is... Oh! Two kilograms right there. That... Two... Two kilograms. It's got what you've got looking at there. You are looking at two kilograms worth of... Oh, of your Miri cart. Look at that. It's like a petrol slick. Love that. It's like ice skates. <gasps> you put the hat, the bottom of your shoe, it'd be like... Look at that. Oh, I'm going to go and watch him next week, next Saturday. I'm going to watch the big mouse on ice. Him and his friends. Can't wait. I'm so excited. We bought it for Molly. But I'm more excited to go than anyone else. Um, I, like, I like Disney on Ice. I'll be, if you're into Birmingham, Disney on Ice, I'll be there next Saturday. Half six it starts. Uh, get your readers. Uh, Saturday. I'll be there. You'll find me. Probably propping up the bar. Not going to lie. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence. Oh, no, we're going as a family. There's loads of us. We're all going. Uh, it's, a, it's a tradition that we do. It's a little tr Christmas tradition. We all go and see Disney on Ice uh, every year. Anyway, I digress. Um, more for us, more for the adults, if anything. But I'll see you there. I'm there. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. I'll probably go down on the ice. Other shows on ice: Cirque du Soleil on ice, Santa Claus on ice, uh, dancing on ice. Um, yeah, don't slip on ice. You'll hurt yourself. 
if you do on ice. Silver, up next, bringing it back to the show. That's where your emails come in. Uh, 661929 is your item number. Uh, £9.99. pence. This time we're talking silver. Uh, you're getting half price deal. Two limited stock. We're green on screen. Means you're keen. You're very, very keen. We're green on screen. And the stock is lean. Which makes me mean. Uh, so, £9.99. 661929 is your item number. Me little swans. Jenny's email back in again. So far, Jenny and Helen, you get your emails, you're the only ones emailing. Of course, I'm going to read them out. Uh, what she said? She's got a bag, she's got a bad back, lent it, one hand, warm pad. That's what you need. A warm pad. That'll, that'll work. A warm pad. Uh, I love her for making her feel better, bringing it back to the show. She loves the rainbow card, well worth the money. ka -ching. Back of the net, Jen, once again. That Angela, Angela, Angela didn't mention a product, so Angela, I'm not reading it out. 661929, no she did, go on, what did she say? She said, this is from Angela. She doesn't need any more cards, but my unique presentation has had a leaping to the website like a gazelle. Oh, she did bring it back. She's leapt like that, I feel. She's had to sit on her hands. <laughs> you be careful now. Make sure your hands are warm before you do that. Uh, thank you. Who is that from? Rachel, no. Angela, thank you, Angela. So, have we sold this out now? Oh, I didn't even, we weren't even talking about it. Um, and well done, Angela, if you got it. It is now sold out, though. Uh, yeah, so Angela's, Angela didn't want nothing when she turned on at two o'clock. <laughs> Apparently my presentation, she's like, yes, I'll have that. Well, it's unique. Unique in capitals. I'll take it. If you do miss this, there is a PowerPoint presentation that I'll send you after the hour uh, with all this on. Um, right, autumn cardstock. <laughs> Limited stock is what we're talking about now uh, for your autumn cardstock. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely. It sells itself though, isn't it? It's Pink Frog, it's quality card is what you're looking at. If you want your autumnal colours, this is the way to go. So you've got your sand, terracotta and brick, no. And rust, rust, uh, sand, uh, terracotta, sand, rust and brown. True brown. Oh, that's the new range. True brown, not just any brown, true brown. Mm, I love brown. Uh, that you've got there. <laughs> that you've got. I should really think about it before I talk, to be honest. Um, sometimes I do wish this was scripted, and it's really not. It's really not. I wish it was. True, I don't want anyone right. I don't know because I don't really trust her, but imagine Scott writing this for me. Can you imagine the uproar that Scott would get me into? Um, but yeah, true. It's true. It is true that you're getting in there. Uh, you could just go a very decorative fan, couldn't you? Olé! So, the Spanish blood inside me. Uh, 702-098 is your item number. We've had an email from Sue. She said... She realised my, my doppelganger is Leonard from where? From Granchester? I don't know. I don't know who this is. We can't put it to, I can't put the pictures to her, but we're going to have a look now. I will give you some more details and I'm going to have a look, Sue, at what you're saying. Uh, she also said, what, what? Oh, she also said, pink frog deals are making her happy. Well done, Sue. Bought it back. Yes, you know how to do it. Uh, this won't work for all the shows, by the way. <laughs> Uh, if we've got guests, we normally have to go back to them for demonstrations. Um, ooh. Go on. <laughs> Sue, my love, I can see who you're talking about now. How dare you? How very dare you? That's not the best picture, to be honest. Sue, I'd love to show you, but we're not allowed to. Um, oh, really? Do your own research. What was he called? Leonard from, Granth from Granchester. Ranchester. Ask Jeeves. Uh, right then. I've, my nickname when I used to work at Wood was Ralph because um, I apparently I did look like Ralph Little from the Royal Family. Um, it was, and it still is. For some people that still text me now can't call me Adam. They have to call me Ralph because it doesn't, doesn't sound right for them. Anyway, I digress. Um, Gingham. 
Little bit of gingham, a little bit of... Can we um, block Sue's emails from now on? Just just auto-scan before you tell me. Uh, right then, thank you for your email, though, so it means a lot. Uh, ish. Uh, right then, £9.99. And pence, uh, eight, eight, six. This is why I wish we were doing the shows again, so we could meet these people. We could put faces to them and avoid them. But we're not, we're not doing any of the shows anymore. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, anyway, I don't think so. That's what I was told. Anyway, I don't think this is for air. Now, £9.99, 8864404 is your item number for this one. Gingham cardstock. You are getting eight sheets of each colourway that you're looking at, which makes 112 sheets in total. Uh, 150 GSM, 8864404 is your item number. £9.99, £12.40 pence. Pence, pence saving. Uh, we've got our Super Smooth up next. Super Smooth is what you're looking at. You know what your super smooth is. I ain't got time to rattle through me boards. I ain't got time for it. I've only got less than 15 minutes uh, that we've got there. It takes your blending, it takes your blending, it takes your water, it'll take your heat, it'll take your construction. Well, it'll take on your mother-in-law if you threw it right. Take on everything. Take on the lot. Five pounds saving, 16 pounds, 98 pence for A4617168 is your item number. Jump to the web, tap the app, or give me a call. 0330175552 is the number you need to call me on. That was my radio voice for doing numbers. Did you like it? 0330175552 is your number. Open Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Terms and conditions apply. Uh, 698005, though, is for the A5 or the A6. Um, now, you get both of them, though. This is like one little bundle that I like. Because it doesn't get too scary at Canway, because this hurts. Oh. I've got a cute angina, Matt. You can't, don't laugh. It's, I could go at any time. Uh, 16 pounds. It's giggling over there, wetting himself. Uh, kids are today, eh? Kids are today. How old are you, Matt, out of curiosity? 24. 24? Oh, 24! What year was you born, out of curiosity? 97! 97! I got pants older than that. 97! Oh! Uh, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait to six, Matt, so they know who we're talking about. There's our Matt, look. There's just me and Matt in the studio. This is it. You see, they think there's a crowd of people here. Nah, it's just me and Matt. <laughs> me and Matt. We're socially distanced over here. Um, good for this one. I haven't got much time left, though. Now, Lucky Dip uh, that we're looking at are now. Uh, uh, Gwen has emailed in. Thank you, Gwen, my love. Now, it's the colours may vary, the dime will be the same, so the colours may vary, OK? If you're wondering who Gwen is, I'm going to say it on the telly, she told me not to. She's the backbone of Pink Frog. The backbone. Because she keeps quiet, you see. At the events, you wouldn't know who she is. If you've ever been to an event, she sits there in silence. She sits there, all quiet, and down. Andrew's there, out front, giving it the big one, like Dale Boy. Fur coat, flat cap, apples, pears, bananas, bit of super smooth. All the cards you need. That's what it's supposed to like. You've ever seen it? Love him. I, I wish Andrew would come back to the studios. He kept us on our toes. Oh, you've never met Andrew? You're in for a treat. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. He did keep us on our toes because he, he, he knows what he's talking about, which I which, which I like because he gives us all the information before we came on air. Uh, three eight three three zero eight is your item number uh, that you're getting out on this one. So your colours may vary on this one, thanks to our Gwen uh, that we're looking at. So you're getting uh, the black. Let's whisk through. So we can, well, see if we can do the rest of the counter. You're getting your red. You might get your gold. You might get. Uh, the beautiful red that's in there, you might get your purples that are in there as well. And your sexy black. Oh, they're bringing sexy back. Uh, then you've got your gold that's in there, you've got your white. Uh, yeah, you've got your white, uh, you've got your gold. Oh, I love them, absolutely love them. Then you get your five of your hollies as well. Uh, same, same style, but just in the reindeer as well I've got now. So exactly the same concept, uh, but just in the reindeer. The colours may vary on these ones, but you will get the little reindeer design. So the design will stay the same that you've got there. Resi design will stay the same, but the colours will change. Uh, 965266 is your item number for this one. Nine pounds and 99 pence. What are you looking for there? Um, should we move over to the black card? Uh, so, let black card, super busy. Oh, this studio's riff there, I uh, So, um, black card, 
is there, look. The black card is what you're looking at for this one. It's worth having um, a little look at your black card. Remember, for your mats and layers, good saving, 15.50 is what you're getting on this one as well. You've only got another 10 minutes. Uh, you've only got another 10 minutes uh, before all the prices go back up. So for the same black card, it'll be 27.49. Okay, and I know there's no more, I know these aren't on any happy hours, I know Catherine's got a happy hour later, um, which is done at the end of the countdown, uh, but it's not card, okay, so this is the only, I think this is the only happy hour uh, that we've got today, um, yet. Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence, 299 is your item number. Oh, it's so inflated with Quilted Bear. Quilted Bear, poor little, I love that song. Um, running Bear, good song. Anyway, I digress. Nearly limited, nearly limited stock for the black card is what you are looking at now. Foam pads, these are your foam pads, foam pads that you're getting, okay, your foam pads. You are getting 1,500 pads, cut them in half, 3,000 pads, cut them in fourths, 6,000 pads. They are 24 by 24 by 2 mil thick, they're easy lit and cost just over 1p a pad. That's all I can say. That's all I can say, that's it, that's it. And I remembered all that information. Um, all that is maintained in my head for when I read it out. When I read it out, it is all there for you. I know all that you throw something about a pad, I'm there. 1,500 pads, uh, let's lean it forward. Uh, 3,000 pads is what you've got. Cut it into fourths. 6,000 pads, move it over. Uh, 24 by 24 by 2 mil, easy lift, and costs just over a penny a pad is what you're going for on this one, okay? It's worth having a little look. And remember, all presenters, we know it all. We, we learn our stuff. We really, really do. Um, I learned that from Yanis. Now, uh, Kalal Glue. Who's took the label off? Who's took, who's took the information? Oh, it's here, don't worry. Kalal glue is wet adhesive, solvent based, extra glue rubs off easy, dries with a solid finish. Use paper, card, board, leather, wood, ceramic, felt, glass, plastic, and more. That's what you can do with Kalal glue. Don't believe me? They put it on the back. Uh, so, that is what you can do with your Kalal glue. I could tell you what you could do with a quickie pen, but I can't because we ain't got them on the show. Uh, so, it's worth having a little go, okay? It's worth having a little look. Um, Jenny, I think Jenny was raving about a Kalal glue. Ah, uh, Jenny loves a Kalal glue. Is that Jenny with a bad back? Bad back Jen, bad back Jen. That's what we'll call, that's what we'll call her from, from now now. Bad back Jen. I wonder what she's been doing to get a bad back, let's not ask. Uh, 15 pounds, 99 pence. Uh, 227990 is your item number. Um, Jenny loves a Kalal glue. She loves a Kalal glue, but she's got a bad back. She's Jenny from the block. Don't be fooled by the rocks that she got. She's got a litre of Kalal glue. Uh, if you want to stick paper together, though, £9.99, pence. you need some watercolour cardstock. Not just to stick together, but you could just use it, make a little book. Uh, 515439 is your item number for this one uh, that you are looking at. £9.99 pence for 40 sheets uh, is what you've got. 40 sheets in total. 515493, it is your... Shall I show you the groove? Shall I show you the tooth? Shall I show you the grind? The grind? There you go. There you go. What do you say? Lovely. Six minutes. Six minutes to go, all right? Six minutes is all you got. Uh, so, oh, it wasn't there. Uh, 515439 is your item number, half price deal. Last but no means least, ice gold. Gold. Mm. Um, I don't know either, to be honest. I can't have no more coffee after this. I can't have. No, I'll tell you what it is. No, I'll tell you what it is. Normally I have tea with the, good, with the new tea bags that we've got back. So we've got brand new tea bags. No, we've invested in Yorkshire tea. Catherine kicks, Catherine kicks off and you had, tea, you had good tea on your side of the building. We had not so good tea on our side. Um, no, you've got uh, Yorkshire. Uh, but Catherine kicked off because she wanted them in a Winnebago. So they bought a lump sum. We bought a load in. Um, now we've got them, you see. But... Because Janice is in doing the next show, she'll make you a proper coffee. So she made me a plunge coffee. <sighs> wow. Wired. Wired. My eye's twitching. 
Uh, £9.99, what are we talking about? Uh, ice Gold Card, that's what we're talking about. 120 GSM for 150 sheets in total. 783209 is your item number. Um, before we go, check out your baskets. Um, We've still got two and a half minutes of live television. Television gold, this could be. Uh, 783209, here they come in together for the next show. Uh, Janice and Catherine have walked in. I was just telling them, Catherine, how, we kicked off, how you kicked off about tea bags. Now we've got good ones in the kitchen. We've got good tea bags now, haven't we? Don't you know where the posh ones are? No. Oh. Well, they were on the other side of the building. We've got Earl Grey in the cupboard. Have we? Yeah. Jump to the website while we discuss this. Earl Grey tea bag. Jump to the website. There it is. Uh, where, are we off to? where are we going? Check out your baskets uh, for limited stock. There's a few limited stock that were going on there. Oh, we're off down there. Uh, so, uh, get it while you can. I got stitched, literally, from one end of the studio to the other. Rainbow Mirror Cards, limited stock. Now, your Rainbow Mirror Card is limited card. Snowflake card stock. And your Autumn Box is... All limited, all limited stock. And your True Black, limited stock. Thank you for your emails. Jenny, I hope your back gets better. Sue, thanks for getting involved. Um, who else did we have? Helen was the, uh, kicked it all off. Anne, Sue, Tracy, love the show as well. Margaret Brighton, thank you for your email. It's true, all you have to do is write your email. If you want to get it read on the telly, just make it product focus at the end and we'll read it out again for you. True it is, it's, they can bring it back to the show. Uh, right then, uh, we've come back here again. £10 off is what you're getting uh, for all of this. Love it a lot. You can't go wrong with a little bit of gold and silver card. We've got 45 seconds left of this hour. I will see you at 4 o'clock for the final call of the One Day Special. Then we've got a new launch of the One Day Special as well with our Sasha Not Fancy. Uh, then I've got Bondic uh, later on this evening. Myself and Catherine will be taking you. I know. It's, it's a product. It's nothing that you're thinking so. Uh, so... Just, just pointing that out there. Not one of those shows. It's a bit of glue. Not, but not what you're thinking. Nor you, Doug. So, <laughs> see him looking me up and down. 15 seconds is all we've got before I read a menu. Oh, I've got to say that all again now. I don't know why I bother, to be honest. I've got Stitch from walking back and forwards. You all know I've got a cute angina. I ain't doing it no more. I'm off. This woman annoys me as well, sprinkling glitter. She just makes a mess. I don't know why we use it. DIY Essentials with our Janice and Catherine is up next, and it's the All and Create fifth birthday, then quilting antics. Oh, our Anthea's in, that'll be fun. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer, and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. I am Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. Um, we know customers like seeing 
um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Puppy Shows. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. And we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, we've got a wonderful hour ahead. We've got DIY essentials. There's a really good reason why this is going to be a very special hour. Shall I tell you why? It's nothing to do with the guests. It's all about this. It's amazing. Talking to guests, though, we do have one here in the studio. She's all right, I guess. Let's say a very good afternoon to our Janice. Oh, do you know what? They said to me in the meeting that I'd be working with a rusty hinge today. And here we are. Here we are. Rusty hinges, rusty dustbins, and uh, oh, yeah, and Catherine as well. Oh, how nice is that? Oh, Janice. No, joking apart, though, we have got some great products here, haven't we? Yeah, we have. And uh, it's quite interesting, actually. The tables have turned. Uh, you presenting, me guesting. Not something I normally do, but I do like DIY. I know you love your DIY as well, Catherine. But this paint is the easiest, easiest DIY paint to use. And you can use it for so much as well. Upcycling, recycling, just tidying up things in the garden and in your home as well. Definitely. Indoors and outdoors. That's a bit like now. Many, many of you have already bought this, myself included. Glenn, if you're watching, you need to get it as well because I've got some jobs for you next year. Uh, once we get past the winter outside. Because next we year, are what about next week? <laughs> we, we are talking indoors, outdoors, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, we are. So you can use this indoors, you can use it outdoors. It's a rust converter paint, which means there's an ingredient in here which is going to devour rust. So that's mainly items that are in the uh, outside of your homes, for example. But because it's heat resistant as well, if you've got log burners, for example, you could use it on the outside of your log burner. That's indoors and outdoors. I use mine on the inset to the fireplace. So you need special paint. If you've got a log burner, that area is going to get really, really hot. So I used it on the outside. We've got some pictures. We'll show you that later. Um, so I'm confident that that's heat resistant. We've got a coat stand here in the studio and that was well I don't know what color that was when it be, began actually um, but now it's a really nice satin black because it dries a satin black and I think that's what makes this so attractive not being shiny or glossy with it being water-based and that lovely satin finish definitely do you know that's a pet hate of mine to be honest I don't like anything that's too shiny so too super shiny something that's been painted on my property before is the outside um, down pipes they've been yes. gray I wanted them black to match in with other things they've been done with a gloss which can peel Yes, it you can. have got that glossy well, effect. Well, it's oil-based, isn't it? It so is, any yeah. kind of heat going on there from the sun and the elements of the weather, it's going to affect it. So, yeah, your pipe work, for example, on the outside of your house, if you've got something that's looking grey, um, you know, it might be that you go to a DIY shop and that's the only colour you can get, but you want it black because it matches the rest of your items on your home. Even if it's black already, you've got that shiny side, but then you can dull it down a little bit with that satin finish, giving it that nice matte satin finish for me that just looks better and it again for me when you've got it this um, sort of like glossy finish it just gets dirty and marked but that's just going to bring it back to life and just make sure it looks nice and amazing neat. can I ask a few more questions as well Janice it does say one coat on there yes now I know depending on what you're covering the color that's underneath and the surface Sometimes you might need to go with more than one coat, but it, it doesn't really mean about the amount of layers, does No, that's it? right. Right, let's show you. First of all, when it gets sent to you, Catherine, you've got these two uh, plastic top and plastic bottom. You know what it's uh, like with plastic. We don't want to waste it. We don't want to throw it or let it go into landfill. So take that off. You can keep the base one on there. It keeps it nice and sturdy, but you'll notice you've got a little indent there, little indent there, little indent there, and one there. So you can pour your paint in that and just use bits of your paint and take ah. it out, or you can rest your paint brush on there so they're really handy so I'd keep those for sure then we open it up so I'm going to use this just old screwdriver normally you'd stick that in there and you'd give it a stir wouldn't you you would yeah. Screw yeah don't do that because that's not going to stir it sufficiently okay. so get a good good piece of wood 
Now, with the stirring, I know you're going to think, oh, this is just stirring a pot of paint. It's really important because the active ingredients in there is what makes the um, rust converter come to life. So it's really important to give it a good stir, not just like a little stir with a, with a um, screwdriver. A really good stir. Give it a good, you know, minute or so. And I would keep doing that maybe every 20 minutes okay, because it's yeah. the rust converter. Think of sugar in water. You put sugar in water, you stir it a little bit, you've still got the sugar sank to, yeah, the bottom. Sinks to the bottom. Give it yeah. a good stir and all that sugar disappears. So it's really important and it's the ingredients that's going to make the difference to when you paint, let's say, your outside furniture. Um, I think we've got a picture of a table um, that I painted at home. It must have been last year. One that we adopted from a skip and it was all rusty. So I painted it with a certain paint that you buy. But you'll see there, see all those little spores coming back of rust? They oh, were, yes. I yeah. painted that with a special paint, but all the rust has started to come back through. Yeah, it just eats its way through, doesn't That's it, again? It. Because this devours the rust, when you paint it, it's not going to happen. How clever. Yeah, very, very clever. So that's why it's important to give it a good stir. And then, this is the easiest thing. You know how impatient I am with anything. I like instant results because I've, I've not got time to wait. So let's get this old rusty lid. Um, and you can see here, I'm not going to get a wire brush to it or anything like that. The rusty, the better. As long as there's no dust, it doesn't, actually, it doesn't really matter if there's a bit of dust on there. As long as there's no flaky paint. As long as there's no flaky paint, let's just get a paintbrush, just dip it in well, there. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? Normally, when we're doing any sort of DIY or home decor, uh, we think, prep is the key you have to spend a lot of time prepping and usually the prep is sanding down washing with sugar soap depending on what you're painting there but you are you we can see it you're going to do this right in front of our eyes janice straight yeah. on to what is a very dusty it uh, is. and rusty lid oh i used to love dusty bin <laughs> uh, <laughs> but look at that just uh, simply go on there i've not got a lot of paint on there i don't i might just need one coat on here if i wanted to put another coat afterwards it's touch dry in 15 minutes after 20 minutes you can put another coat on there and after two hours it's dry completely that's just a hair from the brush that i'm using let's just get that off there you actually, go actually that's a question what about the brush that you use have you got any tips about that no just as you know what you can buy really cheap brushes that are quite short i wouldn't uh, I don't think it really matters. That's quite a brand new brush. Um, I've got an old brush here. Where are we? There you go. I've got an old brush there. You know, it's seen better days. It's something that I've used before. I can just use that. It, it doesn't really matter. So no no um, whys and wheres for, for your brushes, okay. just as long as it's good with And you say this paint. is water-based, yeah, although water -based. we wouldn't have thought it. It's water-based. I know. But it's water-resistant when it's dry, so absolutely, indoors, yeah. outdoors, as we've said, all those different items. Janice, is something I must, me must mention that we haven't, because we can see all the different samples. You've got the metal there, we've got ornaments, we've got uh, wooden items, yeah. there's plastic. But yeah, you're wearing what looks like a Cruella de Vil apron there. Well, Catherine, I borrowed this one from you. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can paint on fabric. So wow. if you've got, um, if you've got, there you go, look at that. Um, if, oh, can that. we just lower it a bit? Yeah, it's just paint it there. Don't want to give away any trade secrets. Um, you can paint it. If you've got the old camp chairs, for example, that are looking a little bit lacklustre, don't throw them away. Don't throw anything away. You can paint those, and uh, you'll see here, I know I've just painted that bit, but this bit was painted, I don't know, a couple of a couple of months ago. You can really sort of like give that a bit of a squidge, and it's not going to crack or anything like that. And it's still waterproof, so I could get some water and pour it on that. It's waterproof, which is brilliant. Do you know that's a bit of a game changer then? If you've got furniture outside, maybe a parasol that matches one of your table sets. Maybe you love the table set, but it's gone all rusty and it's a, a little bit past its days. And you've got the parasol that matches maybe a swinging chair with a canopy over the top. Have you got a swing that chair? Work? Yes. Have you? Yeah, yeah we, you could do. But the canopy has seen better days, and I thought, am I going to need a new I bet that swing's seen one? better days as well. well. You could paint that and bring it back to life. You could paint the canopy on the top bring it back to life, makes it waterproof as well, which is brilliant. So yeah, I'd give that a go, definitely. Ooh. I wouldn't paint tents or anything like that, but here's a chimney. It's, this is the after picture. Have you got the before? Oh, sorry, I wasn't even looking. So that was my neighbor's chimney. So I said I was gonna do the show and I put a shout out. I said, has anyone got anything they want painting? She brought this up and look at that. Wow, wow, it does look like, like new, doesn't it? 
Now, where's this, Janice? Right, this is on our little stone cottage which is in the garden, in the grounds of our house. Sounds really posh, but it's not. It's basically a stone shed. But this door has seen better days. So I thought, you know what? I'll paint wow. it. Wow. I didn't sugar soap it. I didn't, I didn't sand it down. All I made sure was just that the loose paint had gone. And yep. then I just went straight on with one coat. Again, I even painted like the knob you. on there as well. Oh, now a log burner. So there's a log burner. I didn't paint the log burner, but I painted around the chimney, around the log burner, because clearly that's going to get really, really hot. And yeah. I wanted it black. If you need special paint, this was absolutely perfect. Wonderful. Locks. So instead of going out and buying a new lock, not that we are lock snobs, but you want to make <laughs> sure that that's going to last a while. Um, so painted it. There's your before on the left. There's your after on the right. Amazing. Um, yeah, your meter boxes, if they've ah, seen uh, This is days. a good one, actually, because they discolour very quickly. Yeah, Even if do. you've got a new house, they go, you know, they go quite yellow. Yeah. You, they get dirty, they get grubby. So new lease of life there as yeah, well. Yeah, and of course it makes it waterproof and it keeps it nice and clean. Here's a piece of old pipe work. You know, it can get bleached in the sun. We want to keep it nice and protected. And we want our houses looking smart, don't we? Yeah, it makes such a difference, actually, if you paint things like your drain pipes. And quite often we buy a property or we, you know, we, we live in a property that's got a certain colour of drain pipe. Then you have extensions and things done and things change. And that's when you find often that the colours change so you can make it all very uniform just by adding that coat of paint and protecting it further. Yeah, you can. You know, whether it's paintwork on the outside of your house, whether it's your tables, your chairs. This water book, I think it cost me £5 off um, a certain marketplace and um, got it home. Painted it, look wow. brand new. So you could buy items, paint them, and then sell them. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. And it just, it, you know, there's something about, I know vintage looking rusty elements look great, but there's something about bringing items back to life or something that's been in the garden, like this little chap, for a long time. It's gone all rusty. That's more likely going to rust and then I just simply break off. I don't want that to break off. So what we'll do is we'll give it a little paint and then that brings it back to life. Amazing. When I put it back in the garden, I know that that's going to last even longer, which is brilliant. Perfect. Now, I will give you the details there on the screen. So you're getting a litre of the paint here, the rust converter paint. No primer required. Everything's all then that tin. Just give it a good stir. 27 99 Got more questions to ask Janice in a second, but I'll give you that number. 962-286. Dispatch date for this particular uh, option here is the 30th of October. So not long to wait at all. You can be planning ahead all those things that you want to be painting indoors and outdoors, remember. And it is important, Janice, because especially over the last couple of years, obviously with what's been going on in the world, we've spent much longer at home. Lots yeah, of have. people have turned to DIY. Yeah. Yeah, and then have. you start to notice those things that really, really want sort of upcycling a little bit, a little, a, a fresh lick of paint possibly. And we don't always know what sort of paint to use. So this is a great one to go for, even if you're not sure at the moment what you're going to paint with it. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, look at this. This is an older pot from the allotment. So this was going to be thrown out. Um, it's a nice design on there, but you've, it's got that horrible green colour. So normally you wouldn't put a plant in there, would you? Because it looks awful. You give it a paint with one coat and it just changes it completely. This could be inside your home. I don't know if you've noticed, Catherine, but in the reception we've got the really big, large palm plant. That was previously in a terracotta coloured pot. Yeah. They've painted it black with the one coat. Now it looks ah. really smart. So this could be indoors. You could put a bit of gilding wax on there, change the look of it, even put a bit of acrylic paint on there because you can paint on top of it. That's what my next question was Ooh. going to be. Can you go with another paint on top? Because I love, love, love doing dry brushing to make stone effects. And I've painted a lot of my planters outside with a different type of paint. But actually, I love the look of the grey stone. So black as a base is yep. perfect. Dry brush over the top with a grey or a white or a cream. But will another paint sit over the top of this? You've just answered that one. Yeah. That, to me, is an important one because we don't always want that black finish. Exactly. As long as that paint you're putting on top of it is going to be waterproof. Okay, yeah. You know, if you're putting it outside, you might not need of to course. put a sealer on there. Um, this watering can, that's how it started its life. Painted it with one coat and then just with some um, outdoor paint, painted a flower on there. It could be that you've got an old stone, something like that. Let's bring that stone in. There you go, just a regular stone. Paint it with one coat. It's going to be waterproof. And then with a bit of masonry paint, just paint a house number on. Amazing. What about um, glazed ceramics? Will they paint? Yeah, glazed ceramics will paint. Now, because it's glazed, 
um, you're going to need to get a key on it. So I would put a thin layer of your one coat on there. It's called okay. one coat because you've got your rust converter in there and you've got your top coat. But I would put one layer on there, let it dry and then paint over the top of it. So yeah, you can okay. put this onto glass. You can put this onto um, your leather. You can put it onto UVPC. You can put it onto your plastic outdoor um, fixings, for example. Um, so yes, definitely work on like any kind of tiles or ceramics. Oh, do you know my crafter man van might turn black next year, you know? Ah, now, talking about vehicles, hang on a minute, look at this. Now, if you've got oh. a rusty old exhaust, um, don't worry, this is from the local garage. I've not been sort of like putting <laughs> cars on bricks and no need to check your cars in the car park either. But um, your exhaust, look at that, at the end of the exhaust, that's going to get really hot. Your, your pipe work of your exhaust underneath as well, that's going to get rusty, especially coming up to the winter yeah. with all the salt and the snow. So if it's safe to do so, you can get someone else to do that. You can paint underneath your car. But yeah, definitely your exhaust pipes. Maybe, you know, bumpers go grey some of yeah. the plastic style bumpers a bit like the uh, water butt that I showed you then you can paint that as well so you can paint Brilliant. your bumpers of your cars your wing mirrors sometimes they're with that black plastic yeah. that they've gone all faded for example yeah you can paint those as well amazing I'm thinking indoor pipes as well because depending on the property I mean nowadays if you go for a new build pipes gen generally are underground aren't they they're under the floorboards or built into the wall or you know boxed in but in older properties like mine I can see my pipes running around the bottom and that you, you do get that sort of that green staining don't you sometimes where the water has affected the copper pipe yes and to disguise it it's not easy to paint with a normal paint this would be great for that as yeah, well it would, yeah you can do this indoors yeah you're quite right you know underneath your sink so you're protecting it and you're entrapping that rust because remember this is a rust converter so anything that you've got that is rusty like your pipe works like your tools as well for example here we go um, some of your old tools for example you can paint those that was all horrible and rusty but a little bit of one coat on there and it just changes it completely and you can also see details that you wouldn't see before uh, that when your tools and maybe your pipe work and your rusty bins and things like that that you paint it's amazing what you find out that's on there that you didn't see and we'll show you that in a minute's time brilliant brilliant well 27.99 is going to get you a litre and a litre goes a long way as well 962 286 is the item number you need if you've got any questions if there's something you're thinking of painting and you're not too sure do email in as well studio at uh, thecraftstore.com, of course. If you do want to ask those questions, we'll put it to Janice. I'm trying to think of some more questions myself because I think Janice has taken over with the DIY experts. Now, let's have a look at something from a viewer here. This is from Christine. So this is Christine's front door before she used the one coat. It looks very nice, actually, as it is. It looks very nice. Let's have a look, though. I've not seen this yet. Didn't... Oh! Oh, very smart. Now, the black and white looks lovely together, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Very good coverage. Now, another question as well, Janice. Well, I know the answer to this one, but I'm sure you'll talk about it a little bit more. Yep. Stonework in the garden. Quite often yes. we have crazy paving or stonework. Sometimes you can get colours that are a little bit ooh, not quite as you want them. But can, what about your concrete areas, your paving, your, your stonework outside your door, your step? Will it wear well? Yeah, it will. Um, it's perfect. The only time I wouldn't put this anywhere, probably, you know, like tools, like a spade, a spade that's going to go into the ground and maybe hit rocks and things like okay, that. Yeah. Um, anything like that with a spade is going to chip. But to walk on, absolutely fine. So you just get your one coat. You can see here, this is your patio. Uh, like Catherine said, it might be the base of a house, you know, an old cottage, for example, brickwork. Yeah. They normally paint that black, don't they, uh, to make it look smart. Maybe there's some blue bricks down there or something like that. But yeah, definitely on your uh, patio or your stonework, it goes on a dream. I'm not using much paint on there at all, actually. Um, so you can just pop it coverage. on there and just give it that nice coverage and just dab it into the, um, the stonework, which looks great. And uh, cobbles. Let me just pop that down for a moment. I've got a cobble here, a cobble together. Um, and again, that's easy to paint. That's the colour that it starts. And then you can just simply turn that into a number. So it could be number six. Or it could be a number nine. Perfect. There you go. 
Absolutely perfect. There we are. Now, Christina, who sent the imaging of the front door, has given us a review as well. So she says, once you start, you can't stop finding things to paint. Yes, give it the one coat. Highly recommended by Christine. A five-star product. She absolutely loves it. And she continues because very easy to use. Even if you're not into your do-it-yourself, you will find this a dream to work with as well, which is absolutely amazing. We've seen all those different items there, the plastic chairs. You would take those to the tip wouldn't you you would look at that and think well it looks really grubby i'm not going to clean that up let's get rid of it no you don't need to do that the cost of the paint is going to mean that you can bring those to life very very cheaply and of course we talk about upcycling janice you know i love to find a bargain or you know oh, i find bits and pieces that people are getting rid of you've done the same thing for some of the items that you've brought into the studio you've asked people for help yeah with things that they consider and not useful to them anymore because they don't look the best. Oh, they're having these back, Catherine, unfortunately. Yes, the neighbours have been running up the drive with oh, their rusty chimneys. You know, I was going to go around putting stickers <laughs> on everything saying, mine, please. Unfortunately <laughs> not, no. And I don't, I really don't mind because it gives me pleasure uh, to make, sh to, to, to know that people are happy. So this is a really old rusty chimney. I think it's, it's a good sturdy one, actually. I think price-wise you're looking at, £120 oh, definitely. if you're going to buy this new but this is one of the older ones so you know that it's going to be built and really really sturdy now you can see how rusty that is there's no loose chippings on there so I've made sure of that you can go over it with a wire brush but there's no need to because this is a rust converter so we need to feed it don't we and that's exactly what we're going to do here so you can see here on the chimney shall I turn that round so you can see even more rust let's just turn that round there uh, there you go so that is very rusty so let's just get the paint I'm not going to use any brushes I'm not going to prime this or do anything like that all we have to do is just put the paint on and on it goes and look at the detail that's coming out there that you didn't notice before but now just simply painting on how quick and easy is this if you go to the car boot or if you know someone that doesn't want their chimney or anymore you can simply take it off them you can paint it bring it back to life and it's going to look like new and that is going directly onto the rust no treatment required because all the treatment is inside the paint remember this is a rust converter question janice Go on. temperature for painting if you are outside and you're doing the job outside yeah is it important what temperature it is well i think it's like any paint isn't it i think is it, is it about like 10 degrees? Yeah, it's about 10 it degrees normally. Yeah. Um, if there's a chill in the air as well. I mean, at the moment, coming up to the end of the October, it's a really good time uh, to paint. And then at least you've got... The thing is, I would always have some of this paint in my shed ready to go because there's always a job. There's always something that you need to paint to smarten up. And as long as the weather's fine to do it, then you can, and then you've got it ready for the next spring as well. Definitely. Do you and know what I did? like a chimney as well, or yeah. pots. You can actually bring inside to paint if it is too cold outside, yeah, course, so that they, you know, you can let them dry and cure. In fact, that's a question as well. I know it dries pretty quickly. Yeah, it does. Does it take? There's a difference between drying and curing. Is there a curing time as well, or is it once you've given it the appropriate time for drying, are you pretty much good to put this back outside? Yeah. You know, it's touch drying 15 minutes. If you need to put another coat on there, I'd probably leave it just another 10 minutes, you know, about 20 minutes or so. So you can recoat in 20 minutes and it's totally dry, totally, totally, totally dry in two hours. But I'll probably start to, I'll slowly pack away at the end of the show. There'll be things that are still a little bit wet, but by the time I've, I've packed away, it's going to be touch dry to put in the car and take home. I think it was said as well by Christine, wasn't it, that once you start painting, you'll not want to stop. You no. will be looking for things. That definitely, it is an addictive oh, thing it because it's the difference. Not only is it an enjoyable process because you're seeing the difference, but you know, when you see the change in a particular item, if it, especially if it is something you've been thinking, you know, that really is a bit of an eyesore now. I'm going to get rid of that and bring something else in. To see that dramatic change in front of your eyes it is, oh my goodness, I've done this in such a short space of time for very little money. I've enjoyed the process. Everybody's going to notice because how can you not notice a conversion from something like the project that Janice is actually painting now? It's just incredible. So give this a go for $27.99 for a full litre. We've seen how little Janice is actually applying to each of these projects here as well. 
really good coverage. You might get away with one coat. You might want to go with that thinner coat, especially onto something like plastic to give that key. But you are going to find you're going to get perfect coverage once you finish. Look at all these projects here. We're talking terracotta. We've got metal. We've got wood. We've got plastic. We've got cast iron. We've got uh, tin. What else have we got, Janice? Your apron, fabric, we've mentioned yeah. that as well. Fabric, you can put this onto leather as well. So if you've got anything outside, um, like leather. I'll tell you what I did do with this, actually. Um, I had some rattan furniture. Now, I didn't paint the rattan furniture, but underneath, I don't know if you find this, but with any kind of furniture that's got metal fixings underneath, you leave it outside, don't yeah. you? You don't bring it inside. So it rusts eventually but you don't see that because you're sitting on the rattan furniture and you don't see the rusty elements underneath and then when you move it in your patio you see all those orange marks and that's really hard to get off stone it really is that is true so i turned yeah. all the patio i uh, turned all the rattan furniture upside down and i just painted all over all the metal bits now so you it did just you didn't sort of paint the rust. rattan itself but you could i presume you could yeah you could do yeah absolutely you could paint uh, your rattan furniture yeah um I'd, I'd, that would probably need quite a few coats because of the rattan being yeah. into, into wound. Yeah, into yeah it's like woven, yes. Like Do a you basket know, Catherine, being ever so professional. <laughs> have, you know, have you noticed at home? Have you noticed at home? Why can't we always do shows like this? <laughs> well, I was being professional, but I just want to tell you you've missed a bit. Where? Right down there. Oh, honestly. Well, do you I need don't to go mind over it paint. again, Janice. I don't, sure do you know what? Down. I don't mind. It's an absolute <laughs> pleasure painting with this paint. You know me, I'm impatient. And I've, you know, I've got, I've got things to do. And this is so quick and easy. You can see how instant th those results are. And even on the grating on the front, I'll paint that as well. I'll paint the, the, the handles as well, because of course you've got that, um, durability so yes you can paint the handles i'll paint the handles around there the only thing i won't paint is the inside now you might have a barbecue that you're ready to take down the tip because it's seen better oh, days yes don't do that paint it it'll bring it back to life one thing about a barbecue though because you do cook food on it obviously you might have residue of grease so would you give that a really good wash particularly to get rid of okay. any grease or now we'll... when i say barbecue don't paint the grill no, no, I no, no but grill. even splashes on the outside and the lid and fingerprints yeah, and that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, if you've got grease on it, I'll try and get it off, but just go just over it in one coat, give it a go. Okay. Give it a go. Ooh. Now, Christina sent some more pictures in as well. I can't wait she? to see what she's been up to. She did say she got addicted. Let's see what she's been up to then. We've got, I believe, we've got some brackets. That's something, actually. Brackets for your hanging baskets, hinges for your doors. Your hardware for your windows, there we are, we can see. Oh, they're very nice, actually. They're very ornate, aren't they? I wonder if that's on a summer house. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, now we are very, very busy for the rust converter. Don't forget details there for your 962-286 is the item number. As I say, go for one tin today. If you want more than one tin, do so. But just go for the one tin. Give it a go. I think you will be coming back for more. This is why we're seeing Janice here again today. But by popular demand, I, I understood. Not Janice, the, the product. Um, Janice just happens to come along with the product. <laughs> Got to get me on back somehow, haven't I? Cheeky. <laughs> Now, something else that you've been shopping ahead for is the roof sealer. Now, you have got a choice of colours here. You've got the black, as you can see there, with a the sticker on the top, or you've got the grey. Now, Janice, yep. the Weather Out roof sealer. So, when we're talking roofs, I presume we're not talking tiles. When you say tiles, do you mean like ceramic tiles? No, like roof tiles. Like the one I have in front of me, Catherine, like that roof tile. No. No, I didn't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so roof fixer. If you've got flat roofs and you've got felt on the roof, this is going to be uh -huh. ideal. Yes. If you've got guttering that's got holes in it, you'll know because we've had some rain recently and all you'll hear is that drip, 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 drip. It will, drip. will it seal that? Will it? And it will seal that. And you can even do it when it's wet as well. Can you? Well, that's when you know you've got a leak. When it's dry, you don't know you've got a leak. So when it's raining and you hear that drip, 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 as long as it's not in a pool of water, you just swish the water to one side, you oh. can go over that. That's especially on flat roofs because no water pools. Yeah. It just goes all the way through. So let me show you just how waterproof this is. Here's a sieve. <laughs> okay. Matches your apron. Yeah, I know. Half and half. So I've painted half with the actual weather out and half not. So it's a sieve. 
water goes through a sieve, doesn't it? So uh, let's grab some water and let's pop it onto or put it. You don't pop water, do you? You put water in. So there it is in the sieve. And yeah. you can see there you've got that um, weather out. It's going to go through the other side, but it's not going to go through the side where the weather out is because it has sealed it completely. So even the finest um, holes or cracks, it's going to seal because water, I'm sure you know, gets through the slightest, slightest little crack. Or maybe you've got a piece of guttering that isn't quite joined up together. Yeah, and it can warp, can't yeah, it? Yeah, it can warp with the weather, exactly. So it's really important to be able to seal it effectively. I've tried all kinds of different um, sealants with a piece of guttering. In fact, I had to replace some guttering once before I got hold of this. Let me show you how this works. Let me just move that to one side. I've now, actually got some leaky guttering on my conservatory right now and it's over the door or right next to the, the door where I've got um, a couple of slabs down. There's a step and it makes it go very green and slimy as well where it keeps dripping, which is dangerous because well, it, you can slip on it. You know, water is the best cleaner and eroding element there is water will just erode the patios yeah. uh, if you've got any like concrete if it's not been set properly that drip 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 of water will just go through and and create a hole you don't want that so uh, we'll get the weather out here um, you can stir this with a um, screwdriver it doesn't matter too much about this but as I'm stirring it you'll see if I lift it up you can see all those fibers in there you can see that ah, just on yeah. the end of the screwdriver now this is solvent based so there is quite a bit of a smell with this so make sure you're okay. using this in a well ventilated area um, sometimes it won't dry completely it'll stay a bit tacky but that's fine that's absolutely fine it's still going to do the job for you so let's just get that out of the you're way you're saying about a ventilated area but this when you're outside, is really yeah. just for outside yeah, isn't it? we wouldn't course. normally use it inside is there any occasions that you you might no, I just said that because oh, I didn't know what happened. Oh, well, I was just thinking maybe if you got up. A, a pipe under the sink that just had a slight, slight little mm. leak, could you use it around that pipe? I guess you could because it's I'm a I'm just thinking a plastic pipe, you know, like the waste pipe. Yeah, you could. You could give it a go, but it would, the, the, it would smell. So if it's somewhere like in the kitchen, okay. it would smell. Yeah. It's predominantly a fix for outside. Okay. And sometimes a temporary fix as well. Because if you've got a large leaky, leaking roof, you do want to call somebody out to you. So this is a bit of felt here. Okay. You can see again, you see the fibres there. So it's not a paint that's going to run. Now that's important for a couple of reasons. For example, if you've got a bit of guttering with holes in like so, and you've got to make sure that that's sealed. If you've got a paint that's going to run, that paint's going to run through, isn't it? Of course. But because you've got the fibres in there and it's a little bit thicker, you can just start to go over that and build your layers up. And you know, if I turn it that way, that it's only going to come, well, it's not really going to come out at all at the bottom. And if it does, you just go over it like so. So if this was more of a liquid paint, that would run all the way through and it defeats the object of trying to fix those holes. On your flat roofs, again, you can just get it up and you can just start to paint it with a regular paintbrush. And you can see there how smooth that goes and how that will just go over the holes. If you do need to build those layers up, you can do. If the crack in the roof is bigger or larger than, let's say, I don't know, probably like half a centimetre, I would get some just tape like this and I'd put that across the gap. So that acts as a barrier and then I would paint over that like you would plaster. OK, yeah. That is the, the sort of... Um strip that you buy isn't it when you're plastering indoors and you put the plaster over yeah, to adhere it's, to it's only a couple of pounds to buy but that's just going to yeah give readily you, available isn't it yeah that's just going to give you what do you say readily available at it any is readily DIY available store. from a diy store yes it is but you can see how perfect that goes on now we've got this in gray and we've got it in black so if you're painting the inside of the guttering it doesn't really matter does it if it's not the same color as your guttering but we do have it available in black and gray brilliant we do have a picture as well let's have a look at the next picture this has been sent in from adam oh now you can see the gray has been used there to seal the felt exactly as janice has just been explaining um very very neat so janice what if we just go over that area then or could we paint the whole of the felt i'm well, thinking things like playhouses for children you could if it's got an enormous area you want to protect it further you could do but i would say if 
your roof really shouldn't be leaking. If it's leaking, either it's aged, it's old, or if it's plastic, it's moved in the heat. Okay. So although this is very flexible, you can paint the whole of, of, of the top of the roof if you want to, but it would only be really the areas that you need to fix. You can see there the holes in this um, where I've painted. Yeah. It's not soaking through, it's just filling the holes, and that means that rain isn't going to start dripping through It's like through a binder, again. isn't it, really, mm. I suppose, yeah. then? It's plugging Lovely. it, yes. It is plugging it. So, with something like guttering, then, if you've got a little bit of a leak, I think mine's on a joint and it probably has sort of um, expanded or shrunk or warped a little bit. Would you paint just on the inside or would you paint on the outside as well? Does it matter? Can you do it either way around? No, it doesn't, but I would always paint on the inside because it's just going to look better, isn't it? Because you're guttering, if it's on the outside, you've got that finish that you might actually want to paint with your one coat. To give it okay. that nice satin finish so i'd always put it on the inside yeah lovely definitely lovely well if you want to go for your weather out roof sealer you certainly can do one kilo don't forget you've got the choice of the black or the gray we've just seen janice using the gray there obviously think about where you're likely to need it think about that color go for one of each if you wish 497 121 is the item number there really good product really good now, something else that we've got for you as well. Ah, now I might need some of this one because the moss and the algae killer. Now, this is a little bit of a bugbear for me because if you spend a lot of time in your garden, Janice, yep. and then suddenly all the moss is there, all the algae is there, it does spoil things and it can be dangerous, it can be slippery. Yeah, it can be very slippy. So, um, this is really easy to use. You, all you need to do, um, you can use a spray. So you can use this with a, a spray applicator, but I just used a uh, watering can. Not the same watering can that I'm going to use for the garden, so have it separately. Um, and th they don't cost a lot of money to buy, but you have it and you can put it to one side. The ratio of the mix is one to ten. If you get it a little bit stronger, that's absolutely fine. Uh, so you mix it in and then all you do is just get your fine nozzle. And I, I, the I'd, I'd always use a fine nozzle because if it's too uh, gushing, it's just going to go everywhere. You don't need a lot, you see. So you fine nozzle and just go over all of your algae, go over all the moss, and that's it. Just make sure it's not going to rain for a day or so because you don't want it washing away. But that's all you need to do. There's none of this scrubbing. You don't need to do any of that. You just let it do its job and it's going to kill the roots of the moss. And that's really important because if you do scrape it out, which I, I bet you've done many a times, oh, I've yeah. done it many a times, yeah. gives you a bad back, your arms ache, and a few like a week later it's all growing back because you've not got rid of the roots you've only just got rid of the top amazing my front porch gets moss on it as well and sometimes you find lumps of it dropping off but it, again it spoils the look of the porch and yeah. I can climb it on a step ladder. I could just sprinkle that on the top there as well It'd do the same job on yeah the yeah it will it. and just just be careful climbing your ladders um, I don't know if we've got a picture of a before and after but somebody had a um, like a brick balustrade wall there you go so oh, the one wow, on the left look at that. that's algae got a bit of moss on there just spray it no scrubbing uh, no brushing with a wire brush or anything like that and just leave it let it do its thing is that really your manor house again janice yes i'm afraid so that's the driveway of my manor house <laughs> i wish oh my goodness i wish no 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 <gasps> And but, result wise, yes. you'll probably see it in, in probably up to a week. Yeah. You'll, you'll start really? to see it the next day. You'll start to see something happening. And then the, the moss just dies. It goes like a brown colour. Yeah. And it won't grow. It's not going to come back because you've killed it from the roots. You can't get to the roots if you're just scraping it away on the top. Amazing. So five litres there for just 18 99 Remember, 10 to 1 is the ratio, so you're not going to use it straight from the canister. That's going to go a long way. 835-684 is the item number there. Don't be thinking to yourselves, oh, well, we're almost to autumn time now. Well, we are in autumn, or we're almost to winter. I'll wait until next year. Get everything now so you've got it ready to go, especially with the paint that we've seen. You can be working with that indoors. Bring the outdoors indoors if you've got smaller projects as well. But something like this... The there's still plenty of time to work with. So another great product there for you. 835-684, remember, for the roots out. Now we've got something else here. Now this looks interesting. This looks to me, Janice, as though we've got items that we ought to keep in because we never know when we're going to need them. We've got three items here. We've got repair pens. Ooh, now I am interested. I need to know more about this. So for different surfaces, the first option is your metal, your glass and your stone. Under the same item number, we've got more options. You've got your low voltage cables, interesting, 
or your plastic and wood. So $15.99 is going to get you one of these. Of course, you can go for more than one under the same item number. Just choose the options or the options that you require. 200390. Janice, tell me about these then. Are they something that we can keep in our cupboard and we never know when we're going to need them? Yeah, you know, this is the kind of item that you want when you want to fix something. I've just actually got this plastic lid. Now, it's not a glue. Don't mistake this for a glue. But I just wanted to show you, I've put a little tiny bit of the substance on one side. I've got the blue light, which is going to cure it on the other because it's see-through. OK, ah. um, and then that will just stick. Ah, so, so you need you... to allow daylight to penetrate through whatever you're sticking, do you? Yes, yes. But it is the pen that does the magic. So if you've got, and I know we do sell uh, storage units, if you've got a storage unit where the handles come off or um, a glass unit where your handles come off, you know, drawers and things like that, as long as you can see through it, you can cure through it and then that will um, allow that to stick. You can also use the um, different elements to fix uh, wires, you know, if you've got a little bit of wire that's come uh, threadbare. Don't do anything you're not... 100% sure. I've always go out and buy some new wires or get advice. But if you've got like, uh, for example, a tile or some wood that's got a big chip coming out of it, maybe the top of a table or something like that, you can actually use this to fill that crack and then you can sand it down. You can even paint over it as well. That's just to show you when it is cured that it just dries um, solid. So you only need a small amount then, just a little yeah. dot? Yeah, you only need a small amount. I'm just seeing if I've got anything else that I could stick to that. So we're probably talking in. more like um, phone chargers, earplugs, those sort of cables, rather than not your mains, not your mains. Definitely get an expert for that. But those lightweight cables. Yeah, yeah, like your phone charger and things yeah. like that. As long as the wires aren't coming out and frailing out, if it's, it's more the plastic coating that's on there. Um, this remote control, um, there's a little bit of a gap in there. You don't want to go out and buy a new remote control so just fill it with the filler and use the curer just to make sure that that crack doesn't get any bigger and and ruins your remote control which you don't want to happen uh, but let's just see if this will pick yeah look at that you can just simply pop that on there put a little bit of the um, and then cure it with the light and when that cures that will go nice and solid and you just keep the light on there I wouldn't put too much and go too deep I just put little bits on there and start to build that layer up if you are thinking of you know um, fixing or filling in um, sort of like a gouge that's come out of the, even your floor for example or your tires tiles oh amazing great options there then the fact that we've got three different types for you as well just go through them again so you've got your metal you've got your cables or your lightweight cables and you've got your plastic and wood as well two zero zero three nine zero just fifteen ninety nine you never know when you're going to need that are you now we have got uh, a few things to remind you about as well we are getting emails in which is lovely some pictures some questions as well i believe we might have a question to ask janice in a, a little while uh, this has come from this has come from Angela. Angela, Janice. Angela is asking. Yep. Can you? I think we've actually answered this, but Angela might have joined us part way through. So for anybody that's just joined us, barbecues. Yes, absolutely. The outside of a barbecue absolutely fine you know those old rusty barbecues that people are throwing out somebody might have one in a skip you can take it out as long as you've got permission just paint it and it comes back um, as new it really does and you don't need to wire brush it either as long as you've got all the loose chippings of paint off if there is any paint on there um, it'll go on a dream I've just got another question I've just thought of something it might be a little bit random this one Janice but I, I'm interested you know the the weather out yep if you would got a pair of wellies and you'd maybe split them or a little hole no. had been pinched and no. you couldn't use no, it? No, I, I wouldn't. I've thought about that. But because it can stay tacky, which is good because you want it to be flexible right. on the guttering, um, sometimes when uh, paint or anything like that dries, it can get a little bit brickle, uh, brittle. Brittle? Brickle. Brittle. Um, so, yeah, if you're going to put it on your Wellington boots... It might stay tacky and then leave a trail behind. So, uh, no, I wouldn't do it on your okay. wellington boots. Okay. No. Good idea, though, Catherine. If we had a flowery pair of boots and wanted them black, though, we could go with this, couldn't we? The one yeah, you said, on your yeah absolutely. In fact, I might do, I've got a pair of wellington boots at home. I've, I was going to bring one in. Are they still in my car? No, they're not. They're out. Um, but, yeah, you could do. You could do. You could paint your wellington oh. boots, give it a go. There you go. 
Right, I've got some wood here, so I just want to show you the different surfaces this will go on. Uh, so your wooden fences, your wooden sheds, uh, maybe even your wooden containers that you've got your flowers in, um, this will go on beautifully. You've seen the picture of the wooden door as well, that was absolutely perfect that it went on there. If you've got a UV PC door, that will work perfect as well, and you can still see sometimes the grain through the wood as well so if you like that effect you can do now it will dry without those brush strokes necessarily showing so it doesn't matter if you go across this way or you go down or you just finish it off with a light brush over um, that will dry nice and satin and you'll still see i've got one here that's dry see the wood grain underneath so you can still see that coming through so it's not going to look false um, yeah. If you see what I mean. So you can still see uh, the wood grain coming through, but it will dry that lovely satin colour. This is an old door. Didn't sand soap it or soap sand it or whatever it is because I'm too lazy Sugar to do soap. it. Sugar soap. That's the you one. did leave your keys in there, though. I did leave my keys in there because <laughs> I had to get back inside. But, uh, yeah, just painted it. Even painted the handle and the knob that's on there. Absolutely fine. And it looks brilliant. Amazing. It does, it really smartens it up, doesn't it? Absolutely, complete transformation. Let's look at the paint again, the details for you. Remember the one, con that's because it's got the rust converter. I like the word you use, actually, Janice. It devours the rust. It does, yeah. It, the rustier, the better, Catherine. Oh, amazing. And it's got primer built in there, so really good stir. It does have the sticker on the top. It will say stir well before you, so you can't forget because it's right there on the lid. That's how it arrives with you. Look at everything that we've seen painted here. Most of these have been done by Janice, actually, when she was just finding all things around her own home, neighbours' homes, things were donated. Amazing transformations, absolutely wonderful. That's not your house, is it, Janice? Is that uh, no, yours? unfortunately, that's not my house. That um, was and this one, this one is. This is a pipe that comes from a kitchen. It looked awful. I was really embarrassed about that. Not that I'm a snob or anything like that, but I wanted to keep it protected and I didn't want to have to replace it. So I painted it and it looked great. Amazing. Uh, now, this was a plant holder. Yeah. Uh, this was Colin and Nita's, my next door neighbour. They brought that round, so I painted it up and it looks fantastic now in their summer house. and looks beautiful painted. So hanging baskets or anything like that. Horrible chair from down the allotment. That was going to go into landfill. I said, no way. Let's just get it. I didn't even wash it down. That was as is. And then I just painted it and it's here in the studio. You could put that chair inside. Here's your stand for your parasols. You know what they're like. They get a little bit rusty. Maybe something that you're going to put your Christmas tree in as yeah. well. You paint that, it just goes on perfectly. And we've said about fabric, so you could do the top of the parasol. You it will can, be waterproof. Yeah. You can paint it, give it a new lease of life as well. Absolutely amazing product. Uh, yes, grab yours at $27.99. That is a snip, I think. Is there a certain, I presume it will sound somewhere on the tin, but for anybody wondering at home, Overall coverage, what can we expect? I know it depends on the amount of layers and it how that you put it on, on but yeah. what you, could we achieve from it? Well, do you know what? I had one tin. I did so much. I did the garden chairs. I did a chimney. I did a couple of dustbins. Um, I painted my pipe work. All from one, because you don't need an awful lot of it to take effect. Um, so your 27.99 really is going to go a long, long way. And then once you're addicted, which you will be, you will be coming back for more. Twenty-seven ninety-nine under item number 962286. Dispatch from the 30th for this product. That's only a week away, so you can be gathering together all of those wonderful projects. One thing that I, I mentioned this to you, Janice, only recently, I, because I'm in the cottage, I've got cottage doors, sort of the barn door types, with the big hinges. You've got some of those hinges there, actually. Yeah, yeah these ones. One of the two of the doors are really old, and the fixings... Yeah. When I've tried to unscrew the, the screws to get them out so I could take the hinges off to paint, the, what was happening, the screws were actually breaking. Yeah. So I've got to paint in situ. But I can see because of the consistency of this, it's going to be easy to do that yeah. without making a mess. And it's going to totally transform those hinges. Yeah, it will. I mean, if, you, if you're really worried, just put some masking tape on the bits that you don't want yeah. to get the paint off. But you can see, I mean, I know this is going black on black, but you can see how easy it goes on onto those rusty hinges. And again, you don't necessarily need to uh, wire brush them down. I didn't wire brush any of them down, actually. I'm just going to put this one down a moment uh, okay. and pick up some slate. So we've gone from wood to your hinges. Um, some slate. This is a little roof slate. I've got loads of these at home, actually. Um, and then on the slate goes on really, really well. And you could paint over that. You could put a house number on that or maybe paint something for Halloween. Um, again, that's how it was when it began. And then you paint it and it looks nice and neat. Your little cobblestones. Now, these can be quite 
um, porous, can't they? I've not cleaned this down. It's probably a bit of dust and dirt on there, but that doesn't matter because the paint goes on perfectly. And again, I'm not using a lot. Probably stipple it on. You know, just get the tiniest bit on there, really, and paint over that. This could be a feature cobblestone in your garden. Um, you could make a little sign to go outside your that's garden with that. such a lovely that. idea. I've got something else as well. Where, where have I put that? Where have I put that? I've got some wood. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where my shed stands as well, Janice, I've, there are slabs underneath it, but they're not uniform. They're, it's as though whoever originally put the shed there um, was probably donated slabs. So there's, there's one that's red and the rest are grey, but different greys. I'm thinking I'm definitely going to paint this yeah. with black because you it's going to really yeah, smart. Absolutely. It up. It'd be perfect. Absolutely perfect for that. And it will make it nice and uniform. And if you wanted to, you could paint the bottom half of your uh, shed black as well. So it just blends in yeah. and then paint the rest of the shed another colour. Um, if you've got like a craft room and you've got your, your boxes that have seen better days, um, this was one of the little box from a shed actually. It was pretty disgusting uh, when I found it so all I'm going to do is just get the one coat so this could be inside your craft room it could be a bit of old wood that you don't want anymore like some drawers for example you just simply paint over those it's going to look like new and then if you wanted to you could paint over that you could stencil over it when it's dry and you can do all your crafty um, artwork on there but you've got now a set of drawers that will stay protected and they'll also look great inside and out. Um, this great is from, again. again, this is this is an old, look at this. I mean, that looks brilliant, and you'd probably want it to look like that if you like anything old and rusty. But if it's going out in the garden, um, and let's face it, there's, there's an awful lot of plastic being sold at the moment. This is wood. So this could be the trimming around your flower bed. Again, you just give it a little bit of a paint with the black paint. paint. You can still see it's wood, but it keeps it nice and protected, and it makes it nice and neat as well. Very nice. Very smart indeed. Well, we've covered just about everything, I think, well, haven't we? Indoors, outdoors. If you're trimming up all your bits and pieces outside, of course, and making them look very smart with this product, the One Coat Black, do consider things like the, the weather coat as well. But this here, one litre. We've heard how many things Janice has actually painted with this. We can see the transformation. You know there's no cheating here. We've seen that in the studio right before your eyes with the chimney. How rusty that was. And watch Janice put a coat of paint on there. One coat that's what she, she did say sometimes you might want to put a second coat on maybe start with a thin coat just make sure there's nothing flaking nothing that's sort of falling away from there you don't have to worry about the rust at all because the the uh, paint itself has an ingredient in there that is going to devour that rust and that rust is not going to find it's eating its way back through because it's going to be gone I'm loving the fact that we can cover so many different surfaces. Oh, you can. And you can do it really quickly as well. That's the beauty of this paint. Because you're not taking too much time preparing the surface, um, you can just simply paint it on. You know it's going to devour that rust. You know that that's not going to peek back through in a year or so's time as long as you stir it. That's what's really important. Yeah. You do need to stir it. So you can get your old dustbins like this. My God, I remember when we used to actually have a dustbin like this. So do I. The dustbin yeah. man used to come round. Yeah. It was always a man, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and something like this, again, you know, you might be a crafter that likes the old, worn look. But the thing is, old and worn will just disintegrate. So this gives it a new lease of life. You could put some plants in here, but it could become uh, a planter. This is actually from somebody who donated it again for the show. Uh, I'm going to take it back to them because they're going to have this in their garden and they're going to use it as a, as a burner bin. And they're so going to be gonna, delighted. Yeah. So um, I'll get this painted up and we'll take that back to them. But you can see here the detail that's coming out. I didn't realise there's even a stamp on here that's, that's been edged in anyway um, that you couldn't actually see. But when I started to paint it, you've got the old number on there as well. So this, yeah, this is like a vintage dustbin. What about Probably things like it. bird baths and bird tables and things? Is it safe right. for the wildlife Outside or not? Outside of your birdhouses, I'd say it's absolutely fine. The top of the birdhouses, don't paint inside. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm thinking more, I've got um, like a stone bird bath. Outside of the stone bird bath. But not yes. where you put the water. But not where you put the water. Okay. Um, I had a little candle holder. I know I've got a picture of this before and after that was old and rusty. Um, it was when I say candle holder it was a light for outside in the garden and um, it was it went all old and rusty and it was a light that we had when we lost Dee Dee our little dog so I've had a light burning ever since 
and it started to get rusty and I didn't want it to fall apart. So I painted it with one coat and although it did look nice when it was rusty, I knew that it was going to slowly but surely disintegrate. So I painted it with one coat and now it looks fabulous in the garden and the light continues to burn, which is lovely. You know, you're talking about lights as well. You know, the spotlights that come on, the sensor lights, yep. they can change colour with the Perfect. sun as well, can't they? Yeah. So Outside house those lights, up. Perfect, Catherine. Your um, solar lights in the garden. Um, oh, yes. Some of those have seen better yeah. days. You can paint those. Your um, your windows. Your windows. Uh, the only thing that it's not good on is the aluminium windows. Okay. You know the really old ones. Yeah. But on your um, UVPC uh, windows and doors, perfect. Oh, here's that candle holder. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that looks gorgeous. And just for anybody that's joined us part way through or nearer the end of the show, Janice, as well, I want to go back to something you said earlier because it was a question that was important to me. Can you put another finish on top? And you said yes. So if you want to do a paint effect or a gilding effect or something like that, you can. Yeah, you can. If I just go over here, actually, I can just avert your attention. Only because they're quite heavy and awkward to get to. So I thought if I show you them, it'd be better. Uh, you've got your... Where are we, Campbell? There you go. So that's just acrylic paint. Now, that's been outside, and it's absolutely fine. You can get masonry paints, which I did for the number just there, number 29. Um, that is some outdoor paint. I think that's Viva Decor, actually. Is it? I think I've yeah, got they do it. They do. Yeah, you probably did. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know it, but I did. Um, That's where it went. <laughs> so that, that could. I mean, house signs are, are very expensive. Something like that just looks really cute, doesn't it? Um, your terracotta pots. Um, it's going to protect your terracotta pots as well, and they're really easy to paint. Terracotta takes it really well, doesn't it? Um, and you could paint something on the outside of that if you want to as well. So your paint effects, as long as it's the right kind of paint that's going to go outside, um, I think it'd be absolutely fine. I can't stop painting. I love this. I'd be exactly the same. You know, once I get going, I know I'll be painting everything in sight as well. I've got uh, garden chairs as well, which I did use an outdoor paint on. But when we got the snow last year and it sat, it did actually cause the paint to blister and it, it, it did flake. So I was they were they were painted a beautiful sage green, which I love. But that was why it was important to ask about this, because I'm thinking now, I'm probably going to sand those back, which I will have to do, even though I'm using this paint, simply because there's flaky paint already there. But I could go with the, the black and then go over the top with the green. Yeah, you could and do. And I've got that protection yeah. better onto the wood. And also there's a wrought iron back, which is yeah. going to look lovely. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Well, you can invite me around for a cup of tea. <laughs> I'll let you come around as long as you bring your brush and your paint. All right, then, yeah, that's what they all say. Um, I painted it on some uh, aluminium foil. Um, just to show you, you're talking about the, the paint breaking up. Well, this is, you know, you can screw this up like so. You can see that's not going to crack or peel off. So that shows you Brilliant. just how perfect this is yeah. going to be for those kind of um, applications. Amazing. I don't think there's much you can't paint. Is there twenty-seven ninety-nine for one full litre? Just remember to stir it well. That's all you need to do. No priming. Generally, no prep unless you have got that flaky paint or something that's peeling away, and just give it, you know, that nice smooth surface. Janice recommends for plastic, go with a thin coat first to form that key, and then go over the top with another coat. We can see the great coverage we're getting on all those different surfaces, and we're talking porous and non-porous. Yeah, we are. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. I'm not going to stop painting this chimney here because when you start and you see the results, how this was when I bought it into the studio, old and rusty. Now it's looking absolutely fantastic. And think about using this maybe to get old things paint them up and then sell them amazing amazing look at all of this you can see all those different surfaces there. absolutely amazing don't miss out on this i know janice will be back again in the future but i've no idea when just grab it now make sure you check out those baskets and we'll see you very soon thank you janice Thanks, It's amazing stuff, isn't it? Coming up next, we've got All and Create. The fifth birthday celebrations do continue. Then Quilting Antics with Anthea, back with Fabric Freedom at six. I'm Trisha from So Totally Trisha. I've been sewing since I was about eight years old. I carried on through my teens, and when I had children, I sewn for them. And now I love nothing more than to design fabric-based kits for patchwork, for bags and home decor. My kits use quality fabrics and are normally cut to size so that it makes everything easy for the beginner sewer and the more advanced stitcher to be able to make beautiful designs. All the fabric I use is 100% cotton and top, top quality. On my shows, 
I hope that you can learn from my hints and tips and every one of my kits is like a workshop in a kit. Make sure you don't miss the So Totally Trisha shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. It's four o'clock and it can only mean one thing. It is final call. But what a final call for, I hear you cry. Well, there's a slight change to final call for the sheer fact the collection, the one day special collection that you are looking at now will roll over because it's part of the monthly mega deal. This is where it all gets confusing, but long and short of it is. If you want it, get it while you can. For the sheer fact, it's going quick. This is the way of only getting this little collection, and once it's gone, it may be gone, uh, that you're getting in there. Uh, so you're getting seven sets of stamps that you've got in there. But as I said, it is part of that large collection, which I'll give you details on shortly. This is the part of two uh, collections. This is the autumn release from All and Create. It's their fifth birthday, which means not only do we get a camacade of All and Create shows over the weekend. What a word. Uh, we get a camacade of shows from uh, Abs, from Janet, from uh, our Trace who's here as well. Well, neither have I heard it. I think I made it up. Uh, but <laughs> what we're also going to get is you're getting cracking little deals. Is where, And you're also going to get your gift with purchase as well. The heartfelt stamp. Free, worth £7.99. pence. It has been a busy one-day special. Nearly 70% of the stock on its own has now already gone. Gone. You heard me correctly. 70% of it on its own. As I said, you can go for a bigger bundle, which includes Abby's collection from the Weekend Wow, Tracy's collection from the One Day Special, and Janet's collection, which we'll be launching tomorrow at six o'clock. That is the only way of getting the cuties at the moment. They have not been launched yet. But the designer of all of this range, as I said, it is the Autumn Range. It is part one of the Autumn Range, which means November time there will be a part two. But before you get that, you need this. He's with me in the studio as well. It's our Tracy. How are you, love? Hello. I'm tired. You're tired? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm getting old. Ah, <laughs> uh, never. <laughs> never. I won't have it said. I need to, you know, I need to get myself going. You know when you've been sort of... I've been, I don't get up at five in the morning, Adam. I oh. do that rarely. You know, I'm not a morning person. I wake up in the afternoon and go to bed at three in the morning. Oh, so, waking up at five this morning, I'm like a zombie. Oh, so it did it for you, that weren't the... Mm -mm. Well, you know you've got to blame for that, don't you? 
Yeah. Abs. Yeah, abs. Uh, so, <laughs> as, he, as he waltzes, waltzes round Andal for the afternoon. <laughs> exactly, does his yes, two he's shows, gone shopping. Shows home. Yeah, of course he has. <laughs> uh, right then, but what a collection you're bringing us. First of all, it's all the butterflies and the pedigrees that we're talking about here. Uh, butterflies can be used for so many things as well. And uh, it all really does work together. And we were saying last night at launch, uh, if you missed launch, well, uh, I'll sort of cover it again, that it's sort of a stamp within a stamp, but you can do so much more than the stamps that you've actually given us, if that makes any sense no, whatsoever. No, it makes perfect sense the way you describe that. But I think the thing that's important is, even though it's a stamp within a stamp, you can break that down. You know, sometimes you can look at them and think, oh, they might be a bit daunting. But once you stamp them, you realise that you can break elements up. So, Joe, that card there, Adam, yes, the one at the end, that's it. That one shows exactly how you can create perfect simplicity, classic, beautiful design, executed beautifully, but she's not made it too overly complicated, but it's got everything you need. That's true. That's the stamp in its own right, but if you wanted to break that up, you could just use the butterfly on its own. You could just use part of the text on its own. Don't be frightened of stamps that have got a bit more detail on. All that it means is if you've got a stamp with more detail on it, you're getting more for your money. Because you really you've got do. more details in there. Yeah, that's all it means. But then once again, uh, have, have we seen the flowers being stacked? Have we, I must have missed yeah, these Yeah, I've hours. used the uh, chrysanthemum. Oh. I haven't used the rose hip yet, but that's I've, the one I'm using... Just... Yeah, so I have got a workshop that I'll be doing oh. online, so I will be using all these again. Well, there you go, you see. So if you want to go to the workshop, if you want to get involved uh, with all of this... Uh, you can do it as well. Uh, now, I love this. Joe, look, please shake me. Joe, I don't know if you've seen shaker cards on TV, <laughs> love. They don't really work. Uh, it just looks like a blur. Uh, but bless her. She tries. Uh, she won't be watching. She's on the Blue Nun. It's Saturday. Uh, then you can go into your journals as well. Absolutely beautiful. They really, really are stunning. And there's, there's so many little elements in them. And as Tracy just said, you haven't got to use the whole stamp for a stamp. And this is what we love about All and Create. It's the smaller elements, it's the smaller details that are in there that really do work and really stand out uh, from the crowd. Remember, you're getting a complete collection as well. So when Tracy puts her collections together, she thinks about what's going in the collection and how they're going to work uh, together. So not only are you getting the butterflies, you're also going to get your birds included in this. So you've got that kingfisher, you've got the toucan in there, you've also got the words in there as well, fly free. But you could just use those on their own for other cards. You've got ready-made tags in stamp form. Stamp them out, cut them out on the craft card. You're good to go with these sorts of things. You've got your circle, so if you want to do your um, silhouette, I was going to say moonlighting, but that means something totally different. <laughs> uh, if you want to do your silhouette, you can do that with that. Stamp it twice, cut the centre one out, spotlight it. Um, stamp it, stamp it again, cut them out in circles, and then place them over the top. Quick and simple cards, time and time again, uh, is what you're looking at. The butterfly wings uh, that you've got in there, Maybe you just stamp that out onto a book page. You're going to get the same effect, but you could wipe those wings away. It's entirely up to you how you want to create this. Remember, you are getting a complete stamp set, seven stamp sets, including your freebie as well that we have thrown in because it's the fifth uh, birthday uh, from All and Create. 37 stamps in total is what you're looking at, not including your freebie uh, is what we're looking at. £84.93 is what you've got on this one. And you've also got it onto two interest-free, free and flexible payments as well. £38.22 today, 631364 is your item number, is for the one-day special element of this All and Create birthday celebration. Now, if you want it all, I can give you it all as well. I know, Mrs. Uh, but it's everything. So it is... Abs' Weekend Wow that he brought to us this morning and yesterday morning and tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. I'm with Abs then doing the Weekend Wow. You've also then got Tracy's collection thrown in there as well. Then, when Janet comes in tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, she'll be launching the Cutie range. The only way of getting the cuties at the moment are going for this big bundle. There is no other way of getting them until tomorrow at 6 o'clock when we launch the brand new one-day special. And on top of all of that, we're also going to throw in 11 freebies. Yeah, worth over £90 is what you're looking at in freebie form. Now, I told you this yesterday, and I've still not got the email, so I'm going to tell you again. You weren't meant to get this. You were only meant to get three freebies, okay? You were meant to get one with Abs's set, one with Trace's set, and one with Janet's set, and that's it. That's all you were meant to get. Abs, in his wisdom, and must have had a good night's sleep, um, he emailed our head of buying, 
um, and said, I want to throw more in. I want to throw more stamps at this because it's a fifth birthday. It's a big thing. So he threw more stamps at it. And that's how you're getting that £90 worth. So you're getting 11 free stamps included as well in that big bundle. And remember, this is a release. This is a first edition release. There will be another second part to this, which will all work uh, hand in hand uh, with all these as well. 248608 is your item number for that big bundle. Three fluid and flexible payments of £65.92 pence is what you're looking at on this one. That's not easy to say, is it? Uh, or a one-off payment of £219. Pounds 72 pence, or a one off payment if you're a freedom member of 197 pounds 75 pence. Say it quick, you'll never notice. But why pay that when we split the cost? It's pointless. It is pointless paying that one off payment when you might as well split the cost for you. It's a lot easier. 130 stamps, three stencils, and 11 free gifts worth over 90 pounds right then. Um, let's see how many we can fit in this hour. Let's go to our first demonstration. What are we up to first, race? So, what we're going to create first is a card, but what I just want to mention is when you see the stamps, and obviously I demonstrate cards because I enjoy doing cards, but I also enjoy doing journal pages and mixed media pieces, and I think it's important to note that even though I'm doing cards, which are easy to demonstrate on the Craft Channel, that these just translate into journal pages absolutely perfectly. And if you just look at the sentiments, you can use those as journal prompts, just so that you, don't, you realize that they're, just, they're not there just for cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stamp set here. So I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to create my own collage. So I'm going to use my black ink and I'm going, I'm taking it easy at four o'clock. It's, it's like, go slow. I'm so, with you. <laughs> so you just have to bear with me. Tracy's on a go slow. So I'm just inking that stamp up. I'm giving it a really good inking. As I always do, it doesn't matter as I move from one show to the next, I don't change the procedure that I do. I still run with the same policies. So what I'm going to do is just place my stamp down here. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving a gap here so I can add a little bit of stamping and I'm leaving a gap here so I can leave some stamping. And I'm just allowing that ink just to rest on the card. And it wasn't a good idea to put hand cream on before you went live because my hands are lovely and slippy so oh, it's lovely yeah, but, such a nice touch but just think they're super soft <laughs> i don't think i don't think the viewers care <laughs> they do <laughs> that my hands are super soft you'd be surprised what they care about to be honest i'm not gonna lie <laughs> my super soft hands yeah you so what we've got here is we've got the stamp as it is and what you need to remember is that you can extend that you need stamp. a wet wipe or something are you all right oh yeah i'm just making sure that i've got no extra black ink that's all so what I want you to do then is just extend the design if you don't know how you're going to extend the design then ink the whole stamp up if you, you if you're not aware where you're going now what you can do with these circular ones is you can line them up so that they overlap and they'll overlap beautifully so I'm actually stamping on Bristol smooth card this time and the reason I'm stamping on Bristol Smooth is it's very smooth. And because of that, my Ecoline pens will blend beautifully on that cardstock. Now, for, for different techniques, cardstock is vital. It's vital which cardstock you use and to make sure, sure you use the correct one. So what I'm doing here is I'm extending the design. So I'm now going to ink the bottom half of my stamp okay. just to extend that design further. And I can see a little black mark on here. Don't worry about that because we will hide that with a touch of washi tape. So what you need to make sure is you need to make sure that you wipe your hands and make sure that you've got no ink on your acrylic block. What I'm going to do is turn this to the side and then I'm just going to extend it further. So just place that down. And what you're doing is you're extending your design further than you've actually got. So you're actually making your own collage. And I think it's important just to realise how versatile your stamps are. Now, I'm actually working on Bristol Smooth card, and it's important that you actually blot that image. The smoother the card is, the less porous the card is. The less porous the card is, the more the ink sits on the surface. And this ink sits on the surface because it's got a good open time. It's got a good open time, which means it stays wetter longer. And because of that, you just need to blot. You just need to make sure that you just grab all that ink. What I want to do then 
is I want to extend the design further. If we're blotting trace, does that take away the blackness though? No, not really. What it does, it lifts that surface. So it saves you drying it with the heat tool. Oh, okay. So instead of drying with the heat tool every five seconds, you blot it and it saves some of that. It saves some of that time. And also, when you're stamping, the problem is you often put your hand across your card. And if you don't blot, you're just going to smudge it okay. because there's still moisture. Good to know. So I'm just going to use this element here because we haven't used this element. So I want to add that to my collage. And I'm just adding this to one of my A7 blocks because what I also need to point out is when I use my acrylic blocks, I always use an acrylic block that's bigger than the design. So you know how you've got a full A7 stamp? I will still put that on my border block because it, this fills the whole block. And therefore, you can't flex the, the block if you're using the whole, the whole design on the block. Okay. So Janet's cuties work beautifully on the A7s. So what I'm going to do now is I'm extending the design a little bit further. And you just need to take your time when you're extending this design. You just don't need to rush. You need to think about where you're extending it. And this means that you're creating your own collage with the selection of your stamps. So each time you're changing it up. So just ink again. And this time I'm going to add part of the design here. And it doesn't have to be the whole image. Just ink that up. And you can flex those blocks if you need to flex those blocks. Just wipe up your excess ink just so that you don't get in a mess and then repeat that process of blotting. And then what I'm going to do is grab my stamp set which I've nicely covered up. Is it this one or my house one? Where's my house? Why, why, when you come to the last show, do you lose all your stamp sets? No, I know. I'm in the same boat. I'm like, I've just had them all here. I've lost my house stamp. There it is. Oh, Tracy, don't put stuff away. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these smaller elements from the house stamp set. So we've got some smaller elements on there. So we've got the heart. So we can use that smaller element. And it's just taking your time to build up that collage and it's using your stamps as much as possible but what you just need to be aware of just make sure you leave some open space don't cover everything up so I'm going to elongate this area here is there more butterflies in set two no oh uh, but does it still work with this collection oh yes okay yeah. there will be some hints of clocks Oh, I knew I'd get it out of her eventually. <laughs> I'm useless at keeping a secret. Has it already been designed? Is it already done? It, I, I always design a, a part one and a part two together. together. It has to be because I want it to work together. And also, when I do it, I refer back to all the previous designs oh, as makes, well. Makes sense. So what I'm going to do now is because I've elongated this area, I'm elongating the bottom area here just to give me that flow. And then I'm just going to add these little butterflies. What you have to be aware of is when you're picking up stamps, just give your hand a little wipe. Just good practices to get into. Now it's getting to the stage where my desk is so over cluttered and I've tidied it three times. So just add that ink just to this little butterfly. And what I'm going to do is just add that little butterfly here. Oh, he's delicate, isn't he? I've not seen him before. Yeah, she says that she's missed a little bit of the wing. That's not a problem. All adds to the collage. Don't stress. So because of that, we'll just add half the butterfly here. So then it looks like it's been planned. And then again, I'm just going to go over one more time, just blotting that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some blue. Just add some blue to that design. You always start off with one plan and then it ends up being another plan. I was going to do an ATC at the same time, never ended up doing that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the same every time. Now, I've used this Bristol Smooth because my Ecoline pens work beautifully on this. Now, I'm just going to take my time because it's about enjoying 
the process so I'm just going to color I don't want the hearts colored so I'm just going to color around my design I and reckon this would work on the super smooth as well the pink frog super smooth yes it does I adore pink frog super smooth and I use it all the time but for the ecoline pens I personally find the Bristol smooth even better just with the ecoline pens okay I don't think we've got that on the website though but the, the, the pink frog I use for all my other techniques that I've done during the shows. There's just some, you know, there's a card for every purpose. Um, and it's just for this one, it just flows beautifully. Okay. Maybe Hazel, when she's next here, can use her ecoline pens and see how they blend. She'll love me for saying that. There you go. So I've got my water. And it just moves so freely that it makes you look like an artist, whether you are or not. So just blend that out. And what you should be doing now is you should be relaxing when you're colouring this in. You shouldn't be rushing your colouring. And what we're doing is we're just bringing that pop of blue. And then when you've blended it all out, Blend out into the centre so it gets lighter. Just so that it's so quiet in here now. I keep thinking I'm on my own. No, I was <laughs> just hearing, we've had an email in. Yeah. From Patricia, who's used some, she's a big fan of All and Create. And uh, she's made some tags using some of your stamps. Oh, brilliant. Here they oh, are, look. I, oh, yes, that was my previous release. That's gorgeous. I love the pink. There you go, look. Well done, Patricia. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Patricia's really good. She's quite, she's does quite a lot of crafting uh, and she sh shares on social media she has lots of good ideas there you go Patricia Heard it from the lady herself you have good ideas she does so I'm just going to and I don't you know it's the four o'clock show and I want to I want you to all relax realize how therapeutic it is to color with your stamps every other one of my demos have all been let's race to the next thing let's do the next thing but i just want you to said last night watching people color was boring <laughs> i know i know but it's four o'clock and i'm using an excuse to keep myself <laughs> six o'clock last night this is boring watching me color let's move on now all of a sudden you've changed tack quick. it's four o'clock it's four o'clock so i need to chill so i need to chill so that was trying to use that to, for my benefit then <laughs> Well, I was just thinking, I was like, we've just contradicted ourselves. <laughs> you weren't supposed to point that out. No, no. No, it can be, yes, but I'm just tired. And there's me last night going, oh, no, we like watching colouring. Colouring's nice to watch. And you're like, no, nah, we won't watch this, we'll move on. But when it's your first show, you're eager to see all the stamps as quick as possible. Uh, when, you've, when you've seen me and for four like, hours, yeah. no, they've seen me for four hours and they're like, no, we've had enough of Tracy now for four hours get Janet on so we're just doing nice and relaxing so just but I think it's important just to see how it comes together and I'm just going to add this color here and as you can see I'm using kitchen roll just so that I don't add any moisture to my card just while you do that last circle and yeah. you blend it all in beautifully let me give you the details for the big big bundle uh, that we've got now on the show. So, your big bundle contains the weekend wow that Abs bought us yesterday morning and this morning and tomorrow afternoon. You've got Tracy's collection down the front and this is the only way so far till tomorrow at six o'clock of getting your little cuties. If you want your brand new cuties, it's the only set, it's the only release that we've not yet seen on its own. This is the way to go for it. If you are an All and Create fan, if you are an All and Create fanatic, this is what you're going to go for. As for the sheer fact, you are getting the whole of the release. 248608 is your item number. We've put it onto three interest-free flexible payments of £65.92. And on top of all of that, you're also going to get 11 free gifts. Those 11 free gifts and you're going to get your stencils as well. So you are going to be getting your stamps from all three collections uh, that you get as your free gift anyway. And then on top of all of that, you're going to get the others. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six stamps, two stencils thrown in as well is what you're going to be getting free. All of that 
everything that you see there is free. Maybe that's going to be a gift for someone. That what a cracking little gift. And nearly 100, nearly over 90 pounds worth of freebies that you're going to be throwing in. And then you have got the goodies. You have got the main show, as it were. You are getting your QCs, you're getting uh, Tracy's new collection, and you're also going to get Abs and Papasha's uh, Weekend Wow well as well. 248608 is your item number. Uh, £65.92 across three interest free flexible payments if you're a Freedom member. And the stamps are pretty big at uh, that as well. They are large old stamps, is what you are looking at on these. They are huge, they are absolutely beautiful uh, is what you are getting on all of these so you're getting loads of little details uh, from there you can then turn them into uh, you can turn them into beautiful little cards you really can using uh, some of the cards stuff that you haven't really seen yet let's show you some of that stuff uh, so you're getting all of these things then uh, things like uh, like these they are absolutely beautiful and timeless and you can use them again and again and that's what abs did so well when we were talking to abs yesterday He's called it the Mega Bundle, but he's not called it a Christmas collection. He's not called it the Halloween collection. He's called it one, one's called Hocus Pocus, then you've got um, Flutters and Filigrees that down there. They, they can be used all year round, which I absolutely adore. Your freedom price on this is £65.92 with a £56.97 saving. But over three quarters of our monthly mega deal now has already gone. It was meant to last a month. This is the couple of live hours in. We haven't got many, to be honest. Um, what's that? Five, six, seven, eight. I think eight hours in, and we're a quarter. Phenomenal amounts of stock have gone out the door. And Abs brings us a lot of stock. He really, really does. Right then, let's go back to Tracy uh, to find out where we're up to. Right. What I'm going to do now, I've coloured my butterfly in which is from the A7 stamp set, which I can't pick up. So the butterfly is from this A7 stamp set. And I've actually coloured that in. What I want to do is I want to add that to a circle, which is around about one and three quarter inches in size. And I just want to add a little bit of the stamping using the stamp, the background stamp. You're just adding a couple of touches, light touches of background stamping, just to give it a bit of detail in the background. Who's that email from, Meg? Wendy said you're very good. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Wendy said you're very good at what you do. She makes it feel like she can do the same. She can. That's because she can. She used a lot more words than that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've condensed, Wendy, I've condensed your email down because they're, they're feeding it to me in my ear. Uh, she just says you're very good at, very good at what you're doing. You're a very good teacher. Oh, thank you very much. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to add this circle here just so that when I put my butterfly on, I've added some cotton threads underneath just for texture. When I place the butterfly on, that means that it just stands out a little bit more against that white. It just doesn't get lost in the background. We will add some shading around the circle just to make it pop a little bit more. I think it's important just to make that pop. So I'm just going to add the shading around. A little bit more difficult when you've got cotton threads, but I still still persist and what you need to do is just make sure that your circle is nice and dry obviously when you're on live TV you have to do everything you know there and then when it's wet so just make sure that's clean and then I'm just going to blend a little bit of that color out just so it gives a little bit of dimension so I'm just blending that out just to make it stand out a little bit more and then what I want to do is just add a little pen nib to my butterfly. Oh, where's this from? I collect vintage pen nibs. Oh. So I like adding a pen nib, like so, just to give it an added little detail. And then on, we've got on one of the other stamp sets, which is on the um, Sycamore Key stamp set. Just move that out the way space is getting smaller and smaller so we've got this little border stamp here and what I tend to use this for is I use it like I did at the start of this card or I use it for embellishment pieces so I'm just giving that a good inking and I'm just going to stamp that and then I can use this for some of my embellishments just for my uh, sort of layered embellishments it means that if you haven't got 
uh, metal embellishments, you can then use your card pieces as your embellishment piece. Could you touch on again? What I, I know whether it was with my show or it was with Janice's show or Catherine's show, I've watched so many shows. Um, how we do with our stamps when we get them home. So how do we make it a good stamp? So what you need to do is you, you open your stamps and you need to ink them with your VersaFine Clair or your archive, whatever you use. I tend to recommend VersaFine Clair for our stamps because it stays wet, wetter longer. What you need to do is you need to ink your stamp, ink it all over and allow that stamp to completely dry with the ink on. So go away and make a cup of tea. Come back, ink the stamp once again, and then stamp it onto scrap paper. Ink a third time, and it's primed and ready, and you'll just get a good image every time. See, that's good to know. So we, see, it's those little tricks, those, those little tips, and it's those little tips that you need. Well, there's a stickiness from the manufacturing process, and that's that, that's just what you get. And once you do that, the more you use the stamps, the better they get. Do you clean your stamps? Never. Apart from if you use paint and you use oxides. You need to clean your stamp if you use oxides because then if you've got an oxide layer on your stamp and you then go and add your VersaFine Claire on the top, it will cloudy oh. the ink. So only when it's oxide you need to clean. It's good to know. Good to know. So what we've got here is we've got some embellishments, some embellishment pieces that we can use. So this is with them all cut up. And I always use these little embellishment pieces. I always think they come in handy. And it's just to add little touches to my card. So you're putting the finishing touches to your card. So I'm just going to add a little number here. So you're sort of creating your own stamp, your own image. But you're also still thinking about balance at the same time. You don't want to overcrowd everything. You still want to keep some of this white space. And you don't want to just stick it anywhere. You need to have a think about where you're putting it. So I've got one here. It's not quite straight and that's going to irritate me. So I'm then going to place a number here just to give me some balance. And I just have a time check, Adam, just to uh, see. It is half past four here in the UK, which means we have... How long have we got here? Just means I'll have time for another demo. Just under half hour. Okay, means I have time for another demo. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding the chevron, which is also in the stamp sets just to add me another element and I don't want to overpack that and I won't add the sentiment because we can do another demo instead. So I'm just going to highlight the chevron just to highlight that a bit more. I can't leave it unfinished, it has to have the shading just around just to make it a little bit more 3D. It's just important to make that a little bit more 3D. And then if we add that to our black mat, it always makes a difference when you add a black mat. So you add this to the black mat and add this to the card. And what you need to do is just add butterfly here, which is on the sentiments as well. But rather than me add the butterfly sentiment, I will do another demo instead. But just so that you can see that. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful and you can do this as well. This is the thing. You can create these absolutely beautiful cards. And remember, they don't have to be cards. That could be a journal page. That could be a journal cover. That could be a card. That could be a canvas. It could be a mixed media piece. Technically, it is a mixed media piece because it's got the thread in there. Because you're using more than one element. And that's what mixed media is. And I think that's where we get bogged down with stamps like this. You think, oh, they're a bit, they're a bit finicky, but there's a lot going on in them. I don't know how I would use them. Well, Tracy breaks them all down. The same with Joe does as well. Uh, breaks everything down uh, that you've got. Things like Joe Elliott uh, that you've got here. Oh, full name, full title uh, that you've got. It is absolutely beautiful how you use uh, your stamps on their own uh, that you've got there. So you've got all the beautiful cards, but then using some uh, just smaller cards. So maybe you did go for some of the happy hours that I showed you earlier and you're going for your super smooth, your pink frog super smooth. It still works. Doing your journal covers, creating a simple journal. Uh, you could also create those as well. Using the toucans, using your splodgy backgrounds, they all work and they will work with all the collections that All and Create have bought us in the past. Even the little pointy house. Is it a house, Trace? What yes, is, it's is a, it a house. Point, a point house. Don't forget, it can be anything you want it to be. This is the thing. So you could use them just as little mountains. You can use them as little houses. It's entirely up to use them as little perches for the birds to sit on. 
The ideas are there. All you need to do is just go out and enjoy. Enjoy the process. No card is a wrong card. It's only wrong when you make it wrong. In, in short, in the element. So if you go wrong, cover it up. You've got a butterfly to cover it up with. Cover it up with a kingfisher. Cover it up with a toucan. You're never going to go wrong, and all you need to do is just be creative. And you think, well, that's easy to say, but when I sit there, I don't know what I'm doing. You've got all these hours. You've, Tracy's been on now for nearly five hours over the last two days with so many demos that you've seen already. And once you get your set home, you can start creating these. But in the meantime, you can go back and watch them back and go, oh, I'll have a go with the stamps I've already got as well. You can have a little look on Rewind. It'll all be there for you so you can go back and watch and see how you can create. Because as Tracy says, she does everything from beginning to end. There's no, here's one I made earlier. You've also got Tracy's social media as well, the all and create social media that's all out there. There is so much. Uh, there are so many people in the design team. There are so many people that are just waiting to hold your hand and guide you through on a magical journey. The journey that you may not have started yet, but trust me, once you get on it, you're on it. And you're going to absolutely adore it. £84.93 is what you're looking into that one. Uh, or you can split the cost onto Freedom. If you're a Freedom member, it's a delivered price to your door is what you're looking if you're a Freedom member. Uh, you've also got Freedom and... Uh, uh, what am I saying? Uh, you've also got Flexi Freedom is what I'm saying. Flexible Freedom, £38.22. I need my second show. Uh, 631364 is your item number. £38.22. Cross two. Interest-free flexible payments is what you are looking at on this. Um, it's worth having a little look. It really, really is. Um, I'm going to ask Tracy now rather than doing it at the end because in case we're running short of time. Tracy, for those people that are maybe thinking, it's all well and good of standing there and I've watched all the shows, I've watched all the hours, the demos are amazing, but I'm still nervous, I'm still scared. They still, they still can't take that leap here. What would you say to those sorts of people? The one thing I can say about my products with hand on heart is that I won't leave you abandoned with the stamps because I'm always on social media and I'm always promoting on YouTube and I'm always giving ideas. So it's not a case of you buy the stamps, then I disappear because I've been on the TV. Literally, next week, I'll be doing a video. So it literally, I'm constantly educating. So it's not like you'll be left and abandoned. And if I aren't educating, then the design team are. So it's a case of, I know that, you know, some people, they will bring out stamps and then you might not see them for six months. It's not like that. It just, I, I, when I design a stamp, it's not just about designing stamps, it's about education. And it's about following that through, not just now, but six months down the line. So I'm still using stamps that I, ha I bought out four years ago. And I still use them and still educate with that. So if you're still thinking, well, I'm a bit nervous, then I would say, you know, just give it a go. Don't be too nervous. Start basic. Don't, don't try and do everything all at once. Start basic and build up, and you'll find that it's a great hobby. It really is. There you go. I think it sums it all up, doesn't it? That sums everything up. You won't be left on your own. Those social media is out there. And if you're not a social media whiz, YouTube is not the hardest of thing. Is it just Tracy Evans on YouTube? Yeah. There you go. Simple. Just type it on the YouTube. It's a little face will pop up. Press play. Watch it, like watching a VHS. Right, should we go back for another demonstration? <laughs> I think we should. Right then, what are we up to this time? So this time we're going to use the Kingfisher and the um, Chrysanthemum. My words have gone. No, I, I, oh, the way you looked at me, I'm no Alan Titchmarsh when it comes <laughs> to the flowers. <laughs> I did look at you as a you did look at me what to say, is. what is it? I don't know. I'm no Monty Dunn. <laughs> what is my stamp? <laughs> what is your stamp that you designed? <laughs> you can tell when Tracy's losing it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm using Salty Ocean Distress Oxide Ink. And I'm just going to spritz, I've added that to acetate, and I'm just going to spritz that with water. And what you need to make sure is you need to make sure that you've got no straight lines. Because if you've got straight lines on the acetate, then you're sure as heck going to have straight lines on your design. So just make sure that you've got no straight lines on there. And what you're going to do is you're going to smoosh your ink. So just smoosh it across your card. And I haven't got one I've done earlier, so this is going to be done from start to finish. So what you need to remember is to use some of these bits here, these loose bits. And what you need to do then is just get a separate piece of card. And while you're there, just create a second background. Because I don't want it too dark on here. So just create a second background. Don't waste that ink, because you've got two backgrounds in one. Just give that acetate a clean, or we'll end up in a complete mess. 
Now, what I would do at home, if I wasn't live on TV, is I would add more layers of colour. So I'd spritz like I've just done, I'd allow that to dry naturally, and then I'd apply the ink again. I'm not going to do that live on TV, but that's what I'd do if you want depth of colour. And I'm just going to heat that dry. Now, I always recommend that you don't heat set your card. You allow it to dry naturally. It's always better dried naturally because you get better, better quality of colour, better intensity of colour, and it dries richer. When I'm drying it with the heat tool, it forces the colour down into the card. And I'm using Pink Frog card for this, so it works beautifully with your water techniques. And if, like me, you've got quite a bit of ink on there and you don't want it too dark, just give that a dab. When you let it dry naturally, you get more of these darker areas, darker patches and richer in colour. Just while you're dabbing down with the kids, um, <laughs> like it, little, little dab. Uh, this pair, the pair that I've put together just here, the Border and the A7 stamps, ignore that one, uh, they are limited stock on their own. These two here are limited stock on their own now, so you can go for them individually. I've got many different bundles for very different pocket sizes. Uh, £20 and 98 pence, but they are limited stock on their own. If you want them, get them quick. They're about to go. Let's go back to Tracy. Thank you. So what I'm doing... Oh, thank you very much, everybody, for purchasing. Sorry, I was just carrying on then straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stamp here, but this time I'm going to use it as my background rather than just bits of it. And what I'm using is I'm using Morning Mist Versifying Claire. And I'm using a grey just so, because I'm stamping it several times in the background, I don't want it to be too overpowering. You love this stamp, don't you? I, I do. This is your go-to stamp. I love it. I think it's because it's random and it's not straight lines. Yeah, it's no, just, I like it, it appeals to my eyes. So just, I mean, look at that. It's just right, and it's got things, it says wings and feathers, but it's got words missing. So oh, I, I like it. It, uh, that, it pleases me, that does. So what I'm going to do is I'm just creating a background with this. When, when uh, the, Obviously, some of the ladies that follow me and gentlemen, I drive them potty with the stamps that I get addicted to. It's like the Reckon of Digits. Every time I do a workshop, Reckon of Digits. And like, Here she goes, Reckon of Digits. So, yes, yes. They, they all know what I'm like. So I'm just adding that stamping, and I'm just going down the card. I mean, look at that. I just think that's fab. That's nice as it is. Yes. You just imagine just putting a flower there and nothing oh. else. And that's it. You don't, you don't need anything else, there do you? There you go. That's another demo done. Yeah, exactly. Let's move on. Yeah, and go home now. <laughs> there you go. We're done now. <laughs> now, now. So, just adding that third layer. Say anything. <laughs> adding that third. You're the one that's tired. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, I'm going dizzy as well and everything. Oh, no, don't do that to me. <laughs> Do you not want me to scare you in that way? Can we have St John's on standby, <laughs> Tracy, please? <laughs> so what I've got now is I've got my... Let's find the correct black ink pad. And just another top tip. With your black Versafine Claire ink pads, I write on the back of mine new and then new with the date because then you know which is the oldest one. And this can be used for different techniques when you're doing things like the kissing technique. So I'm now going to add the Kingfisher over the top. And when I stamp over the top, it's going to look slightly odd until I put the, the one that's 3D on the top. So I'm using a black ink. So this is my Nocturne ink. And this is why I used grey in the background, because I wanted it to remain in the background. I didn't want it to be too strong or too powerful. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp this Kingfisher. And I spend a lot of time just deciding where the right placement is, which is around about there. And I'm just going to allow that ink to sit. Now, I've got a layer of wet ink. I've got a layer of the grey Versafine Clair. And then I'm stamping over the top. Luckily, because I'm laying a Kingfisher over the top, the stamping doesn't really matter too much. So you don't have to worry about lifting and making sure it's inked because it's just the feet, really, that I'm bothered about. It just means that I don't have to then cut those feet out. So just there's your Kingfisher. I just think that stamps beautifully. And what we're going to do is, obviously, we will add that Kingfisher over the top. But what I want to do is I want to add a pop of colour. OK. So I'm going to use my Inktense pencils. OK, here we go. <laughs> here we go, she's colouring. She's colouring, she's going to go all zen again. You've we're going got to go to, back to the zone. You've got to add some... <laughs> Four o'clock. 
No one wants to watch a colouring at six o'clock at night, but four o'clock, different story. I'm never going to live this down now. You do know no, that, don't that you? No, bin diving. You had an email earlier. I had so an email, yeah. I watched it on the way in. My I chauffeur put it on in the car. I did as well. I thought. That from Peter, Robert from Peterborough, I want to say it was. What was it? Christopher. 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 Yeah. Asked if you go bin diving. Yeah. She does. She's like a womble. <laughs> <laughs> I have to make sure my husband's not with me because he's, he's just totally embarrassed. He's like, please, no, no, not while you're with me. So I'm just adding the Ink Tense pencil, which again is reactive with water. Now, with this one, my Pink Frog card, it works beautifully with the Ink Tense. Ah, oh, okay. So every card has got a purpose. You just need to remember that, and card is just as important as the quality of the stamp. Well, it is, because sometimes if you use the wrong card, you think it's you. Absolutely. And how many times have I done that? Well, I am I was well. using my Ecoline pens on the wrong card, and I'm thinking, I thought these were supposed to blend easy. And it must have taken me ten attempts. I'm thinking, I'm going mad, I can't get the... And then it dawned on me. It's, it's the not card smooth stock. enough, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, the card stock plays a big part in some of your cards that you do. Oh, absolutely. And then that's how you get the better results. I didn't believe it at first when I first started crafting. I thought, oh no, you know, I don't, I don't believe that it's the card, but it is. Well, so oh, well, if you, until you're in the game, as it were, you just think card is card. Yeah, but even I, I've been in, doing this for 25 years. Never. Never, yeah. And Ecoline pens I come to use, and I, I was thinking, why don't they blend nice and beautifully like they're supposed to? And go. everybody's raving about these Ecoline pens. I'm thinking, they're not working. So. Are you, I was 11 when you started. Thanks for that, 11. Adam. Thank you so much. 11. You don't feel like you've been in the game that long. I have. 25 I have. years. Thank you so much for pointing that out, Adam. I do not want to work with you again. It's meant to make me feel good, not old. Mm. Right, all right. I was just saying. <laughs> just think of you all the tell wisdom she's I've tired, got. Didn't you? Just you can... think of all the wisdom now. Exactly. You might have youth, but I've got wisdom. I ain't got youth. Have you seen the grey hair? <laughs> I haven't got any grey hair, so we do have that. Oh, well, I have. I've got a lot. <laughs> got a lot. No, but it's true, I bet. I bet the viewers switch in and think, what is she waffling on about? Lost. So I'm just colouring this and in my me, Zen mode. <laughs> <laughs> What's he waffling on about? <laughs> Get back to Tracy. No, it's like home from home, isn't it? It is really coming here, isn't it? Yeah. Disjointed like family. From... Yeah, exactly. Just like my family. You've got that Disjointed. one person you can't stand. <laughs> It's just like my family disjointed. Chris Baker, our director. <laughs> just, I'm joking. I love him, really. So He's what like we've got here, Christmas. because obviously I'm aware of time, we've got the oh, yeah, chrysanthemum. And the oh. chrysanthemum's got little numbers in so that it coordinates with all my other stamps. And I just love how the chrysanthemum works with the kingfisher. And what I'm going to do is I've got the salty ocean ink. And what I want to do first is just add some water to my stamp just so that I can just do a simple wet on wet technique just so that it's nothing too complicated if you're not a colorist anybody can do this you just add a bit of color what I tend to do is I add one layer of color first with the oxides and then I go back when it's dry and I add another layer that's how you get the depth of color don't don't think that if you add one layer of color that you're going to get the depth that you sometimes see on cards when you see them and think, oh, they've coloured beautifully. It's all about layering and using the product in layers rather than just one layer, because that's nice and light, which is great when you're just showing demo purposes. But what you have to realise is if you let that dry naturally mm -hmm. and then add another layer of colour on the top, you get more intensity. But you can't do that on TV because you can't stand here and, well, let's have a chat for 15 minutes while it dries. No, I ain't got, that. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> so just add, I'm just going to add a little bit more because at the end of the day, you still want to show that it doesn't take very long just to add a little bit more depth. I'll, I'll tell you something else you ain't got time for. What, what? To get your hands on these stamps. They're flying out the door. If you want the set of Border and A7, seamless link. <laughs> uh, 20 pounds and 98 pence is what you're looking at for these two they are limited stock i have less than three and more than one uh, if you want them are getting quick six seven six six seven seven is your item number they are super limited stock i'm down to single figures let's get back 
to Lady Tracy. Do you know when the, everybody does that, they say there's more than three and less than one, I used to sit at home counting, thinking, what did they? And I used to sit with my hands and thinking, how many's left what? then? <laughs> two, Tracy, two. Yeah, two. I know, but, you know. <laughs> two. I'm We're not, not coming here again. You're so rude. But, I'm just pointing things out, <laughs> that's all. So rude. <laughs> You're supposed to be gentle with the guests. I'm a guest. You've been here too long to be a guest. You're part of the furniture. You're part of the family now. Yeah, but we're supposed to get treated, treated specially, aren't we? You do yeah. behind the scenes. <laughs> the telly's a different backup. We do treat you special. Don't make out that I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add... So this has got a 3D element, and I've got to add my sizal, my sizal nest. So just add a piece of that, just to give it, I've now added my flower, it's stuck to the sizal nest, just to give it some texture behind the flower. So just add my sizal and then just add some more 3D foam over the top. Add that over the top. And it could quite easily be a journal page, you could put different prompts and use them in different ways and you could have a double page spread, no problem at all. And because I've got the kingfisher here on my page, I can see exactly where I want to put my flower. So what I want is I want the flower here, like so. And I love the texture from that sizal nest. And then what I'm going to do is add my kingfisher just over the top, like so. And it, I've got, I can place it nice and easily because I can see where I've stamped and now it doesn't look silly because it looked a bit strange before. I need my scissors just to get rid of, can't have that glue, like so. And then just snip the end of that flower stem just so that it's perfect. There we go. And I've got stamps everywhere now. And what I want to do now is just add a little pop of black. So I'm going to take the bird sentiment from this one and just add a little pop of black just to give some life to that design. Just a little pop. So I'm going to use a scrap of black card. I'm going to use my Versamark ink. I love the sentiments. If you're ever doing a journal page and you add the sentiments to black card with white embossing powder, they really pop on your journal pages. So I'm just going to add that there. Take my white embossing powder. Just sprinkle the white embossing powder. Now, if you're stamping this onto a background, like an inky background, don't forget to use your anti-static bag. Because I'm not stamping onto a background, it's not a problem. But just remember to use your anti-static bag, because then you won't end up in a mess. Just heat my heat tool before I start heating that. And then I'll just heat. Just takes a few moments for that to heat up. There we go. Just so that heats. That's it. And this just gives another added finishing touch to your design. Just cut that out. There we go. And then what I want to do is just do a little bit of grounding. Just to ground the image a bit. So we've got these chevrons that are in the stamp set. And I want to add the chevron just below here, just so that the bird looks like it's standing on something rather than just floating in midair. Just to add that like so. Just take your time to add that. And the chevrons would also work nicely on their own if you were doing a masculine card or a teenage card. They don't have to just be used in your mixed media pieces. You can actually use them on their own. So just add the chevrons and I just want to add a little bit of balance for those two chevrons and add the other chevron here like so 
and then this pop of black really sort of brings everything to life. And you can still see that text in the background. It's, you're, not, you're not losing the text that you stamped in the background, but because it's in grey, you still it, it stays in the background. So I'm just going to add my Inktense pencil. I have to do this because it does in some cards, I don't do it in all cards, but in some cards, if I don't do this, it doesn't look quite finished for me. So I always add round and then around your sentiment. But I love that orange just against the blue. The orange against the blue really works. It gives it a pop of colour. So just go around there and then just react with your brush just to give it another 3D element. And also because you've got that grey in there, it sort of ties in a little bit with this black because you've got that darker shading. I'm not going to add any shading around the bird because I like it as it is. I don't want it to sort of stand out too much. I want it to blend with the background a little bit. So just add the sentiment around there. Like so. And then we're just going to add a few splatters of white paint or Posca pen, whichever you prefer to do. You can use your paint or your Posca pen. Just add a little, obviously you wait until everything's dry. Just add touches of white just along his beak and then if you add that to a black mat just makes it look a little bit more professional again pink frog card then add that to your card mat and that is your card done there you go. You see, anyone can do them. You just need the right tools for the job from beginning to end. To get the right tools for the job, though, if you want everything that mixes and matches beautifully, uh, you can go for that mega bundle. The mega bundle, you are getting the weekend wow. You're getting the one-day special from Tracy. And you're also going to get the little cuties that don't launch for another 25 hours before we launch the little cuties on their own. This is the only way of guaranteeing, at the moment, of getting those little cuties. £65.92 across three interest-free flexible payments if you're a Freedom member. 248608 is your item number. You've got the cuties, Tracy's collection down the bottom, and you've also got the Weekend Wow Hocus Pocus uh, that Abs bought us this morning, and I'll also be doing with Abs tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. But not only do you get everything that you see here, you're also going to be getting your freebies as well. Your 11 extra free gifts worth over £90. Now, you weren't meant to have these at all. You're only meant to get a gift with each set. So a gift with Abzi's set, a gift with Trace set, a gift with Janet's set. Well, not only are you getting them, you're getting an extra set and two stencils thrown in as well. All of that is a freebie. So maybe that is going to be a gift for someone and you are going to keep all of these. Obviously, this is where your big saving is as well. So if you maybe you want two of the collections, you're going to gift the third collection because you know that person has always wanted it. It's worth having a little look. 248608. <coughs> Well, is your item number on this one. £65.92 if you're a Freedom member as well. Across three interest-free flexible payments. We haven't got that long left. We've got 30 seconds of this hour left. Uh, start checking out your baskets if I was you as well. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, there you go. Uh, Tracy will be back, no doubt, very, very soon. Uh, Janet's in tomorrow along with Abs as well, bringing us more of the big old collections that you know and love from All and Create. It is their fifth birthday, and what a birthday it's been. I'll see you in an hour's time. Yes, indeed. Uh, Catherine is coming up next with our Anthea with Quilting Antics. Then join me for the launch of a brand new one day special. Then we're going all bondic. Oh, I can't wait.
What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lose shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2pm. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows. Welcome to the craft store. Now we've got quilting antics for you. Always antics with Anthea. We're going to say good evening because it is officially evening now. It's five o'clock. Very good evening, Anthea. Good evening. How are you? I'm all right. I feel like I'm all poised for antics tonight. Oh, well, <laughs> well, poised for antics. Well, let's see how it goes, shall we? Let's have one. some fun, Catherine. What have you brought to us? So, um, been a Yorkshire lass from up in them dales. What I thought we'd do is we'd have a look on the farm. Oh, I don't know perfect. about you, but I've been watching all creatures great and small. Love it. <gasps> I haven't actually seen it. Oh, love it. Not the more recent series, anyway. Oh, you need, you need to do a catch up. It's great. Oh, I'll have to try <coughs> and do that then. Let's anyway, have a look we're going what we've a bit got James on the farm. Harriet. Pardon? Let's have a look what we've got when, if we're visiting the farm. You know, when you're like. I've just noticed something that shouldn't be there, Catherine. Oh, no. You know those rolls that are around the corner? Yeah. If you raise your left hand, they're in that bag that's tomorrow morning. This one? Yeah. So that bag shouldn't be there. Oh, we'll hide it when we get to it. Don't worry. <laughs> We've got a bag that should be here first, though. Let's have a look at that because we have got Flock Together when it comes to a book now we've got lots of books for you so you may have seen some of these before you may have missed out maybe you couldn't afford them the last time maybe a budget was a bit tight and you want to grab them now now what i am going to say is when we look at the first few books just hang on a little bit if you want them grab them straight away but just hang on because we've got something else coming up as well now the first book is flock together now there are different um lovely beautiful projects in here in fact on the back i can read we've got going home sheep which is a wall hanging which is actually the one i've got here we've got cockadoodle dandy cushion is that over with you anthea is that the one with your sewing machine the cock yeah cockadoodle dandy, dandy yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous isn't it absolutely stunning what else we've got on with this one we've got old mother hen cushion being old o w d because it's yorkshire we've got dolly the sheep bag We've got Spring Lamb 3D Cushion and we've got Farmer Moore Character Doll. Now, Farmer Moore is the one a little bit further down, is it? He is indeed. Is it? The one with the dog. There he is. Absolutely amazing. £23.99. Um, yeah, have we been herding sheep there, do you think, with Shep, the dog? 
Looks I like think it, we have. Well, I know the original farmer Moore has probably been sat on a bale having a, a good natter, I think, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Well, it's good, isn't it? He's while. brilliant. Twenty-three ninety-nine is the price of the book, saving fifteen pounds. Let me just open the central up so you can see some of those projects there. There you can see that bag that was mentioned as well. Zero six four nine three three is the item number. You're always very generous with the books as well, Anthony, because you give us the templates that are full size. There's lots of information, of course, instructions. You can decide on your own fabrics. That's entirely up to you. We do have some great bundles coming up, though. There's the bag template. Love it. So all those wonderful <coughs> projects in there. So if you'd like to go on the farm and flock together, maybe that's one for you. Okay. Now, we, we do, do have more. Sorry, Let's Catherine. look at the next one. I'm just going to move down the counter a little bit. We've got Farmstead. Now, we've got the nosy cow. Yeah, that was good, Mr. Baker. Move down the counter. Uh, we've got the nosy cow wall hanging. I absolutely love this, actually. That's the name of it. That's the name but of it. They are, are, aren't they? They are very, they are. very inquisitive animals. And that, that is, is how you see them. Definitely. I love that. I think that is so quirky. I really do. That's just one project. We've got G Up Cushion, which I presume is the cushion I've got here because G Up, a GG, is the horse, isn't it? There oh, it no, is. I don't think that's the one. I think that's, is a, it not the that's one? a very English cushion, that one. Is it? Yeah. Oh, right. I, I have know. No it's it away. We've got Stonehenge there. It's have somewhere. we not got the G up cushion then? You have, it's in there. You've just got the drawings in there, Catherine. There we are. Oh, it is that one. No, that's not what it's called. Leave it with me, I'll just read my own book. <laughs> it's in this I'll book tell you anyway. What it is. I've myself. We've got, You've we've got, got the cow bag. <laughs> this one which i know is at this end of the counter so i'm going to bring it in i remember this one. i love this look look at the fringe you could put an extra eye in if you like but of course it's a highland cow. well i just covered, so it, that long I covered both eyes with the with the fringe um and then the other eye would be kind of off the side of the bag wouldn't it because when you see these you know you never actually see those gorgeous eyes because they're always hiding b between are, all those they? that big fringe that big floppy fringe <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Looks like my hair today, that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Lollipop Lane bag. Now, I think that's over with you as well, isn't it, Anthea? Yeah, I've got Lollipop Lane here. And this is the one I was telling you about, Catherine. Look what we did. We can have another look at this when ah. we come down later. But, yep, <laughs> Lollipop Lane. It's a beauty, isn't it? I thought Lollipop Lane could be the, the lane to the farm. It could be. It sounds very sweet. Excuse the pun. Uh, there you've got another cushion in the centre there as well. That's the heartwarming cushion. And you've also got Green Man. So if you like the look of this one, again, £23.99. £15 saving there. 107353 is the item number. Now, I'm just going to move past our, uh, our farmer here and his lovely little dog. Oh, he's got a pipe and everything, I've just noticed. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It is very good. We've got sound of the farm. So I presume we've got lots of animals in this right, one. I'm going to ask you, and the viewers at home, you probably know the answer to this. Well, some of you do anyway. So look at the cover picture. Why is it called the sound of the farm, Catherine? <laughs> Why is it called what, sorry? The sound of the farm, and it's got a cover picture of pigs. Why is it called the sound of the farm when it's got cover pictures of pigs? Well, pigs make no noise like... No, 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 no. A group of pigs is called a sound of is pigs. Is it? Yes, it is. There's several different titles, but it's a sound of pigs. Well, I never knew. Uh -huh. There you go. I Stick never, ever knew. <laughs> Do you know, we've got that actual uh, piece here as well. Let me just open this up so you can see more inside, and I'll pick that sample up in a second. There's some really good projects in this one. Uh, goose step wall hanging, you can see it there. We've got Pinky Pig Cushion, Farmer's Market Bag. We've got Lammy's Block Keeper, Goosey Lucy Doll, and Piggin Wall Hanging. So lots of lovely projects again there. We've got samples scattered all over this counter, actually, from these books. So we'll, we'll see a few more if we can. Let me look at the wall hanging first. So we have got the sound of pigs here, then. You have indeed. There they are. Isn't that lovely? I love those. Just that blue strip through the middle, and you know then that it's mud and it's wet and it's gooey and it's pigs in mud and wonderful. <laughs> 
It is. It is. I love pigs. I love, I love pigs too. I've got a soft too. spot for pigs. Do like that. Twenty three ninety nine is the price. I'd have a pet pig. I, yeah, I like snails as well. Fifteen pounds saving. Four two six three two four is the item number. I like mice as well. We discovered that yesterday. Right now, I did say at the beginning. Hang on, if you like anything, yes, you can go for it, but just hang on a little while because Anthea, we have this one, which is best of the farm. Indeed, it is. So they're the ones that I liked best. <laughs> so if you just want a few. Um, there you go. I mean, in in the best ofs, you just tend to get the the project boom, boom, boom. In the others, that's where you'll get extra things and sizes and okay. you know, all the rest of it. Um, but I just wanted to put a collection together um, that was easy. Amazing. In fact, if I just take that page away and open this one out, you can see the full size template there. Of our yeah. lovely we don't we don't ever do drawings that you've got to then go away and resize unless you want to of course and yeah. what I've done there because his, his tail feathers arguably are a little bit difficult to get in the right order so I've numbered the order that you would put them down on your backing okay. fabric um, now we made him um, we used <coughs> we, we used the bosal in our form and then we build on that so we've got a more chunky thing yeah and we like doing that because you can have something that's freestanding as well Got you. but all the patterns that use that technique also work with just plain fusible web or if you're into a different type of applique they would work that way too it's Amazing. just that we we do what we do but the instructions are generic perfect now shall i read out the contents as well because these are anthea's favorites and favorites of many people of course ghost chase wall hanging which i've actually got in front here as well so i'm just going to pick that up as i just read through cottage cockadoodle dandy is the cushion that we've already seen that is over with anthea we've got old mother hen cushion dolly bag in this one farmer's market bag a very english cushion which is the one with stonehenge and the, so the farmer's the market was under your elbow just is then, it this one but no that's that's the pair for this cushion right okay uh, the farmer's market bag is by your left elbow by my left oh this one yay i so, love this bag um, you know yeah it's that good, is isn't absolutely it? gorgeous look at that that nah, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek as well this well one. It, it is and it isn't because i was uh, we, we were at a quilt retreat and uh, anybody who knows katie knows katie and she has a story for all occasions and uh, she had a notebook about like memory issues you know getting older and okay. so i pinched that idea and you know when you sit down and all the things just it all just blah, 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 it happens at once and all the quotes and everything the whole idea just came out in a mush and i thought <laughs> right we've got to do something with that it's so, very clever isn't it because i've just noticed yeah. if i turn that back again look you've got one side you've got the front so you can see no pigging idea how i did it so i was thinking there. like pigs might fly pigs can fly whatever yeah. and there you are you can see the reverse of the characters which is really good for yeah really good i just fun. wanted to have a laugh because we do like our antics <laughs> and, and but having a laugh is what it's all about now that bag um was done with like going to your group in mind okay so it's yeah. big and it's roomy it and it's wide so you can get your boxes and your tins and stuff in if you don't like the applique you can use any of the other designs on there instead because okay. that's the beauty of these books isn't it yeah. it's double barreled yeah you've got a set of uh, construction notes and you've got a set of applique and how you combine those is entirely up to you so uh, that bag yeah it was the classes that's that's what was in mind with that bag it is brilliant i love it just as it is i think it's very quirky very humorous absolutely adore it part of this book as well i didn't quite finish the the contents there um so where did we get to we got to oh we did a very english cushion we've got cow bag in this one nosy cow wall hanging is this one pig in wall hanging and the green man of the woods character doll so the best of so you've got uh, various different projects taken from the first three books that we saw that may or may not be in this one so do have a look at the details 504993 if you are going for the best of the farm pattern booklet great 41 pound saving as well that's enormous well it, it's genuine as well because all these patterns are available from me at six pounds fifty yeah. each yeah and these books are currently still exclusive to the craft store yeah. so i don't sell this compilation anywhere else except here so that is a genuine saving 
for here. Definitely. Really is value for money. The fact that you mix and match as well. Now, we've got a few more things to talk to you about as well. There's the book, The Best of the Farm. Busy on that one. Now, we've also got, oh, I remember this, the Great British Baltimore Quilt Pattern Booklet. That's a mouthful and a half. When you see this properly in the studio, it is behind Anthea. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I remember, Anthea, because we launched this in the One Day Special, didn't we? We did, yes. Oh, I forgot. I'd got, I'd got you that yes, I had yeah, a lunch yeah. with you. Yeah, I was having a little daydream then. <laughs> <laughs> but we had questions in saying, you know, could I achieve this as a beginner? And the answer was yes. I do remember that. Yes. There's, it's all one technique the whole way through. So if you can master that one technique, there's no reason why you can't do all the little bits. You know, once you've, once you've cracked it, you've cracked it. And I would imagine that it's still on the catch-up, do you think? I would, yes, it should, be. Still on yeah, it should be. it should be because we have that for through the days. hours. We did the otter block, lovely. Which, when we got the orders through, was one of the favourites. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Ah. So, uh, so we picked a good one there, Catherine. We did, didn't we? We certainly did. And of course, you can make your cushions, you can make your bags, you can use these characters however you wish. If you want to make the full quilt, you certainly can as well. But only twenty-four ninety-nine for the entire book there, so you can create all of these that you see. In three eight eight six zero three is the item number. Absolutely beautiful. Now, something else we've got for you is the long, raggy tweed strips. Always, always popular. Yes, now you'll get um, a lovely selection here. They will vary in colour, they'll vary in design, but they are tweed, of course, only $17.99. That is an absolute bargain. of 100% wool tweed, it feels divine as it would, because it is, exactly as I said, 100% wool tweed. Beautiful colours, a nice mix. Anthea is very careful that she does give a lovely combination of different colours and styles. We have got one to show you, and Anthea's got one over at her side as well. We will see it in a little while. 723-428 is the item number if you are going for, of course, those strips. We've We've also got the Tweed Treasure. Now again, contents may vary. $26.99, oh sorry, $26.97 for this one. I'm cheating you out a couple of pence there. Three pounds saving, 842.723. Historically, we often sell out of these. You know, you love these, so do make the most of them while we've got them. We've got another one today as well. We've got the Tartan Gold for you. There you are, of course. The key is in the name. You've got lots of different tartans. Again, assorted sizes of tweed here, assorted colours. We'll have a little look at these again later. 1999 Very important to point those out while I can quite early on because they always, always fly. So make sure you check those baskets out. In the meantime, though, shall we get over to Anthea? What have you got over there, Anthea? Well, I was just going to have a little chat about um, about this. Um, did you want to open one of these or should I? You can do it. Oh, I shall I? Yeah. Oh, I feel important today. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, just give you a, a, a little look through. So um, if anybody's made anything with these, please, please, please send pictures in. Oh, yes, we love that. I know you've done a quilt. I think you could send your picture in. I should have rang her on the way down, shouldn't I, and said so. So, um, so what these are is when the mill are making sample books, I go along there and I buy up everything that's left over from that. And then we pick through it and we sort it. So we have the, the rolly ones, we have the long ones, we have the the raggy gold dust we haven't got any of that left after the one day special last time these catherine these are just a few that yeah. um i miscounted last time i was here so we sold out but i hadn't given you all the stock ah, so, so this is the extra yeah yeah oh, wonderful. so this isn't like she's got a new batch this is just dozy duck can't count <laughs> <laughs> Well, so when it's gone, I'm it, is, it, to visit, it, yeah, it is to gone this, this one. Okay. Um, and I know tomorrow, the Sunday show, I'm expecting to be quite busy. So if you want to get ahead, yeah. you know, um, definitely, yeah, on that definitely. One. I'll just put that to one side. So these here, these are not squares, um, but they do usually have something in common. So, um, so these here are all the same width. So you can see if you, you can join them in like your lines. Now, everyone is different. No two are alike. So you might get this selection. Oops. Or you might get this selection. Okay. Try and mix it up. And yeah. when I get down to the bottom of the box, we've got what we've got. But as far as I can, I'll give, in fact, I'm going to open one of these. If Sylve's watching, she's going to go nutty because she, was like, she doesn't like rolling these. <laughs> She'll be playing pop at me. These here, um, you might look at them and think, oh, they're not as, you know, they're not the same size. But arguably, 
I think these are better. And where possible, I'll try and give you a mixture of okay. both. Oh, that's but good. But look at these. So oh, nice. these are the same width yeah. as those, but you get a longer bit. Yes. Yeah, so arguably, it's, it's more usable, isn't it? Yeah. Arguably. It depends what you're doing, of course. Well, that's um, it. You don't know what anybody's but, going to use them for. And quite well, often people will buy knowing they will use them for something, but aren't sure even themselves at the time. Yeah. Now, if you want um, a, a kind of a, a size idea, yeah. if you reckon that one of these would make up to the size of a cushion, and I'm not specifying if it's 16 or 18 inch, just the size of a cushion, just make it up yourself. So let's a half a metre. Let, okay. Let's, yeah, half a metre square, roughly. Um, so if you want to make a, a, a lap quilt and you've got four, you yeah. roughly have a metre square. It does depend what you do with it, because if you cut them down smaller, you're going to have more seam allowances and it's going to soak up some yeah, of your fabric. Of so it, it, this is a rough guide. If I laid these out, you know, that half metre, fat, fat quarter. Hey, get me thinking, cap on, Catherine, I'm a quilter. <laughs> <laughs> roughly, roughly, that's the size you're looking at. So um, four of these is a metre. I know we've got three in the bundle, which is 26, but, yeah. you know, you've got, like, almost a metre there. For that is, that is such off. good value. It's, it's a cracker, isn't and it? And I think it is lovely to have that surprise element when you get them home as well, where well, you don't know exactly what you're getting. So, yes, grab yours today. £3 saving, 26 97 for those three rolls. In fact, there's 300 grams there, 842723. Right, back to you, Anthea. I was going to say, um, if you're in a plea care, so if you, if you came to me just as, as a, a one-off customer and you have variety there um, and you're going to get a bit of all sorts and I know we said it last time but the quilt, the new quilt, the Great British Baltimore, you know some of these would go towards some of that applique, it doesn't have to be exactly the same of as mine, not. you can change the colours yeah, and you've got the you templates want. in the book haven't you so definitely, you can recreate definitely. even if you do do the same colours to begin Absolutely. with. Absolutely, you know you can go like a, a pastel thing, you can go whatever but these are the, the fantastic and you're into your mixed media and stuff aren't you? Oh yeah. So how would you use these with the things you do? do, do I would make little covers for books and notebooks, I would chop into it and do almost an applique onto mm. the front of a book or something but also yeah. I love my sock press as well. I would make clothing for my little crochet Dolls. Oh yeah, yeah, little bags yeah. and accessories yeah. perhaps. Yeah. I'm thinking teddy bears. Yeah, teddy definitely. bears, the inners of ears, and that sort of thing. Absolutely. Pads on feet. Yeah, pads. Yeah, uh, and some of them, but well, the planes don't tend to fray that well because it's a more dense weave. So yeah, it seems to. I don't know how it's woven differently, but you know, it is. But some of these, particularly the pattern ones, if you pull a thread out, they fray beautifully. When you want them to fray, they don't fray like you want. But, uh, if you pull them out, so like if you're a card crafter, you've got that lovely frayed edge. Yeah, even you know, the fray is using much, mixed media. Yeah, yeah, so fray as much out as you want. You can see how easily it's, it's coming out, and then it knots and proves me wrong. So you've got a lovely fringe there. If I put a dark one behind, you might oh, see it Oh, that looks a like better. a lovely scarf for it. It's teddy nice, bear, isn't one. it? Yeah, yeah oh yeah, teddy bear scarf. Yeah. In fact, Catherine, we used things like this. We did a, a thing of snowmen once for the wall and put little loose uh, hats and scarves on. Oh, and these are the kind of things that, that we use for that. They look really, really good. So if you want your, your small bits, this is your way to go. Actually, um, that's <coughs> what I would use. You just made me think. I would Ooh. make things for the Christmas tree out of those scraps. Yeah. Tweed ornaments, little mice perhaps, little, I don't nice. know, little characters, because you can keep them quite simple, can't you? I feel like I need to chuck you some over in some scissors and see what you come up with by the end of the hour. <laughs> challenge, ca we'll just play challenge for an hour. Look, we'll challenge, just, actually. Yeah. I really would love that. It'll turn into a craft along, won't it? It would. Oh, no, I'm up for that any time. 842723 yeah. is the but, item number if you are going for the Tweed <clears> Treasure. Uh, we've got the long raggy strips. Let me just show you those properly now because we saw an image of them. This is what you're going to get. It looks like an octopus. Uh, you've got these for $17.99. Incredible value. Absolutely amazing. Different assortments, of course. Nice surprise when you get them home to see what you've been given. 723428 for that one. So lots to think about here. Anthea, can we get back to you again? What yeah, else can we talk about? These are whoppers this time. Um, I met a lady. Um, she was at Yarndale a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, she was called Jill, and I can't remember what her company was called. She does quilling with these. Really? Yeah. And she'd made, well, she actually gave me a pin cushion. I used to bring it with me, but I've misplaced it. And all she'd done was, you know, like quilling? Yeah. Just rolled it up. 
and then got a long needle and sewed, you know, between to secure it. Yeah. It was a doll needle that she used, but if you put all the different colours on, she made like little roses. Really? They were beautiful. And she'd got this um, amazing Highland cow. She'd put all the like the, the earthy colours together, little rolls, and joined them together and made this Highland cow. How it was amazing. Amazing, yeah. I, f I found her because all these ladies were buying them from Yarndale. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, we've never sold this many before. And then I, I started saying, what are you doing? And I'm saying, oh, we're doing what she's doing round there. Just so that I went intriguing. round for a look. And it was just fantastic. Yeah, just. Um, <coughs> Gonna have a play just now. Roll I've just them pulled up. one of these. Uh, I'll pull one out too. I'm making like a rose colour. right now. I'll do it in a yeah. different way though. So just just roll it up. Okay. I'm doing a slightly different version, I'm fear. Oh yeah, definitely. Wait a minute. Oh Catherine, you've got that's that'd make a gorgeous corsage. That's hey. nice, isn't it? Hair Top of the class. Oh yeah. Brooches. Oh, I'll tell you little girls um little headbands. But yes. What do you think? And even, rose um, you know, like if you're going to a wedding and you're a crafter on your handbag, little corsage, you could, handbag corsage. I, actually, funnily enough, I went, I've never been to the races once. I went on Ladies Day and I made my own accessories. Uh -huh. And uh, I made a, a headdress, I decorated my bag and my shoes as well. You could they do that, be couldn't fabulous. you? Could make, you, know, you really yeah. could make a whole new outfit out of something that you've maybe had in the wardrobe a while that needs updating a little bit or just a change. Yeah, yeah. So I'm making a pig's ear of mine, to be honest, Catherine. I'm all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> but if you well, start the putting... theme is on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now, you see, ladies and gents at home, just pour yourself a drink and we're just gonna we're just going to play now. This is totally unplanned, but I've kind of just pleated that and I'm going to go around and just pleat some more and just see what happens so once you start putting another colour on obviously if you were doing this you'd be sewing through I've made and, a bigger rose now I've used it. the whole of oh, that strip oh Catherine you are showing off look. like mad look at Catherine's it's, it's just a shame I haven't got a needle and thread because as soon as I let go it's going to go yeah Catherine let's, let's... <laughs> they are on the end yeah. and that even suits you that looks lovely <laughs> <laughs> There if I did that, I'd look like I'd come out of the, come out of work with something stuck on my head. <laughs> you oh, look dear. beautiful, beautiful. Right, so that's that, and there's not a lot of these, so um, you know, get them tonight because they will go tomorrow. And then finally, we hardly ever, ever have the tartan. It it doesn't come. Is that why often. you call it gold dust? Well, it's gold. It's just it's just gold, Catherine. Let me just shimmy them out of the way. So you've got in here. Loads. Mm. Now, what would you do with this? I'm, at some point, I'm going to join some together. I might even do it this weekend here. I just, I just think a cushion with a Westie or a Scotty dog on. But once you start, but now they're not all this size. You do get all sorts. So you've I know got, I do with that. I'm fair. Go on. Because I'm from Yorkshire, I'd patchwork that together and make a flat cap. Oh yes. Hey, she's on one, ladies and gents. Do you want to swap places? Do you want to come here? <laughs> so I'm just trying to get a few of the smaller ones out as well, so you can see that there's a variety. Now, I don't know about you guys at home, but coming up for Christmas, we all want to be Scottish, don't we? You know, it's like the pinnacle of being oh, Christmas. I... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys north of the border, you've got it sussed, your Christmas central. But all these little ones, I mean, little, you know, like your tags and your... Um, yeah. You've got some in your box as well, Catherine, if you want to show us all what we should do. Um, you know, tying things up, you can make your gift labels, you can fray them, you can applique onto them, you can layer them. Uh, there's all colours, some of them are browns, some of them are green, red, uh, all, all the different tartans. We've got a bit of brown there. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you the biggest, um, you know. But if you joined all these together, what you're getting is an A4 bag full of these. It's just full. Um, so... Uh, there's an idea come from the gallery, actually. That's oh, a good that? idea. So that's why I'm going to pretend it's mine. Go on, then. If you've got one of those metal wreaths, those metal wreaths Definitely. and tie, because you've got all sorts of different strips, so you could cut these smaller or use the smaller ones and then tie <coughs> them around and make a beautiful tartan wreath. The you know, small, those sort of yeah. raggy wreaths. Definitely the smaller ones, easy yeah. peasy, and the bigger ones, just, just cut them down. 
you know, you'd get how many. I'll tell you what, um, when Gail comes with those gorgeous wreaths that she does, you know, the uh, the ones with the, the teddies on and all that kind of thing, they'd be fabulous, wouldn't they? So, um, uh, yeah, I just wanted we've, to... We've got another box of this here, Anthea, because you've got lots of reds and blacks in there, but yeah. because there's a lovely selection, the box yeah. I've got here, you can see, looks... So I just wanted to selection again. Shove my sewing machine up a bit. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of, of of a surface area that you might get. So I'm just laying out. I'm not paying any attention to colour or anything like that. Um, I'm just trying to lay out to give you an idea if you were joining them together, what you'd get. I'm picking you might the bigger disappear ones first. Away from the uh, camera ooh, there ooh, because ooh, showing ooh, the overhead. Oh yes, I've got me. I've got You're me all right at the minute. <laughs> You're all right at the minute, but the more it grows, the more you'll disappear. Yeah. So I haven't even made a dint in this box. So, I mean, what have I got there? I must have two cushion fronts easily there. And look what's left. Brilliant. It's oh, raining that's tweed. What I think. So that is, that's perfect. Now, I hardly ever bring this. I've only ever brought it two or three times. Have you? I don't think I've brought it more than three. I, well, I might grab be your wrong, stay, but just in case we don't sit again for a long time then. Yeah, so if you want it, um, so the idea was it was for tomorrow, but we've snuck it onto today. So again, if you want to get ahead, yeah, do <laughs> so. Because I know Sunday mornings are ridiculously busy, aren't they? So uh, yeah, but I mean, you mix media and everything. These are perfect, perfect. aren't Absolutely they? Perfect. Absolutely yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. You know, your little tweedy teds, put them in a little neck scarf on, whatever. So um, right, shall I tidy up and you uh, tidy up? I'll get the about... details on there. So grab yeah. yours under item number four eight eight two zero one nineteen ninety nine. If you want more than one batch, you can do while well, we've got the stocks. But be uh, be quick because yes, they do tend to disappear very very quickly. In fact, when it comes to the gold, almost half of the stock has gone. Make sure you check those baskets out. The Tweed Treasure. These are the rolls. Contents may vary, of course, with the colours, as we've discussed there. 300 grams you're getting, 26.97. You're not going to be disappointed, whatever you get. £3 saving, 842.723. And then if you want to make your own flowers or your quilling with tweed or whatever else you decide to do with it, your raggy tweed strips are 17.99. I still think it looks like an octopus there as well. 723.428 is the item number. So lots to think about. Don't forget, we've got lots of books on offer as well. The pattern book. We've got more to get through as well because we have covered the farm. But what about moving away from the farm? Shall we go to the teddy bear's picnic? Let's do that. Another one at just $23.99. That's saving again. If you take all the patterns individually, then the price would tot up to $58.49. $34.50 is the saving here. We have got a beautiful sample of this one on the front cover. You can see all those images there. Again, if you want to break this one down, make your bags, your blocks, your various bits and pieces, you can do. Um, I'm looking for the sample of this one. Have we got it? Have we got it? It's this one here. I, yeah. The t oh, this is big. How am I going to hold this one up? Oh, are we able to do that? Are we able to? Hang on, hang on. I'll lift it right above my head and show you as much as possible. Is it wrong way around? It is. Let's tell me when I can stop because I can't see. Right, okay. Don't leave me here too long because my arms will ache and I can't see the item number, but it is beautiful even from the back. It, it is gorgeous, isn't it? It is. It is, yeah. We love this one. Um, so we just, we were thinking about what would you, what would the teddy bear's picnic look like? <laughs> what would they do at this picnic? Um, so there's, there's all sorts in there. Have they been cheeky to you, Catherine? I can just tell by your face. I think, I they're, think being um, they're, they're being mean to me. They're being mean to me, Anthony. That's what they're doing. <laughs> uh, 135493 is the item. I am going to hold this above my head again in a second because I'm trying to fold it a little bit more in half so we can see the bottom edge. Oh, this is a great picnic blanket for yourself as well, isn't it? Hang on a minute. Here we go. Can we see a little bit more now? Yeah, you've got mum and dad, you've got um, you've got Robin Hood at the bottom shooting uh, an apple off somebody's head, you've got bubbles, you've got Peeping Tom, you've got everything in there. It's, it's beautiful, it really is gorgeous. In the morning, Absolutely stunning. Do, oh, look at the bottom there. <laughs> I've just spotted the bear with his head in the honey bowl. Yeah, and you've got the clock there for six o'clock. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, it is beautiful. And because of the 100% tweed, it's a nice weighty piece. It's, it's beautiful. It's going to hang beautifully, but, you isn't know, it? You know, if you didn't want to make that in tweed, it would work in cotton too. Would it? Just get the book. It would work in cotton. Um, now, my friend, Jean, yeah. <laughs> She, she came up, this is when we were making this, and we're all sat outside doing the social distance thing. And uh, we, we were like having a bit of a planning session, so it's me and Sue and Jean, like, you know, outside, <laughs> different size of the coffee table. And I hung all our quilts on the washing line, and I said, because she's a beginner, and I said, which one would you do? So she pointed to the one that she would do. Yeah. And uh, I said, why is that the one you do? She said, because I thought it would be more achievable. Okay. So we actually made that according to what a beginner thought she could manage yeah yeah Interesting, so that the piecing part the element i mean the the, the applique is really simple because the bears you know it, it's a simple shape isn't it but the whole thing is designed around a beginner doing it so there's nothing too technical in there at all absolutely amazing grab it that is a lovely book to go for actually teddy bears picnic we've just seen the quilt but you can make whatever you wish of course you've got the templates in there as well one three five four nine three now the next one blossom hill let's have a look at this we've got the sample for this hung up in the studio as well this is beautiful Anthea. Again, you can break this one down in so many different ways. You could add some more, you can improvise as well, because I know you're, you're keen on that, aren't you? Letting people put it. their own touches Absolutely as well. Absolutely love it. So this is arguably one of my favourites. I keep wanting to say one of the others and I keep coming back to this one. To me, it's peaceful. Yeah. It's really peaceful, it's tranquil. I can hear that kind of Japanese music. I don't know what instrument is it they play. You know that twangy? Yeah, <laughs> you know what no, I mean? I, yeah. <laughs> Um, somebody let us know what instrument it is but I absolutely love it I love the pink trees to resemble the cherry blossom I love the koi in the, the, the bottom I love the tea house I love all the little imperial uh, buildings I just think it's really tranquil and we've used like, for the trees there colours that we wouldn't normally use on our regular British uh, landscape kind of thing that we go for um, and did you know the clouds have meanings in, in really? Japan? Did yeah, I mean, don't, don't question me, because <laughs> I can't tell you just what they are. The clouds, shapes she comes and everything, yeah, loads and loads of meaning. Um, and you've got Mount Fuji at the top there. It it's, is gorgeous. Uh, I love yeah. the gold in that as well. You've got the, yeah. the light in the, the windows lights on, and they? the fish in the, yeah, definitely. in the lake there as well. Yeah. In the book itself, you get the instruction for the quilt. You've got the red crowned crane wall hanging. You've got the red crowned crane zip up bag. You've got the Japanese bunting. You've got the sashiko cushion. And you've got the Japanese knot bag as well. Sash I can never say that. Sashiko. <laughs> sashiko. Sashiko. Yeah. So what, sashiko. what it was, because I'm a bit soft me you know like when i think i've, I've got enough to do and uh, and i decided that because it's one technique the whole way through i thought oh i need to give some value for money so we put the extra projects in so that you could really get you know get get some bang for your buck in there and i really like it and the red cranes have been really really popular yeah i yeah. can imagine lovely book isn't it 765756 is the item of your to go for blossom hill then we've got another one, the final one on the counter, another wonderful book. Now, this one is busy. Ah, well, that's because it's the <laughs> Great British Baltimore. We've seen this shall one, I haven't move we? Out the way? Which oh, way shall I go? Let me one just way. open up as well. Now, Anthea, I seem to remember when I did the launch oh, for the yeah. one-day special, there was yeah. something we mentioned about this book. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. What was it? So, uh, we talked about, because the... the the blocks there were like cushion size yeah and uh, we decided that we would put a smaller version for a5 oops so they're in they're here so I made them all smaller oh, did you do and it? and flipped them brilliant so your drawings well, let me get one of the drawings to hand one of the big drawings so <clears throat> can you see here this has been reversed for the quilt yeah and on the little one, it's the other way around. Can you just bring the little one down a little bit? Yeah, sure. So we can see it, Anthea, because it's just out of shot. Have you got it there? 
that, that's a little bit we're in, yeah we we're can in, see yeah. it now so so that's the one for the main quilt and if you wanted to flip it back again your easiest way to flip it back if you can't do the technology put some grease proof paper on trace it and turn your grease proof paper over hey presto you've reversed it amazing so yeah they um they're great they would make um greetings you know, if you wanted yeah. to do, because you wouldn't need necessarily to sew all those. You could just stick the fabric down, couldn't you? With a few. Wanted to do a card. You could. Mm -hmm. Do you know? I'm. I just think you're so generous because I remember we launched that one day special, and it was, mm -hmm. I don't know if it came from a question from a customer. I can't remember now, but um, it was a question about could you flip or resize images? Do you allow us to do that? And you very generous said <laughs> I will put in the A5 size and I will flip those so you gave us far more than we ever would have expected from that but I, the, the thing is Catherine when when I'm there and I'm at the computer and everything it's easy for me to do it where I'm aware that at home you might not necessarily have all yeah. the wherewithal to resize or, especially if something's got lots of detail on can you be bothered to to redraw it well I can do it really easily and I just think you know, I'm, I'm, we're all, we're, you know, I'm one of you, really. You know, I just want the most for my money. So that's kind of the thing. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, for a small amount of effort, I can give you so much more easily. It is and brilliant, I enjoy doing that, Catherine. Well, I'm thinking, you know, you can make the quilt, of course, but if you maybe wanted to make a bag, you might want to use one of the smaller images that matches or a different animal, maybe make a purse to go in the bag or a yeah. little hold all. It's entirely up to you how you use those images. Right, item number 388603. We are busy on this one. 2499 that's all it is. You've got all of those different panels within that book as well, which is absolutely fantastic value. Anthea, have you got any other sort of demo we can Well, I have say? actually, because I've, I've had a request. Have you? I have had a request, yeah. Oh. So, um, because we do lots and lots of wall hangings and, and lots of all sorts, really. But when we're all showing things, we tend in the main to show the big thing. Yeah. And I've had a request for binding. Oh. So, how do you bind a quilt? And I've just actually thought, we haven't even touched on hanging sleeves could do that at the same time couldn't I I'm kind of symbolically doing it on a small okay. scale because we, we just wouldn't have have the time so let's just take this a li little bit further in fact I'm gonna just reduce the size of the of the demo because then I can get round okay. with bear with me at home ladies and gents won't be a sec right <laughs> so hanging sleeves I've just thrown this one in so you want to know how to hang your wall hanging. The ones on the counter, Catherine, the farmyard ones, yeah. I think they might have hanging sleeves on. I can't even remember. Let's have a look. That, look. Yeah, yes, it has. On. I see, yeah, I see so what you mean. If you Just can see where one. Catherine's fingers are going through. So if you want to hang something on the wall, you want to put a little dowel through. Yeah. So you've got the hanging sleeve to do that. Now, if you might take notice, it's slightly... Catherine, before you turn it back round, you show people it's not quite as wide no. as the project. Um, probably I would make it a little shorter than that even. Not much. Okay. But if you put some hooks in your wall, picture hooks or a little, you know, just a regular hook, you want your hooks to hide behind. So yeah. you're not gonna you're not gonna see them. So your hanging sleeve, your finished hanging sleeve, it's going to let me turn it around. It's going to allow you to put your hooks in here and have your batten going across okay. and everything's going to be behind so it more looks like your your hanging is floating on the wall yeah so it's it's just the most simple thing so we're going to pretend that this little piece of um, in our form is, is your hanging so what I would do is start out cut your hanging sleeve and you want it just the right size to get a dowel through so if it's a big quilt it's going to be a bigger hanging sleeve than um, Oops, let me get my glasses. Hang on a sec, If you were hanging gents. a really heavy quilt, would you use something like a, a broom handle? You could use a broom handle or a piece of 2 by one yeah. if it's a really big, heavy thing. Oh. Excuse me, I'm just fertling for my specs. Um, they are in here. We have got details on the screen for the best of the farm pattern booklet. Is the geese in that one? Is it in um, the best of? Not sure. Let's I know what is in it. Let me pick this bag up. <laughs> My favourite bag is. I'm yes, sure it is. Uh, the goose chase is in there. The goose is in, is in it as well. And you know, I kept making a a, a boo boo because sometimes I called it goose chase and some sometimes I called it goose step. Now I've got a dark brown thread in the machine, and I figured that that would show up best when because we're just looking at the demo. 
Right, so my sizes and everything, we're not really worried about sizes with, with this because I'm just showing you how to do it. And your okay. individual project, the sizes, you know, you're going to change it. And there's no fixed size for this. Make it up as you go along. And often, the best thing to use is, you know when you've backed your quilt and you've, you've cut that bit, because, rewind, you might get two pieces of fabric and join them together put your quilt on and then you, you do your quilting and you've cut that big big piece off yeah. the side and you think, oh, what a waste, oh, that's cost me a fortune. Use that for your binding and your hanging what sleeve. What a good idea. Yeah, I'm all for thrift, all for thrift. So, um, so I, what I've done, I've just cut a piece of fabric to a size that I think is, is going to be nice. And then there is a million ways to do this and there's YouTube demonstrations you can watch. I've just um, turned it right sides together and done a hem, turn it back round because now I've got a nice edge. Now you would press this, I'm going to do a bit of finger pressing and then put it there on my, my symbolic quilt and it's not quite as wide as the quilt which is great because my hooks can go there. Got you. Now just tack it on, stitch it on, whatever and I would use um, just an eighth of an inch at this stage. Don't use your full quarter inch. And the reason for that, I'll show you in a sec. Let's just go along. Oh, I've got a bouncy table. <laughs> Sliding on one of those exercise machines. <laughs> <laughs> so I've tacked that on. On the good side of the quilt, I've now got a row of stitching. So if I'd done a quarter inch and it was down here, and then put my binding on and don't quite use the same seam allowance and cover the stitching, it would show, wouldn't it? So yeah. I've just done, it's just an eighth of an inch, it's just to hold it at this stage. Right. <clears throat> this edge here, this, this side, what we're going to do is, is hand stitch it, just catch it on. Now you're going to put this on at the end of your quilt making process. Right. Because if you quilt all over, yeah. you don't want to quilt over that. Because oh, you no, won't get your dowel you through, will ah, you? Good point. So putting this on at the end. If you've put it on early, just leave it flipped up and then you've done your quilting yeah. and then put it back down. And you're just going to catch it on. No one's going to see it. So as long as you're not, your needle's not going through to the other side, you can just be as, as rough as you want. And again, we would be using an iron, but this is a bit impromptu. So there's lots of different ideas for your binding. Now, if you're doing a circular quilt or one with like uh, curved sides, you would want a bias binding. And the reason you want a bias binding is because it will stretch. Yeah, it's got to work so to the shape. When the fabric's straight, it's kind of taut that way, you know, there's no yeah. stretch in that at all. If I go diagonally, can you see it's stretchy? Yeah. Yeah. So if, you, if your quilt is round or it's curved edge, you need a bias binding but in the main our quilts and wall hangings the square so you have no no need for a bias edge so what i would do is um just cut two and a half inch wide strips a lot of books tell you to cut two inches but i find two inches i'm struggling sometimes yeah. to get it round to the yeah, other side of the quilt the seam allowance, haven't you? So. yeah so i like two and a half inches and if it's okay. a bit bigger on the back who cares yeah. <laughs> it's out of sight isn't it so you've got your, um, I'm going to cut this in half so I can show you how to join your strips. She says, hoping she does it properly. <laughs> Are you mitering? Yeah. So when you're joining your strips, we don't want to just join them together like that because we're going to have a seam. And when you fold it in half, you're going to have a more bulky seam. So what we're going to do is join it, what they say, on the diagonal. Okay. So put your fabric together. Now... I can never remember which way you're supposed to sew. So a good little trick is what we're going to do is sew from the point on that one to the point on the one below. Got you. Yep. Now just to check that I'm going the right direction, I'm going to put a pin in diagonally and then I'm going to open this out. Can you see that's ah, now... Yes, you've got it right. Yeah. If I sewed that way when I open it out, can you see? Ah, I've gone a bit wrong. Different result, yeah. Isn't it? yeah, and if you have to unpick, let me assure you, you won't be the only one because I have loads and loads of times. 
So um, we were giving stars out yesterday for top tips. Oh, can and I start I, today? I think, shall we give her a gold star? Yes, please. Yes. Hey, maybe I could get a seat gold on Adam's star. bus for this. It's a really handy one, though. It's a really good <laughs> tip, that. Right, so easy peasy. Just so straight across, corner to corner. It's down, where's my foot pedal? I've got a question, Anthea, actually, about um, the tweed, the 100% tweed. Yeah. Would you recommend a certain, if you're doing a straight stitch, a certain length of stitch and also Ooh. the cotton, what type of thread would you use? Right. Well, I always use cotton thread. I'm a quilter and that's that's what we use. Okay. Uh, and wool thread, I think, is a bit dearer, isn't it? So I, I've, I've had great success with cotton um, and that, that's worked fine for me. I do tend to use a slightly longer stitch because being yeah. a thicker fabric, I just find that... If you use your regular size stitch, you can be a little bit, yeah. you know, whereas that longer stitch, it just allows it to just like, you know, gracefully lollop along through your quilt. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I might give you another star for that, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Can I'm I give you a gold a or is it bus. silver for that one? <laughs> right, so you've, Go on, you've we'll stitched give you, We'll give you another gold <laughs> one for that. You've stitched across, you've opened out and it works and your sides are even, relatively even will do. Now let's trim this off. Now then, scary bit. Do it to about an eighth of an inch, as small as you can get away with, really, because we don't want the bulk. And I'm just going to finger press, and we're going to finger press it open. You know, iron it if you've got an iron, but uh, yeah. we're not that organised. Is it tweed? We use steam or not use steam? I use steam. Um, it, it, it isn't enough just to... Um, you know, like when you're doing your fusible web, yeah, just to do a dry That's iron. That's what it was. Your fusible web doesn't something. stick properly, right? So you seam open, and then clever bit. If you watch as I fold that over, can you see the seam is now spread out as far as it possibly can be from here, right over yeah. to here. So that seam is causing the least amount of bulk it's that it's possible. It? God, yeah. It makes so much sense now you can see it. Yeah, so that's that's why we do that. And also, and I learnt this off Michaela when she did the seaside quilt, um, the borders, they were just a little bit longer than the fabric. Yeah. So she's joined her borders like this. Oh. She said rather than just put, you know, join a bit on the end, yeah. she's joined the long strip. I don't know if you can see in the centre of the borders, oh, the I diagonal line. Yeah, now you've mentioned And I think it, it's I a lot see. less obvious, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Any of the edges of the board, if we look, we can see the diagonal seam rather than the straight seam. On the blue, on the lighter blue, the herringbone around the edge. This is for the purpose of Mr Baker, not you viewers at home, by the way. Uh, because I'm sure you've spotted it already. We're just coming down here now. Let's, you will find it, Mr Baker. Keep going, keep going. It's like golden shot. It's like golden shot. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot it less obvious, neat. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, very neat. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, <laughs> oh, can I just say as well that um, the stuff on the counter in the main today was illustrated by Sue. And okay. I just want to say what a talented artist Sue is. Well, she certainly is. Are she we allowed certainly to say her last is. name or does she not like her last name? Lenny. Yeah, Sue Lenny. Sue Lenny. Mm. Well, well Le Lenahan. Our yes, Lenny. absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. and I found that other bag that I was looking for earlier She's, do, she's well. done all right, hasn't she? She's, uh, yeah, she's earned her stripes today. So, oh, um, can we give her a gold star, on? Yeah, Sue, you can have a gold star as well. Okay. So, right, anyway, we're attaching this binding. So, what I'm doing is raw edges. So, I folded that in half. You would have pressed it at home. Raw edges of your quilt and raw edges of your binding together. So, that's the prompt you need, isn't it? So I'm just putting that pin in to show you, and this is an exaggerated thing, just leave a couple of inches loose before you start sewing. And that's when we get back at the, the little um, teeth in, back at the end when we've gone all the way around. Okay, so, yeah. Quarter inch seam. So I'll pull my pin out before I crunch my needle. It had an accident earlier on, so I'm hoping it's going to behave. And the thing that you're really wanting to get out of this demonstration now is the mitred corner. Because if oh, you can't do please. a mitred corner, this is the thing that fills you with dread. So I'm chugging down and I'm stopping about a quarter inch from the corner. Okay. I've got my needle in. Now, yeah. the, 
Some people leave the needle in, some people don't. I like mine in, sometimes I take it out, it depends. But while the needle's in, I can do whatever I want with course, that. You just pin and it on it's it. not gonna nothing's moving. So I like to leave the needle in until I've decided what I actually like to do. So don't forget your binding is nicely, nicely pressed. Yeah, which so will I've make turned it easy, this round it? a quarter turn. I'll just get my foot up a bit higher. Did you know on a lot of machines if you raise your foot, you can actually raise it up another notch? And we don't all realise that. So Take your binding away from the quilt so it's 90 degrees from where you've sewn. Got you. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. And then we've got the raw edge here. Put your finger on. In fact, you know what, for the demo, I'm going to just pull it out. Bring it, fold it back so that your fold is level ah. with the top there. And you're yeah. making like a little pleat. Yeah. Put that back under the machine and just sew straight on the top. You don't have to be, you know, finickety about the sewing in this corner. And we'll go all the way down and I'll show you the next corner. That, I made my little hanging sleeve a bit too long <laughs> on this mini oh, version. Oh, you're going to go over the edge a bit. Oops. Yeah, but you showed us how to do it, Anthea. That's yeah. all that matters. We just right, now concepts. then, if I was doing a big quilt, um, this is like a deliberate mistake here. This seam is going to land right on this next corner. So oh. I might have just had a little plan, you know, held my fabric yeah, round first. Sure that just make happen. sure that you haven't got your seams on the yeah. corner. If you have, you'll be fine. You'll, you'll just take your time and you'll get through it. But, you know, if you can avoid that, if you can remember, then it does help you. Yeah. So, again, I'll pull this out and then it just lets you see a little bit better. <clears throat> so take your fabric. Oops. 90 degrees so yeah. so it was level with this line now it's level with of course now it's level with this line yeah okay yeah keep the fingers on there you don't need a pin and fold it over so that you've got it's coming down put it back under your machine and then crack on and you're going to see now how the hanging sleeve um, comes together. How are we for time, Catherine? We have got two minutes left. Oh, that's bags of time. We could make a full sample in that two minutes. Can we? Oh, what it would look like, I've no idea. But <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in fact, we're going to make the stitch length a bit bigger and then it'll get through quicker. I didn't alter the stitch length, having talked about bigger stitch lengths, because it was just a demo. So. There we go, quarter inch. Okay. Haven't broken my thread. Oops. Because I've cut my hanging sleeve off and everything. I'm hoping I've got enough to get round now because I want to show you the last bit. Right. It's exactly so, the same and down it comes again. Corner. Right yeah. then. I haven't got enough to get all the way back round to my start. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just break it off just for the purposes of this. You've done two, Connor, so we can yeah. see how right. it works. And let's come back in and do the bottom, the bottom corner. Right, so, oh, in fact, I'm just going to cut it off, Catherine. I can't cope with this. There we go. <laughs> okay. Cut it off. So I'm now onto the bottom side, right? Yeah. And I want to join these up. Now, there's lots and lots of ways to do this, and some people have a way of measuring and sewing it. Uh, so that it's like a mitre join yeah. and it works perfectly. I can't ever remember how to do that. So all I do <coughs> is just start sewing along your bottom edge. And I always have my join on the bottom edge and I don't put it in the middle so that it's not obvious. Oh, uh, yeah, because you tend to, yeah, your eyes draw to the centre. So I've it? got nearly back and you can see that's got to be extra and this has got to be extra. Yeah. One of them's got to be cut down. Okay. And I'm going to cut... Oh, we're in the last minute, aren't we? That one down. Right, I'm going to turn under a Got seam you. allowance on there. Oops, I'm going to slot this one inside. And then I'm just going to sew straight over ah. the join. Now, a little nice. panicked at the end there, but you'll see. What we do now is we turn the binding over to the other side, apart from the little pleat I've put in, once your quilt's finished, who is going to notice that join there? Lovely. Not at all. Wonderful. Your corners will flip over 
and when you're hand stitching them on the back you'll just manipulate amazing them. There you go. Perfect mitre. Do you know you don't get a gold star for that one though, Anthea? You can have a platinum one. <laughs> oh, a yes. platinum one. Anthea's <laughs> back tomorrow. Yes, she is. So join in then. Check your baskets out. Don't miss out on these deals. Coming up next, we've got a brand new one day special to launch menu coming up right now. Yes, we're sticking with the Fabric 3 theme. We've got Fabric Freedom Boutique one day special. Then we're back with Cyan Bondic. And then, of course, another hour with Sasha with Fabric Freedom at 8. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. to you I hope you are well the time has just struck six o'clock which means only one thing it's time to open the doors on another one day special and what a one day special I'm bringing you today first of all it's from the big name of fabric freedom so we're talking fabrics and as you can see I have a plethora of colors behind me as we are talking batiks and there is a lot to choose from but before we go down that route and we give you more details of everything that I've got here there is someone I need to introduce you to. Yes, she's renowned worldwide for her sewing skills. She's at all the big shows that there are out there, the quilters, the, 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 the craft stores, no, no. Uh, the corner shops. She's there as well. But she couldn't be with us, so we've got <laughs> Sasha not fancy instead. How are you, love? Oh, I'm fine. I love your introductions. Yes, yeah. How was the shows? Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was great to be back in that environment and it was great to see everybody. Yeah, it was just nice. A bit of normality. Still, obviously, you know, precautions well, are there. Hands. Are you working yeah. for Chicago now? Are we yeah. auditioning? Or? <laughs> yes, um, I can make it. <laughs> are you going for that route? Are you using this as time to... I'd be mama. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, yes, it was very nice. Lots of precautions, You're good but to it was mama, good. Mama, da, da, da. Oh, yes. 
I can see you as I can't remember a name from um, Hairspray. You know, uh, Big Blonde and Beautiful. Once the one, da, 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 da. is it divine, Chris? Ah, oh, divine. That could be you. Just like you. Da, 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 da. Anyway, I digress. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. It is a compliment because she's it? she's very good looking. Oh, oh well, it's me then. Maybe you could play Tracy's mom now, <laughs> Edna. So, oh, Tracy. Now, let's look at our one day special. <laughs> Michael Ball, dressed as Tracy's mum. Thank you. It's all right. Phil Jupiter's did it as well. Now, for £29.52, there are 13 <laughs> options to choose from. You are getting six half metres, is what you're getting for under £30. Shall we go through the colourways first of all? So, up first, we are getting one, two, three, four, five, six half metres, all works together. These, we were just talking before the hour, they're so on trend, tie-dye and this sort of look at the moment, sort of the bleach look, is very back on trend again. It is. It's, batiks are timeless. Everyone loves batik fabric. You know, the patterns, the colours, the vibrancy, the designs, they just are beautiful and I, there's not many people that I know that don't like batiks and I think if you are a batik addict, which so many of you are out there that I've heard this week, um, this is going to be right up your street, it really is. Absolutely beautiful, there beautiful is, what fabric. What is a batik? Let's go right there, because I, I, I know they're batiks from yeah. working here, but what is actually, what is the difference between a batik and a tie-dye, as it were? So it's the technique. Okay. So tie-dye is when you are taking your piece of cotton and you are tying it in various different ways and then immersing it into the dyes. Now, batiks is a different process where you're actually using a wax. Some people do it with glues as well, but it actually is a wax and a stenciling or a printing. And by printing with the wax, it's about the hot, cold, negative, non, and it, it's that thing. So it's, it's using the waxes, it's traditional techniques. It's, and it feels crisp, it feels fresh. Um, I really, really like batiks because you also have to have a really good cotton to start with. So before the actual process starts, you have to have a good quality cotton. You can feel the quality. You, yeah, you can. Yeah, and you they're can. beautiful patterns. So the first one was the plum. This option we're looking at now is absolutely exquisite. Uh, you've got a lot of different colorways. It's sort of like greens in here. There's browns, there's the earth tones. Uh, that's in here. here. I uh, love that so, one. So, uh, these are uh, these are the sand dunes we're going for because we got we were meant to go top row, bottom row, but me and Chris decided otherwise. Uh, so, but that is absolutely uh, stunning that you're looking at. Let's go through a few more uh, that you're getting on it. Look at that. So what would we yeah, what would we be making with these? Could we quilt with these? Is it uh, is it project ideas? Is it blankets? Is it throws, runners, bags, doorstops? So all of them, all of the above, really. So I love making quilts and patchwork with batiks, but also we're going to be doing a bag later. We've got um, like a block folder to do as well tomorrow. There's so many different things you can do with batiks, just nice. as you would with your craft cottons. But even more, if you wanted to do dressmaking with them, beautiful shirts, really beautiful, vibrant fronts or backs to waistcoats as well. Um, I mean, I love that print. I think that would make an exquisite dress, like a shift dress in the Boy. summer. Um, so, yeah, you can do what you would do with your normal craft cotton with batiks. And I think people that haven't used batiks before are a little bit cautious, and I understand that. What I would say is that um, I don't pre-wash any fabrics. I'm not a pre-wash girl, so I don't pre-wash. But with my batiks, if you want to pre-wash, that's absolutely fine. Chuck a colour catcher or whatever you choose to use in with it. If not, once you've actually made your project, I would actually wash it then if you haven't washed it before. Um, really because of the process of the batiks, it's just that if you pop some sort of um, colour catcher or something in with it, it will catch any of those looser dyes. 
So that one we just looked at at the bottom, that was your naturals. This is your pinks and purples that we're looking at now. So this is all your pinks and purples with a throw of green. And what I like about batiks, now I've got a few batiks at home um, from working here as well, is they're, they're double so You can't get, I just, I just took them. Uh, <laughs> I use them as a sarong around the house. Uh, but what you do with them is you can't go wrong. No. There's not a, there's not a front and a back. There's not a positive. <laughs> Anthea's leaving the building. There's not a positive <laughs> and a negative uh, on this one either. So if you're new to it, let me turn it around so you can see. So you tell me which is the front and which is... So you haven't got a pattern match if you don't want to. It's not that you're bad. Not yeah, you're not having to worry. And this is the other great thing as well. So when I'm working with Batik, sometimes the front is a lot more brighter and sometimes you just want to tone it down a little bit so I use the back. So again, it's almost like having a double-sided fabric with you. The other great thing that I love about batiks as well is the fact the shapes that are within it. So I tend to do a lot of free motion and use the shapes that are already there. So I'm using the pattern of the fabric. But also as well, which is really good for me, I love the colours. In one piece of fabric, you need to open these out, which is why I'm so pleased we've got them hanging up. Because in each fabric, you might pick up a folded fabric and just see green and blue. Well, actually, once you open it, there might be a massive piece of purple in there or yellow or because the colours are so intense within them. It's almost like you're opening these pieces of fabrics and getting a surprise. Like when you look at this one, for example, if that was folded, you would primarily see lemon, yellow and creams. Yeah, it's true. And all of a sudden you're getting this burgundy in there as well. Just beautiful. These are your sand dune options that we're knocking now. Really, if you want to do table runs and things like that, you're getting half metres. So all you need to do is sort of hem the edges and you're good to go with these. Pipe, pipe the edges, bead the edges. Um, use one of the other colourways. Because I don't know if you noticed, I will go through the others in a minute, uh, but they all work together. Even the pop of colour, this one here still oh, works. With this one, all, my favourite. With all the ones that you've got there. So you've got uh, sort of that unicorn-esque look uh, that you've got running through there. But as I said, it's double-sided which means you can't really go wrong uh, with what you're looking at. Then look at this, it's like Joseph's coat. That is just amazing, isn't it? And Ooh. if you put it the other way, it's a sunset. Can you see that? I just, they're just the lines in it, they work amazing. And I can, all right, I could just see a really pretty sunset in it. Yeah, I can, I can, see, a, I can see a sunset in that if I squint. I suppose you can, because you've got... Uh, you've got the C. It sort of reminds me of the scream. Yeah. Sort of picture that you've got, the background of the scream. That you, oh, look at me being cultural. Uh, it is very much of the, of the scream that you've got on there. You just need that little lady, or man, uh, standing there with the two black figures in the background just sort of looking at each other, going, what's she screaming at? We're only on up here. <laughs> uh, so, uh, from there... Uh, you've then got uh, your beautiful flowers, love these sorts of prints. As I said, uh, little dungarees uh, for little ones would be nice, little kit bags, um, little paintbrush bags and things like that. It's then nice little price, and for these sorts of prices, you can't be scared of these. For £29.50, it's worth having a little go. Uh, to do, uh, just to make your little bags and to make your little laptop cases and your new phone cases that you're going to get and things like that, worth having a little look uh, because... You're paying 4.92 for a half meter, which is ever so good value. It so is that amazing. is your desert times. 4.92 is not bad. Yeah. Not bad and at all. I think that when we, with our fabric stashes at home, we're almost a little bit selfish with our boutiques because they are expensive, and we tend to save our boutiques for ourselves. Yeah. We do, honestly. We tend to keep them for ourselves because they are expensive. They are special, and that's how I describe these fabrics. They're really special. But at this price, actually, you could make a beautiful, beautiful quilt for somebody. Well, you really can. And, even, and this is what quilters do. You get a beautiful bit of fabric, you cut it all up, and you sew it all back together again. But that, this would work with that because there's no right or wrong way uh, with this. Cut it into your smaller squares, it's going to work. Uh, start doing your appliques because for me, that looks like a field. You've got that sort of mossy field in there. Mm. Then start adding on some of your blues uh, that you've got. Uh, you start doing mountains mm. and you've, start, you've, got, you've, you've got that all there. It's all ready to go. Our Jenny uses them a lot. Our Jenny Raymond. 
Oh, she yeah. uses them a lot for her landscapes and things like that. And we're doing her textures and things because obviously for fields and trees and bark or anything like that, they work so well. You're getting that texture into the fabric. It is absolutely beautiful. Good sturdy fabric as well, which you're right. And you can feel the quality the minute you're handling. Uh, this sort of reminds me of a lily pond. Oh, it, I just, the colours are just beautiful. And I love the teals and the turquoises in there. And just, you know, you've got that purple in there as well. So you could find a little hint of colour in there and actually put other batiks or other planes with it and it. pull out that little bit of colour. You've still got that blossom as well. It reminds yeah. me of sort of blossom, sort of full. I know, you, there's so many things once you look in. And then last but not least, you've also got your leaves. Uh, beautiful leaves. And maybe you're going to start appliqueing with these. A bit of fusible webbing on the back, and that's going to be a little applique patterns. Uh, that is your greens uh, that we're looking at. There are your greens. I'm guessing these are blues that we've got next. So these are your blues options. Uh, we will go through all of them so you can see them. I want you to see have a good little look at them so you see what you're getting uh, with all of these. So these are your blue flowers. And remember, you are going to get all of these half meters. Uh, love this. Look at that. That little pop of, oh hello, uh, that little pop of colour uh, that you've got in there. Absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. That's a nice little skirt or a little shirt would look lovely. A little hanky, a little pocket cheek, hanky. Um, then uh, you've got, oh, something quite Chinese about that, I feel. Something quite oriental. Yeah, I mean, there's that pop of red in there, isn't there, with the blue, but almost that orange and yellow as well. It is quite that. So you know when you get that blue oriental with the gold and the sort of the Actually, red? Actually, yeah. Can, it's funny, isn't it, how we interpret the fabrics and what your eye may see, my eye doesn't, until you point it out. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. This one looks stenciled. You've sort of got that texture paste stencil through it. And this, would, this is what I was saying earlier about free motion quilting and free motion embroidery. Something like these fabrics with those patterns on you make the use of the patterns. You actually don't have to think about it. And I'm going to be showing you a bit later. I love them. I love, and as I say, tie-dye is very on trend at the moment. I should have worn my tie-dye socks. I have tie-dye socks. I'm going to wear them tomorrow. You're going to wear them tomorrow the for us? I will. I'll bring them in. Going to flash uh, your ankles? I'll flash my ankles. Uh, 20, just for you. Uh, 29 pounds, Edna. 29 pounds <laughs> and 52 pence is what you're looking at. 437444. Uh, then you've got magenta uh, up next, as you can see. It's the same sort of designs running all through them. Look at that for a splash of colour that you've got going on. Absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. I absolutely love that as a shirt would be beautiful. You imagine. Is that a hint? I, I keep asking. A little jacket in that. Oh. A pair of trousers. Oh, imagine a little pair of trousers. In, I'd wear them. <laughs> Derek could wear them as well. Be, this would be enough fabric for Derek. Uh, £29.52. Oh, I need to say thank you to Derek. What for? What's he done now? He left me a present at reception. Oh, he didn't do that again, did he? I've told him not to do it there. He left me a bag of his conkers. <laughs> he did. Thank you, Derek. I am so... Lily is beyond chuffed. You're she saying really thank is. you. He's not watching. No, I know. But, um, well, then I've said it and I feel better. Um, yeah, so thank you for sharing your conkers with me, Derek. Well, I never. You've seen Derek's conkers. Something that only Anthea dreams of that. No, I didn't realise you were that close either. He does wear tight trousers. Now, uh, then you've got your shamrocks. <laughs> Give me your conkers. Lovely little shamrocks that you've got on there. I like the little flower design that you've got. Then you've got the bubbles. So many choices. So... Many choices that you're looking at. So they are your um, magentas. They're your magentas. Then, should we go orange? Let's go orange next. Uh, oh, look at these for a splash of colour that you've got going on. That is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. Look at that one. That's like a scarf. That's beautiful. That is stunning. And as I said, if you cut them down to strips, uh, you can do so much with them just by simply putting them together. So you've got that, then you can turn them into things uh, that look like this as well. And this just proves how well the colours all work together. It really, really does. You've got the sort of terracotta that you've got all the way running through. And then last but no means least, uh, you've sort of got that bubble, um, the bubble design. Uh, like the, the bubble pop. What's the bubble pop? What's the... Um 
Bubble wrap. That's the word I was looking for. No one helped me. It's all right. I'm fine on my own. Uh, £29.52. That one's in I'm the quilt looking. behind me, actually. So the quilt behind me has got a lot of the oranges and the blues and the turquoise. We've and just seen that. And the turquoise. We just had a nice little, yeah, we had a nice little pan down. Oh, did you? What, yeah. when I was busy catching up? Yeah, we've... Sorry. Uh, Chrissy's, all, Chrissy's all over it. It's all over him. Sorry. We've got Chris now. Oh. He's on uh, it. Did you not hear my editorial that you can cut it into strips? No, I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, we've missed one. We've missed one. one two, three, oh, four, goodness five, me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, your lilacs. I like the lilac. I like the lilacs a lot as well. Uh, nice as pin boards, these would be. With a little bit of rick rack over them. You get a look at that though, nice little muted tone. So if you're scared of colour, this may be the way to go uh, with this one uh, that you've got. Then you've got that purple, the beautiful purple uh, and the green. Imagine um, a Christmas tree skirt done in these. This would look cute uh, that you've got in there. Uh, then uh, I love the sort of colourways. Oh, I've missed one again. Uh, the colourways that you've got bleached through. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's nice. Little pair of dungarees, little girl's summer dress in these, because they're quite lightweight as well. Little pair of shorts, uh, maybe. Uh, sort of quite something Victorian about that. I think it's the pattern and the fleur de lis that you've got uh, running all the way through there. Uh, then last but no means least, uh, we've then got uh, your beautiful um, little patterns that you've got, like the sunsets that you've got again there. They're quite tropical. Oh, look at that. That's a little sarong. Very so pretty, summer, Very it? summery. Like this little collection for maybe sort of outside cushions and outside little puffs that put your little feet on. Uh, things like that would be absolutely beautiful little puffies uh, that you've got in there. Then, uh, down at the bottom, uh, you've got your coral option. Now look at these ones, the absolutely beautiful colourways uh, in the coral that you've got in there. So you've got, oh look at that. Oh. Stunning, isn't it, that red? It is a real proper orange, red, really, really vibrant and in your face. It's beautiful. It is. I love these. And then you've, uh, I like this design. This is, I love this design. Look at that. It's absolute, that is sort of like white work that you've got going on there. Even that framed would look nice, in like little frames and put, adding your photos around them uh, would be beautiful. Then you're sort of going into your sort of uh, subtle pinks um, that you've got. These are little holiday beach bags and things. Would really, really work. Uh, then as we move on, we've also got, got the, uh, they've got stripe uh, that's in there. You've got that beautiful stripe. And then last but no means least, you've got that vivid pop of red. Oh, let's untie this. Let's see how much we're actually getting. Look at this. Uh, that you're getting. So this is your half a metre. Uh, obviously yours won't be creased like half, uh, because we've had them tied, but you are getting that. How beautiful is that? Absolutely beautiful, it really is. And there is enough, I'm guessing, uh, for a children's dress that's in there. Obviously you could go for a little skirt. Uh, you could go for a little apron. A little apron in this would be nice. Oh, they would be beautiful. Yeah, and real another contrast boutique to go with it as well for your pockets. For the little good. pocket, for the little pocket on the front. Can I take your order? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not. Little pair not of skates. I'm not looking at you. I'm not look it's look like at child, it? look. It's like a child, isn't it? It's like a child. If we look at you and give you any eye contact, it's like a child. Yeah, see. Like yeah. a red rag to a ball. See the, see the knees there, eh? <laughs> Who needs Strictly? <laughs> You'll be on next year then. I doubt it. Uh, then we've only got, we've still got, we've still got, have we still got two to do? Oh, we've got Mermaid. Uh, uh, I'll leave that there, someone tighter. Uh, then you've got your Mermaid, which are these colours. So you've got your hexagons in here, you've got your beautiful blues and greens, uh, subtle pinks that run all the way. I love that one because that is literally the sea, isn't it? You go, you go from the blue of the sea all the way through to your hill turns and your cliffs. Can and I just valley. say, the, see the one with the diamonds this on it? One, no, one. that one. That's the one we're using in a minute for the demonstration. It is quite grungy, oh, isn't it? It's quite... It is stunning. I absolutely love it. And just going around the shapes and free motioning and cutting them out is, you know, because the hexagons are there, the diamonds are there. Got little flowers. Amazing, amazing, beautiful one. 
That is mermaid, and then last but no means least, uh, you've got your, what's this one? This is your greys uh, that you're looking at at the moment as well. So this is your grey colourway. I like this colourway. I'm a big fan of grey. I know it's dull, but I'm a massive fan of grey because you can add anything to grey and it would work. For example, look at that for a pop of colour against all those greys uh, that you've got going on there. It really does uh, work. Uh, from there, we then move on to sort of your greys and your yellows uh, that you've got. Uh, then, last but no... Uh, then we've also got your blues that's on there. Uh, you've got that beautiful sort of seaweed tone that you've got running on through. Uh, then we go to your blues, love all these, and then that little flower is a little pocket square. Oh, that would be stunning. Little lining of a waistcoat, absolutely beautiful. Uh, they are all the colourways uh, that you are looking at at the moment. You are choosing uh, six. One colour option is what you want out of this, so you can choose any of the colours. Uh, that we have currently here at the moment for you. Uh, it's down to you, though, to pick. You're getting £15 off until tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. This is your one-day special. Let's bring in something else, though. Maybe you want the fat quarters. Maybe you want to go uh, for the fat quarters that we have there. Uh, 242424 is your item number for your fat quarters. Now, you can pick any two. Now, you get four in a set of your fat quarters. Uh, so you're getting eight of the fat quarters with what you're actually getting here uh, for £22.98. Uh, they are absolutely stunning. They really are. Next, we have the half metres uh, pick and mix on the shows as well. It's worth having a little look at these. Now, you can choose any two of these that I'm currently showing you. We will go more details as the hours go on, do not fear. Uh, but you can choose any two and you can find all these on the website or tap the app. Might be the quickest and the easiest way uh, to have a little look. Um, 086923. And then we've got the perfect match batiks as well on the show. Uh, these are nice. Look at this. So you've got, you're choosing two options of these. So you're getting two meters. So you're getting your blender in this, basically. So you get your main fabric with the flowers on. And then you are also getting your blender fabric as well, uh, which I absolutely adore. Love the blender fabrics that we've got on this. Uh, love it all. £12.99. Do you want to see it? Well, one more to show you. I've got the cotton poplin, a half metre pick and mix as well. Uh, busy for this already. Stocking up on all your colours you are now. This is 100% cotton poplin, half metres pick and mix. Pick any four. What? Any four for nine ninety nine. It's a bargain. It's a Brucey. These are the colourways of the. Set. These, oh my word, nine ninety nine. Any four half meters. Remember, if you buy more than one, it's fabric free, and they come on a continuous, don't they? Yeah. So it's it, this is a great time to so for stock nine ninety nine. You could get two meters of fabric on the continuous. You can. Oh, it's worth having a little look at this, if I was you. Uh, you've got all your greys, you've got all the colours that you need. Right, uh, do you want me to show you a quick trick? Watch uh, this, ready? Okay. Watch, 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 ready? Watch this. I've been impressed with my director while I've been talking, ready? Let's go for a demonstration, beat that. Hi. I just don't know what to do with him. Really don't, sorry. We did have a one-to-one -one last time I was here. That went well, though. It was an hour and a half long, but it went well. I'm still here. Yeah. Woohoo! OK. So, we're going to do That's things good. a little bit differently tonight. We are going to make a bag from beginning to end. So, in the... Um, 8 o'clock hour. Yeah, the 8 o'clock. That's the time. Thank you. So, the 8 o'clock hour, we're actually going to be putting the bag together and we are going to be doing... Um, all of that so your bag will be ready and this one we're going to be getting all those pieces ready Fabulous. so if you're not around for the eight o'clock one why not but put us on record um because you'll want to see how to finish it so the bag actually is a really really nice cute bag and i mean look at that batik on the tie dye on the front of there sorry Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Is that using the one day special? No. So this one is from the one day special. Oh. And we're going to be actually using this one for um, the one that we're doing this evening. Fabulous. But this one, I just had to get it out there because it I don't know. It looks like the sun and the moon with birds in the middle. No. Do you know what I see? What do you see? 
I see. No, I want to come this side. It's so, of a man's got a moosh, got a moosh. so I see the sun, and then I okay. see people floating all around the sun. See this one here? Like he's like having a little float in. Do you not? Yeah, okay. I, yeah, we're with you. I mean, it's absolutely stunning, and this is what I was saying about the tie dye piecing. So, the tie dye piecing, once you actually open them out, the actual designs on them are so beautiful and they're so natural because they've been done just by the way they've been tied. So, again, it's what you see those in those fabrics. So, you can quilt them, you can embellish them in any way. So, one of the pieces that I've got left over is this piece Ooh. and and again i mean it isn't it amazing it is it not, really not is inside. yeah and you can i mean some people see dan i can see a dandelion actually there can yes. you see a dandelion there i can and if you would sort of do like a stalk here but then if you turn it so when you've got salt crystals i was actually going to say if you turn it that way it looks like a dandelion with a sad face Oh, one of the joys this evening. You are, you, eh? <laughs> but no, so the tie dye ones are absolutely stunning. So, hey, mommy never take you to a children's party. I'll just imagine <laughs> you come along. Look at the dandelion with a sad face. <laughs> what a way to dampen a party. Saturday night, come on. People want to be cheered up, not made all sad. They'll be cheered up because inside this bag we're doing a pocket. Oh, Jean. There you go, see? Bought it back. Bought it back. Have you just took that idea off me? You weren't going to do a pocket, was you? No, no, the pocket is in the bag. Oh, OK. I have a divided pocket inside. Wow. Um, so the pocket inside as well, so I'm going to go through all of that. So if you wanted to obviously quilt these pieces, I'm going to show you the stage that you would start quilting them. But I didn't have time last night. But isn't that just stunning? It is beautiful. And then this one's got that added... One day special element. Yes, so... If you are at home, you are going to need, I'm going to say it really, really quickly, because it's my pattern, and you know what I'm like, check me out on Instagram, Sasha Sews, 123, if you need the pattern instructions. They are coming. I'm sorry, they are coming. They're on their way, but, you know, life gets in the way too sometimes. So, we are going to want two pieces of outside fabric, which is 17 by 13. You are going to want the same for your lining and you're going to want your same for your wadding your handles i'm going to go through um hopefully at the end of this hour if not the eight o'clock one so check that one out and your pocket that we're going to do is 17 so obviously it goes across your bag and i just want to check the size because it was very late when i cut them and that's by 12 because you're going to actually be folding this piece in half. If you want to pop a little bit of interfacing in there, you can. Um, but I'm just folding that in half. So we're going to come to that in a bit. So you are going to cut your pieces of fabric. I'll say it again, 17 by 13. And you're going to pop your wadding underneath your top fabric, so your outside fabrics. And then we're going to do a little bit of quilting. Now, I've start, it doesn't have to be a lot of quilting, <coughs> but you can actually see, I don't know if you, oh, you can, look at this. So you can actually see on this one, actually, that I've started to quilt, and I'm actually just going around some of the shapes um, oh, and yeah. picking out those hexagons. So there's hexagons in there, there's diamonds oh, in there. I see something different. That shot that we've got there, I see those little boxes, you know, the cascading stairs? Yeah. The little cubes. Yeah, Tumbl tumbling box. Yeah. Tumbling blocks. So these could be the tumbling blocks. Oh, yes. There we go. So you've got your tumbling blocks here. Um, you can also do it that you're actually quilting just flowers as well or you can turn them into hexagons. Look at the fabric and what is so important and what makes Batik so special is do what the fabric is shouting at you to do with quilting, okay? Because why would you want to go and get stencils and draw something onto this when they're so beautiful in themselves? Mm. And like you say, you know, I didn't see the tumbling blocks there. You know, you picked out the tumbling blocks. 
which is great. I saw the hexagons and the star flowers. I don't see them flowers. from this angle. From where I am now, I don't see them from here. But on that overhead camera, it's the first thing I see. I can't see hexagons. So I can see them here. Can you see them there? See, people can see flowers, tumbling blocks. Yeah, it's tumbling so blocks, flowers. So again, there. it's about just making use of the patterns that are in there and actually quilting them to what you see. Yeah. You know, what you see to what I see might be different. So I have just popped a little bit of spray on here and we're just going to do a little bit of quilting. Now, I've picked out navy thread um, because I quite like navy with the green and with the turquoise. And I'm just going to start and I'm, I'm just going to go all over. I mean, it, you can go all over if you want to. You don't have to. It's whatever you choose to do. Um, where should we start? Let's start here. If you're not feeling confident about going around the shapes, Keep your, you know, don't drop your feed dogs. You don't have to do free motion with dropping your feed dogs. Because at the end of the day, you are following the shapes. But if you're not confident, draw some lines. I was going to say, you could use a heat erasable pen do it that way. Yeah. Chalk markers, what, whatever you decide. And also, because the fabrics are so beautiful, I think you don't need too much either. You know, but this, on this bag is so... Quick and easy, it's really, really handy. And you can also change the sizes as well, which is really handy. Um, right, let's go and find another one. So we're gonna go here. And I'm just gonna do four on this piece. So as I say, I don't want an awful lot. I just want a, just a little bit of quilting just to hold the fabric, well, to hold the top fabric and the wadding together. But would you say go for the colours that inspire you the most? Go for those. We have so many colourways. There are 13 colourways uh, to choose from, from your purples to your desert sands, to your stormy skies, to your lavenders, to your pinks, to your greens, to your mermaids, to your lilacs that's in there, to your oranges. Orange now, but with it being Halloween just around oh, the corner, yeah. doing things like your pumpkins. Very on-trend things that are, are selling for fortunes. If you look at them, people are making pumpkins out of old jumpers and flocking them for 30 quid. Yeah. Um, most popular is the mermaid and the plum. Uh, looking at so the, the plum was the very first one uh, that we looked at, and the mermaid uh, was the one down the far end uh, next to the greys. That one just there. Uh, so that is one of the most popular, and then the plum one is this one just here uh, that you see over my shoulder, the very first one. Very, very busy for those two. £29.50. You are getting so much for your money. 437444 is your item number. You're getting six half metre pieces and they're 44 inches wide. So you're getting a lot of fabric uh, for your money on this one. And to make them go further, I would definitely be popping those 999 um, blenders. Oh, definitely. In well, little pop definitely be throwing some of them in that complement your colours. Um, I don't know if we've got them in the studio, but I'll see if we can find them for tomorrow. It's well worth having a look at them see if they match. It is, and if there's a colour you're not sure about and you want to order some of the poplins with it, just give us an email. Just give us a shout and I can help you out with that. Um, but when you were saying earlier about ordering, you know, you would order your favourite. I would actually, if you can, order the two. I'd order two because I would do my favourite and then a set of colours that I not normally would go for because actually some of the sets and some of the different fabrics that are in them are so beautiful, they would work so well together. That is true, and I think if, you are, if your budget will stretch... Should I stand up and do my job properly? Uh, uh, but if you are going for two sets and then you're adding your poplins in as well, that will take you over the £60 mark. Yeah. I'm sure it will do. Uh, so then you can open a flexible basket as well, which makes it even easier for you. 128412 is your item number. Uh, we've also got the fat quarters on the show as well. So maybe you just want to dip your toe in the water. Uh, we have got fat quarters on the show. There are seven options uh, to choose from in the fat quarter bundles. And you do get uh, all the different colourways uh, that are there. So you're getting all these beautiful colours. Uh, that you get. They are your oranges and pinks. Uh, then... Uh, you've got your uh, purples. These have been folded very well. Uh, that was that you, Leah? Yeah. Uh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So they are your purples. Uh, then from your purples, uh, we've then got your greens. Love this way of the green. We are going to go back to demo shortly. Do not fear about that. Uh, but I just want to show you these in case you want to dip your toe in the water. Uh, those are your greens. Uh, then we have your blues. 
Ah, beautiful, stunning blues. They really, really are. Uh, fat quarters, would we be able to create bags out of these? Yes, definitely. Will you be able to do this? Oh, so you could do this. Yeah. Uh, £22, 98 pence uh, for your fat quarters that you're looking at. So there's your blues. Um, greens or earth tones? Earth. Earthy. That we're looking at hand here. Uh, that, that could be lime. Uh, that's rust. So this one is your rust. Yeah, this looks rusty. Uh, this is your rust that we're looking at now. I like this rust though. Beautiful on the rust. I think it's that one. Look. And then you've got your bit of uh, on the show. So you've got, we'll open all these out. Uh, Catherine will open all these out later. Um, but you've got how beautiful are all of it. That is your batik splatter. Uh, that you've got there. Absolutely beautiful colourways that you were looking at. Let's go back uh, to our Sasha. Now, Fancy, you've not got long. We've only got about 20 minutes left. I know. Well, that's why I wanted to do it in two parts because I really, really think it's important. Sometimes we whiz through things so fast and I wanted to be able to show you, you know, reasonably start to finish, which I think sometimes is quite nice. So normally I'd probably do a little bit more quilting on this than I've done, but I've done four hexagons. The next thing you're going to do on both of your pieces, okay, yeah. you're going to cut out a three inch square at the bottom. Okay, so you're going to do that for both of your pieces. Okay. So this is to make your boxed bottom. You've heard me talk about boxed bottoms before. Make it's all, it, all you ever go on about makes it really nice and flat um, and it just means that your bag will actually stand and there's lots of different ways you can actually do them and i wouldn't throw them little squares away either because you can have four nice little squares there aren't you yeah so if you could you sew those together in like a longer way and have it like um uh what's the word i'm looking for like a little pen holder inside the bag and yeah be quilted yeah you could have a little, little pocket yeah you could actually you could actually sew them together and also, I've saved quite a few of them, made glasses cases, like patchwork glasses cases, that sort of thing. Oh, nice. So, yes, nothing gets wasted. Don't Especially waste with batiks it. as well. You don't, need to, you don't need to waste them because they're, they're non-directional fabrics, so you can use them for anything. No, like that's, that, which I really like. that's right. And it, like you say, if you're somebody that worries about getting those fabrics the correct way round, if you're just starting your patchwork journey, you're fine. You're fine with these because the, the front and the back... Um, let me, can I show you on this one? So the front and the back look. You'd never know. Would you? you would never know. You would never know at all. And that's why I love Batik so much. So we have cut our three by three mm -hmm. squares on the bottom. And then we're going to go to our lining. Okay. Now, our lining, you are going to, again, draw a three by three inch square on the bottom of each for a boxed bottom. The other thing that we're going to do on one piece of your lining we are going to draw a line at about three and a half inches. Now obviously there is no point in putting a pocket in the bottom of your bag for you then to cut the squares out because obviously you're going to have a big chunk of your pocket missing. So the idea is by popping it here, okay, your pocket is actually away from where your box squares are. So the first thing that we're going to do with our pocket is we're just going to top stitch along. And don't forget, we will get as far as we will get this evening and then we will pick it up and we will finish the bag on the eight o'clock show, which I think is great because you're actually seeing it in real life. Yeah, no, it's true. So, I'm just popping that. So I've just gone across the top. Catherine will be back at eight o'clock and nine o'clock tonight. Uh, so Catherine will be doing the second hour uh, of this one where we're making the bag. Okay, so stay with Catherine for that. So Catherine will be doing this at 8 o'clock uh, with our Sasha. So, we've top stitched along the top of our pocket. I've lined it up on that three and a half inch line, okay? Because that's where I know that it's away from Makes sense. the squares, okay? The we're then going to flop that down. 
and I'm going to make sure that that's all nice and lined up because what we're actually going to do when okay. I can find Larry is we're going to stitch this on and then we're going to flip it back up so that bottom of that is really oh, secure okay okay so yeah. obviously you're only going to be doing this on one side of your lining Do you know, did I tell you I've been in London for the last couple of days filming? You, ha you, you have. Is that a cheeky vlog you wanted to do there? No, but not, not cheeky, cheeky. I've just heard you spent £30 in a bakery in London. I was just going to say, Lottie! Lottie! £30 in a bakery? Lottie! What did you buy? <laughs> I bought Lottie a, a cake. Did you, Lot? She bought you a croissant. You bought Lottie a croissant. Where's mine? In the room. I did. So this bakery in London is spent thirty quid in a bakery. In a bakery. Oh, but second, oh, just could, amazing bakery. I'm saying that though, I could do that in Greg's. <laughs> Steak bake, sausage roll. Oh, no. yes. No. Now you're talking gingerbread man. How good, Lottie, is that almond croissant? I bet she's not even she's eating not it yet. Yeah, she's been too busy. Oh, do you like almond croissants? Not really. Oh, well, that's all there is. Sorry, because um, they are so good. They are so good. But I also bought this bit of cake and no word of a lie, it's about 10 inches tall and it's got loads and loads of different colours in it. Just amazing. 10 inches? Honestly, it is the biggest bit of cake that I have ever seen in my life. But Lottie, it's, I haven't told James yet. I haven't told the husband I spent that much in a cake shop. He's going to email in now and he'll be like, my wife likes cake. <laughs> you just told the nation. <laughs> Yeah, you were doing secret filming, weren't you? I was doing secret filming. Secret filming for Christmas time. Not for us, for, for, well, I can't tell you who for. So, we are, see how I, I divert? I divert, I'm very good, I can't say. So, we are going... Can I say? No, you can't oh. say. No one's allowed to say. You don't know, I haven't told anybody. Oh, OK, sorry. I won't say, I'll tell you if I'm not allowed to. It's not allowed to yet. All will come out soon. I'm not going anywhere. Oh no, she's just done other filming. That's it for, uh, for other. For, uh, uh, we, we're dicing with thingy here. Let's get away. We from are. It. It's nothing to do with shopping. It's no, just. It's about craft. It's about craft. It's At demonstrations. Christmas. Christmas demonstrations and Christmas things. But yeah, please, I'm not going anywhere. They can't get rid of me that easily. I'm like a stalker. I will come back and I will sit outside if they said that I can. You do anyway. Yeah, That's anyway. Awesome. So we have sewn our pocket on and we have flipped it back over so you've got this really nice tidy line across the bottom. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my stitch up a little bit and I'm going to sew down this side just to make sure that I keep that pocket in place. See, I'm quite relaxed, actually, because I know that at any point you can say to me, we've got a finish now, and we've got a finish. No. And then we can pick it up tonight. It's fine. We've got about ten minutes left. Oh, lovely. That was bragging, isn't it? <laughs> we've, got a lot, we've got a lot done, I thought, I thought this. We've got a lot done in the short amount of time that we have. Like, we've still got we a have. lot of time, but we've, done, we've covered a lot. We have covered a lot. We've gone through all the materials. Remember your one-day specials? We've covered all those. And you've got that 13 rays of colours uh, that you've got there. Oh, 12 options, sorry. Uh, there are 12 options to choose from. Uh, £4.92 per half metre. You've got your plums. You've got your... Uh, your pinks in there, you've got your greens in there, you've got your magentas in there, you've got your lilac and mermaid in grey, that's the top row for you, so there's your mermaid just coming up now, and there's your grey on the end. Then the bottom row, that is your reds, corals, your oranges, you've got your blues, you've got your sand, and you've also got your naturals as well. They are your half metre pieces that you're looking at there, you're getting six Half meter pieces for twenty nine pounds and fifty two pence four three seven four four four. Uh, we've got back quarters in front of me as well, and then we've also got the tie dyes on the show. Pick and mixes galore, and we've also got the poplins. Worth having a look at poplins. I've never seen four poplins for nine ninety nine. Never see. I've never seen that price before. For four, it's normally two. Uh, yeah, show me something else cool that we've not seen. Fabric rolls. Oh, show me. 
Oh, oh, these are cute. Oh. These are your 40 fabric strip rolls. You've got your pick and mix. You've got under the sea. Yeah. That's the bright. You've got under the sea pastel. You're getting two. Yeah, you've got oh. into, under the t that's under the sea medium. Then you've got construction yellow. Camping. Wow. Here we go. Teddy bears in bright. Teddy bears pastel. Good job they didn't call it news, didn't it? Teddy bears in the nude. Uh, you've got woodland pink. <laughs> and then you've got zoom. I wonder what zoom is. It must be cars. Uh, these look cute though. Two of these for 20, uh, flexible payments of 19 baht. If you're going for these, that opens up your flexible basket. So then you're opening up your sexy flexi basket. Once you've opened up your sexy flexi, you can put anything else uh, that you want to put in there. Uh, 447976 is your itemable number. Right then, let's get back to Sash Fancy. How does that work then? What, because it's on a flexi, it opens up a flexi basket? Yeah, once you've got one open, you can pop anything in it. It also wow. flexible payments. Wow, that's really good, isn't it? I can't believe that, though, you're getting two. That would have been good at the bakery, wouldn't it? A little flexi at the bakery. 15 you know pounds I'm a day, get... 15 pounds in a month's time. For a yeah. loaf of bread and a cake. But then I would have eaten it. So, you know I'm going to get a load of messages now from the husband, don't you, saying, you spent how much in a bakery? Anyway. So, we have attached our pocket, and I've just tacked it down the side. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to mark where we would like our... Um, segments. Seg segments, is that the right word? My little holders, isn't it? So one for your phone. Yeah. So you have your phone in that one, and then you have one for your diary. I thought you were going to say your diamonds. That's only you, Sasha Fancy, if you've got £30 spending a bakery. No <laughs> doubt you've got diamonds somewhere. I struggle to get beans on toast. Until next week. Offered you a croissant, but you didn't want it. I'm allergic to almonds. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> probably not a good idea then. So, we're going to stitch down these lines now, and I'm going to go backwards and forwards just to make sure that I reinforce these top bits. No, I'm going to do a proper stitch on this one oh, okay. because I want it to be secure. Because obviously, you know, you're going to be pulling things in and out of your pockets, aren't you? So, we just want to make sure that. It's um, really nice and secure at the top there. Just going all the way down. And again, I'm just going to go at the bottom. There you go, though. Isn't it nice having Lottie in the, in the gallery? Miss Star Lottie. Bless her. I was commenting on her pop pumpkins the other day. A pardon? I was commenting on Lottie's pumpkins. I have a floaty boat. Amazing pumpkins. So, you couldn't follow that one up, could you? No, I couldn't. You've never commented on my pumpkins. <laughs> I think you mentioned. <laughs> you, yeah, you mentioned Derek's Congress. <laughs> you know, you know, you've not mentioned mine. <laughs> oh, dear. I get into too much trouble anyway with me and you, oh, we let alone me talking about your conkers. So I'm going to trim off those threads there. And we've got these wonderful little pockets. So they can pop your pen, you can pop your phone, pop any bits and pieces, okay? So they're all done, they're really nice and secure. The next thing that we're going to do, how, how are we doing for time? We've got time? six minutes. We've got six minutes. So, we will join this one together. Okay. So we're going to join our lining together and we are going to leave a hole in the bottom. And that's to turn through, okay? Yeah. So because obviously the sides have got the pocket on, I want them to be nice and strong. So we are gonna leave that hole on the bottom and then it can be all stitched up and no one's gonna know because it's in the bottom of the bag. You won't see it. So we're going down the right-hand so side. Go back and forward from where the pocket started. Yes. On the outside. Yeah, just to reinforce. again reinforce it. So we just do the sides, or do you do all the way around? We're going to do. Sorry, you did say this, didn't you? We're going to do the left, the right, and the bottom. We're not doing these parts okay. yet, but we're going to leave a hole. 
on the very bottom, okay? Graham, you've got a hole at the top. Yeah, but if you join me at 8 o'clock, you'll see why. Oh, because we're going to learn... I'll be driving we, home. We are going to leave the hole in the bottom so that we can actually turn it through. So we can actually do a really nice finish to the top of the bag. Because we are going to join this lining to the top of the actual bag. Oh, before it finishes, then you put it all through before together. Before it finishes. That makes sense. And again, I went over that a couple of times. And then we're going to line up the bottom. And you are going to go from the left to the right, but you are going to leave yourself that hole. Doesn't matter where. I would just recommend that you don't leave it near the seam. You want to, um, you want to leave it, you know, in the middle-ish. You don't want to somewhere where that it's going sense. to catch the um, edge. Well, that's Sasha's back at 8 o'clock tonight when we're finishing this product, putting it all together with our Catherine. And then, on the flip side of that, join Catherine at 8 o'clock this evening because she's got a sewing essential show. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 